Hello, everyone. My name is Shinigami with my friend JP here. Um, we're, I'm doing What's this. Up? Little, we're <laughs> we're doing this little segment at the beginning because of the fact. Um, as you can see, these are this is old footage because of the fact that this was before I properly got back into doing YouTube on my own end, and it was during a time when me and JP here were busy using streaming on a Twitch channel slash YouTube called JRPG Torture, and the thing is we haven't really been there in a while and. In order to honor the Fate for Stay Night remaster coming out in fall, we did, we decided to essentially re-upload the vids and bomb both of our channels, and essentially just try to keep the footage alive, and then also plan on live streaming, uh, where we left off in Fate, in order to basically just like you know once we're done, like we could compare notes between the remaster and the version that we have, aka the version most likely everyone played in America, so um. Yeah, we we just didn't want this footage to die off, so we wanted to give it a new home in like both of our channels. Yeah. A lot of it was just too stupid and funny. I literally went over it the other day. I'm like, we need to post this somewhere else. Yeah, because like having it on Twitch only is already you know, not only that the we did make an official VOD channel for JRPG Torture, but that didn't really go anywhere either. And so it's like, fuck it, let's just post it on our channels. And yeah, we just wanted to make this little thing to know. Oh, as also as a warning. This will contain spoilers for basically the entire Fate franchise, uh, specifically Unlimited Blade Works and the Heaven's Feel movies. Unlimited Blade Works, the anime, obviously, and Heaven's Feel, which also the movies. So if we do, if we say things that are spoiler worthy, you at least were warned that this does contain spoilers. So um, oh, also it can get pretty vulgar because we were kind of really unhinged on Twitch. Yeah, we were. Not only that, um, considering this is basically the uncensored version of the game, uh, you're going to see some stuff. But luckily, we're not there yet. So, um, But if we do get some naughty content coming up, don't worry. We have a pre-made sensor screen that I created. <laughs> you're going to love it. But yeah. I will, however, be reading every detail of the chapter out loud because it's fun that way. Yeah. <laughs> and just make an edit where it's just like 30 minutes later. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm oh, going to have to hide that. Don't. I don't even know how I'm going to hide that. I just want to read it, like, as a cringy, like, you know those, like, 80s, uh... <laughs> cringy mind. fanfic. I'll talk but, to you about it. Like, yeah. We'll do it later. But, yeah, like, um... So, yeah, I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the really, really long video, because this is the unedited version of the streams. So, it's not what I am usually do, where I edit the vids, because these... Here's the thing. I don't want to edit over 12 hours of vids. So, I'm just going to leave them here, unedited, for y'all to enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the vids, and also sorry for... Oh my god, for... we recorded 12 hours of this. No, more than 12. Also, I'm sorry if my microphone sounds kind of, uh, you know, shitty. It's when, um, when we were streaming this, I would have to use my PS5 controller to record for my mic. And... Yeah, yeah. my mic also had a dent in it. I'm now using a Yeti Nano. So if you... By the way, Logitech... Sponsor me, kidding. So, if you notice any, like, strange, like, voice, um, voice glitches or any on all that. Oh, and also, one of the streams was kind of not completed because it kind of cut out midway through. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed the vid, and, uh, let's get on with it. Also, if you're not cool at religious jokes, uh, you're gonna love when we summon Jesus in attack mode. Oh, yeah, you're gonna love that. Anyways, off to the vid. <laughs> We're now recording. Okay, we're not recording, so now it is time. Hey, don't now we gotta go live. All right, what should I name this stream? Uh, just call it Stone Cold Steve Sundere. Someone will get it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, just call the VOD that. It's so stupid. Just call it more, uh, more Fate Stay. I don't know what to. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if I should call it Fate Stay Night Rialta Nua. Or or regular Fate Stay Night, I'll just call it Fate Stay Night. Uh, call, it, dude, call it Fate Stay Late because we're late again. Hold on, dude, be right back. All right. Fuck this one on my family group chat. Okay. 
Alright, what do we name the stream? Uh, call it Late Stay Night, because we're late. <laughs> late Stay Night. Fate stay. Fate stay night. Rialta Nua. Dumb question, bud. If, so if someone in the group chat has an Android, will gifts still work in the group chat? Maybe. Let's see. Fate. My mom on Android when all of her kids have iPhones. It's really funny, actually. Here's the thing, you can do a lot more with Android than iPhone, that's for sure. I know you can, but it's annoying with their chat feature. Uh... Not dissing Android, too. They're good phones. It's just that, again, I, I know how to hook an iPhone to my computer, to uh, multiple systems easier than I do with Android, so. Really? I need stuff to place nice with other stuff. Visual hey, Corker. Novel. You know you just get on my lap, right? You don't have to lay in front of my mouse. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's like, must inspect desk for intruders. <laughs> must inspect desk for intruders. Shut up. That's stupid. Dude, all my cats are weird as fuck. The one looks like she's making a fortress of solitude, and she won't let me move the fucking sheet that she put there. <laughs> and it's gross because I could have sworn she made it friggin' stink. So I have to somehow get it away from her without her scratching me to death. And get that thing in the wash. Wish me luck later. Mm. I still. <laughs> the other two are fat Oompa Loompas who are, uh. Who one can't exist without the other. <laughs> but yeah. What? Nothing. Just nothing. Dude, my cats are all strange creatures. Isn't yeah, that right? Mm. Yeah, they are all strange creatures. I can hear them. Yeah. Hey, uh, you mind I checking? Probably hear my one purring in the mic. You mind checking the Twitch real quick? Mind doing case? what? Checking the Twitch real quick. Oh, I actually didn't put the. I. I actually did not pull that up. Yeah, you um, mind, you mind checking on it real quick? No, yeah. <laughs> I just say, no, fuck this. Nah, I'm pulling. Uh, what do you want me to check? Nothing. It says we're, it says we're live. Yeah, but we, we've been live for a minute, and they just heard everything about your cats. Yeah, and it's... <laughs> we, we need to do an intro, by the way. Oh, my audio is good again. Yay. We oh, check, we're we doing need, it. We're we doing it a second. Yeah. Live. Yeah, but we... we Sorry, we're a bit thrown off tonight, Jax. We've been trying to get a capture card to work all night. Yeah, and I bought a bootleg one that lied to me about being 1080p60. I wanted to get a 1080p60. I wouldn't say bootleg. You just bought a, you just bought one of the budget brand ones, and I got scammed hardcore. Why I never bought one? Because I saw that same one for fifty. I saw that same one for fifty dollars. I'm like, I know better. I know better. They're cheap like that for a reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome back to late stay night. Um. Shinigami got detention, so we have to stream late, little bastard. I'm not in high school, though. I told him not to... Yeah, but I told you not to fucking shoot a spitball at the teacher, but no, he just had to do it. I know, I was making a bit. Oh, no. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I haven't been in high school for like seven years. Did you ever that kid that just tried and spit spitballs all over the place? I had that kid to try and throw pencils on the roof. Uh... Does a good ring, replies with a big smile. I just need to make it a... Uh? I just have to make an appropriate 30-second intro for YouTube, because you know how they are. Yeah, that gets me. She greets me normal like that, everything that happened... Now and now that 30 like seconds drink. is up... And, no, my head's about to explode. And, no, head's about to explode. <sighs> Jeez, how easy would things be... Oh, right, isn't it? she not trying to... Nah, uh, yeah. Right, didn't she order Archer not to kill us or whatever? No, she ordered Archer to leave because of the fact Arch that Saber was going to absolutely destroy Archer. Yeah, I remember I remember what happened last time up to the point where he got in the fight with that other guy. 
<sighs> but your reply is clear like that. It makes me stupid for asking. Oh yeah, I forgot. I mean, they're the same except for one thing. I forgot. What? I forgot. Rin is a comb combination between two dereis, a sundere and a hemi dere. He's still stone cold Steve Dere though. Yeah. Steve Sundere, I mean. I don't even know wrestling. I'm just gonna make that joke. Yeah. Someone she... will get it. I think she's the earlier incarnation of a clear art. Honest, honestly, not gonna lie, she's probably the earliest incarnation of a hybrid dere. Because the fact she's both a him a hime dere, mm -hmm. a sundere, and what's the type of type of dere likes to tease you? Um Sundere. No, Sundere's pretend to hate you. Uh, Hime Darius pretend they're like, you know, uh, like all that because they're royalty. And then there's one more that's all about teasing you. Uh, uh, Kudere? No, they're the ones that don't no, exist. Kudere's are the ones that are like really, really, like don't have emotion at all. Wait, are you talking about the one that you call a master? I've seen those in plenty of hentai. Those ones really only exist in hentai. Jesus Christ. Well, it's the truth, and I probably already blew our uh, new safe start initiative by mentioning hentai. Yep. So I will wants... not be silenced, YouTube! So say she walks towards the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting a call. Hold on. I am missing an important USB right now. You'll find it later. So, chat... Did you know sharks are the most brutal reproductive cycle on Earth? First, the male impales the female's uterus. Then he legs egg, then then he fertilizes the eggs in there. Them eggs then fight to the death. And then, when they're fully mature, the shark female shark has to lay those eggs, which in turn are the biggest eggs in the animal kingdom. Fucking brutal, yo! I feel, dude. I hope like I feel bad for female sharks. So it basically just becomes the... It also beca female ducks, because... It becomes the purge night in a shark's womb, basically. Does it? Essentially, I remember that recently. I was reading about it. Uh, I'm like, dude, like, shark... Like, God, I thought male mothers had it bad. Alright, hold on. I got, like, and a two-liter... Sharks two are, like... I got a two-liter soda. I'm gonna shake it up real quick. Female sharks are, like, the, uh, fucking G of the animal kingdom. Hold on. I'm well, I like up. fucking sharks. They're cool. I'm shaking up my soda. Hold on. Can you hear it? It's been oh good. It's been five minutes. I said the f word twice. No worry. Yeah, Shinigami's been... being a freak of nature. Hang on. Yeah, uh, as you if you can hear the s of a soda opening, that's because I'm shaking it because I want to get rid of the fizz. So, dude, what do you do with fast food sodas? If you do that with a fast food soda, they're gonna fucking spill all over you. You see... Are you, like, the kind of freak that, like, goes home, pours it in a cup, and then drinks it? Um... No comment. <laughs> I swear to God, if you are. <laughs> no no <laughs> really? comment. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh my God, you're not serious, are you? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh my god. We're only five minutes in, and I'm already laughing like a fucking maniac. Um. <laughs> oh god. Now I have to call this VOD sodas and sundares. Damn it. Oh, do that real quick. Do that real quick. <laughs> James is streaming into sodas and sundares. <laughs> yeah. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I should- I should go- Okay, I think most of the fizz is gone, so I could drink it now without hurting my throat. Alright. Is it gonna let me do it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, I, I think I shook it down enough for most of the fizz is gone. Ah, that's much better. Sodas. Alright. And you know what's the even sodas worse? have an apostrophe. You know what's- you know what's funny? Is that- I'm do if this was Coca-Cola, you'd hate me even more. Uh, you're lucky I'm doing this with off-brand Coca-Cola. Dude, my dad would disown you. He likes like a soda connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> and then she turns and the smile on her face isn't like the previous one. As a matter of fact, she wants to murder me. Dude, my dad would disown you if he figured out you did that with soda. Oh no, I wouldn't here's the thing anyone would. 
<laughs> Not only that, I don't even pour it. No, in a, my dad was like a thing. Coca-Cola fanboy. Here's the thing. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even pour it in a cup either. I would just drink it straight from the bottle. <laughs> I feel like these visual novels, novel streams are more fun because we can just talk about stupid shit while reading a story. Well, yeah, because we don't have to worry about actually playing the game, but as you can see, this is one of our more cursed talks. I mean, at least it's about soda this time. And shark reproduction, but mostly soda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Clip that so we can put it... Dude, the shark reproduction thing or the soda thing? Both if you want. <laughs> Dude, we're talking about shark. We're talking about female sharks, and it's some that you brought up soda. Emmy, <laughs> could. It's good that I was gonna read her like Patrick Warburton. She glares at me. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's fine if you understand. So let's go to your place. P. Tussle could go through the gate. Oh, dude, I try so hard. It's so hard to do a Patrick Warburton. He's so iconic. It's only natural. She had a sword point at her. Wait, so now. you know who Patrick Warburton is, right? Uh, not really. Do you know who Joe Swanson is from Family Guy? Oh, he's yeah. that guy. The dude who voices Joe. It's like the most iconic role besides the party on the B movie. Yeah, which, he's pretty good in that too. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be eating chips, and unfortunately, my mic is near my mouth, so get rid of some chip ASMR. I'm sorry, but the B movie is not as bad as people put it out to be. It's not bad. Decently funny. Here's the thing: it's not bad. It's just really weird. Even though it feels more like an adult comedy than one made for children, considering the whole relationship with the B and a lot of the jokes about bees dying in like three days. <laughs> oh like, no! Like, I feel like there's more jokes for adults in there than there are for children. <laughs> Have you seen it? There's, like, more jokes in there for adults than there are for children. You just recently reminded me of that the ex-boyfriend is the only sane one in the movie. Adam Sandler's making a new movie about this, like, lizard who, like, has to life coach fifth graders and it looks funny as hell. So I'm in a strange situation. In front of me is the school's number one idol, whom I admire. Tosa got in. He's following silently behind me. He somehow has not stabbed me yet. And following silently behind me is Saber. Who call herself a servant, who for some reason calls me master. Even though I'm not into that sort of foreplay, but I guess we're here. He he, he literally started grinding against my butt and I don't know what to do about it. She Oh. The oh, she started like grinding against my ass done. and I don't know what to do about it. But I can't be a coward. Wait, so forever. these spirits can bone, right? Yeah, they can. They just won't get pregnant because they're dead. <laughs> we have confirmed this. I mean, forever. Oh, not man. a bad thing. Hey, that means you can go as much as you want without getting get them getting pregnant. So yeah. I mean, here's the thing though with that: if Maggie was to have sex with her servant, okay, do the whole uh, five rounds in the ovarian ring. I forget where I heard that from, but it's funny. Um. Uh, you don't really be able to go one round because it would use you get more tired than you would normal sex because it also because doesn't it take your magical energy and your body's life energy to even keep them afloat. It replenishes from their what we've established. No, it replenishes their mana. That's what it does. Wait, having sex is actually a thing you should do with them because it replenishes their mana. That's the joke. You're kidding me. That's amazing. There's a reason the <laughs> meme. Great. There's a reason Face Day Night. The meme is that Face Day Night started out as an arrow gay, which it is. I it mean, just so happens I've read to, enough hentai work. It just so Go happens on. to be incredibly long, and the scenes are sparse. If it was shorter, it would just I be mean, a pure. It would just be a pure hentai game. I mean, I've read enough. Hentai, where, where, uh, where man fluid is enough to keep a succubus alive, but I've never heard anything about just sex giving a fucking being summoned from history more energy to plow you with. That is amazing. <laughs> it gives the, no, it gives the servant more energy. Also, we just gotta follow. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Son of. 
I hope you're enjoying this conversation about ethereal sex. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> but I can only work out a few. Seriously, times. thanks, dude. First, about Saber, who's following me. I'm sure that she is like, kind of familiar, but because she calls me a master and I make contact with her, you're that familiar, some kind of a sister for a magus. Or a magus. Most magi transfer part of their body into something. Someone has another self. Or other self. Magus usually uses a small animal. That's simply because it's easy to take over the mind of someone like a cat or a dog. Some magi use a human as their familiar. But they need enough magical energy to restrain a human at all times. If they do such a thing. Oh, so you can have human familiars. You just have to have a lot of energy. So magic uses human familiar. Oh, okay. So that would work. But, but then it would just be people killing other people, though. Yeah, it would just become the equivalent of... What's the anime called? Oh, yeah, Killing Bites. I have not watched that, but I heard it's fucking weird. It's it's amazing. It's basically here's the premise. What if a bunch of rich people got really really poor and decided to do DNA splicing? <laughs> I know a furry gets his dick cut off. That's all I know about that anime. It's <laughs> literally <laughs> the only thing I know about that anime. So I was watching. Uh, I watched someone review it, but I didn't watch the episodes in tandem. I think I might know what I'm watching tonight. But anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the. It was is a stream at large shall we but if one constantly uses enough magical energy to control someone it would take most of the magus magical youtube is gonna familiar. love that previous conversation oh it is but you but youtube's probably not at the same time because like i said edgy stuff on there doesn't get popular unless you play really your cards really carefully ah oh, shit wrong tab a familiar is something that... I mean, that Magus. YouTube thing at this point is just an extra thing that we have, so I'm not really worried about it. Yeah, it's just an extra thing that we have for people that want to watch our old VODs, which... Go check it out. It's just it's just our name with the word VOD at the end. So if you want to check out our old streams, that's where you can go. Hell yeah! To reduce the burden... He manages that, I manage our Twitch. Yeah. It is commonly accepted that small animals are most suitable, you know, because they can actually be handled, unlike people who have free will. So, I've been taught, but... Wait, so you can also have a full... You can also just have an... Dude, if this game kills a cat, I'm never playing it again. Does that uh, mean you're really feeling that's what they're implying? Knowing these old visual novels, that might be the case. I've already had it. I remember when, uh... He Who Must Not Be Named put that forward for his game. Oh. And, uh, everyone was losing their shit, including me. I'm like, dude, that's not okay. Like, we get it. Like, it's about to be edgy, but that's not that, that's not okay. Like, we get it. You'll want to add more options to your game, but at the same time, bit fucked up, ain't it? She's like a raccoon or something, an animal that no one actually gives a shit about. Here's the thing. The only I mean, game, I kind of do. Raccoons are adorable, but you know. You know what's messed up is that you say that, but then you the may I remind you a little game called Fear and Hunger exists. Where it is an option to willingly torture a little girl by chopping off her legs. And there is no option like, oh, you have to do it to progress. No. I you mean, can just randomly talk to the girl and the option of just cut off her leg. It's right there. Jesus. Yeah, it's not needed to progress. You can literally just look at her, click the option, and just saw her leg off. Because, you know, just, yeah. There is, you don't even need to do it for a ritual. You can literally just do it just because. Whatever you saw with the Yandere Sin. Well, I haven't played Fear, Fear and Hunger. Fear and Hunger is 100% 50 times worse. Because the fucked up shit that happens there is, whoo, you don't want to know. I don't have the magical energy to control such a person. I don't want to know. And more than, yeah, believe me. Uh, there's a lot of cruel stuff that happens. Not only that, the game just straight up hates you. So I don't recommend playing through it without a guide. Why is my... I'm listening. Twitch is being a dick right now. I don't have the magical energy to control such a person. More than that, I don't have the magic circuit to summon a familiar. So, Saber must be something what? rather unlike a familiar. 
She said she's a servant. I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, she's a living sex doll, apparently, according to this game's lore. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> she, or, as, or as the modern-day kids would call it for some fucking reason, and I don't know why this is a term lately, an own a hole. Oh, God. Here's the thing. Context. That is basically just the inner... The other hole in... The woman's privates. That's it's the hole past the hole. Yes. And we also got another follower, Frenetic Hoodler. <laughs> That's a name. That must be that Tosika is also called the master. I just saw her magic skills. I'm worth half a Magus. She is worth about three. Though of course, there's no point in comparing me to other Maggie when I can only use the strengthening magic. Anyway. Tosaka is an amazing, amazing Magus. And a spiritual superior land is a family of Magi that looks after that land. The Amia family only came to this land of Kiritsuga's generation, so we're just strangers. That's why I didn't know that Tosaka's were Magi. And I don't think Tosaka knew that the Amias were a family of Magi either. There are several Magi in this town that I don't know about. If Lazar is the familiar of another Magus in this town, then... Doesn't mean that I stuck my head into a conflict between Maggie. Uh, first off, bitch, you are Japanese. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You are Japanese. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Dude, you there? I'm here just reading something. She says, wow, a pretty big Japanese style is unusual for me. First off, you are Japanese, you idiot. <laughs> yes, it is my living room and also my secret dojo. Where I also... I forgot what I was going to say. Saying so... I don't know what you were going to say. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot as well. I'm like, my brain just farted and I'm like, what was I going to say? Your brain just like, your brain just went like a heart monitor to hospital. Be, and then it just restarted, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Let's stop. Then it restarted and started playing that weird ass elevator music that you hear in the holidays in stores. Yeah. Why should it be copyrighted somehow? Let's just listen to Tosic's like story. Did I ever tell you the story of how I got copyright struck for the Canadian National Anthem? Which, by the way, all National Anthems are fair public domain. So don't give me that shit, Twitch. I think it's some Again. I think it was some asshole that decided to... Like, some guy that was a fake. <laughs> it turned the lights on. Like, Sorry. it was a Canada mod for... It was a Canada mod for Civ that I was streaming. And it had the Canadian National Anthem and it got copy struck. I'm like... Really? I yeah. should I could have disputed it, but I wasn't sure if it was because a mod or not that was fair use. I should have, but my bitch ass was afraid of getting reported back then when I really shouldn't have been. I probably yeah. could have won that dispute because it was literally fair use, even if it wasn't public domain. <laughs> I, I wasn't streaming song. a Canadian national anthem concert. I was streaming fucking Civ. <laughs> It's already past one in the morning. I need to get your ass into Civ one of these days so we can start a large Civ campaign at some point. Yes, the windows are broken. I almost got stabbed by a guy with a big stick. Yes, I broke my back on glass. Uh, yes, I hurt my back on my window and I proceeded to get more hurt even right. more oh, by falling okay. on, glass, on glass pieces. So, so yeah. familiar is... Alright, I'm just trying to arrange stuff in my head, so the familiars we know about right now are Lancer, who we don't know who he belongs to. There's her guy, which is Archer, who uh, belongs to her. Then Saber, who's our guy's guy. Servants, not familiar. Correct? I think so. You know what I mean, though. <laughs> oh, so you got the... There's also Jesus, but no one summoned him yet. 
which Arai, is shocking. <laughs> Summon Jesus and he's just the most broken servant. We've made this joke before. Uh, shameless plug for our mm -hmm. channel. <laughs> Someone just summons Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. That's what their armor reminds me of. It reminds me of Dragon Ball armor with the spandex and the plate over it. Yeah. I just like Saiyan armor. Tosuka walks over to the broken window. Huh? Tosuka takes a piece of the shattered glass, takes a look at it, and... Uh, speak, speak English, please. Did she just cast uh, did she just cast the German version of Oculus Repero from Harry Potter? I the think I think she just did. <laughs> she By the way, apparently all Harry Potter spells are Latin. She cuts the tip of her finger and puts a drop of her blood onto the glass. Dude, I was just gonna make a joke about her doing that. What the fuck game? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of magic is this? What sort of Harry Potter bullshit am I witnessing? It's glass. called period magic. Just shut. Don't finish that. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I won't. But I want to. <laughs> it's called menstrual magic, okay? <laughs> Women can use their blood to heal things. It causes excruciating pain and mood swings. No wonder from Scarlet for Mortal Kombat has her By the way, me. ladies, I love you. No wonder Scarlet. It's all in good fun. No wonder Scarlet from Mortal Kombat is the way she is. She just has a lot of menstrual pain. Christ, dude! This <laughs> <laughs> fucking psycho bitch with menstrual pain. Just all Sundares are like that. Like, or no, all Yandere's are like that. Just like, always on their periods. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> we already have two quippable scenes now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's only been 24 minutes, and we laughed like idiots twice. <laughs> it's going to be a long three hours. Oh, yeah. The Shattered Glass combines with the <laughs> so so God, I'm joking joking now. Now. Oh, oh, second, Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look under my skirt, man, okay? It's... <laughs> Uh, we're probably you'll probably repay me in a couple hours during the midway point of this game where you're gonna meet me in my bedroom. So, dude, that's chapter eleven. I calculated our current rate. We won't get there until May. Or no, we won't get there till June unless we do. Or no, we won't get there till like April unless we do the uh, week of this game thing. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you would have fixed it even if I hadn't. Oh wait, she already said that. She says so as if it's. Something By the way, we're doing. We're doing Fate Stay No that wait, was it Fate Stay February. What month are we doing? February. Fate Stay February, where we're gonna try and get for a huge hunk of this game so it doesn't take us all year. Yeah. We might be able to finish it at that point if we keep going half a chapter each stream. Yeah. Each chapter is about six hours for my calculations, because we stream for about three. Yeah, and the prologue, as someone in our VOD channel pointed out. That is the equivalent of how many chapters? Uh, like 10 or something stupid like that. Let me check something real quick. Uh, it's the equivalent of... Uh, the equivalent of... The, equi uh, the equivalent of the first three chapters of Lord of the Rings. Shinigami, I have to send you something real quick. What? No. That I just saw on Facebook when I opened it up. No. Now that no. I've suffered with this, you must suffer with it too. Yes. No. No. Just don't share that on stream. No. <laughs> I told you to do this. What I wrote it just posted that. <laughs> Oh my god! I cannot <laughs> see that! Oh my god, why? Dude, put that up on Twitch right now. 
<laughs> okay. So I have to see that. No. <laughs> just censor the dick part. Uh, <laughs> just, like, like, if you're wondering what we're laughing at, one of my relatives just posted a video of being like Eastern United States <laughs> with a dude doing toe stretches in Florida as his dick and Alabama as the balls. Like, that's brilliant. <laughs> Now he says it's a tsunami. He's laughing his ass off about it. He's trying to tell you what we're laughing over. Damn it, Facebook. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm clipping that. I'm just going to put Facebook in between Shinigami die. Oh, God. Oh, that is Laughter. so good. It's amazing. Those are screen controls. They throw that up. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> I just literally saw that. I'm like, I, I, I have to show him this. He must stop her now. <laughs> I think I broke Shinny on me. Oh, my chest. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Ow. Oh my, chest. oh, my throat. That is great. Ah, oh, Toasted Caprices. Damn it. <laughs> See, that's just something I shouldn't have. You're like, no, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, that I'll edit that into the VOD somehow. <laughs> well, I do have that shed as my training area, but I think Tosuka would get mad if I called out my workshop. Dude, that's the hardest I've heard you laugh in a while. Because <laughs> it's just like... It wasn't even that funny. It wasn't that funny, it's just the fact that my humor is so shit. Dude, you died if you saw my boomer relatives' Facebooks. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Honestly, admit that I don't know. Wow, that's scary. She's so beautiful. That is usually. blurry, blurry top text. So she looks pretty scary now. Yes, I am an amateur. I said it before. <laughs> yes, I am a virgin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yes, I am a virgin. I said I was going to tone things down tonight. Never going to happen, YouTube. Yes, I, yes, I am a virgin, but not in like... Not in. What are you doing? Oh, not in. It. Not in. No, I'm only on third day. How many chapters are there? Sixteen. <laughs> like eighteen. <laughs> not in eight chapters. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forget who like bones. I think he bones that one silver-haired chick. <laughs> Tosaka glares at me. You know what we need to do for the sex scene? What? We have to react to it. Just put the sensor up and we have to react to it. It's yeah. a solemn duty, damn it. We make oh. enough sex jokes. We can't just skip it. <laughs> but, we, it. but we're not like reading it. You just gotta imagine our reaction as we read it. Oh, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it word for word. Oh, you, you are suicidal. <laughs> you are, you are, you have a death wish, my man. Dude, I read the, uh, huh. dude, you're, t I read Moroge before and I read it word for word and you know the one I'm talking about. Yes, because you keep bringing it up. Because it's really good and not just because of the sex. <laughs> it's such a really good story. <laughs> she sighs. Makes me mad. We should read it one day with this. I actually have to check if it's banned on Twitch because we need to read it one day. With the adult content turned off, obviously. I haven't been playing around. No, I'm an actor. That game's nice because has it built into the system. But I don't think it matters right now. I don't care. There's no. Well, Peter, I don't care. There's no point in complaining about what was already happened. More importantly, I have to pay back my debt right now. Toshika takes really Patrick Warburton. Wow, that was better. She says really badass and reflux and talks like that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Dude, my whole family has that and it sucks. I nod. 
まあ一目で分かったけど一応確認しとかないとね知ってる相手に説明するなんて心の贅肉だしあああああああああああ That was a weird phrase, but stay quiet as I think she'll beat me up if I make fun of her now. It's well, only. She's, a she, she's it's, been her legal right to do so. It's only putting flab on my mind. How does that make sense?、Uh, uh, I guess. Oh, I think it's s a i d to say weight on my mind. <sighs> Put it bluntly. You've been chosen as a master. Oh, so that means、uh, Saber here.、Uh, will you get on my lap real quick? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no one caught me. <laughs> wait, like... so he didn't shoot, wait, so he didn't choose a,、uh, a, a, a thing. Someone chose him. Here's the thing no one chooses the servants, the servants choose them. And it depends on how much magical energy you put into the ritual. In order to get the servant you want. For example, Saber is the strongest, which means you have to put a lot of magical energy, I'm assuming. It's not, it's, it said, she said it earlier, I don't know. Even if he just made her show up with the power of boners, but you know. <laughs> the power, shut up. You never heard the term power of boners? Anyway. Oh, oh no, I heard the term. Holy sign, I heard the term. I heard the term. High school DXD is all about that. <laughs> You have a holy sign on one of your right hand, on your hands, right? It's hard to read this, it's a bit blurry. On your hand or on your arm. They're perfect.、Oh, cool. Wait, what the fuck? You have a holy sign on one of your hands, right? On your hand or on your arm. There are、yeah. personal differences, but there should be three command spells engraved. That's the sign of the master. Oh, my hand. Oh, this. Oh, look at that. It's on my jack in hand. I was just gonna say that, you <laughs> asshole! <laughs> I was just gonna say that! You <laughs> bastard! I was just gonna say that! <laughs> I'm trying to make her sound serious and I'm forgetting to make jokes. <laughs> But I'm just beating you to the punch this time. <laughs> You're doing what I do to you and it's great. <laughs> I'm beating you to the punch, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yes, that is also. <laughs> What do you mean as long as I have it? You mean my jacket hand so I can. Hey, Saber, you sure you don't want to come over here? <laughs> Listen, as long as you have a foreskin, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were circumcised? Oh, shit, this is gonna be a problem. What do you mean as long as I have it? Command spell is an, is an item of unconditional obedience. One that I told my. One that I wasted twice already. I think you've already realized that the servants have their own will, but th that mark overrules their will and makes them obey your command. Oh, is that so?、Uh, Saber, get on my lap, please. Stop. <laughs> no. You do it Never. to me all the time. I'm g o n n a keep doing it. I gonna, know.、Uh, This is your revenge. <laughs> This is my revenge, you asshole. <laughs> Whenever one of us is trying to make a character sound serious. <laughs> There's no spell needed to activate it. And it will be activated when you put your mind for. Oh, my screen c l e a r e d up and I can actually read it. Thanks, game! Or thanks, Shinigami's internet. <laughs> yeah. It'll be activated when you put your mind using it. Oh, I see then. Uh, uh, Saber, you mind taking that Viagra on the counter, please? But she's a girl. That wouldn't do anything besides fix her blood. You know? Okay, so. You know, I'm a kid of a nurse, right? Don't. No, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no. No, I'm not、oh, saying、no. anything gross at all. I'm actually educating people here. Oh, no. So, I, Viagra I, it only originally works, it only works on... was prescribed as a blood pressure med. Oh! It was only recently that we found out about its、uh, medicinal properties. Oh! Only use it twice. Well, you'll... If you lose all your command spells, you'll be killed. So be careful. They actually think it's an instant death sentence, but it's not. You can still basically run like a bitch if you need to, as our main character just proved. And, it's, and it, it, she would be like, So then why do you only have one more seal then? They keep saying this, and I feel like one of them is going to run out at some point. And that's when the story is going to ramp up. Uh, from the anime, it seems like that was the case, but I don't know, because that was the Unlimited Blade Works route. I don't know about the Face Stay Night route. 
俺が殺されるそうよマスターが他のマスターを倒すのが戦争の基本です。It's fundamental in the Holy Grail War for masters to kill other masters. And the master that kills the other six masters is awarded with the Holy Grail. And as usually these stories go, it's not, as, as, it's not always as it seems. And the Holy Grail is filled with the best fucking kush you've ever had. Like seriously, that, this weed is grown in the Caribbean and it is the best fucking kush you will ever try. It'll get you so high that you'll literally be doing jumping jacks in the parking lot of your local grocery store naked and you won't even know it. It's like an herba mate. You just you use the fucking holy grails and herba mate and use the weed as the It's the most like potent the weed. weed ever. <laughs> the potent weed. I was talking about Peruvian cocaine. <laughs> okay, I was talking about weed, not cocaine. Yeah, but you I'll do take know this video down YouTube. You know what an herba mate is, right? I don't. Oh, well, basically, is that a thing, drug? No, it's basically a, it's like a, a Brazilian something, but basically what it is is like it's a little like a little gourd that you put like uh, leaves or like tea in the like where it's like very bitter when you drink it, and it's like an acquired taste, and essentially right. you fill it up with water at a certain point through, and you get like a special straw, and you put it at the bottom and like press it down a tiny bit, and basically you drink the water after it's been infused with leaves. Wait, is it one of those medicinal teas that makes you high as fuck almost like cold medicine? No, I don't think so. It's an acquired taste. It tastes like bitter. It tastes really, from what I heard, it tastes really bitter at first glance or first taste. But then after a while, once you start drinking it more, you notice like a lot more flavors. Speaking of acquired taste, I've learned something interesting. So a lot of people think with haggis, you have to eat the actual sheep stomach. No, it's just cooked in the sheep stomach. Um... And I'm, honestly, I'm... I probably won't like it, but I'm curious on how it tastes. The only thing that sucks is you can't do, you can't get animal stomachs in the U.S. because of like some weird law with blood and everything. So you'd have to go to Scotland to actually try actual haggis. Ah, hold on. I I think you can do it with, like liver in the in the U.S. I'm not sure. There is like an American version you can do. I don't understand what Tosa Goza was talking about at all. Like the part about masters killing other masters. Like, food doesn't gross me out. I'll try anything. That's the part where the winners get a holy grail? Wait, she mean that holy grail? Yes, the one full of Aladdin's <laughs> dank kush. Speaking of, I actually have all three Aladdin movies in my VHS collection. For context, uh, really? yes, a few days ago... Oh, I you showed... have the third one? Oh, you poor bastard. That one yeah, sucks. oh, I know. Even as a kid, I knew it sucked. <laughs> was it like a holiday special or something? No, it was when Aladdin meets his dad, and it was supposed to be like this, like take on. Wait, he had a dad. I've never heard of this one. <laughs> it's basically, uh, basically, the third movie was basically just spoilers alert for a really shitty movie. It was basically just the take was it's supposed to be like a spoof on the Midas Touch and all that, where like there was like this MacGuffin yeah. that if you touched it, you would turn to gold. Mm -hmm. And basically, it was all about it was like Aladdin, the King of Thieves, and all that. And yeah. And oh, his dad looks fucking cool. He looks like a. Uh, his dad looks like a uh, Middle Eastern uh, Liam Neeson. He looks fucking cool. Yeah, unfortunately, he was in a shitty movie. Of course, he was. He looks like dude. He totally looks like Liam Neeson can voice him with no issue. Did he actually? You want to check if he actually voiced him? Maybe he did. Probably not. But you can't look at that character design and not think Liam Neeson. Tosaka Ren states still... still as it is the most natural thing in the world. Oh, let me read it. Ah, oh, never mind. Line. That phrase swirls in my head. Chosen as a master. Tosaka says she is a master. Miller is called the servants, and. A battle to the death between another Maggie called the Holy Grail War. I love what she's explaining all this. This is literally reminding me of the episode of Zash Bell, where Chrissy or whatever name is just goes and explains all this to fucking Kyo. <laughs> well, brutally, uh, well, brutally pinning him down with a gravity spell on his own floor. I wonder. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna check something real quick. Remember how I was going through Zash Bell. Remember how I was going through all of Type Moon's old games a while back during one of the yeah. streams? Uh, I wonder if Tsukihime is out yet, because it's supposed to be coming to the West. God, I miss Zatch Bell. That show was so stupid, but so good. Can I wishlist it? 
I can wish list Melty Blood, but can I wish list Tsukihime? That I can wish list your mom. I'm only kidding. Which on the Holy Night? What the hell? Oh, so they are making visual novels still, Type Moon. It's just that Fate's their or main. Japan one. exclusive, I'm assuming. Nope, it came to the West. It's just coming out in December. Dude, Tosca... I just noticed Tosca needs to eat a fucking sandwich. She is way too thin. No, that's just the way the artist drew characters back in 04. Yeah, but she almost looks at She'd be anorexic at today's standard. She needs a sandwich. Well, the anime did her better. Well, when Uku Table animated it, they did her better, which. If you. I mean, look up Ufo Table. They draw some pretty attractive looking women. No, it's because at the time, the artist that was at Type Moon that did work on Base Day Night, for like the, or at least the main artist there, updated his style. Like to like modern standards, and it actually looks really good. And let me just say this: like I said, this game would definitely benefit from a remake. That's why I keep saying it, because of the fact that the art style for, uh, you know, for Modern Fate is really good. It's the Poison Hashira, the the one like busty female one that's like the medic, or am I thinking of somebody else? She's basically the equivalent of Kempachi, but a lot more nice. Dude, she hot as fuck. Woo! <gasps> ah! We're talking UFO table stuff. Yeah, you, if, if you wouldn't mind, you could quit grinding UFO table's dick right now so we can actually focus on the game. But I like doing that. I think they should get the Gans movies. Well, here's the thing. Personally, I believe that as well because they it genuinely feels like if they were, they gotta do Gans. Dude, you're the one who brought up the tangent. Fair okay. point. That's certainly I was almost killed by that Lancer guy, but Okay, you don't need to bring it up, okay? I know I was stabbed by a giant schlog, okay? I was stabbed by a giant schlog too. <laughs> then like... I woke up in a Denny's not my <laughs> I like how it took you a while to process what I said. <laughs> And I woke up at a Denny's went my parking lot and wrapped my wallet in really weird butt pain. Yeah, and for some reason I was also butt naked too. I wonder why. Those are those comments. And there's also a weird off. message up. Nah, nah, that's making it way too fucked. I was yeah, gonna, <laughs> there's a weird message written in white ink that said, uh, thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, now like, I remember, these characters are like 16, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting, dude. You shouldn't have finished that. Forget I said any of this chat. Forget it, forget it, forget it. We're 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 just edging, dude. We are edging. Actually, no, we're beyond edging. <laughs> the guy that killed me, and I certainly died. No excuse nor negotiation was possible. I was just someone who had to be killed. So... Even if I do deny this battle to the death that I can understand, the others in it will not withdraw. It's main character, it's not that hard to understand. People summon people to kill other people. Winner of that winner of the winner of the battle to kill other people gets the Holy Grail, which can not only grant you one wish, but it's still the most delicious kush you'll ever have. Not I like hard to understand. I like how <laughs> the premise for Fate Stay Night is so simple, but because of the fact the world was expanded, is the reason why no one knows where to start. Dude, listen, I'll take a Holy Grail that like, gives you a wish. Holy Grail that grants your wish is fine, but, like, if it's filled just the best fucking high you can ever get, it's better than a wish, man. Yes, you literally go to the heavens. Plus, if you wanted to, if it's actually filled with that kush, you can just wish for more kush. The winner of the Holy Grail just wishes for more wishes somehow. <laughs> Why do I have a good feeling that if our main character wins, it's going to be one of those bitches that wishes that this whole thing would just stop? Isn't that something you could technically wish for? I think, but here's the thing. Even though I feel like that would piss off every other master if you did it, or everyone else that's a Maggie. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing. You'll understand later on. You'll understand. I'm not gonna spoil it this time for all the people bitching at me for spoiling it. But, like, yeah, you don't want to know now. 
サーバントは聖杯戦争を勝ち残るために聖杯が与えた使い魔と考えなさいでマスターである私たちは自分のサーバントと協力して他のマスターを始末していくわけねはあ、huh. Tosuka's description is too brief for me to understand but there is one thing I do wonder about ちょっと待ってくれ遠坂はセイバーを使い魔だって言うけど俺にはそうは思えないだって使い魔っていうのは猫とか鳥だろそりゃ人の幽霊を扱うやつもいるって言うけどセイバーはちゃんと体があるそれにそのとても使い魔なんかに見えない I glance at Saber Her tits are really swollen right now <laughs> Shut up <laughs> Saber is quiet listening to our conversation She's like, just like a human being At the same time though What are them eyes though I don't know her identity Am I stare daggers But she's a girl about、But、my age girl. She's having a girl、he's、like, like that near me is more than enough So I don't get it when she tells me that Saber is familiar Besides, I love all the familiars are just teenagers. Sky, man, eh? Ma, Sabant was no good leader, I reckon. It is a kid, and let's say just take the form of teenagers because that's who's using. Oh, wait a minute. There's types of familiars. Wait, there's types of familiars. Are you kidding me? What are they, fucking Pokemon? <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking dual monsters. Like, you know what's funny? I summon this servant in attack mode. You know what's funny?、Uh, Fate Extra, at least the remake of that game, is co coming out or being in development. I think that's what Fate Extra is. I may be wrong, though. Most likely wrong. But from what I can tell, Fate Extra, that game is just like, oh, choose the servant you want to use in the Holy Grail War. And that's pretty much it. But like,、uh, oh, so it's a,、uh, wait, it's a creature taming game? That's awesome. I think I may be wrong. It's an RPG,、it's, that's for sure. Is it going to be a gotcha thing? I hope not. No, it's not a gotcha. It's coming out on consoles and all that, so it's not a gotcha. It's going to be an actual thing? Thank fuck. Yeah, it's an actual term.、Gotcha. It's a turn based RPG. Before the game was just straight up rock, paper, scissors, but the remake's going to be just a regular RPG. Ghost Rider. What is that one mobile game that everybody plays? Fate Grand Order? Yeah, that's the one. Which. But I think because of Fate Grand Order helped put it in put it in the spotlight, not only that, adds a lot of lore that people don't want to read through because it's a mobile game and not everyone has the time for that shit. So I'm assuming the Holy Grail War will end in this game. Is it going to be like one of those things where it just doesn't end? I don't know. Human ghosts have stopped living a long time ago. Remaining minds of those with strong abilities who remain in this world even after they die. But that doesn't make sense. Ghost doesn't have a body. Ghosts can only be hurt by ghosts. So, as I have a body, a ghost should be able to kill me. Then again, that guy with the spear kicked my ass, and I somehow used a piece of paper to fight him off, but hey, what are you gonna do? This guy, does, this guy is not nerdy, clearly. Oh, oh he's, the, he's meant to be generic as fuck, so. Yuda. <laughs> But、oh、yeah, if someone told me bullshit like this, I'd be like, what? Yeah, because it's like, like, how? They'd be like, you kids in your imaginations. This is one of the adults walks in and they're like, you kids in your imaginations. Oh god, you say that, but I actually have that done to me before. Really? Yeah, where it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I remember that shit. Fucking. Yeah. I still love how these like, teenagers are trained for millennia to just kill each other. 100%. <laughs> It's just the way it is, unfortunately. It's like the Hunger Games with extra participants. Yeah. Huh. そうよ。過去だろうが現代だろうがとにかく死亡した伝説上の英雄をこう引っ張ってきてね実体化させるのよ<音声>まあ呼び出すまでがマスターの役割で
あとの実体化は聖杯がしてくれるんだけどね魂を形にするなんてのは一回の魔術師には不可能だものここは強力なアーティファクトの力におんぶしてもらうってわけちょっと待て I, I don't know. I look over at Saber. I think she's a hero. I think she's a hero from the past, too. Well, it's true that nobody would dress like that now, but still. あくまで聖杯による現象と考えなさいそう魂の再現ってあ、シェフ、ストゥアーリーサーバントは幽霊とは違うのかあ、そう、ホールグローズ・リンカーネーティングいや、that's essentially what it is 動物であれ、機械であれ偉大な功績を残すとリンネの輪から外されて一段階上に昇華するって話聞いたことないっていうのはそういう連中よ。要するに、あがめたてまつられて、疑似的な神様になったものたちなんでしょうね。What? Wait, what? Wait, so heroes are worshipped and then made into artificial gods. The fuck? You're completely changing what you already said. Either that or it's a lot of mistranslation from the official guy, but. From the guy the fans tra translated it, but who knows? Kore Jutsuka, Kuchiose Toka, so you eat Pantakina, Leo, Atska, Majutsua, Karela no Chikara no Ichibo, Kariuke, Kiseki, Okos, the show? Woman, I'm gonna slap you, you make this any more complicated than it already is. Yeah. Okay, wait. So, let me get this right. Okay, so the Hollow Grail is the one that we have to use to use the What the f- The servants are familiars of the heroes, so they're not the actual hero? What? Yeah. That makes no sense at all. So, in other words, they're just... an image of the hero, then. I think. I think that's the case, but I don't know. Yeah, that's... 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 So, I get it. So, the servants themselves are literally just like pieces of the hero's soul. And then, if you need them to fight, you can give them four and then make them fight. I. That kind of makes sense, but okay. Okay. They're like Shinigami, only more useful. Okay, shut the fuck up. No, I mean the Shinigami from Death Note. Oh! Forgot to talk to your username. Yeah, I'm a little bit of 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 a little bit いいサーバントを倒せるのは同じ霊体であるサーバントだけそりゃ相手が実体化していればこっちの攻撃も当たるからうまくいけるかもしれない。ああ、それはもう一つの人たちが殺すのは。いや、それは本当に私はそれを見つけたのは。私はそれを見つけたのは。私はそれを見つけたのは。私はそれを見つけたのは。
マスターは後方支援をするっていうのがセオリーね。Servants are all strong as monsters. Wait, you mean servants are just as strong as monsters, right? The wording in that. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I get the feeling they need a change. Yeah, so let mo. Servants are strong. Yeah, you meant servants are as strong as monsters, not are all、uh, strong as monsters. So let the monsters deal with the monsters. The master will you, support them from behind. Yikes, okay. Let me translate that into actual English. Um. <laughs> English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yeah, I think something happened. Let's just explanate. Oh, wait, that's you. Tosaka's explanation irritates me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's irritating me too, dumbass. It's making me infuriated and wanting to smash something. It's like. Yeah.、Uh, what? <sighs> it's like, bro, make up your mind, beast. I'm tempted. My mind、uh, is made up. It's like. It's like, bro, be specific. Anyway, someone who becomes a master must kill all the other masters using his servants. Why can't he just do it himself? Do you understand so far? Wait, but what if. Wait, what if he kills them himself? I think it'll still count, I think. I got questions. She、like, can, can literally just poison his drink right now, and he would just die, and she'd be ahead of everyone. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's why it's the rule that a servant has to do it. Yeah. それは私が知るべきことでもないし、答えてあげることでもない。そのあたりはいずれちゃんと聖杯戦争を監督しているやつに聞きなさい。私が教えてあげられるのはね。あなたはもう戦うしかなくてサーバントは強力な使い魔だからうまく使えってことだけよ Just like I've been wasting mine Tosaka says so and now turns to Saber さてエミア君から話を聞いた限りじゃあなたは不完全な状態みたいねセイバーマスターとしての心得がない魔術師見習いに呼び出されたんだから Yeah, no shit Yeah, but yours doesn't even know its own name! I don't know what to do. But I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going どうやって弱みを聞き出そうかなって程度だったのに敵に弱点を見抜かれるのは不本意ですがあなたの手札は何でこちらの手札は何で意味はないでしょう。Japan only trading card game。Makes sense. Of course it will be Japan only. それならばあなたに知ってもらうことで。That's because the cards are way too sexy for American teenagers to handle. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, so we're there talking... were some cards that were just borderline naked. Oh, so basically just high school DXD equivalent. Okay. I only know about it because I was watching Max Mofo's Am I Allowed to Open This on YouTube? <laughs> They haven't been removed yet, so I guess you are. Tosaka. <laughs> それ、俺がふさわしくないってことか。No! Give her to me! No, you're not, dude! Legit! You really you... At least at this point in the story. Like, legit, it, like, spoilers for Unlimited Blade Works, that's literally a plot point. Wow, just as any normal, normal person would have trouble saying. Uh, of course, Baka. It's not like I like you or anything. Nani? Mada nanka s t m o n g a r n o No, she just.、Uh, yeah. I don't think she's in Cinderay mode yet. I think she's just being a bitch, just in general.、Uh, yeah, I have questions.、Uh, were you always a bitch, or did your mother. Or did your mother make you this way? 
Now listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Wait, did she even have parents? I don't remember. <laughs> no, it literally said her da dad was dead and her mother was dead too. Wow, that was a fucked up question. Uh, backpedaling. Her honor student image from school crumbles inside of me. Keep going, you say? She certainly shows no openings. She's like the devil. Yeah, she a bitch. And I know that you bone her at some point. Tosaka suddenly says something strange. だから、あなたが巻き込まれたこのゲーム、聖杯戦争をよく知ってるやつに会いに行くの。今、それは当然だ。けど、それってどこだよ。もうこんな時間なんだし、あんまり遠いのは。大丈夫。隣町だから急げ
I'm gonna cast a spell on you. You're gonna do what I want you to. Wake you up in the dead of night. Say a few words and you're out of sight. I'm a hex girl and I'm gonna put a spell on you. Gonna put a spell on you. I'm a hex girl and I'm gonna put a spell on you. You'll feel the fog as I cloud your mind. Check here when I make the sign. Mix it up here in my little bowl. Say a few words and you lose control. I'm a hex girl and I'm gonna put a spell on you. Gonna put a spell on you. I'm a hex girl and I'm gonna put a spell on you. With this little cobweb potion, you'll fall in the dark devotion. If you ever lose affection, you can change your whole direction. I'm a hex girl, and I'm gonna put a spell on you. Gonna put a spell on you. I'm a hex girl, and I'm gonna put a spell on you. We're gonna put a spell on all of you! I always peeked the shit out of my mic there and got us a copyright strike in one foul swoop. Actually, no, I don't think I did, because they... <laughs> I don't know what's with WB, but they never copyrighted that song. Like, there's so many people singing that on YouTube, it's crazy. Also, ow my throat, and thanks for the follow, Telescopic. Which means you heard every single bit of that. Oh god. What is Shinigami doing? I'm gonna kick his booty if he keeps it any longer. He's from getting keys for my aunt. Oh. You heard that, didn't you? <laughs> you didn't know he took his headphones with him. hear all that it, uh did you hear all my hex girls singing yes i heard it all the way to the ending oh god you did <laughs> i just got a follower doing that by the way what you're who, welcome yeah someone enjoys your shitty singing someone does very clearly <laughs> hey, it's not that bad nah it's pretty fucking terrible but anyway, uh, are you back yet, or are you uh, still getting the key? Yeah, I'm just getting something from my aunt from the truck. Mm -hmm. Luckily, the song I sung never got copyrighted, so yeah, be good. Holmes.
When foreigners wear clothes with Chinese characters, this guy is wearing a blouse is Yi Chao Long, which means I'm a dragon. This guy's bomber jacket looks cool, but unfortunately, the Chinese character's Wang Ba Dan means son of a bitch. This TV host shirt says Hui Ai Xin Jiao, which literally means my favorite is the sexual horse. Lady is posing confidently with the character Z on her chest. Z means chicken, but it's also a slang for a sex worker. The fact that the shirt says Hao Ni Hao Ma, which means hello, how are you? This guy's shirt says Wu Zhi the Xi Fang Ren Bu Hui Du Zhong Wen, which translates to coolest Westerners cannot read Chinese. The front of his shirt says I didn't handle dog, which means Are you that bored? Am I that bored what? I heard that. I was not watching TikTok while waiting for you, honest. <laughs> and the one was that about Chinese can't, Americans can't read Chinese. Oh, it was Americans can't read Chinese. Oh, she was reading Chinese characters on people's shirts. That's why I don't get shirts with Chinese or Japanese characters on them. Oh. Uh, and it said, Americans can't read Chinese, you clueless Western or something. That's pretty funny. Oh, God. I have Japanese tattooed on my body. Well, yeah, but now it's not going to mean anything, because, you know. But it's like, I know what it says. Yeah, I know that. Because I did the research prior. <sighs> well, no way. What are the chances of that? Hey, Toast got a surprise, too. That must be insane. That stupid voice that Aaron can do. Red Bull. It's gonna be funny when I'm doing with that fucking Chuny Weeb from, uh. Fuck's the name of it? Steins Gate. Trying to keep the thing from going off. <laughs> That's a great meme. I am officially back. Hey! And I pissed off my aunt because I for I forgot I had her clothes in the washer, and I did, forgot to put them to wash. Oops. Yep. Shiro, I am the third daughter of her. You are a monster. You are too much. I am a servant of the servant. I am a servant of the servant. Saber stares at me silently with those big old eyes, and I'm like, damn. And the, what the hell's and going on inside her head? That's big old eyes and those big old bitties. <laughs> Gentle stare that worried her not for herself, but for me. Are you blowing your microphone right now? Now my mic's too close to my nose. Tosuka makes an evil smile. Oh god, what is she gonna do? Tosuka makes an evil smile. She then gets on top and screams, You know what you're gonna do, big boy. Shut the fuck. 
This is just having fun. You're gonna make me a god damn sandwich. And be like, oh no, I don't want to make a sandwich. My cookie skills are ass. <laughs> She's just the ultimate femdom. <laughs> What's fucked up is that people are actually into that. Yeah. Maybe prejudice, but... Yeah, and you feel like there's a problem with their personality. Like there wasn't one already. We walk through the nighttime town. It's past one in the morning, and... There's no one at this time. Lights in the houses are out, and all the street lamps illuminate the silent town. Not gonna lie, that actually sounds like it is comforting though, like taking a walk at night time just feels surreal. Yeah, I'm terrified to walk at night in my neighborhood. Yeah, mine too, but God, if it isn't like, it does, it would feel kind of weird. It's like, how do I say it? Uh, how do I say it? Um, ah, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. I'll hear it, but how long will it take to the next place? Do you know? Well, if you're walking for a while, I guess I'll take a taxi. It's one in the morning. How are you expected to get there? I'm gonna take the train that's not running, even though I think Japan has. No, Japan doesn't have 24 hour bullet trains. You wish they did. そんな余分な金は使わないし、俺が言いたいのは女の子が夜で歩くのはどうかってことだ。最近物騒なのは知ってるだろう。もしものことがあったら責任持てないぞ、俺。I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. 安心しなさい。相手がどんなやつだろうと、ちょっかいなんて出してこないわ。She's right. Whatever it is, if someone attacks her, we counterattack viciously. Lin, Shiro wa ima nani wo itakatta no desho. Watashi ni wa likai deki na katta no desu ga. Eh? Oh yeah. Taishita kanjigai puri te yu ka. Homa nu ke te yu ka. Nan de mo, watashi tachi ga chikan ni osoare tara, Emiya kun ga taskete kureru nda te. That's some good soda. So that one guy watching us. What do you think of the stream so far, guy? And then my little break. <whistles> chips, chips, chippy, chippy, chips.
I'm back. What did I miss? Just my ASMR crunching of eating ruffles. Who's that in the poncho? Take a guess. Uh, I'm assuming one of the sisters or his siblings or something. Nope. Oh, that's her. Oh, it's fucking Saber. Shiro no master. So Oh my god, really? Oh, that one was good. Yeah, I mean, shit wrong. So you don't think about it, I don't think I try to get. I try. I try the greatest of girl as is coming sooner or later. Yeah. So it's a good saber. Now know each other well. Now talk to each other. Saber isn't smiling. Ever since I stopped her from going out just like she was, she said she went to take off her armor, so I made her wear a raincoat. We've been quiet ever since. Now she follows me and only speaks to Tosaka. But where are they going and what are they doing? Trying to head back to Ren's house. I don't want to walk, walk alongside them, so I quickly made my way to a small side road. They follow me without objection. Right, new view of the bridge. We come on to a park. We need to cross the bridge to go to the neighboring town of Shinto, but. Eh, Don't these children have school tomorrow? <laughs> That's why I said realize. they're walking at one in the morning back to Rin's house, which means it'll take two hours. One going from Ren's house, and then an another hour going back to Shiro's. He'll be going to bed at 3 in the morning. These kids are going to be exhausted. Yeah. Maybe just because it's nighttime. So the face looks up at the bridge. It's even more beautiful than at school. I'm troubled. I hurry towards the who is sending snow in the park. Make your way up the stairs. Dude, I've probably eaten enough sugar and I can kill a fucking baby deer. <laughs> Meanwhile, my I had a whole ass... cup of marshmallow. Meanwhile, my dumbass is still chugging down a fizzless Coke. Dude, I feel like fucking L right now from Death Nut. I'm like. And a whole thing of marshmallow fluff, like those little things you can get from TikTok. Ah. Uh, those XO marshmallows. Uh, they're actually, their raspberry ones are actually really fucking good. I see why people want them back. And then I have, uh, I'm eating some two packages of crimpets. <sighs> There's no one on the bridge. That's only really natural. Is Dude, we, we really need to play detective maybe at some point. That'd be fun. Nancy Drew? No. <laughs> what? I used to play those all the time, and they're actually pretty damn hard. It's more normal to use the bus or the train to get to a neighboring town, so... This bridge is barely used. I'm kidding, I'll play some Nancy Drew. I like the one that's in Japan, that one's fun. <laughs> I guess that's technically legally the only one we can play since it's JRPG torture. I mean, I wonder why you like it. It's not like it's your name. It's not like it's where I want to go. It had this. I already played for most of it though. It has this really annoying picture puzzle where you have to like unpeel this weird ass photo frame. It was a pain in the ass. Because it was for so long and it carries a fear that I might collapse on you. I must be why this place isn't used for dates, even though it's perfect location wise. Be <sighs> like, yes, I'm a lonely virgin, but I'm not willing to do that. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, stay lonely virgin. I don't care. 
I mean, I dumped someone that asked me out when I was in middle school. And I literally just said, nah, I'm good. I dumped someone who, who I dated in high school for like a week. I dumped, um, some, I dumped someone the moment they even asked me. Let's stop talking about this. We're starting to sound like Kike Kamori's. Because we are. I know. <laughs> Shippers following me silently. And Jessica's walking right beside me. Here's the thing. Middle school, I was stupid. But at the same time, I dodged the bullet. Because apparently she was hella toxic. I mean, I didn't used to be when I had a job. But now my shoulder's fucked. I can't do that job anymore. Shippers so now this is me technically my job. Yes, and unfortunately... Entertaining you idiots. I love you all. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to ignore them and hurry across the bridge. Quit following me! Beyond the bridge, Tosca leads us into the suburbs. Hey, you know what? For hey, why did, J why did Jason Voorhees quit his job? He was outstanding in this field. No, because the hours were killer. God damn it. <laughs> that was perfect. We started this stream off so good, and now it's just like we're just bored now. We used up all our good jokes. We're not bored. I'm having fun watching these guys have a nice leisurely walk. So bored. No, I like this novel. The suburbs are more extreme Wait. of those. Hilly roads and a high ground overlooking the seas. Then again, not much has happened during this chapter except for exposition, 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 and more exposition. And world building. And exposition. In the foreigner's cemetery building, the slope of the hill can be seen. Tosca takes off her blouse really weirdly. I watch in the moonlight. <laughs> Can you imagine if it actually said that? I wouldn't hold it against it. Dude, why did he say I should just open a thing from, like a sex scene from, uh, whatchamacallit, just start reading it, and be like, oops, wrong visual novel. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but it'd be really funny just to catch you off guard, I shouldn't have told you. Damn it. Nah, I know you're gonna do it. I'm not, that would actually get us banned off Twitch, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I know that, but that's why the censor button's a thing. <laughs> I know. I'm still gonna read the sex scene when it comes up, but ha one of us has to. You're going to read it, because I have family and siblings. Yes, so I'm going to read it so they can hear me. Because I'm still going to see it, even if you put that sensor bar up. Just being streamed on my end. Wait, don't we have a sensor content button, though? Yeah. We can just censor it when it comes up. Yeah. Wait, we have adult- apparently this version doesn't have the sex scene, from what I've been told. Most likely. I think? I don't know. Because I think it's the PSP version doesn't have it, right? Just a scene from the anime. Look at number two, the top of the hill. Me. No, I just- um, no, I was joking. It's like, just shows a scene from the 2006 anime. Yeah, where they're just... Oh, I love do I love freaking anime sex scenes where they're just in bed together. You might see, like... You might see them, like, just climb on top of each other ready to do it if you're lucky. <laughs> Job is reincarnation. Should just atop the hill. Never thought I'd visit God's house for the first time for a reason like this. Hey, God, uh... Can I have bigger balls? Just <laughs> like also, can you just stop this holy grail war? I don't I don't I don't mind not having the kush. Just just don't just end it, please. I don't wanna die. <laughs> it's canon that the thing's just full of weed. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. It's just just full of weed. <laughs> the characters just figure out no one actually gets a wish, it's just full of weed and people hallucinated that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, our version is full of fucking kush. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> church is magnificent. The Wait, is Kush still be the church's is Kush still illegal in Texas? Yep, but we're allowed to get... Not it. here, baby! Here's the thing. <laughs> it's illegal in Texas, yet we're allowed to own tigers. So that says a lot. We're not allowed to even own... Dude, we're not allowed to own shit for exotic animals. 
Like I wanted a sea otter for the longest time. Can't have one. They're bad. One of the one of the stereotypes for Texas is that the Texas is that people <laughs> I wouldn't own... just buy a sea otter, of course. The thing I don't is, know how is that when a stereotype with Texas is that Texas always has tigers in every corner. <laughs> the only exotic animal I know you're allowed in Jersey is skunks because we have a lot of farmers, and they tend to chase rats out of barns and cat. Skunks are literally just cats with stink glands. That's what they are. <laughs> no, I thought that was. I thought that was. Um... What are those animals called? Uh, raccoons. Because they'll chase right inside the barn for you. That raccoons are just garbage cats. I mean, that's what most rodents are. That are like the big rodents, at least. Right, cats? Church isn't that big, but it is compelling towards over towering over its visitors. Sure, I'll remain here. Last time I... Last time God looked down on me, he saw me doing something really unholy. I was at a bar mitzvah. So, did she piss off God or something? Well, she, well, maybe, I don't know. That's the initial budget inch, so I decided to respect her decision. He just goes into church and his throat gets immediately split. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to we do it. Perhaps Archer do it. Oh, yeah. It is a large, impressive chapel. It's so large, maybe we'll also come here during the day. It's a Christian chapel. That's interesting. Yeah. Hold on. He's Wait, so they said the church. priest is in charge of everything? If he's entrusted with such a church, the priest here must be a man of character. Be right back, I'll blow my nose. Tick tock, tick tick tick, a re tuck. Don't know, he took up there, said the messer no muscassiwane. Junior line of cheese in the kiddo. Wait, when did you hit A? I just saw the thing tra transition about you been talking. <laughs> you were about to say something, were you? <laughs> I was just resting my eyes when we were gone. I woke I, oh, my eyes and you're like, hit A. I hear you hit A. <laughs> Uh, he's... Uh, I don't know. He just, uh, like, sometimes he'll just take me to, like, I don't know. He's, a he's supposedly a friend of the family. Yeah, let's take me to those, those little brothel things. I don't know what they are when I was a kid. I don't know. I just heard women screaming, Oh, take me, daddy! <laughs> Be like, it's like, yes. <laughs> All I heard is just a bunch of women just yelling for him to use the hand of God on their butts. I don't know why, but he did. Hand of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for some reason they recounted the Bible every single time. I don't know why, but she did. And all of a sudden, I, they they come they come out and they like they have like wipes up on their face and they're always putting on their clothes for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, my dad said the white stuff was just frosting, but uh, I think I know better. He's like, yes, like a Santa Claus isn't real and the Easter Bunny is a fake. Fuck the Easter Bunny. Also, thank you, Informative Clo, for the follow. Yeah, thanks, man. Sorry for putting. Thanks for putting up with our bullshit. Yeah. Uh, 
親戚じゃないけど私の後見人よついでに言うと兄弟子にして第二の師っていうところ。Oh, your second teacher. So he took you to the, to the those fucking things as well. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay, we might be getting a little too dark with the brothel stuff. Let's tone that down a bit. Yeah, sure. But then again, it's a priest. How can I not? <laughs> I know. But let's not forget these characters are 16. 17, technically. But yeah. Why、well, don't they have sex later on? But let's not get too banned from YouTube here. Yeah. I need a step. I like how. Hey, Telescope, have you seen my condoms? Like how, I like how they say Majutsu when it's just Magus, but I'm guessing that's just the way they say it. Oh, wait, what did it say? Majutsu? Yeah, that's what he says. Jutsu means technique, so I don't know what the fuck. That's a weird translation. I'm guessing Magus is just like. I don't know. I think they're, I think they're like... saying Magus, but because, you know, Japanese. Tongue, it ends up saying Majitsu, but it's in reality Magus or something. Oh, oh they're saying Magicus. Magicus. It's because it's a、uh, it's a Romanized word, so there's usually a U or an O, and it, there's usually a U ended to the end of it. Yeah, that's why I said, like, it's, it's just the way like, Japanese people talk. Yeah, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Like, there is, they're not like, it's not like a unique word, it's just like they just have a hard time saying it. My cat has his ass up at me for butt pets, and I love it. <laughs>、uh, I wish I could have my cat in here, but unfortunately, he'd probably try to pee on me. Try to do it once before. I've been peeing on my cat. Just take a shower. Yeah. But then again, if that happens. Take a shower and wash your clothes. Here's the thing. I've had cats my whole life. It's not a problem. Yeah, my family has them. We've had dogs mostly. We're dog people. I'm the only cat person. Yeah. Then again, the only cat I, cats that I've had a, that have peed on me are ones that have, are older and have bladder problems. By their nature, I'm Magus in the church. My cats, have been, my cats are good at going in the litter box. The organization that Maggie belonged to was called the Magic Association. Very unique, I know. It's the greatest name of all time, like Harry Potter. In the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> Now, the side of the religion, the side you wouldn't see while living a normal life, is called the Holy Church. Dude, it's not as bad as my temporary name from my spy comic I want to write, which is SPO, which means Secret Police Organization. The two are barely similar. They cooperate in name, but they're always trying to kill each、It、other when given the、changing. chance. Ah, so basically, the church hates the mages, and the mages hate the church. Kiss it, girl, life! The church. Son, I, I saw you reading. Like this. Son, I saw you reading that Harry Potter.、Uh, you know, if you read that, you're going to hell, right? But, Daddy, the Jewish gnomes are. No, I can't、Shit. finish that with. <laughs> I, I can't finish that joke with full conscience. <laughs> I, I stop myself like, oh god, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm like, no. <laughs> the church hates heretics. No anti-Semitism. They inhuman and they count magic <laughs> using humans as their targets. For the church,、uh, miracles are only given to the chosen holy saints. Any miracles handled by other people. Are heresies. But daddy, I like Hagrid! Hagrid has diabetes, and if you keep reading Harry Potter, so will you. But also, daddy! Re <laughs> also, rest in peace to Hagrid actor, bro. He was a homie. Yeah, really. That guy was awesome. The only、yeah. actor that I know, there's only a few actors alive from the original cast. That's the guy who plays Mad Eye Moody. I know he's fine. The dude who plays, uh, or the woman who plays McGonagall is good. She's old. She's very old, like the lot of them. Do you know the dude who did Mad Eye Moody was、church. also in,、uh, I think I brought this up, was also in、uh, 28 Days Later as the、uh, dad? Uh. The guy I... that got fucking zombie spooge in his eye and died as a result? Most bullshit death in a horror movie, by the way. And I stand by that. The higher ones rise in the church, the more one is prohibited from impurity of magic. And for a follower entrusted with a church like this, the more divine protection one receives, the more one should stay away from magic. Yeah. Wait, hang on one second. If the church hates magic, first off, if the church hates magic, why are they in a church? Second, if anyone can become a, one of these spirit hero things, Jesus could totally become one. So, why does the church hate the magic if Jesus can easily just become one of these dudes? I think it's just a simple case of hypocrisy. Third, 
This is Japan. They don't like Christianity. Yada yada yada. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's just a. I think it's just a regular case of being a hypocrite. They hate magic, but if they want to summon someone to their side like God, they'll willingly do it. It's just a simple case of being a hypocrite. Cat, you pee on that pillow. You're out of here for the night. Speaking of cat pee. I have one cat that will disregard her litter box and it's even slightly dirty and it's very annoying. <laughs> Tosuka's footsteps echo as she approaches the altar. It's bad manners to do that when the priest isn't here, but so late at night. We'll it's weird, because cats are usually... As long as you put like a bit of litter down for a cat in their like little box when they're a kitten, they will litter train themselves. <gasps> he won't like, be you don't have chapel. to intervene. The only thing you have to do is clean it and put litter down. So if he's anywhere, it'll be the private room in the back with all his ladies and all the nuns. Hmm. It'll be the private room in the... Oh, yeah, let's not make that <laughs> joke. <laughs> it'll be in the quad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just said something really bad. Oh, <laughs> God. I'm going to text you what I said. Don't say it out loud. Yeah, don't worry. Let me see it. Let me see that bitch. Hang on. I'll message you what I said on Discord real quick. Do not say it out loud. I'm not. I'm hoping not to. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> we'll get banned so quick. <laughs> how how banned we talking? Pretty banned. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you tending me? What is this? What are you I just have to me? say this somehow, and I can't say it on Twitch. All right. Let me see it. Let me... <laughs> oh, that makes it look even worse. <laughs> they love it. <laughs> Shut up and don't say that. I almost said it. I'm like, oh fuck, no. Well, well, if Shiro was younger, the priest would definitely go for him. I was being. So, I was, never mind. I didn't say it. I know you'd say it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're edging. I if I said it, that would have been one of the bits we'd have to cut from the YouTube video. <laughs> Bro, we are edging so hard, dude. Namaiwa <laughs> Oh, this is the guy that adopted Rain or whatever. Yeah, it is. Let's stop. Let's notice our entry as he slowly appears on the other side of the altar. I'll take care of the priest voice. I got this. You didn't answer my repeated calls. And now you bring a strange guest? Hmm. I think he's the seventh one, Ren. By the way, I brought margaritas and nobody's drinking them. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> He's just a he's actually one of the good priests that don't do that, but he's just the gayest man ever. But you could tell he's evil because you could tell from his eyes. Look at his eyes. Aww. I just want to make the joke he's one of like the most wholesome gay people ever. <laughs> Which is ironic considering he's a priest. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it was the rules to report here when one becomes a master, right? Oh wait, never mind. But you can tell he's a villain, because look at his eyes. Those are... They have seen some shit. I'm just reading something that I might have to ban. And... Yeah, that's getting banned. What happened? Someone pouting viewbots. Ban. Guys, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but do not tout viewbots. Thank you. We are not that desperate for views. Please call Kotsumine so he turns to me. Not realizing, I step back. It's not scary at all. I don't feel any hostility from him. But Priest throws a presence to make the air around him feel heavy. Kedo. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I don't want to end up banging King Arthur. Glare back at the priest. King Arthur. I glare I mean, back I at do. the priest, trying not to lose against his presence. I mean, who wouldn't? That man is a Chad. Emiya. Shiro. Emiya. Shiro. 
and my back turns into a chill. Priestly smiles as if he met someone pleasant. That smile makes me. I think you, Emiya, your brought Ren here. If it not for you, Betches, she would not have come. I'm like losing my gay voice. What the fuck? Why can't I do it all of a sudden? The priest makes his way toward the altar. I'm going to get hill voice really slowly, damn it. Tosuka moves away from the altar and stands beside me. And that is that a start, bitches. I'm a Shimura, your favorite master, correct? I'm separated normally now, that voice is too hard to do. They keep up. Yeah. Oh, so he's the one who's in charge of the Holy Grail War. Yeah. He just gets to watch seven teenagers kill each other. That sounds like a priest, all right. I mean, the priest during the Crusades did it, so. I mean, he should be used to it. I see. This is serious. Does he really know nothing? Right? So you are coming to quit the show, Anta. Ah, wrong button. Ah, wrong button. Tosuka urges the priest. Oh, Korewa Korewa. So you Kotoka. Oh, I see, I see. That's how it is, huh? Understood. This is the uh, first time you ever depended on me. I mean, have we? Have you met yourself, dude? Emiya Shiro, I can never thank you enough. Father Kutumine laughs. The conversation makes me feel uneasy, so to speak. I keep staring at my butt, and I don't know why. <laughs> First, let us collect your misunderstandings. Hey, like you just straight up ignored what I said. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Listen, Emiya Shiro. Master has done a role you can give someone. Else, you can give someone else. Nor is it something you can stop once being chosen. Though, if you head into... No, no, no. <laughs> those, who have... those who have those command spells carved on, on them cannot resign for being a master. You must accept that fact. A lot of the way they say things in this novel is not the way I would say them, and it's driving me crazy. Legend those of Zelda, who have those. Legend of Zelda live action pick in works at Sony with West Ball directing, Nintendo co financing. Bullshit. They would never do that with Dude, Sony. Uh, you don't use the. It's common, like, grammar practice to not use two of the same words in the beginning of a sentence. Huh. The command spell is a holy mark. Becoming a master is a trial placed upon you. You cannot escape it just because it's inconvenient. Because if that was the case, this story would not exist. I can also make him sound like a vampire. He has the voice for it. Does he? You cannot be... You cannot be... Released. From that pain until you've obtained the Holy Grail. Also, I keep forgetting Berserk that looks a Dust and Lux is a thing. I need to buy one. Need to do what now? Buy the Berserk Deluxe Editions, but I'm afraid of buying it because my family. What do you mean? Uh, remember how I said I have sisters? They come plastic wrapped. Here's the thing I actually want to read them. Yeah, once you read them, put them in like a locked display case or something like I have mine. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you do that, everything will be as you desire. Emi Ashiru, your wishes, even cleaning out all the mud inside of you, is possible, yes. It is even possible to start everything. Oh, if he retires from being a... Wait, you can just retire? 
Therefore, you should desire it. When the time comes, you appreciate being chosen as a master. You should be thankful for the promotion. All you have to do is accept our holy mark. Oh, so we can make someone not be a、uh, servant or whatever. Master, priest words don't make any sense. Just confuse me more and more as I listen. But still, it's words soaking in my brain and cloud like blood. This could be an aneurysm. Now, I didn't say anything. I said that I was going to explain the rules to him. Yeah, this felt like、yeah, it, felt like it was deliberate. It felt like he was trying. Yeah, this is very obvious. It was deliberate. He's after something. A voice cuts in. Tosaka. That clears up my dizzy head. So, ka. こういった手合いには何を言っても無駄だからな。I see. Pointless to say anything to these kinds of people. So he's trying to take away his mortality, while he's still misunderstood. Morality. He tried to kill him, while he's still misunderstood. Hmm.、Uh, I guess it's true that compassion is not good for others, and I rather enjoyed it too. What? If you help him, you have to do a good thing for him, don't you? Yes. Of course, helping people means saving yourself in the end. Well, it won't do any good to preach to you now. So let's return to the main topic, Emiya Shiro. His arms are so fucking long. Also, look at his left hand. It looks like his. It looks like he just has no thumb on that hand. It's weird. Yeah, but look how long his arms are. It's supposed to be a somewhat standing, like straight, but the proportions are very off. Yeah, like, I think someone's keyframe artist went on vacation. Yeah, it's why I said like the、uh, that's why I said the art for later later series ended up improving a substantial amount. That's why I said this game needs a remake. The battle you've been dragged into is called the Holy Grail War. Have you learned from Rin that this is an all-out war between seven masters and seven servants? I hear it. Seven masters and seven servants. Rin. Indeed. Well, you're not committing these inhuman acts because we want to. I mean, technically, you are. I mean, <laughs> you're trying to get a magic MacGuffin that can make any wish. Why not make even Shenron cry? How does that not say you're willingly doing? Not. How does that even say that you're an unfortunate victim in all this when you're willingly doing this? Listen, I don't know why they're going for all this. You can just look for the seven Dragon Balls. It's so much easier. Yeah, you can just, and not only that, less death. Summon Shenron, like you can't kill anybody or whatever, but you can still have him do other stuff. Well, you, you know what's fucked up is that Metal, Dragon Ball is probably a thing because didn't they? Re- I remember they referenced Spider Man. <laughs> of course they did. Everything is a ritual to determine who is the most suitable to receive the Holy Grail. Which is obviously, dirt with these stories, something is gonna go wrong. Speaking of rituals, I have to go to the back for a moment. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ah, that was a good piss. I'm back. What? You thought I was gonna do something gross? Who are you? Well, technically, pissing is gross. So, yeah. You thought I was gonna make a dirty joke there? No. Well, pissing does count as dirty, so yeah. Shut up. <laughs> What? What, tri- What trials? But this priest doesn't think of this as a holy trials HD. Tri- oh, I well, do trials? we got, we gotta play trials, trials H trials do we, HD. Do we、it's、gotta a play very good motorcycle game? We gotta play try playing trials at some point because it's very fun. I loved it as a kid. I I was trying to make the joke like trials HD, a very good motorcycle game. I'll bet this priest doesn't think the holy girl war thing is a trial. Mateo, since you've been saying hi, saying hi, you've been saying hi, saying hi, but what's that exactly? Speaking of trials, have I talked about the extended warranty yet? Shut the fuck up. The Holy Grail. <laughs> Girl said they received the blood of the Christ. Here, 
considered to be one of the greatest holy relics and said to be capable of many miracles. Also, oh, basically, if you do summon Jesus, you'd be a guaranteed win because it was made with his blood. Wait, I thought the Holy Grail granted wishes, not miracles. The fuck is this game? I'm guessing it's just. I think it's saying that they're they're trying to say that miracles and wishes are the same thing. Dude, can you imagine if you get Jonah Ark? You'd fucking murder people. Oh yeah, here's the thing. She wouldn't be strong though, considering the fact that only French people know Joan Joan of Arc. Well, no, she wouldn't be strong because, like, yeah, it's it's such a weird story. Because I know it's real, but like everyone's thankful that she helped. Her soldiers that she fought with were like thankful that they helped, or that she helped them, obviously. But the fucking church at the time had all the power, so they went and executed her for fighting as a man. Thus, why well, you don't give power to the church? Thus, the French <laughs> Revolution. Viva Revolution! <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, not gonna lie, I am so happy the church lost power. Because of the fact that, for example, if you're gonna give religious maniacs power, it's never gonna be a good thing. It's one of the main reasons the Dark Ages happened. Yeah, because the church was like, we're gonna abuse humans in the name of God, when in reality, people were just, they were just pieces of shit. Also, let's stop talking about religion before we get massive flat, massively flagged on YouTube. Here's the thing: this game is making us. I mean, do you see where we're at? Yeah. Most common rumor about it: if this was our Dante's Inferno stream, we would get definitely flagged. <laughs> well, we talk about religion not all the time, but that's because we're in hell, and I can like bash it. But you know, we're kind of in a church in this game. Yeah, and. Twitter hates the church anyway, so who cares? Yeah, you're right. Basically, the Dark Ages, one of the leaning theories is that, like, because the church had all the power at the time, they were able to burn, a, but they essentially burned a bunch of literature, including a bunch of shit from the Library of Alexandria, which affected human knowledge and pretty much caused the Dark Ages, as we know it. Yeah. Combine that with the plague that was going on at the time, and a bunch of other stuff, and you have a recipe, like, literally almost all human knowledge was obliterated at that time. You know what's funny is that remember that one? I forgot one of the Purge movies said as a plot point where like the president was a batshit crazy fanatic of God or something. No, she was no. Which one are you talking about? Was it was a pur Was it the Purge? Uh, which Purge was it? I remember. I forgot. I saw what three it was. of them: the first one, the second one, and election year. I didn't watch any after that. It was the one where like sh this lady was trying to end the Purge because it was just morally wrong. Oh, in general. Purge election year. The best one. Yeah. Where it was like this government official who was like saw himself as a man of God or something, if I remember, remember right. Oh, that guy. He would like pray and then kill people. Yeah, that guy. Uh, that was like the best fucking Purge movie. And then they just got shitty after that because they started experimenting with the formula or didn't need experimenting. Yeah, because it's... But here's the thing. That guy's probably a, re a religious fanatic psychopath done right. Because if... Religious fanatics like him were to get power, they would try to bring back that time with the church. Dude, I need to watch. I need to watch uh, Blumhouse. I mean, not Blumhouse. I watch Blumhouse movies all the time. I need to watch uh, the first Purge because apparently that one's really good. Yeah, the most common rumor about it is that the one who obtains the Holy Grail will obtain the world. But that's just an invention, after all. The Holy Grail itself is almost something that exists but doesn't exist. But yeah, like. I'm glad the purge doesn't exist because of the fact that, first off, realistically, no one's that fucking psychotic. Yeah, no one. I feel like if the purge was actually exist, at most, the worst it will get is like, yeah, that would be murders, but that's only with the true psychopaths. Realistically, Listen, you everyone... say no one's that psychotic, writes in Death Note. Shinigami <laughs> hit by truck, 9.30 a.m. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Realistically, <laughs> not everyone's that psychotic. It's like, at most, a sane guy will just go to, like, a some shop and just rob the place. Killing... Well, it's the same yeah. question as, like, what if you had a death note? The fuck would you do to, like, kill one person and go burn it and forget all about it? Yeah, but here's the like, thing. If you were... That's, a, that's honestly the best way to use it. Yeah, because at this point, it's like, you already dug your grave, so it's like, don't push your luck, basically. Unless the Shinigami is a massive dill hole and decides to kill you after you get that one person, because... Technically, they don't reveal it till the end of the show, but a Shinigami has to kill the owner of the Death Note at some point that they give it to. Which is kind of dumb, but, you know. Yeah, whatever. and it was a guaranteed death sentence for Light, so... I mean... 
Shooting Yami can choose when, and apparently... So, the manga, the anime actually fucks up the ending and forgets to mention something really important. And that is? So, in the anime, in the manga, Light doesn't get shot to death. Instead, Ryuk gives him a heart attack because he figures if Light gets arrested, he'll have to sit on fucking Earth for thousands and thousands of years. Oh. But here's the thing. He only does... But in the anime... He does the whole go- like that's why I like the Death Note live action movies because they brought back the manga ending, which was a lot better. And but in the anime, oh. Ryuk just like Ryuk oh. just like I'm bored now. Fuck this, spy light and just you are it to the shoot him. you are the only one I've ever heard that actually said they liked the live action movies. I do no, not the one by Netflix. That one can go die in a fire. I'm talking about the really good Japanese ones, including the one that gave near a proper backstory. Those ones are all good. Oh, okay. You, you should clarify that. What cause... one did you think I meant? I'm well, not that, like. Here's the thing. Ew. Here's the thing. <laughs> you had to clarify that because that's why I said that you're the only one I heard that say anything good about Dude, it. Dude, because Netflix it's like... got their hands on another one of my favorite shows, and it fucking scares me. They're doing Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, I, I figured that out. I figured you saw that, but yeah, like. I didn't even know there was a Japanese live-action version. No wonder. Why didn't we get that one instead? Instead, we got the shitty There's, Netflix one. What we did, uh, they came with... I think they came with the Death Note Blu-ray collection. There, There's three live-action ones. They're all subtitled. They're all in Japanese and subtitled. Oh, wait, no. I think there's dubs. I don't remember. But I watched them all. They're actually all pretty good. Like, yeah, the effects aren't great because they're in Japanese. It's Japanese, but they pretty much tell the story in a really good way. Um, they pretty much did it, like, young adult movie style, they divided it into two movies, and then they had a, another one that was a prequel that explained more about Nier, which she desperately needed. Ooh. There's a lot of, like, new Death Note media, there's that new one they, like, Obata got really bored during the pandemic, so he literally wrote a new fucking Death Note book. Yeah, look, luckily, he made- Because he could! And that man's amazing for doing that. Yeah. I haven't read it, but it's really good, apparently. It's a direct like, sequel to uh, what happened after Light died. Yeah, it's a direct sequel, but it's more like just a spin-off. Don't spoil anything, I have not read it. No, I'm just saying it's a spin-off. <laughs> like, it's a one-shot, so don't worry. It'd be really cool if the studio that it Madhouse got Madhouse animated it as, like, a movie. Probably a short movie, because it's, it's only one. It totally could. It's a one-shot. No, it's not. Yeah, but it's a whole volume. They could totally do, like, an hour movie out of it. If they wanted uh, to. An or hour... Special. They could, hour 30 They could max. probably do, like, a... An hour 60-minute special. Be cool if Madhouse would do it. Because it's, like, pretty much, what if Death Note happened in the modern era? I disagree with Game Theory's theory on it, because Game Theory states that, like, oh, cell phones would ruin anything. No, they wouldn't. Cell phones would not ruin everything. Yeah, they'd make it harder. Smartphones, but they wouldn't ruin everything. Like, MatPat's whole thing is like, oh, if someone used a death note, people would know it's a death note in five seconds. No, they wouldn't. Not if you're cleverly hidden about it. Like, if so okay, so let me put this in perspective. Let's say, uh, Donald Trump dies of a heart attack in the White House, or something. Would you think it's the Death Note? No! Of course you wouldn't! So that, cause that would means be... it would spread to everyone's smartphones in seconds. Yeah, cause like- Also, sorry Trump supporters, I just needed a person. But like, yeah, like, uh, but like, yeah, like, I know. fucking, um, that's- the, let's that's... say, or let's That's... say, like, Biden just collapses into a fucking brain aneurysm in the White House. You wouldn't think it's a death note. Yeah, like... At least you're sneaky yeah, about it. Yeah, Matt... When I saw that theory, I was thinking Matt Pat's whole ground to stand on is hoping no is... one knows it's the death note. But here's the thing, like... Yeah, I get it. Like, if uh, a certain event that should not be named would have happened again, it wouldn't be like back then when it happened. Everyone would know about it immediately. Oh, I should say if this disaster strikes, everyone knows about it immediately because you know the night that the uh, whole thing in Ukraine happened, my like every news thing on my phone just went off like boom, boom, like it went off so quick that or no, you know what was first to report on it? Twitter was forced to say, first to say stuff, and then like I thought it was all a hoax, and then 30 minutes later, every news thing on my phone went off and said like Russia just invaded Ukraine, like boom, 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 and I'm like, whoa, that was that was like the most insane like. We're living in the modern era thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, but like, what, like, but like, like, holy but, shit, that's scary. But what Matt Pat's whole theory is that, like, 
if here's the thing no one would immediately think it's the death note sure it would be like huh that's awfully sketchy with the coincidence but they wouldn't think it's the death note immediately they would just think it was really sick yeah it's just like like that's why i, think I mean it's stupid because it's the like same if you were to just kill like kim jong-un or something people or kim jong-un or whatever the fuck his name is is it Un or ill now that's in charge of korea it's one of them ill i think but like yeah but like how do i say it that's how that's his whole theory is based off of but thing is does everyone know about the death note that's the thing like unless it's Here's very if i had the death note now it's doing what life does i would kill criminals with literal just the thing with Light that I learned recently is both him and L are sociopaths at a point where they where they enjoy the game with each other, enjoy outwitting each other, to the point where Light could have just stayed in his room and made way smarter decisions, never got caught, but instead he directly challenged L, and that's how the whole game of wits happened. And L could have easily brought in extra help from other places and not like brutally interrogated people, but he did anyway because they're both sociopaths. If and I had the death note in my hands. I would literally use the sickness clause and make people think that there's a plague going around. Because no one would ever suspect that shit. No yeah. one! Not only that, didn't L make the mistake of being best friends with the killer? Yeah, I mean, you say friends, but they they were gay lovers. You, you can't say they weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck anyone else who says no. no. Which I... is why when, like, the secondary protagonist, which people did not like, here's the thing. I know, like, it's not gay, but it's so fun. I, I, I know, that meme. I but, like, the new protagonist, die. the new guy after L that came out, I forgot his name. When he took it over, he made the smart choice. Don't be friends with anyone you might think are the killer. And, uh -huh. well, he found out about L and all that. Not, I want to like the BB murder like, novel, but it never got translated. The Death Note prequel, the BB murder case, never ever got translated into English, and it pisses me off. It did, but it's really hard to fucking find. It's so no. I don't know where people are finding the source for it. Yeah, they really just got poured a PDF on a Google and just put that on. That's why I read the that's, FF15 novel. I, that's why I read it. I think that's what it is, but I wish uh, Viz would actually make a proper please like light novel out of it like please <laughs> i want to read it but i also want to support i want to read it but i want to support the official release it's like one of those things ah uh, it's like it's like it's, yeah i'm the same way as well where it's like i could emulate metal gear but at the same time i want to actually play it like is this a series i really like yes Will I wait till it comes to America to actually uh, enjoy it? Yes, because I like the series and I want to see it prosper. I'm not going to pirate it like a dirty little pirate. I um, say pirating Death Note the first time I watched it. <laughs> here's the thing. Pirating anime, I don't think anyone has like, any morals here's the for thing. it. In my day and age, that's how you watched anime. Because you either A, didn't have... Like, well, I was I lucky and had a store that sold anime know, by me, albeit right. for exorbitant prices. But a lot of people didn't have that. Like, unless you had lived in, like, an urban area with a mall that had, like, an FYE or something in it, you were fucked. <laughs> or also, had, like, car cartoon or had cable with Cartoon Network, you were also fucked. Also, as a kid, so I didn't know why. Lost anime in my era. Also, as a kid, uh, I don't know why, when I got my first tablet, I remember going to Google Play Store and finding this really obscure Japanese-only game, and I'm like, what the hell is tablet? this? Dude, I used, to, I used to watch anime on a 240p fucking laptop. <laughs> Here's the thing. You want, my tablet fucking sucked. Because even when connected dude, to the internet, it ran like that ass. And try, dude, you say that, but my first smart device so slash laptop was a 240p Asus netbook. And that thing had worse resolution than a fucking <laughs> DVD oh, player. Oh, <laughs> God. Why? <laughs> It was one of the first computers to have an internal network adapter, and that's the only thing it had that was cool. <laughs> Wait, we're saying that to me or this guy? Can we just go on an entire tangent instead of reading? Yeah, luckily we can just re go through here. You know what we need to do? We need to have like a nerd stream where it's just us, like a picture of anime in the background, just have a complete nerd conversation. Maybe on Tuesdays or Thursdays? Oh, uh, Nerd Chat Thursday or something, where we just talk about, like, new shit we want to watch or, like, shit like that. No politics. I That's like how he says, like, alright, let's assume there is really is a Holy Grail War. Then why is it required to do something like the Holy Grail War? 
We shouldn't be killing each other if the Holy Grail exists. The Holy Grail is so great, we can all share the power. That is a fair argument, we, but we do not have such freedom. Only one person can take the Holy Grail. That's not something we chose, but what the Holy Grail decided. You didn't answer my fucking question. Listen, Satan forged it with his pitchfork, and he kind of likes it. Humans fighting in chaos. No, the lore between is Satan made it for everybody to use, but then God's like, fuck this, I'm bored. You're all gonna kill each other over it. A holy girl I'm with God, this power bitch. shall grant its owners unlimited power. This object's unreality is worthless in front of the truth. So he means that even if it is fake, it doesn't matter if it has powers that will overwhelm even the true holy grail. Wait, yeah, technically this only happens every thousands of years, right? No, How does anybody know this damn thing actually works? Uh, I did some research, and apparently... It's every 60 years, I'm guessing. Or at least every couple years. I don't know when. But for some so, reason... you want to know my headcanon? I'm going to make a prediction right now. Let's say, uh... Let's just say this whole thing is a test for humanity. You start killing people with the Holy Grail War, and then you finally get it, and you realize it doesn't do anything. And then you're left to lament what you did and why you did it. Uh, no, it sounds too easy. Yeah, but you know how dark that would be? It'd be brilliant. It would be brilliant, <laughs> but I doubt fate was that big brain, especially in 2004. I mean, I just like dark... See, when I write, I like making the characters go for existential crisis and, like, really think. I like getting the heads of characters. That's the mo That's why I like writing. It's fun. It's like, what would this character oh. do in this situation? Yeah, I remember now. Usually, it's every 50 to 60 years until the fit the fourth and fifth holy grail wars after that there was like a 10 year time skip now and it's like basically the time between holy grail wars ended or like shortened basically i'm assuming you know why i'm assuming with like modern technology like they didn't need to wait as long and they could fix everything like really quickly maybe because rin said it herself is she said 10 years ago her dad went to the holy grail war and lost and 10 years later there's another holy grail war yeah i feel like I feel like something's gonna go wrong in this one, like really wrong. Yeah, that's usually how stuff like this goes. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a shonen visual novel. Yeah, because I did some research on the Holy Grail Wars, and timeline-wise, they're usually like years upon years apart, like fifty to sixty, like I said. But the fourth and fifth ones were only ten years apart, which is very sketchy. Something was mistranslated in the sentence. What? He used the word Ningen, but that is just a way of saying human. Oh, never mind. He said people. I'm like, wait, did he say Ningen means human? See, you know what the problem with Japanese? A lot of words are hard that don't have definitive meanings are very hard to parse out. Yeah, it makes sense. The priest speaks it's, plainly. I can imagine Spanish is the same way, though. I have no rebuttal. I look down on my left hand. I have a curious question. Would you be able to translate a sentence in this game to complete Spanish? No. No? Is it that complicated to do? No, it's because of the fact you're talking to the wrong guy. I'm Hispanic, but my Spanish is ass. Oh, see, I have another friend that's very fluent in Spanish. Oh, well, give him a choice. <laughs> like, he'd be able to... He'll always swear... He'll... Dude, when I was out with a con at a con with them, him and his other Spanish friend were talking Spanish. I'm like, guys, English. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna make that a new precedent. When we hang out, like, dudes, English, please. <laughs> like, I wouldn't care if he wanted to teach you Spanish, but he never does. So it's like that's why I get mad. <sighs> there is a you know what I mean, though. Command spell must mean that as long as I have this mark, I cannot quit being a master. なっとくいかないな。一人だけしか選ばれないにしたって。他のマスターを殺すしかないっていうのは気に食わない。ちょっと待って。殺すしかないっていうのは。Did Either that, or the guy that translated it, um, made a lot of mistranslations. Didn't he just say, like, oh, you can just give everything up right now, and you don't have to go back to normal? I think... Uh, but yeah. of course, you're a shonen main character, so, yeah. You can't just give it up. 
キレイは黙っててあのねこの町に伝わる聖杯っていうのは霊体なのだからキレイ物としてあるわけじゃなくて特別な儀式で呼び出すつまり高齢するしかないってわけで呼び出すことは私たちもできるけど、oh, so、これは霊体である以上。Like、considering it as the blood of Christ, I'm assuming this whole thing's themed in Christian sacrifice then. Well, it's the whole, it's dude, literally the MacGuffin of Fate Stay Night is the Holy Grail. Of course it is.、Uh, I love the word MacGuffin. You know, I started using it. I was watching a Yu Gi Oh! GX review and he's like, Can you imagine if. Joey wasn't given one of the MacGuffins that the evil people have to get. I'm like, that's perfect. Dude, Cyrus and Shelmy got fucking screwed, and Cyrus got screwed until like season four when he finally confronted his damn brother in the Dark World. God, I never liked Jax on first feeling, but I really liked it on my second feeling. Because I never really binged Yu Gi Oh as a kid because you just couldn't do that. You were kind of stuck with whatever I had on Cartoon Network. What the hell? Apparently, there's going to be a Zelda film, but in live action. Why are they doing live action? It should have been animated. Because the Castlevania beds are di probably busy doing、uh, Tomb, Tomb Raider. Raider. And just、like、finished. They also just barely finished with Captain Laserhawk. Oh,、so. also, because of the、uh, current actor strike, which I support wholeheartedly, get them actors.、Um, a lot of productions are on hold because they can't get actors right now. This includes voice actors. Why do you think I haven't done any indie voice acting stuff? Because I'd be a scab, essentially. <laughs> I'm like, I won't. Want to really badly, but I can. You know, I think they said indie projects or school projects are fine. You said indie projects are fine. It's anything like that requires paid. Like, I'm not getting paid. I'm just like dicking around with like people who are like our age and doing stuff. Yeah. Huh. Like, we're not professional. It's like all of us have terrible mics, except for my nice blue yeti mic. You're not terrible, boy. You're good. Man, you're a good boy. You could have told me that earlier. <laughs> Honestly, tell me. I'm just patting my mic. You、mean. probably heard that. Yeah. Now I'm relieved. So even if Did, did he really just say, walk, these guys are being meanies? Oh、yep. my god. What are you, 12? Yes. He's... Say, these guys are being fucking assholes. Yes, he is 12.、God、How did you know? I'm an adult or I'm going to whip you with a wet fucking towel. <laughs> oh god. So even if we enter the Holy Grail War, Tilsa is not. I'm going to whip you with a wet towel. Oh, wet towel, you say? Go into my back room, please. <laughs> <laughs> that one right over your head. <laughs> yep. I'm like, I'll beat you with a wet towel. And then I had the priest go, What towel, you say? Go into my back room. This sentence right here. This is a plot point later on in, like, I think the movies. What did he say? I didn't read it. He said, can, Do you think you can beat your own servant? That's literally a plot point in the movies. I can beat my own servant. Hey, take off your clothes.、Saber? That's a command. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just starts whooping her ass with a fucking cattle prod. It's、Me? impossible. First place, <laughs> magic is used against her, and she is killed with her sword. She's killed with her sword. Why do I feel like if they run out of commands, that they're much like a Shinigami, their servant just has to kill them? They always say, oh, when you run out of commands, you're dead. Like, at this point,、What's、I feel like. What's he saying? Can't beat Saber, so there's no way I'm superior to her. Okay, can I say something? Yeah. I think, like, they're implying once you run out of commands, if your servant wants to kill you, they can just straight up kill you. Because that seems like what they're going for. I think that's it, because I think it was implied that some servants have. And you can't use a can... command to make them stop. From the way he's wording it, it seems, he, it seems to imply that there have been servants that have gone rogue before and attacked their masters. And I'm guessing the command seals are the only things keeping them from attacking him. That seems like the case. So I can't think of, like, like, if you have a good bomb at your servant, you essentially wouldn't need them. Yeah, but unfortunately, there are times where masters are dicks, and you know. Yeah, but you know what I mean, though. Like,、yeah. I have a good feeling that's going to happen to somebody in this. Piran! I mean, Archer's cool, but I don't trust him. サーバントはサーバントをもってしても破りがたいならばどうするか
That's right. Servants are hard to do. Oh, I forgot I'm reading his dialogue. See, it's such a simple solution. Servants can only exist with a master. No matter how powerful the servant is, the servant will disappear if the master dies. So. Wait, maybe that's what happens when you run out of command things, your servant disappears? I'm guessing that's the case. That could be it. But then it's fed by your own magical energy, so that would make this face confusing. There's a I'm reason you deal instead. <laughs> There's a reason people like to put the meme of no one, no one knows where to start with fate. People say like, just go for the visual novel and just put up with the with the long playthrough. Here's the thing. Even the visual novel is confusing because there's a fan translation which is not always accurate, which is the one we're playing. Dude, people always make the joke that Yu-Gi-Oh is the most complicated card game. This might not be a card game, but it sure sounds fucking complicated. Yeah. No one would choose Look, to the a hard way. There's the ongoing joke that I love in Yu-Gi-Oh, in early Yu-Gi-Oh Bridge. It's like, I must actually, like, that no one knew how to play the game until Season 2, and that's why Duel's Kingdom was the way it was. Oh god. It was an ongoing bridge joke and it was so fucking funny. And it's so when cheated halfway through Little Karima series, he's like, wow, I see my battle city rules were not even effective. <laughs> god, I feel so bad for Little Karima though, he's like in a really bad state right now. At least the comedians do, always. Like, why is it always comedian to end up getting severe clinical depression? Because this world's a cruel mistress, I bet ya. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Servants whose masters are killed do not disappear right away. They can stay in this world until their magical energy runs out. Didn't you just say if the servant was now? Fucking... I'm guessing they have a reserve in case their master dies. Wait, wait, wait. So let's say a master dies, right? And the servant still kills the other, uh, and the servant kills the other master, and it happened to be the last master. Does that mean the servant technically gets to use the Holy Grail to get his wish granted? Because aren't they in it for a wish as well? I think. But look what he says. A master with no servant can form a contract with them. That will allow them to rejoin the war. So essentially, if their master dies, it's not game over. They're essentially like on a last stand. Huh. And they need to find... We're going to forget about all this later and start... Dude, we're going to forget about all this like five, like five months in and just be like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, 100%. But thank God this game likes to remind us of all the basic shit. I should really start making a rule list. Nah, you'd be start right doing it now, now, actually. Start making a timeline. I'm gonna start making a list of fucking rules. Cause we're gonna forget this come later. 100%. <laughs> what is it called again? The what tournament? Holy Grail War? The Holy Grail War. Holy Grail Wars. Seven. Servants. And... Masters kill each other. Last one standing gets the grail. If wait, so they said if master dies, servant stays. If servant dies, master di what? <laughs> If a master dies, servants can still be around if they have enough magic energy if left. But if they don't, they die alongside their master. Dies. Servants can. Servants can still stay alive for a bit. For, yeah, for a limited amount of time until they yeah. find a new master. For a bit. That's probably what happened to that one dude with the spear. Yeah. That's probably what happened to freaking Kakoan. For a bit. Holy. Grail can only appear after fight is done. Servants can and will bone their masters 
<laughs> all right, that's all the important rules done. <laughs> all right, here's what I got so far. Holy Grail war, war rules. Seven servants and masters kill each other. And kill each other. Last one gets the Holy Grail and the Kush. I almost forgot the most important bit. I'm going to reread that and be like, there's weed involved? Like five months later, forgetting we made this joke. Yeah. If a master dies, the servants stay alive for a bit. Holy Grail can only appear after the war is done. Servants can, can and will bone their masters. Like you said, and will. <laughs> yeah. Well, I already know. Uh, let's see here. If command seals are used up, master... You will lose. Alright, I think I got all the important shit written down. My mom just finds that sticky note looking for my Christmas list and she reads all that. <laughs> Being like, what the fuck? She's the only one I'll get my phone password to in case of emergency. If there, if there exists such a magus, he isn't even an amateur, but just a chicken. Huh? <laughs> he just roasted his daughter. <laughs> his Ooh. daughter did it twice. Rin, she already used two command spells. <laughs> what did she use the second one to do again? Have him clean. No, to, um, power up Archer, I think. No, but she still has one, right? Yeah, she has one. She used two of them. She's the first one to make him obey, even though he would have. And she oh, used the second one to do something. Oh, I remember. It's when they were getting chased by Saber. Oh. Uh... I think that's it. Oh, he knows she did it. <laughs> I'm I taught you better than that, you bitch. That priest is making fun of me. Oh no, she's talking. Uh, he's talking about Shiro. Shiro didn't use one. I think did he use one? I think he was one. For was... what? <gasps> ah! I, I was gonna go wash. I was gonna go blow my nose and my. I stubbed my toe on my door. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, but Shiro wouldn't have even known what the command spells do. Why would he even go to even use one? Unless he used one automatic. Oh, wait. Did it go off when uh, his he servant was... saved him out of nowhere? Yeah, it was when he was fighting Lancer, I think. That makes sense. Ah, my pinky toe. <laughs> Why is it always the pinky toe? Ow. Because God Why? hates pinky toes. It's like God has an agenda against picky toes. Why? Ow. The price again to heaven is he just cuts it off. Ow. Fuck. I just imagine St. Peter with a big pair of pliers. Oh. Please yeah, you, 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 just trying to you just go to heaven me. and God's like, or St. Peter's like, you're a pretty bad sinner, but uh, if you want me to cut off your pinky toe, we can forgive at least one of those. Son of voice pisses me off. Next voice pisses you off. Say it. Sate. So we will finish the explanation of the rules. Well, then let us return to the beginning, Amy Shiro. Oh, is he gonna explain all the rules? Good, I'm writing them down.君は今考えた通り、レジを使い切って聖母との契約を立てばよい。その場合、聖杯戦争が終わるまで、君の安全は私が保証する。あ、ちょっと待った。なんだってあんたに安全を保証されなくちゃいけないんだ。おお。以来
fucking the other dude's still after him because he saw their fight, so he's fucked regardless. Yeah, he can guarantee that, that's why I kept saying, like, he can guarantee their safety, basically saying, hey, servants can't attack this man because, you know, he's not in the war anymore. Yeah, but he's technically still collateral because of the whole thing with, uh, what's-his-face? Yeah, but, like, I think it's because he's saying he protects him, like, from any servants that are going to try to harm him. So I'm guessing Unless he's going to keep... the church is, like, a safe spot or something. Yeah, that's probably what I'm guessing. He's probably... I guess in the church is a safe spot, and basically, like, anything... There's no killing allowed there. It's all off-limits. I mean, that or he needs another choir boy. <laughs> Shut up. But, like, yeah. But, like, how to say it? I think he's implying that since he he himself is not in the war anymore, but everyone else doesn't know that. Thus, you know. But he is in the war, though. Because he still has his command seals. It's, oh. if, it's if he gives up. If he gives up, then the priest will protect him. Thing is, everyone else doesn't know that he gave up. So they're still going to come after him regardless. Wait, so if you use all three, you're just out, or you can just use one to not be in the war anymore? If you use all three, you're basically have no control over your servant, and they're they're free to leave them. I gotcha. It's a really dumb rule, but I have a feeling they're going to really abuse it later on. 100%. We're still in like, the early stage of this. I have a feeling it's going to get to where we're not even like having these casual conversations. We're just reading frantically. Yeah, because it's like, because most of the time nothing really serious is happening. We're just getting context about the world. It's when shit goes down is when we're probably going to shut up. Oh, I shut up for that whole fight. I've been dispatched and supervised to repeat it. Ah, that, ex that explains it. So, yeah, Wait, so is he just like a supernatural figure or something? I think this guy's meant to like, if there's any casualties, he's trying to minimize casualties essentially. But... If so I remember church correct, is a home base, then. Uh, from what I'm guessing, I remember when um, they met Kukulain before in during the fight with Archer, that he said, I, I may be wrong, did he say it was his master's orders to kill anyone that that's seen the fight? No, they said that they said that people in the Holy Grail War have to do that. So that means, regardless or not, He's just there to minimize casualties, so therefore, like, if anyone got seen during those fights, they could come to him for safety. But then again, Archer, like, just plain didn't want to do it on his own accord, so that could have just been them? Maybe. Like, yeah, like I said, they still have control. Not only that, Rin wasn't interested in killing, uh, Shiro. Because you so. think her, wait, yeah, you think her dad would have told her to, like, kill any witnesses, but, or, like, him, or he would have, but he didn't, so... I'm I guessing we misconstrued um, what they said. I'm guessing that was just pity talking because he's like she just felt really bad for the guy, and it's just like you know what, I'll give this guy a chance to run. Maybe he'll finally live somewhere in peace without. Wait, the no, war. but I think she when she was going to heal him, she said that yeah, I have to. He must die because it's the rule of the Holy Grail. Where I think she reiterated it. Yeah, she reiterated it, but I think revived him out of pity. It's kind of a dumb rule, though, because you like, can you imagine if just a fight broke out in the middle of a fucking city block because you, you just couldn't control your servants? Technically, everyone there would have to die. That's a really yeah, dumb scenario. It's a dumb scenario, but I'm guessing when they have a fight, they make sure of it that it's in a really, really secluded place, as in literally no one will show up regardless of where you're at. Even if Almost there's like as a dumb as the opening scene of Saw 7, which is one of the worst Saw traps ever designed. Is it that Both. one where is it the one where like I two ex boy is it the one where two ex boyfriends fight over a girl? It is, and Jigsaw puts it in a miserable fucking building <laughs> where everyone can see it. I'm like, if the public wanted to, they can just shoot the glass, break it, and save everyone. But they didn't because of our own hu morbid human curiosity. Which bringing that up, Gantz touches on that quite a bit. We're not going to get into Gantz right now. We're talking about Saw. But like, yeah, I'm guessing that's the case because how do you say it? Still, though, he says he wants to minimize casualties, so I'm guessing he feels pity for the people that had the unfortunate fate of witnessing those fights, so he's, like, there in case someone wants to be safe during the war. Or he just brings him in and kills him himself, just, like, peacefully or something. Maybe that's the case, who knows? 
But like he said, he wants to minimize casualties. So I'm guessing he's just there to make. Oh, maybe he's the one that tells him where it's fine to fight. Maybe it's, he's saying he's a supervisor. So I'm assuming he just oversees that everyone follows the rules. He's there to make sure everyone follows the rules, and I'm guessing. You know, technically there are no rules. And from what I'm guessing, since the town had five, from like, because like I said, I did a bit of research. Apparently, Fuyuki City is a hotspot for Holy Grail Wars, and I'm guessing it's because of the fact so much supernatural bullshit's going on, and that there's a lot more mages around the city. It's like, it's very hard for regular civilians just to stumble upon it. So I'm guessing a lot of the fights, they pick their times where they're going to go hunting for servants, or hunting for masters. Which is why I think... I mean, which is why the I think, park itself is fucking cursed, so... Which is literally. why... Yeah, which is why I think two of the fights that we saw so far were always at night. So I'm guessing they do this in secluded areas. Because, I bet you well, the two people fighting at the end of the last Holy Grail War were Rin's father and probably somebody else, and that's what started, and his father, which is probably what started the fighting. Rin's father, Shiro's father, and someone else, but who knows. Or I guess Shiro's master, who was a Magus, maybe? Yeah, was fighting said, her dad. Yeah, that's, that's what I, started the fight. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Because we're from that town, so... From what I can tell, it seems like... very likely. Yeah, because for, from what I can tell, Masters... How do I say it? Unlike Rin tells like because Rin, Rin's kind of stupid here. Uh, everyone else seems to be pretty smart when picking their targets. They always go at... From what I can tell, they always go at night. They always fight in secluded areas. And... They always make sure there's no one else around to watch them fight. And even if there is, their servants are swift with taking out anyone that's seen the fights. You know, it'd be fucking hysterical, but I know they're probably not going to do it because it seems like it's all teenagers. Yeah. Which is probably why this guy looks like a fucking youth pastor. Uh, anyway, they're pro it'd be hilarious if uh, Tiger D was one of the fucking combatants. Huh? It'd be hilarious if their te Homer teacher was one of the combatants with how much of a ditch she is. Well, here's the thing. She's here for a reason. Are those all other competitors? I think so. That Hold makes on. five. So that means there's two we don't know about if that's the case. Repeating. Does he mean that the kind of battle happened many times before? This dude literally just... just watch his teenagers kill each other every ten years. Well, yeah, it makes sense because the fact that he said he was a supervisor, which means obviously there's tells that this has happened before. I mean, he's probably there to make sure the town doesn't get fucking nuked into a non existence. That's what I'm guessing. That's why I said, like, I what they meant by casualties so no one just goes and murders an entire school like they already tried to do. Yeah, not yeah. That's why I say like not only that. If a ma I'm guessing if a servant goes rogue and attacks people in public, the master's the one that takes the blame. So I'm guessing the master's just there to keep their servants under control. <sighs> that and to most likely guarantee that they don't get spotted. So I'm, that's probably why um, Archer's master told them about the instructions. They were trying to recover the true cross of Christ, but now they're just here to investigate the Holy War. Is that like the thing that causes all this? Who knows? It may be the case, but we don't know. Kyokuto no chi ni kansok sare ta dai 726 seihai o chousa shi kore ga tadashii mono de aru no nara kaishu shi so then I could ever hit a Wait a minute. This is 726 Holy Grail. 
So are they saying that the Holy Grail has existed in the past and is in many forms? Or is the Holy War, only the Holy Wars happened because of the fact that it only happened during the 721st? Something must have happened. Well, it's the 726, so I don't know. So there, And there were five Holy Grail Wars, so what the hell happened? Well, that means there are 726 Holy Grail Wars. Yeah, but the thing is, like I said, I did my research on them. Like, there was only five. So, what started the wars? Oh, that seemed like it. Oh, okay. So maybe the ones, most of them are just fucking duds. Maybe. Which is why I made the joke about the dud earlier. Like I, <laughs> like I were genuinely invested in this plot. <laughs> yeah. It's like you, you even went out of your way to make a rule book. Well, yeah, because I know this game is going to fucking pull shit later. First battle occurred over 200 years ago. Since then, the battles between masters have been repeating in a cycle of about 50 years. Wait, hang on. 200 years ago? That means there are only four. But this takes place in 2004. This is the fifth Holy Grail War since the one since the last one was 10 years ago. This will be the shortest cycle yet. So it's usually 50 years, but because it's a weird fucking town, this is going to be the second one in 10 years. Yeah, like, something caused the fifth one to just jumpstart 40 years early. So what the whatever the hell happened caused it to just, you know, happen early. I guess in the yeah. fourth, the fourth one was probably the last normal one. That was the usual fifty years, but now the fifth one is only ten. Which is like, why did it happen so early? That is the main question. Yeah, God was probably bored and just wanted to see teenagers kill each other. Yeah, that's probably it. that's how that's how that's how these death games usually go. Hi, Monokuma. You will kill each other for my amusement. This guy sticks off his, his wig and he's Monokuma. Yes. I wouldn't even be mad. Dude, I love death game stuff. I wouldn't even be mad. Yeah, I'm not writing these rules down because we already know this. Yeah. Or as I like to call, he, he just reiterated the Harry, what I like to call the Harry Potter clause. Which is a thing I hate in these kind of fantasies, it's like... Why would it matter? Because of the fact that, well, it's obviously we're going to break the rules, so it's like, there should, unless they have like a lot of contingencies for that, I doubt it would be the case. The only reason I would see that as in like a thing is because like, oh, the world governments are going to, you know, abuse the power of magic to, you know, for their own misdeeds or some shit. I'll read this whole paragraph real quick because I want to, I really like the end of that sentence. I think you already know, but it's the highest crime for a magi to use his magic in public. A magus can't be, cannot, cannot allow his identity to be revealed to the public, but masters in the past have violated that. The magic association dispatched a supervisor to caution them, but they only made it in time for the, Holy, for the Third Holy Grail War. The one dispatched then was my father. Do you understand now, boy? <sighs> So his dad was dispatched because people were fucking being dirty little mages and using magic in front of muggles. Got it. <laughs> but 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe because of the fact you have people indiscriminately murdering anyone that even remotely sees or hears the fighting. That, and the fact that it's all 17 to 16 year olds doing the killing. Not only that, isn't it really sketchy that this one was 40 years early? Maybe that's why they're all teenagers in this one and the other people were adults in the last one. Yeah, they probably had time to grow and actually grow their power. Well, in this case, they're probably they're probably so, desperate. He's probably nervous as fuck that it's all teenagers. He's like, this one's gonna go wrong so fucking quickly. Which it Thank does. God I have this. Which it does, considering the fact there's 18 days, which means shit goes to hell in just two weeks or two and a half weeks. I mean, I think the longest death game I've ever played in the visual novel was, uh, or actually the shortest was, uh, Zero Escape 2. Shit goes to hell in five days. Boy. Watch Power Rangers. But as expected, oh god, this guy's a shonen noob. But as Shut up, Siri. But I didn't as... need a shonen anime list. <laughs> but as expected, <laughs> Kotsumina Kirie laughs. Masaka. By the way, we have exactly 10 minutes unless you want to go another hour to finish this chapter. Well, it's midnight where you're at. We usually finish at 1. We might actually finish a chapter tonight. Yippee! Wow. So basically, and if they win the war, the association does, just doesn't care. It's just like, eh, hey, you can do whatever the fuck you want. If who wins the war? Like whoever wins the war, the association is no longer their problem, or the association, yeah, wanna... the association just doesn't care anymore. So it's like, yeah, okay, he... that that guy won. He'll do whatever he wants. I just wish for Mars to explode. Why, though? Because it's fucking Mars. <laughs> no, I just wish some Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. So that's why that happens. <laughs> fucking. That would align around that time, too. <laughs> I wish Pluto wasn't a planet anymore, but, but why, though? Because I want Pluto not to be a planet anymore. <laughs> Just whoever wins makes the dumbest wish ever. What would you wish for if you won the Holy Grail War? I don't really know. No, I actually, honestly, like, I don't really want a lot. Maybe money, but that was it. See, my curiosity could get the better of me, and I would want to see what happens if I wish everybody who died during the Holy Grail War back to life. Oh! No! <laughs> Yikes! Technically, that would end the cycle. Wait, could they, could you even do that? Because technically, bloodshed is needed to spawn the Holy Grail. But if you revive all ten people that died, or seven people that died during the Holy Grail War, wouldn't your wish be null? Because the Holy Grail wouldn't have enough blood to sustain itself and then disappear. I am overthinking this. Well, considering the fact there's 50 year intervals, I'm guessing they just restart the cycle when they're older. Because here's the thing, they Maybe. know, they know the Grail exists now, so it's like, what can you do? Oh, I think I might know the reason for the time skip, I just thought about it. What if someone wished for the Holy Grail War, because you get a wish guaranteed, and it's rule free, so what if someone wished for the Holy Grail War to take place sooner, because they had some kind of plan in mind? Maybe, who knows, that's they, a big brain They could have done it because they actually had, yeah, maybe they did it because they needed the Holy Grail to be more powerful and they had another wish in mind. This is giving me ideas for just better stories, damn it. Stop it, game! Here's the thing. Better stories, but here's the thing. Just let this game cook. Just take a couple hours, but let it cook. Now, I actually like it. I'm only kidding when I say better stories. Well, yeah, because the fact... Here's the thing. It's 04. It's when they were still... It's when Type Moon was trying to still figure out what to do with themselves. Like, they were only a company for four years. So, they were just trying to figure out what to do. And then... This game was made by Type Moon? I thought Ben and... No, I'm kidding. Okay. Here's the, thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They had made a deal with Bandai Namco to fucking um for the anime and shit and all for like the Fate Seven and to Remnant. make tales of and to make tales of Zestria. Oh yeah, oh, 
I still might know that meme. He kills Zestria. I'm, I'm still. That shit still gets me. That vid you sent me of just if there were if anime studios were like people, it just shows oh, Saber. It just shows Saber. He's like, who the fuck is Bandai Namco? We need a, <laughs> dude. We need a sequel to that video badly for Modern Anime Studios. Just uh, show Madhouse instead of Madhouse being like in the lead, they're just in a box because they only make stuff so much now. That and I'll just show fucking Studio Mappa. So pop when that video was made. And then they show Studio Mappa absolutely malnourished and like paranoid. Why? Cause he he made Attack on Titan and he finished it. You don't know, do you? No, I don't know. Studio Mappa is the equivalent of a black company. Oh. I'm not joking when I say this. The JJK author felt so bad for Mappa, he had to send them canned food because they were just stuck in there. Oh my god. Yeah, the animation industry needs a lot of oversight that it's not getting. Yeah. Now, now all of a sudden, I see an article about Mappa saying, Oh, we want to be as good as Ufo Table and Kyoto Animation. No. You guys can barely handle this. You have so many anime coming out. You, you can can't barely even feed your employees. So, like, bro, just chill out. You're already popular enough. One at a time. Jesus. Meanwhile, Madhouse is over here, like, practicing qu quality over quantity, which is good. Yeah, the, and Ufo and Table not stressing out their animators. Ufo Table as well. Ufo Table knows to like put rain it back. They know only to do one anime at a time. Dude, here's the thing. I'd rather watch one good anime every like how many year every year than watch ten somewhat okay anime from the same you get when you keep pushing from the same studio. Yeah, like notice how everything Madhouse has put out, which they do quality over quantity. That's been amazing. Studio Trigger is like, the never same. Had a... Studio Trigger is the same thing. They're the same way. Didn't they make SAO? No, that was um. Uh, fuck. What's their name? They they make a lot. They they're known for SAO and they're really fucking generic. Uh, JC Staff. Well, they... Oh yeah, they uh. They, uh, they sponsored a convention I went to, and they gave everybody a free, a free weekend of Crunchyroll. Yeah, JC staff doesn't have the best reputation. They're good yeah, at, they're, no. they, they're good animators, but their storytelling needs some work. They haven't trigger at the same, we're at the same convention. Yeah, it gets bad. Can't answer that question. Crap, his words are violent. His on words it, are whether violent. Whether I want it or not. He's on like, to me. But yeah, MAPPA is... <sighs> MAPPA is... In, anime wise, they're top quality. Absolutely amazing. But they're... This scene but, is still going. It's been going for like a half an hour. Holy shit. So that. I'm gonna have it on autoplay just to get us through it. Uh, I have to go. Uh, don't do that yet. I have to go pee. Alright, but like, yeah. Just think about like, Mappa's animation studio, bro. They work their employees like slaves. It's yeah. not, it's we not need even to... funny. Yeah, we need to just like pick a day. Like, preferably we have enough. We can't think of a Friday to stream anything and just have like a nerd chat. Yeah, and just talk about like anime and shit. Yes. And just maybe stream like a game if we're like if we feel really bored. But, like yeah, like fucking yeah. Studio Mappa is, whew, They want to be Ufo Table. They want to be the next Ufo Table in Kyoto Animation. Thing is, they would not be afraid of literally destroying their employees' mental health. It is not healthy, at all. Like, JJK Season 2's animation is absolutely amazing. But, I feel bad for their employees.
for the temple. Beautiful earring. I'm back. Yeah, a little fun fact. When Studio Mappa was animating at AOT, which they're the ones that were animating it after season three, um, literally it was the equivalent of a Chinese factory when they were making Attack uh, on Titan season four and the final season. Jesus. Yeah, it was that bad. Which, thank God Attack on Titan finally ended because now they got some workload off their backs, which won't last for long. Uh, but yeah, like they're the equivalent of a black company. It is bad, like really bad. It's like you ever seen Isayama after he finished Attack on Titan? Uh, I think so. Uh, let me just say this: if you see how that man looks, that's the equivalent of what happened with Mappa. Jeez. Uh oh, music stopped. I just got fed up with our shit. For an instant, that image of hell flashes in my head. Oh, it's gonna do it. It's gonna do the My Home Was the Holy Grail War thing. Yeah, so basically, the fire that happened was an unfortunate side co consequence of the Holy Fourth Holy Grail War. 焼け落ちた建物は実に。500 I'm guessing this all started because some guy got trigger happy and just started attacking everyone. Yeah, probably. That's probably what he meant by reducing casualties. It's like as long as no one else sees it or knows about it, it's fine. But the thing is the consequences of the Holy Grail War are still a thing. They're like, uh, for example, every fight is always going to have a consequence. Like, sure, the uh, the master won a fight against another master, but at the end of the day, the environment around them will probably be screwed over. Yep, that's what I always have to think about whenever I write like a fight scene for something. Like, how it's going to affect everyone else? Because, like, if you're going to have a plot like this, where like it's a secret organization, like with fights that are meant to be in secret. You gotta be careful on where you're fighting, because of the fact that's I get the feeling that's why a lot of stories like this always have the supervisor scripting the places where they're gonna fight, rather than just it being a battle royale. They're always places. So he's like, gonna... so this guy's saying you want to fight somewhere? Tell me, I'll arrange it. No, he's not saying that. But like, if you're gonna have a story like that, that's how usually it would go. Like, oh, you're gonna fight? Okay, we'll arrange it here. That's how usually stories like this would go. But in this case, it's just a pure battle royale with basically no rules. They're just allowing them to go ham regardless if it destroys the environment or not. But those are the best kinds. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <It's right. laughs> Uh-oh. I, I appear to be glitching. I feel Help. sick. My vision burns. Was that in the original artwork? No, I'm guessing they just forgot. I'm guessing it wasn't supposed to do that. Or it was, they were, I'm guessing the sprite that they used didn't have it. They didn't draw it all the way and didn't expect them to do that. So I'm guessing it must have bugged or something. Gameplay bug detected. My vision blurs. This concentration, I can't focus my eyes. My body stumbles. But I hold myself firm. On unconsciousness by clenching my teeth. I like my nausea with the anger boiling up in me. That's a peanut butter right now. Gee, I wonder why I'm pale. The moment he said the, the moment he said there was a fire like that, it should have implied that it's I had something to do with me. I don't know. Quit being a pretentious bitch. I killed all my family. Must have looked terrible. I think it's very rare for Tosa going to be worried like that. Because she never is! <laughs> Except that one time where she saved you, but that was it. <laughs> I feel better after seeing your weird face. <laughs> that was good. Your weird face. Your fucking uh, weird ass face, bitch. 
Yeah, look, your, your right arm's not even scaled right. It looks way too damn long. I'm pretty sure your pretty sure your waist is here, but it goes up to your your hand goes to your knees. Why? It's weird. Hey, what is that? <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck, you just say about me." <laughs> Oh, that's good. Sundere mode! Activate. The school's number one honor student, Tosuka Rin, smacks me in the head. That does it. That nausea and anger go away. Not to be in the head. I've received severe brain damage from this event. Yes, literally, I launched myself out a window and got slammed into a wall multiple times. I then wake up and realize this holy grail nonsense was just a dream, yo. <laughs> she looks like she hasn't hit me enough, but she still lets me continue. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> she looks like she hasn't hit me enough. That is Fucked. <laughs> it is food. Where's that USB stick I had? I have, a thing, I have a place I need that to go. You should know what I want to ask, yet he asked me to go on. Fine. I mean, sure I won't lose it to you. I'm listening. I was looking for something that fell at my desk. Guaranteed, guarantee, guarantee there's a twist. Look at this. He said, has anyone ever obtained the Holy Grail? Of course. Then... <笑>そう毎回全滅などという決めは起きん。私は。で、早まるな。手に入れるだけならば簡単だ。何しろ聖杯自体はこの教会で完成。<笑><笑> The Holy Grail is at this church. Ah, uh, so it exists already. You can grab it, but it's just a regular Grail. It does. It's there's nothing holy about it. You can take it. It's just not gonna do shit. So, Walmart has a new brand of electronics called On, and I hate them. They don't have good format. <laughs> Funny you say that, because I have an On TV. Really? Yeah. I'm sure their TVs are fine. Yeah, I guess Z-Card is the kind of stuck. I don't know. Oh, they do. Yeah, their On headphones suck as well, and their chargers, too. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can get it. So, I want to go plug in an old DVD player, and just won't work. Up to the guy who obtained it. とにもならん。その聖杯は完成には至らなかった。馬鹿な男が。つまらぬ感傷に流された結果だよ。ああ、そのフォーツワーディンハブアウィナーだん。ジャス。エヴリバディダイド。いや、あんがせん。Here's the thing, if he says that the last one didn't have a winner, then that's how you know something's off. Because it's like, wait a minute, if you say imperfectly completed, does that mean someone did get it, but didn't do anything else? Is that what they're saying? Like, someone did manage to win, but didn't exactly make they a wish? They didn't make a wish with the Holy Grail? Maybe, but like, why? <laughs> what it sounds like. I have no idea. Maybe. Who knows? That goes my theory of the person wishing that the next Holy Grail will be uh, earlier. Because that's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, because like, if you say wish the Holy Grail were next, that would not make sense because he would have used the wish. But it says it wasn't perfectly completed. Therefore, I don't think anyone made a wish. Huh? With cleaning something off real quick. The previous pressure gone, the priest narrows his eyes as if in regret. 
Huh. I had a screen protect on this thing. How the fuck did it scratch? シンのサーバントが揃い時間が経てば聖杯は現れるだがそれは正解だったおおそれは自らを得るにふさわしい持ち主を選ぶ。おおそれは自らを得るにふさわしい持ち主を選ぶ。おおそれは自らを得るにふ
Oh god. Uh, Wait, you can actually revoke it and like does that just end the game right there? I think it just ends the game. Hold on. Let me see what happens. Make a save real quick. I'm curious. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google. Googling's boring. Make a save make a choice save. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, but if it wastes our time then Who cares? I did that for my one stream with uh Persona. Yeah, I guess you can look up what it does. Ah, uh, yep, it's just a bad ending. Really? If you revoke, it's just a bad ending. Yeah, and I want to see it, so how long is the bad ending? Apparently they're all, like, super short, so they're just a waste of time. Oh. See, I'm used to Zero Escape 2, where you have to... Or Zero Escape, where you have to get the bad endings to get the good ones. It's just part of the way the story is written. <laughs> Holy shit! Apparently they have 40 bad endings, this game. Yeah. Okay, so apparently... There is multiple endings, just that most of them are bad. How many good endings are there? Only the 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 route we're going for, aka Saber slash Vanilla, only has one good ending, and that's the main ending of the game. Of course. Yeah, here's the thing. I don't trust what to fight. I won't run away. Honestly, this Holy Grail War and Master stuff doesn't seem real to me. Still, if there are only two choices, fighting or running away, I will never run away. Priest said it too. Uh, Magus, it should be ready. That At is least this isn't like an start. Otome game that has like a hundred endings, depending on what you do. <laughs> yeah, and most of them are joke endings. Whoa! Okay, so if we would have chosen the to revoke it, it would have been hella bad for Shiro. What would have happened to him? Uh, you know that white-haired chick from earlier? Uh, yeah, his sister, or whatever the fuck. Uh, apparently she shows up with the servant, cuts off Shiro's head, makes his head immortal, and torches him. For eternity. Oh, so she's a servant then? I thought it was already implied. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. So his little sister's just a servant then? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's obvious you could. T Here's the thing I get the feeling that. Oh, and not this. Uh, the relationship. All these people are servants, I'm guessing. Like this one, this one, this one is servant. That's Archer or Saber, because you can. You can all. Uh, you know, do that. So I'm guessing all these guys are servants, or at least masters. You know, his little sister had a servant. Or ha or well, here's the yeah, thing. She did say, like, really s some sketchy shit that if you don't do anything, you will die. So I'm guessing the bad ending is just she finds you, and then uses one of her servants, uses her servant to cut off Shiro's head, and then just makes him immortal to torture him for eternity. Why? What did he do to her so bad? Jesus. I don't know. Must be some sort of family thing. Maybe. Since I'm Magus, I decided to become a superhero in the footsteps of Emiya Kiritsugu, my mildest time. Oh yeah, I think I know why that bad thing's a thing. Because apparently, since he gave up his ma his servant steel or his command steels, he doesn't have arch he doesn't have saber anymore. Thus, well, no one to protect him. So I'm guessing she's recommended to. I'm guessing. Uh, what ends up happening is that Archer or Saber is meant to protect him from her, I'm guessing. But if he doesn't have her with the command seal, she just dies. As if he likes my answer, the priest smiles and responds with satisfaction. Take a deep breath. I have cut away all his hesitation. As a man, I said I will fight. So from now on, all I have to do is go forward with pride so that I will not go against my word. 
それでは君をセーバーのマスターと認めようこの瞬間に今回の聖杯戦争は受理された What is Fate say night heaven's field to? Is that just a、uh, another ending? It's, 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 it's the final route of the Fate stay night of the visual novel, and heaven's field are the movies. It's the final、oh. route of the Fate stay night visual novel after you've beaten the game like twice, vanilla and, and unlimited blade works. And heaven's so field. You just beat the stupid thing twice? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, God. Luckily, we're, we're here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're only going to play. I only say we're going to do the vanilla route. Only because of the fact if y'all want to know what happens in those routes, just watch the Limited Blade Works anime and watch Heaven's Feel, the Heaven's Feel movies. That's all you got to do. We are not playing that shit again. No matter how good they are, we're not playing that shit again. It takes 70 hours just to beat one playthrough. We're not spending another 140 to beat the other two. Jesus. So, just if you want to know what happens, watch the movies and the anime. That's all you got to do. Not a spin off s t u f f We're going for the Stay Night thing. Yeah, the vanilla. There's no meaning to that decoration. Only Tosaka and I heard the priest's words. Wait, so they never, they never animated Fate Stay Night? They did, but it's not the best version. Because it do, because I think the anime leaves out some stuff because, well, it's an adaptation of a visual novel. It has to. So I'm guessing it cuts out some stuff. Not only that, there was the movie that came out, but that one I don't think is well liked, at least in my, from what I've seen. And. Apparently, I think they were popular because I remember someone on the VOD channel pointed it out. So that it was really popular at that time. But the thing is, from what I've been hearing and seeing, is that <laughs> the original anime was kind of jank. Like the, one from、yeah. 06, like the one from 06. That the modern adaptations from like the 2010s are the better versions because of the fact they actually add in stuff from the visual novel. Oh, they do add in stuff? No, they added stuff from the visual novel. They don't add extra stuff. They just follow the visual novel much more closely. Kimarine? あんた見届け役なんだから他のマスターの情報ぐらいは知ってるんでしょこっちは教会のルールに従ってあげたんだからそれぐらい教えなさいそれは困ったな教えてやりたいのは山々だが私も詳しくは知らんのだエミやシローも含め今回は正規の魔術師が少ない私が知りうるマスターは2人だけだあそうなら呼び出された順番ならわかるでしょ仮にも監視役なんだからうん一番手はバーサーか二番手はキャスターだなあとはそう大差はない先日にアーチャーそして数時間前にセイバーが呼び出されたそうそれじゃあこれで正式に聖杯戦争が開始されたということだリン聖杯戦争が終わるまでこの教会に足を運ぶことは許されない Wait a minute Okay so that means me thinking that if you ran out of a command seals you're so, re... so masters are just not allowed into the church So I'm guessing even after you lose your command seals you're just not allowed in any... you're still not allowed in is that the case? I guess so. I guess it says the safe zone for people who don't die. I guess it says the safe zone for people who don't die. I guess it says the safe zone for people who don't die. I guess it says the safe zone for people who don't die. 
連中はつまらない論議の末君から聖杯を奪い取るだろう私としては最悪の展開だ Why do I feel like he's the one who wants to make the wish? I don't know. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dante Alighieri, I think we have someone that you'd like to meet. Hell yeah, we do. <laughs> and Tosaka turns her back to the priest. After that, she just makes her way to the exit without saying goodbye. By the way, this whole scene has been going on for an hour. Nah. Should they more proper farewell? So the Holy Grail only show itself to people that it deems has entertained it essentially. Entertained it essentially. Yeah, which is really fucked up. It seems to be a fucking godlike being like the freaking dude from P5. Knowing how the stories like this goes, maybe. Okay. I sigh and follow her, and then feel the presence behind me turn around. Whoa! Too close there, buddy. The <laughs> priest who was behind me before I knew it is looking down on me. I back off as I say so. As I thought, I don't like him. He's a dick. I'll touch my ass when he got behind me. Maybe we're just incompatible or something, but I can't get myself to like him. <laughs> I make my way to the door, trying to escape his stare. He keeps staring at me. Why are you staring at me with such intimacy as I go? Rejoice, boy. He says, I was just declaring an oracle. Okay. Oh. Those words oh, are... probably not. Aren't those the true feelings I haven't yet realized? Couldn't you technically wish the last Holy Grail didn't happen, completely removing the consequences from it? Yeah, but then the rest of the Fate franchise wouldn't be a thing. I mean, like I said, there's a sequel to this game, so... わかっていたはずだ。明確な悪がいなければ君の望みは叶わない。たとえそれが。Oh, I get it now. I think I get it now. What? So, the Holy Grail War wants you to defeat something that's clearly evil to prove your worth, so it essentially sets this whole thing up and makes everyone else the villains. Maybe. I feel like everything has turned black. Priest said it. Greatest wish and the ugliest wish I have are the same. Yeah. Desire to protect something. So at the same time, none other than the wish for something to violate it. Oh my. There's no way I wish for something like that. I, remember, I don't remember a moment where I wish for that. Such an insecure wish. This means the target's ideals are inconsistent. But the priest says it is fierce to my heart. Good thing you have an, <laughs> good thing you have an enemy now. Oh. That is such a menacing thing to say. It's like... It's like, for example, Peter, like, grab the priest, do it. You know what? That, not gonna lie, that's the coldest thing to probably say to a guy that's gonna be your antagonist. It's like, you don't know who the antagonist is. You're trying to figure out who it is. And all of a sudden, this guy just shows up, gives you all this speech, and is like, well, it's a good thing you have an enemy now. And then you realize, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm assuming the, anta uh, the church guy is the antagonist of this entire thing. Well, I don't know. Oh no, my cat is loving these crystals. Your worries are right for a human being. So is he not human, I assume? I shake up the priest's words and walk to the door. Yeah, I'm gonna guess he's not human. 
殺される側の人間になったその身はすでにマスターなのだからな Uh, they used the term Ningam, but didn't refer to people. That was weird. As soon as I leave, the pressure on my shoulder lifts. Certainly, you could say that getting away from that priest helped. But Tuzaka standing out on your uniform, and the blonde haired girl in a raincoat standing near her make a strangely well matched sight that someone takes the pressure off me. Oh, maybe that's why a servant can go inside because it is a safe zone. Yeah. So servant, kind of barrier. Yeah, servants aren't allowed to go out. Saber is silent as always. She's looking at me, so it seems she's interested in the decision I made. It's like three in the morning where they're at. <laughs> Probably even longer, actually. It might be even four in the morning. That means they're gonna they're barely get any. Well, they're... Okay. yeah, they're barely gonna get any sleep. Tozuka starts walking. Following after her, we leave the church as well. The three of us descend the hill together. We didn't talk much on the way here, but even let's talk now. Even dull as I am, I don't know why. For what happened at the church, I truly became a master. And that must be the reason Tosaka is walking a little apart from us. You know, because, you know. Which is expected. I mean, we have the strongest servant on me that could jump her the moment she tries anything. I understand that. I understand, but I don't like thinking that about Tosuka like that. Tosuka, your servant is okay? Yeah, you literally yeeted him somewhere, so who knows? It yeeted him somewhere. Oh, yeah. If you're a servant, you're not going to be able to do the damage to the Saber. You're not going to be able to do it. しばらく実体化はさせられないだろうけどじゃあそばにはいないのかあんまりマイハウスを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんですけど、私はそれを取ってたんです
のな人を何だと思ってるんだそれぐらいの駆け引きはできるぞ俺。Yeah, what's on my face? And what do you mean look down? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I heard that snicker. <laughs> what snicker? I heard that. I heard you、That's、go like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's on my face? And she's like, look down. And I'm like, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> あなたは他にいいところがあるんだから駆け引きなんて考えるのはやめなさい、うん、それじゃ遠坂はどうなんだよあの神父にも黙ってるってことはあいつも信用してないってことか<笑> You know what's a, a joke we showed a clip a while back? Oh what?、Uh, that feces joke I made <笑> Oh that was funny <笑> We should clip that we had a, like, Luckily we have the VOD so you just gotta go to the VOD and just Record that section. Yeah, I'll try and find it. Masaka, but I see I still see you still hold on. Made it a good night. I tell me, Kyokai Kara Majit's Kyokai Nikura guys, Taxini. Mada Kyokai is I sick is still a quest. Ah, so technically, he's still working for the church. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I know what he's doing. He's pulling a palpatine, is he playing both sides? Probably, except I not... am the senate. I am the Senate. Senate. <laughs> yeah, it's like I am the Magic Association. t e l s i k a says with annoyance. She really doesn't trust him. She really doesn't trust that priest. A bit relieved, but still. Her words do seem to hold a bit of affection. And we pass the bridge. There's no conversation between us now. Cold winter air and our cold breath. Faint sound of flowing water and white stream lamps that light up the bridge. Small things like that are engraved in my memory. Oddly, I don't think about looking at Tosuka as walking next to me. Right now, it seems walking on a bridge at night together like this is more precious than seeing her face. Me, Tosuka, and the girl, and the girl called Saber, I know nothing about. We three walk together without doing much. We reach the intersection. The intersection that leads to our houses. The place where we must part with Tosuka. You say that, but you go to the same school. Yeah, you do. They don't always kill each other. Literally, all you have to do is stay at the school till midnight and just kill each other there. Yeah, but here's the thing. Shiro's smart. He'll just go back to his house. Oh, yeah. Not only that, Arch. Not only that, Saber is already confirmed to be able to basically beat the shit out of Archer, so. Oh,、yeah. so they went for going. Yeah, talking about feeling unsafe at school. It's like they're. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, in reality, it's Rin that's in trouble here, because, well, first off, <laughs> Shiro's got Arch.、Uh, got Saber. And Saber can already beat the shit out、mm -hmm. of Archer. So, in reality, she is the one that shouldn't be saying that. That's just her pushing her luck. Must be that to win the ambiguous position we are in right now. Tozuka starts, talks, and cuts off immediately, cuts off suddenly. From that, I realize she's not explaining the rules to me out of any sense of obligation. She just supported me, s a i n g the situation I'm in, and acted fairly. So, things are back to normal once the explanations are over. I'll just be your target as a master now.、Uh. Here's the thing. <laughs> like I said, she's pushing her luck. She already saw what Saber can do. Yeah, she is. She's pushing her luck hard. Saber can just destroy Archer if she wants. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, why? You know, you're, he's like, you know, you got too much dip on your chip. You don't want to be saying that to a guy who has possibly the best summon. 
But if so, what she just said was strange. Tosaka must have meant that it would have been difficult to fight if she feels empathy for me. For Tosaka, everything that happened tonight must have been unnecessary. It would be troublesome if we stayed together any longer. If she's going to see something like that, she should have left us alone from the beginning. Tosaka's smart, so she should know all that too well. But still, she said aside all thought of loss of gain and helped me out. So what happened tonight was totally out of good faith. Tosaka in front of me is too different from how she is at school. Well, yeah, usually she's bitchy. Even when I put it nicely, she's sour, cranky, unapproachable, and she's so different that I want to scream out. She's a total bitch when she's out of school. Usually she is. Yeah, she really. Would... Man, it feels like almost like a fraud, because she is. Sorry, I'm <laughs> quiet. I'm just tired and reading this silently. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting tired too. Let's end this in like 10 minutes. Tosaka in. And We're almost done with the chapters, though. Ends right here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, I was right. She did revive him because of, out of pity. So, she has morals. She knows this is messed up, but she just can't help it. I know that. She won't go easy on me, and that's why she said it'll be a bother if she feels empathy for me. Tozuka falls silent for some reason. Is she a tsundere? I heard Tozuka's house is in the western style district in the opposite direction of my place. Since she's taking care of me until now, I would like to walk her home, but... First off... Oh, oh wait, never mind. You can't go. To, okay, now confirms it. You can go back to the church. It's just your servant needs to be dead to allow you in. I got you. That's what I'm guessing. But yeah, like, oh, she's just, oh, she blushing. Sundere mode. I calmly analyze the situation. <sighs> Tosaka reacts strangely once again. Letting on a sigh, she glances at Saber. いいわ。これ以上の忠告は本当に感情移入になっちゃうから言わない。せいぜい気をつけなさい。いくらセイバーが優れているからって。she turns her back and starts walking. But, as if she's seen a ghost, her feet stop dead in their tracks. Then as I call to her, my left hand throbs in pain. Oh! Oh, damn! So, so if we got the bad ending, this is where it would have ended. So that means, oh god, that would have been a long-ass bad ending. Oh, shit. I spy a perfect time for a cliffhanger. A young voice like her through the night. A voice like a song is unmistakably that of a young girl. Finished drawing the top of the hill. I don't know when the clouds parted, but a bright moon is now shining in the sky. There. Whoa! That's a big-ass servant. <laughs> Bro, she's twice! Oh my god! He's twice her size! A long shadow. There's <laughs> a strange shape that shouldn't be here in this built of shadow pictures. Uh, yeah, save. Uh, Tosaka mumbles a word, but I'm not accustomed to hearing. I don't even need I'm to. I'm assuming they're gonna fight together, these two. That's how they survive. I think so. I think it's definitely a servant. Same time, an overwhelming sense of death exceeding even the one in the fire ten years ago. <laughs> oh god, dude, that motherfucker is huge. Holy shit. I can do that exact voice. The girl smiles as she says so. And since then, the chill down my spine. No, spine is an understatement. 
Not just my body, but my mind is frozen as well. I mean, I'm not surprised. That dude is twice my size. <laughs> that thing is a monster. I'm not staring at it, but just presence makes me unable to move. I understand naturally I will die in the instant I move even a muscle. It looks like a knife is pushed right against my naked chest. Still, I feel nothing. Probably because there's too little hope of me getting out of this alive. <laughs> Unlike me, he was paralyzed, so it's like I have the composure to stand ready. But it'll come to nothing. Even though I can only see her back, I can sense the despair she's feeling. But wouldn't killing the master happen anyways? I love how they made his little sister insane. That's fucking hilarious. You know what's fucked up is in the spin-off, she's actually in love with him, so it's like really weird. Of course. Girl says unhappily as she looks down at us from the top of the hill. We're in an even worse situation now. My girl knows Tozaka's servant is not here. And then Girl bows unsuitably for the situation. <laughs> She's not Japanese, that's for sure. Probably adopted, I assume. Yes, definitely adopted. <laughs> She's German. Elias Viel von Einspan. Tozuka's body moves slightly as she seems to recognize that name. Perhaps she likes Tozuka's reaction as the girl smiles happily and. Jesus! She orders the strange shape behind her as she's singing. Larger body flies through the air. Then Cobra Zerker comes flying on hold this from the top of the hill. She'll probably save the both, I bet. Her rank comes on my vision is blocked for a second. Damn! Saber runs to Berserker's landing point. Berserker lands with a huge land at the exactly the same moment. The air trembles. All oh, this music is all oh, this music. Oh damn! Saber stops Berserker's great sword with her invisible sword. Saber makes a pain face. There, Berserker's giant sword flashes like a whirlwind. Great thunderous roar. Crash of steel that almost tears the air results in defeat for Saber. I'd love to see his actual fight happening. A sliding sound. Even though she blocked Berserker's giant sword, she's driven back along with a sword she used to block it. <laughs> Saber's posture collapses. The lead, co the lead-colored servant chases after her. The gray figure swings its giant sword. It's the only thing it knows how to do. Saber doesn't have time to dodge it and blocks it with her sword. It's not matter. Oh, here's a bug. It's not supposed to be up here. It's supposed to be like still down here, still. It does not matter if Saber's sword is invisible or not. Each of Berserker's attacks is a fatal one that must be blocked with all their might. Therefore, Saber has to stay on the defense. For her, the only chance of victory is to find a means of attacking between Berserker's attacks. But, it's only Berserker leaves an opening. I mean, the bug just how the scene's done. Yeah, the Black Rock Sword is just like a storm. Such a large body. He looks like, he looks like Guts from Berserk swinging that thing around. And with such a large sword, and your berserkers moving fast. Well, yeah, guts had to, dude. Guts had to go on a holiday. <laughs> guts had to go on a holiday. Ask this guy to keep. Ask this guy to babysit the dragon slayer. <laughs> hey, tiny child, you want to wheel me around for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> the attacks and are just smashing swings with no technique to them. Yep, that's guts. Well, that's enough. <laughs> and there goes the telephone pole. <laughs> There's an overwhelming power and speed. There is no room for technique. Oh, just a random civilian. Our power's the out again. This town sucks. <laughs> Some guy about the jacket is like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why is the internet out again? This town sucks dick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Why yeah. did I move here? Weaknesses are things that giant that the giant doesn't have. I remember with my frozen body, the thing cannot be defeated. Say so if we kill, we go on like this. So she should run away. Should be easy for her to get away if we were just her here. She should have known that already. Oh. That's bad. 
My body is numb, but maybe that's why my mind is so calm. Some of death that strikes without a pause, and then we'll take all the attacks and retreat in this time. Dude, the fucking utility people are gonna have a task in the next day. Oh, they are. They are gonna be fucking uh, live. Why do? <laughs> oh my god! It's the construction people. The construction. <laughs> the utility. They're gonna. So, have, uh, they're gonna lose their shit. Just, just two people in those professions that know each other. Hey, Bill. Uh, you were called out today too. Uh, have you seen the wreck? Five poles are down. <laughs> the fucking bridge is out. Seriously, what the fuck? You're in a bad posture, but it's only to avoid a fatal wound. You know the worst part, Kevin? The giant sword I couldn't jack it last away. night because Sutton took out the internet. <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> she follows her body to a big utility company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least the pole we're working on is connected to my house, but it still sucks dick. It'd be like, what y'all couldn't do to my wife last night because the porn's out. The plumber comes by. Hey, yo, what? Hey, yo, we came here to come fix a broken pipe. Looks down. Oh, so it looks like something cut it open. How'd it cut open? And he's like, oh, hey, Mark, how you doing? He's like, oh, yeah, I just, I just came here because my shitter, because my toilet was broken, so. Oh, I couldn't get to my porn, so I came to fix the internet. <laughs> is, she, is she still wounded? Then the construction guy comes, he's like, hey, you two. And then the utility guy's like, how's the wife? You know she died ten years ago, Jim. Okay, I noticed something really go off with her hand. Look at this. Uh, her hand right here is perfectly fine with all fingers. Yet, look at here, like on her left hand. Oh, that's the first blood spatter in this entire thing. Yeah. How stupid of me. I was forgetting something important. I don't know how much a sermon could fight in one day, but this is already her third battle top of that, Saber has the wound in her chest afflicted by Lancer. <laughs> Saber moves as the protector. looks chest. more like a blonde... Dude, she looks more in the more like a teenage Elsa than she does King Arthur. Receive any attacks on its back. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, the German. The German. I don't know what kind of magic it is, but Berserker's body explodes from Tosaka's like spell. So a different magical energy given out. The magic directly hitting Berserker must have been an impact close to that of a high caliber pistol, which That's first not off, do anything. Usually, that, it doesn't. It, it won't. Usually, when magic and anime c collides with modern tech, it never works out like you think it will. Oh no! Just a high caliber pistol. That's not gonna do anything. Maybe it's an actual person. I mean, have you seen this chiseled man's body? Have you seen? Do you see these six packs? Nine millimeter ain't gonna help you, bitch. Nah, 50 AE ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> and that is meaningless. It doesn't even scratch Berserker's body. It isn't nullifying magic like Saber. Are... It's just She's that like, magic oh, shit, is right. not doing any damage. The pistol's not gonna help you. pulls on AR-15. <laughs> now this is the American way of doing it, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> fucking gets Fuck a... The magic. <laughs> fucking gets a 200 millimeter. Just fucking sends that shit flying. This is the American way of doing it, motherfucker. <laughs> Saber raises her head in pain. Her voice just says it exactly she like that. She holds her sword up to a still fight. That gets my body to move again. I yell with all my might, hearing that. She faces the enemy she cannot compare to. There's no one. We now interrupt. Hang on one second. We now interrupt Fate Stay Night to bring you a scene from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Shut up. It's perfect. Look at that shit. You can't tell me. He looks exactly <laughs> like a Titan. Which Titan? He look, almost looks like the he armored looks like Titan. Aaron's Titan or whatever. He looks, no, yeah. he looks more like Aaron's with that the skin with, color of him. Yeah, he's he's Aaron in Fate Stay Night's art style. Saber doesn't retreat. She have you ever looked at Fate Stay Night fan art? With her willpower. My favorite's Albert Einstein in the art, or Nikola Tesla in the art style. It looks so cool. There is no chance of victory. The way she's holding her ground looks bizarre. As she should know how he would be defeated if she keeps fighting. Maybe it's just something in her posture. Dude, if you get Einstein, you'd just be, uh, you'd be able to probably <laughs> nuke your opponent, I bet. <laughs> Either this is intentional or it, literally it's a bug, but yeah. He screamed so hard the text went blurred. Oh, it was intentional. I think I was to show a roar sound. Yeah.
this poor bridge. What did it do to anybody? Everybody, it just, you know you just get some guy's house. Yeah, I find that kind of funny. This whole battle is happening on a bridge. That's what's funny to me. <laughs> and that house is Cleveland's. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa! Well, Cleveland has to die. Now pull a blood with a body shot. I'm able to get back up. Oh! Oh my God! Look at her back. <laughs> who got who? It was. Oh! Oh, that is a cool. That is a cool detail. Look at it. That is cool. Oh, that looks dope. Oh, let's, let's get a good. Let's get a good view at that. Oh God! It looks that... a lot. Dude, the art looks a lot better about the overlays. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna take an image of that for the thumbnail. My phone. Hold on, graphic and. Oh, I'm like, where to put my phone? It's the thing I'm using to view Twitch chat. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, you know what'd be really funny? It's just a meme graphic. Me when <laughs> it's just like me when. I <laughs> uh, dude, I can't left click and save his image. That's. Uh... I can. Hold on. That's like the perfect fucking screenshot, dude. Hold on. Hold on. I or got thumbnail. you. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. You know how to make thumbnails, or are you putting it on my end? Uh, I'm g I'm getting the snipping tool, and I took a screenshot. This will be perfect. Right. And I'll just put it in the uh, meme. Just, What's a good meme? Can you meme? put the thumbnail on the vid later, because I want to go to bed and not make a thumbnail tonight. Yeah. I'll be like, no, but here's the thing. What's a good meme title? Me when I... <laughs> <laughs> Me... You're not, uh, me when I have to unclog the toilet with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Why, literally, literally, you're br literally breaking your back. <laughs> no, dude, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, no one else in the house can manage to clog my hallway toilet. But every time I fucking take a dump in the uh, toilet in the hall, like the bathroom in the hallway, it clogs it. Every fucking time, that toilet hates me. It doesn't matter what toilet's in there, it hates me. <laughs> Every fucking time. My, my mom doesn't even know why this keeps happening. <laughs> no one else is shit clogs that thing besides mine. Oh, I was in the same boat for a long time as well, dude. I know the feeling. <laughs> Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, this can tell you exactly who Great. he is. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Hercules. Heracles. Heracles. They have two different names. My apologies. You know what's messed up? I think I, I think I know his weakness, and I think I know it because it happened in Legend. Didn't Heracles go crazy? That one, and I didn't get. How did I get that one? But I couldn't get Cullen. No, you got Kukulin, but you didn't get this one. Here's the thing. You know what I realize? All these here, all the heroes in this one have a specific theme. They're all, uh, they're all like first man. They're all like kind of first man heroes. Hercules was like the first man of Greece. Herac not only that, Heracles. It makes sense he's berserk. Kukulin because... was the first. Kukulin was a literally the same legend just told by the uh, Celtics, and then King Arthur technically is. Also, Which is told I, by uh, the English. Yeah, it also makes sense why Heracles is berserker because in mythology it is said that Heracles went insane after his wife died. We're probably gonna get Wukong at some point. <laughs> we get Wukong. Imagine we get Wukong, but it's in Fake Grand Order, the mobile game, which we're never touching. Dude, guess what? Apparently, Wukong was not an ancient legend, and was a character written in 1700. That blew my fucking mind. Huh. Also, the PS5 game that they got in Japan for Wukong looks fucking awesome. You mean China? No, it released in Japan and China, and I can't wait to play it. I can't oh. wait till it comes east way. Black Myth Wukong? It's coming to America. It's just taking a long I, time. I have the previous game. I just have to wrestle it away from my older brother, if you ever want to play it. Yeah. It looks like Chinese Dark Souls. Isn't that what it is? Yeah, it's no more Sekiro-inspired. Saber will be killed right here. Then what am I gonna, what do? I'm gonna do? Am I the one going to fight the monster in her place? We Can't now interrupt. Just we now interrupt this episode of Fate Stay Night to bring you an. Oh, we now interrupt this episode of Fate Stay Night to bring you an episode of Yu Yu Hakusho, the Dark Tournament on uh, PS2. Save Saber. Can not abandon someone who needs help? Oh, I, I probably should choose a uh, like certain that. thing for the route. Wait a minute. 
No, don't worry. I just need to ignore Rin and Sakura. That's how I get the route. I love the other option just let Rin die. Berserker resumes his action. No, you let Wait, Saber this... die. Oh, well, Wait, Saber's gonna. So Wait, if Saber do dies, we won't have Saber anymore, though. Yeah, so the least I can do is push Saber away and save from Berserker's attack. Oh! Huh? I fall. Why? I'm gonna push Saber away and get away Saber and think about what to do, so why? <laughs> Wait a minute, so we let so Wait a minute. Essentially... Oh no. I hear shocked voices. First from Saber who's right in front of me and Tozuka Stash at a distance. Oh. I was surprised. Oh, was it hers that oh, came to Saber? No! Oh no, I made a mistake. Oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I am missing my stomach. I made a mistake. 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 A big mistake. What we were supposed to pick. I think it was supposed to run. I think it just got a bad end. Fuck! In short. Damn, you really got fucked. Are we gonna get to see that? Ah! If you're gonna gore us to death, at least show us the gore. Where's my stomach? Oh, it's on the floor. That's not supposed to be there! Watching your Leah, my vision cuts out. And bad end. Roll credits. Uh, huh? Wait, Lancer killed us? The first time, remember? Oh. And... Wait, what? Fate. Four partner. You know what? I think we should just keep going with whatever this is. This is a story from a winter five years ago. What the fuck? Isn't that what Did we pick the right... I wasn't doing anything, just watching the moon with Kiritsuku. Once the weather wasn't cold. Corridor was only a little chilly, and it was a good night to enjoy the moon. Back then, Kiritsuku uh, the house much. Did we outside. pick the right option? I... Never know. Until we can find... if we... Until we see she was alive, then we don't go. You say it before you made the choice, right? No. <laughs> Dude, what? I forgot! We are... Okay, we are four hours in. We're gonna go whatever choice we just made. At the moment I get a bad ending, or we confirm that Shiro's somehow, somehow alive, then, yeah. Dad, I don't know why, but I thought it would be wrong because Kiritsuki said so. じいさんは大人だからもう無理だけど。いざにみんなにいるヒララスト。ブリングインエミキシュセッド。いや。あ、そのメタフォーチャート。ユグローリアスバスタード。そして、ヒラクソピースフォーアタイトルウェイクア
I feel dizzy. I almost fall and support myself by hitting a gam against the wall. The nausea increases when I move. No, it's more like pain than nausea. My body is heavy and it feels like my stomach is turning every time I move. Maybe someone will like this, like this if someone poured burning lead into their stomach. Uh, we're on day three, right? Day four now. Wipe the sweat sweat off my forehead and wobble out of my, my room. Wash my face and wipe the sweat off my body. I have bandages around, around, around my stomach for some reason. Can't recall anything about them, so I leave them be for now. Though my stomach feels terrible, my body wants energy. <laughs> but my mind when I start to walk along the wall. I still feel dizzy and my body feels dull. <laughs> walk forward, letting out miserable sounds. Really? What did I do before going to bed? Remember any training that causes pain? It's living room. Soccer and Fujine must be at school. There's no breakfast or bread in the living room and there's none of Fujine's loudness. Quiet living room is like a typical Sunday. Did you find out? I'm looking. Oh! 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 God! Oh! Oh! I think we made it. I think we made it. No, it's uh, not. No. So Sakarin is sitting on a cushion. Calm is making me think I'm the guest in this house and not her. I don't know uh, um, what what happened. Okay, that's what would have happened if we would have picked the other thing. What happened? Uh, we're lost. What? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know where we are in the story. Well, it's uh, day three, I think. It was day three when we... Well, I know that. I'm just trying to see... Oh, we're on the fourth day. We were the third day before. Uh-huh. No, there's so many different ways really this shit can go. Seems she's really angry about... Look up for unlimited to regular vanilla Fate Stay Night. What happened last uh, night? What? Hold on. I recall it now. That's right. Why am I so relaxed? I got fucking chopped in half! I tried to save Brit Saber and Brazuka blew away my stomach. Remember with Tosca, save Saber. Naja returns. I feel a chill. Remember the feeling coming kind of a hole in my body. Something in my stomach moves. It feels really well, I sick. Part... It feels really what sick. Now? That's definitely proof that I'm alive. Wait. That's weird. Shouldn't it have been instant death for me? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, so apparently if we pick Tiger Dojo, that's the bad ending. Oh. Huh. It's really annoying. Head, which was frozen with the fact that Tosa goes here, finally yeah, resumes activity again. There's a flow chart, but I can't read it unless you have to save the image. Well, as long as we're, uh, I'm, I made a second save just in case. But as long as we actually manage to get through this, I do not give a fuck. We're ending stream here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this four-hour stream, longer than usual. Uh, if you guys want to give us a follow, go ahead and give us a follow. And those that come from the VOD channel, consider following our Twitch. Who knows? Maybe we get a puppy. Uh, but for now, though, maybe get a puppy. Me and me and Japan are gonna go to bed because it's like one oh, in the morning. We picked the right. We picked the right thing. Wow, it's twelve. It's midnight where I'm at. It's one o'clock where you're at. Did you hit uh, save saber? Or run away with Toshka. Save saber. Yeah, we picked the right thing. I think. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we didn't. What do you mean? Wait. 
It says Save Saber. Then it says third day last distortion out. Then it goes to day four of the route we were on. Uh, what the f- I'm confused. Is this giving you PTSD of Zero Escape? Not even Zero Escape was this complicated. This is the most <laughs> complicated fucking flow chart. No, it's giving me fucking flashbacks of uh, trying to decipher friggin' uh, Katawa Shoujo's flow chart, because you know why? It doesn't have one! Why is she sighing? <laughs> Oh, no, we went the right way. I think, I don't know. Pretty sure we went the right way. What has been happening? I haven't been watching it. Well, considering the fact we're somehow still alive, and, Sa and it's presumed that Saber's still alive, I'm guessing we got away scot-free. Alright, so did you save already? Yeah, I saved. Uh, did we end the stream yet? No. That's why I was waiting on you so we can, like, both right. sign off. Sorry, I had to. I was just checking the flow chart, guys, to make sure we didn't go off kilter, but at this point, whatever version of the story we get is what we get. We're too far into this to go back. Yeah, and we'll just, like, we'll just, like, skip to it once we get to that choice. But, like, yeah, whatever happens, happens. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Twitch, uh, the stream, like I said. Go sub to our personal stuff. And, well, if you guys are from the VOD channel, like I said, give us a follow. And, uh, see you guys later. We're going to bed. And I'm going to grind Metal Gear for the rest of the night. I'm sure I could find it. Wait a minute. Why oh, I forgot. I can name the stream. Let's see. What should we name the stream? Uh... Don't know. Hold on, I'll be right back. This conversation is so stupid and I love it. Hold on. Oh my god, I started this whole thing off too. It was great. I'm recording this. Oh, we're recording? Yeah. Okay. Well, not streaming, uh, though. I'm still going to read this out verbatim, though. So, this is for all you YouTube people exclusively. Don't tell the Twitch people. They don't need to know about this. But, uh, I started a shipping war on Facebook earlier, and it's really funny. So, someone posted a picture of, uh, Chi and, uh, Broly from the new Dragon Ball movie. So, I'm like, so I started the conversation being like, as much as I want to shit these two, it's more of a mother-son dynamic, and these two being friends is enough. And a guy puts under it, that shouldn't stop you. People ship, people ship Deku and everybody. Don't let logic get in the way of your dreams. And then someone put under that, yeah, the correct ship is Chiras. And I'm like, nah, man. You know Yamcha diddles Beerus on his day off. And then someone put under that, nah, Yamcha busy dodging Frieza's thirsty ass. <laughs> and that's how the conversation ended. Oh god, why? What do I say to that? <laughs> you started it off as like a simple joke and people escalated it. Yeah, and I'm gonna add, nah man. <laughs> you know Freeze's fucking nap on the side. <laughs> What's our name to stream? Anyone... What? What's our name to stream? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, what should I name it? 
We're late to class again. Okay. We're... We'll get the new on. Can we put Nah, man? Three's already slid into the Yom... Into the... I have to use... Facebook sucks because they can put you in what's called Facebook jail, for like, which is a three-day ban, so I have to use uh, innuendos. <laughs> I put nah, man. Freeze already slid into Napa's D. Oh, God. Why? But we all <laughs> because know. Because I find the idea of just fucking gay homoerotic sex in Dragon Ball funny. Sorry, chat, but it's hilarious. We all know the true ship is Vegeta and Frieza. Yeah, but... Actually, yeah, Freeze is the ultimate dom in that relationship because he destroyed, he killed Vegeta's father and the planet. I like how we all, like every single Dragon Ball um, fan, oh, and damn Loki it. admits Wait, that. Are Vegeta's... we live yet? No, we're still recording. But like, I, I was like how say, uh, if we were, we'd have to call these Dragon Ball ships and fate. <laughs> Maybe really funny. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to call the mom this though. Is that like how the Dragon Ball? Community simultaneously agrees that Vegeta's a masochist. Yeah. Community's fun, though, because we're mostly all adults. <laughs> and we could actually have fun with this shit. Like, if I were to say this shit in any other community, people would be like, who the fuck is this guy? And I'd Not probably get that. banned on Facebook for like a month. Not only that. Um, you know how when a community doesn't have content for so long, they just start getting bored and doing whatever? Yeah. That's probably why they're so calm with you, because there's barely been any Dragon Ball content other than the game, so it's like... Also... Oh, sorry. So, like... I Remember the Batman Arkham situation? I think so? Oh, dude, look it up. You'll laugh your ass off. Look, dr look at Batman Arkham Reddit. Pat is using tail up on my face. It's super effective. Damn it. For some reason, it's not showing the category. Batman, okay. please. I only stole the feed by starving children. And it's just getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> nice. Did you ever see that one with Batman and the Slurpee? Or the soft drink thing? Oh, God. It's like a TikTok skit that somebody oh. made. <laughs> Okay, apparently Rialta Nua has more followers than regular Fate Stay Night, so we're going to put this in Fate Stay Night because that's Rialta Nua because it has more followers. Oh, they added Christmas stuff? Are they going to put that in the uh, game via an update to Hogwarts Legacy? They better. Yeah. Bro, I'm still that's waiting on that, on that 4K patch for Metal Gear. They're going to 4K patch it? So they... Wait, so they released it in 1080... They released a remaster in 1080p and you're like, yeah, we'll patch it later. 720. I'm, no, I'm hoping they do that. Wait, what the fuck? They released a remaster in 720p lower than the current resolution standard. Metal Gear... That's not even a remaster. That's just a port. Metal Gear Solid 1 is the exception, though, because I feel like if you play it at anything above the tender resolution, it'll break shit. Yeah, but here's the thing. You could totally emulate the GameCube version and up res it to 1080p and not have shit break. You, They literally just ported... The game's two other consoles. No, here's the thing. They, port at it. they ported a port. Ooh, those are never good. They ported the, the HD collection version of MGS 1 and 2, or 2 and 3. There's a game that they did that with recently that it's... Did I tell you about this? That it was, like, terrible because they did that? Oh, it was one of the... Oh, it was Sonic... It was Sonic Adventure, I think. Yeah, the Sonic Adventure 1 PC port. It's a port of the... Okay, so get this shit. It's a port of the original Saturn or whatever version that was ported to Dreamcast, that got ported to GameCube, that got ported to... And the GameCube port was ported to PC. No. Or something. It was a whole kerfuffle bullshit, and it never ran right because of that. That was years ago. Um, I know, it's still really funny how they just did that. That's like no, the height of laziness. The thing. Here's the thing. Sonic Adventure was already on the Dreamcast. They just ported a port of a game that was on the Dreamcast that was ported to GameCube that was ported to modern consoles on 360 and used a 360 port for PC. You can only tweak code for so long before it just becomes a jumbled mess. The Undery Simulator. But uh, anyway, God, I must be allergic to that game. It keeps coming up in our conversations. No, like, every legit, time like, I cough. Like, like, not even Dude, every time I, 
No, but like, it's just all... the example of a bad game. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like, not disagreeing with you. It's like, game. no, but like, in all seriousness, like, every single time we're mentioning a bad game, you always mention Yandere Sam, and I'm like, damn, I get you beat the, the game. We're never but... playing it for one because it's banned on Twitch and two, and it's killed. It's killed the computer of mine. So no, <laughs> let's not do that. Yeah, I don't want to risk it with me either. Even if they do have a 3060. Dude, that thing will murder. That thing almost murdered a Titan once. What? So my brother had a Titan in a really old PC of his, and it almost murdered the Titan. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Hey, since we're already doing Fate, and I have Samurai Remnant, you want to stream Samurai Remnant on Wednesday or Friday? Uh, Wednesday. What's Samurai Remnant? Uh, it's basically it's another it's a Fate spinoff. But here's the thing. Oh, is that the one you showed me? The one with Samurai and gender bent musashi yeah yeah i'm probably gonna start a playthrough of like a dragon ishin on my own channel if you want to uh join in for a kill commentary on that yeah sure fate st <laughs> fake stay away <laughs> fate stay away from this overly complicated lore are you ready to no go, that's that's a doing stuff that's a tag <laughs> i'm not joking nice. that's, a, that's a tag oh you're doing tags and you found that yeah so i had to change the tags around last time Question: Do I add, add? Do I activate reruns? We're not partners, so don't bother with that. Okay, so like content, drug, intoxication, gambling, mature rated game. Yes. I always have vulgar language on because you know us. Yeah, but then again, this game also has sexual themes and violent and graphic depictions. So we activate all three. Just activate the vulgar language. Oh yeah. We don't need to worry about this. Yes. I just keep that on by default because. Not really the game that is vulgar language, but we're always swearing up a storm. Yeah, but we can activate the violent and graphic depictions, because, well, you already saw this game does have gore. Not, nah, I mean, Dante's Inferno could give it a run for its money, but yeah. Yeah, but, like, you want me to activate it, though? Yeah, just be safe. Alright, cool. Alright. Even though I think, I think those are meant to be activated if you're streaming, like, news and stuff like that, though. Not really video games. Well, like, say if we were talking about, like, sex toys in particular, we would activate the sexual content one. Good fucking God. <laughs> also... I'm just giving an example here. Also, if you want, we could stream that visual novel that Type Moon is re releasing next year for America. They remade, they remade their original their original Tsukihime game, their very first now, game. is it a standalone thing, or does it connect to Fate? It's, it's implied to be connected, but it's mostly standalone. So it's I like, usually do one visual novel a year on my own time, so this kind of counts. Yeah, because uh, Tsukihime is sort of its own thing. It's like a, it's their very first visual novel. I think after this, though, we should probably go back to Fate Stay Night or Steins Gate and finish that. Well, that's if we ever do. All one right. Eight, well, when we're done with when we're done with this. All right, that's done. Stream info updated successfully. Fate Fate Stay Night Alpha Nua tags. Is there any other month that starts with an S? Besides September, that I'm ignoring. Nope. I think we should do Steins Gate June since it takes place in the summer. Oh, we could play that through that game during the summer instead of Persona. Because we, by the way, chat on back on screen, we were talking about what game we should stream for like a month. That's not Fate, because we already have that for February, and I'm like, why not Persona Five? Because this man never played Royal. I played base Persona. Lost my, I got soft locked on my first playthrough because I didn't have enough items and I didn't manage my time right. But my second playthrough that I actually had a guide for, oh man, did I sweep that shit. Yeah. Um. As much as you, like, my recommendation, if you're playing Persona 5, any version, get a spoiler-free walkthrough. <laughs> You'll need it. Alright. Starting to stream in 3, 2, 1. Make sure I start stream? Yes. Connecting. We're streaming. Hello, people. It's Japan Lover 79. I'm here with Shinigami, and uh, we're late for class again. And by class, I mean fate. And by fate, I mean Altanua. Or whatever you call it. Realtanua. Realtanua, yeah. Which one was it? Okay, fourth day. I Realtanua at once. I woke up in a Denny's parking lot without my wallet. Oh, if so you're chewing, that's because I'm eating wings on the side. Oh, I thought this was soccer for a minute. I was about to go robot mode. And also, for chat, you're gonna, you're gonna hear chewing. That's because I'm eating wings on the side, and that's because of the fact like it's Monday. So I'm like, ah, I figured it'll be fine. I'm playing a visual novel. There you go. Do you have Twitch open on your uh, on your end? Yeah. 
Can you close out of it so I can get a more accurate viewer count? Okay, hold on. Let me close Google. Jeez. I don't want any ghosting. Jeez. Don't you understand that protecting your server with your life is just meaningless? Oh, okay. First off, I have a lot of words for you, sister. <laughs> oh, okay. So you know we got the, a lot of followers that one day? Yeah. They were 100% bots because they all got auto-banned. I noticed because we only have like by seven viewers now. By Twitch. See how it says like, let's see, if it says unknown user, that means either Twitch ban them or I ban them. Yeah. I noticed because we go from nine or seven followers. And I should have to say this, but if I see any viewer bot, bot bullshit in chat, I will ban you. That means advertisements of viewer bots and or suspicious accounts. He will don't do it. Care. He will do it. I've seen him sabotage. I've seen him ban on live. If you are a real account, please say something in chat. Please. This way I won't view as suspicious. Yeah. My autistic brain works weird, so please. For my own fucking sanity. I did think I would be killed if I went near that monster, but that's a different matter. If you follow, you have a 30 minute grace window to say something, and if you don't say something, I will check your account. If it looks like a bot, you will be banned. As if she's read my mind, she sulks even more. I know that sounds harsh, but I just wanted to put my foot down there, because I'm sick of I need to get the Autobot thing. Yeah. I need to get one of those uh, automation bots. I don't want to have to get one of those. That's why I'm putting my foot down. Responsibility, people. And here's our first sign that she has a crush on us. So she's helping us stay alive. So, wait. Are we hallucinating this or did she actually somehow put our stomach back in her fucking dying body? I'm guessing she healed us somehow. Oh, she probably had another healing crystal. No, it's, I don't think she did. But I'm guessing she had, like, reserve. No, she said, she said she had, like, multiple ones, though. Yeah, multiple. So like, just hanging around her house. Oh, so I'm guessing she must have had an extra spare. Well, I mean, if I have magical crystals that can heal my gruesome wounds, I'd bring them with me every day. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's common sense. Oh, shit, my spleen just happened inside my body. Good thing I had this magic fucking crystal that I've been imbuing my magical hormone energy on all my life. Yeah. By the way, they totally ripped that shit from Yu Yu Hakusho. They could have. I mean, it was released, like, what, six years after? Uh, spoilers for Yu Yu Hakusho, but the, uh, the equivalent of Jesus in that show has an attack that's supposed to be used for humanity's next dark day. Basically, he puts a bunch of uh, energy in his pacifier, and he can use it for one of two things. One, to uh, stop a bunch of demons from invading humanity, or two, reviving somebody. Oh, There's a so... massive Jesus reference that I'm honestly surprised uh, you Hakusho uh, got away with. <laughs> like, he uses it to revive a kid that, uh... Kurama killed one child. Exactly one child, but then, uh... That's why I like the psychic arc, because Kurama killed one ch or the sensory arc. Kurama killed one kid, but then, uh, instead of using it to save humanity, uh, Junior, or whatever his name is in that show, used it to uh, bring the kid back. Because Kurama felt hella guilty about doing it afterwards. But wouldn't Ray help saving humanity also revive the kid? No, it's not like Dragon Ball, where just everyone gets wished to life afterwards. Mm -hmm. Basically, oh. if, uh, well, they found a solution. I mean, the whole, like, part of, the whole thing of the second arc in Yu Yu show is finding a way for demons and humans to coexist peacefully without them coming to Earth and eating everyone. How'd they pull that off? Uh, basically, they used Genkai, I don't want to spoil all of Yu Yu show for the people that are going to watch the live action, but basically, I'm not spoiling the actual live action stuff, because that's when we get to cover the first two arcs. Basically, uh... They, they started using Genkai's resort, Genkai's like palace that she has, or like wood, wood fucking dojo or whatever you call it, villa, as a, uh, as kind of like a safe border for crossing. Ah. If evil demons come through, Yusuke and the others will take care of them. If good demons come through, they'll guide them on their way to actually live amongst humanity. Because not all demons eat people, it's only the higher ranking ones that do. 
You know what I find funny? Speaking of like, live action, demons don't need to eat people. Like, they, in that universe, they just do though. Like speaking of live actions, um, I know a good live action you guys should watch. You ever heard of Alice in Borderland? I have actually. I've heard of that show. It's amazing, dude. You gotta watch it. Is that the one where she's actually in the Borderlands? Or no, it's something else. No, you're thinking of something else. The main character's name is Arisu, but they call it but <laughs> you can tell what that means. Arisu. God, I I need to play that one uh Borderlands game where it's like bunkers and badasses. I wonder if it's gonna go on sale. Yeah. But like the show is really good. Think of death games in an alternate dimension. Oh, was that the thing you were watching on my Crunchyroll? No. I was watching on Netflix. You can tell me if you use my French roll, I won't care. No, because I didn't watch it there. It. I didn't watch it there. It's a live oh. action on Netflix. And it's a good one, too. They got three seasons, and it's great. So that's why she's complaining to me about not realizing that, realizing that I'm running in at Berserker. But yeah, it's really good. You gotta check it out. It's really good. Not you, though. I don't know who else has been using it. Unless my brother's other friend. That's very weird taste. He watched some shoujo thing. I don't mind a good shoujo anime every now and again. That's why I like Infinity Train and uh, Place for in the Universe. Because uh, they are very good at teaching teenagers lessons. And sometimes myself, who's 27 and was never taught these things as a teenager. Understandable. That's why I liked Infinity Train. Yeah, I know Infinity Train's good, but I was going to be really fucked up. Like, when my dad died, I was left to grieve on my own, not knowing how to do it and infinity train kind of teaches kids how to do it to that's properly, very important by the way how to properly grieve yeah that's super important dude you can like really fall into a depression if you don't know how or like, unhealthy uh, outlets if you don't know how to do it cool anyway let's get off this dark topic now and uh, stare at some anime tits i mean a girl so was a that was a joke temper. by the way uh, I see. Dude, oh, I've been watching a Moe right show called... I've been watching that show I showed you called Girls Last Tour, and I'm getting used to Moe art style again, and it's breaking my brain a bit, because it's not the way I like to draw. Because I feel like I've seen that art style before. I thought it was from um, Made in Abyss, but no, it's not. That's so, it seems totally the main thing I noticed that Moe face. girls are drawn is the face is often <laughs> done like... You know, like, cartoon faces, like, stretch and shit? They often do, like, Moe faces as, like, balloons. Yeah, I noticed that when you want to do cute stuff, it's very rounded. So I checked. It's not the same studio, but guess what studio it is? What? Same ones who did Goblin Slayer and the Steins Gate animes. They have a very high pedigree. Which, no wonder why the animation looks amazing. It's number 303 on my anime list, and that is a very, very high number compared to something like, uh, let's say... Like Kingdom, which is only thirteen thousand. Jesus Christ! <clears throat> like, if you're in the top five hundred, people will know what your anime is. I bow my head to show my takes and apologize. I haven't checked my anime list's ratings in a while. It probably really changed with the advent of like Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff like that. Oh yeah, JJK, my modern my hero. Um, Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Even though a lot of shonens tend to be lower, because a lot of the higher ranking shows are things that are very critically occult, like have are critically and occultly acclaimed, such as like FM, FMA is still number one on there. Death Note's critically acclaimed. FMA, it's like speaking in the top of, ten. Speaking of top ten, <laughs> do you remember that glorious day when what's that anime called? Not Redo of Healer. That's a, that's cursed. Uh, it it's was... funny how Rainbow Bombed on release, yet it's in the top 10 now. It's fucking amazing What's how that What's that anime? Happened. Nuxtaku memed about it so hard, it became number one on my anime list. Interspecies Reviews, okay. that's what it is. Oh, Nux... yeah, he did do that. That shit was hilarious. Dude, the time, or that time Crunchyroll greenlit a hentai. That's I've seen that... it, though, and I can see how, I honestly see how they made the mistake, because I can talk about some of the strengths. It's, it was essentially very softcore. Everything was censored. Like, every sex scene was under blankets. So I can see how they made the mistake. Like, it's more tame than the sex scene in this Sorry. game. Okay. Hold on, dude. Be right back. Be right back. Like, I, I, cannot chat 
Uh, oh, like, I can there. honestly see... Alright, I'll keep trying to entertain by keeping this up. I can honestly see how Crunchyroll made that mistake. Because the scenes are, like, very, very tame. Like, it reminded me of the sex scene from, uh... It's kind of like the sex... I mean, it's a bit more graphic than, like, something you'd see in, like, SAO or, like, fucking... Jobless Reincarnation. But still, I can see how they made the mistake. I need to watch that whole show, though, because apparently that's a good plot for a hentai, which is honestly surprising. Most hentais are, like, stories about cheating and shit, and it's, like, or, like, just super violent and edgy for the sake of being super violent and edgy when they don't want to be. Like, I like my, I'm, like, very vanilla with my romance stories because I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking weirdo like that. I'm boring. Like, I really like Over the Moon for you. That one's really good. Speaking of good love anime. Go watch that. That shit's good. <laughs> the one joke that got me in Over the Moon was this one teenage girl who was, like, 14. She's, like, a freshman in high school, about as old as a character on screen. <laughs> was, like... she Okay, so her family owns a hot spring. And she started cleaning when the one dude was in the hot spring. And he's like, uh... Why are you in here while I'm in here? And she's like... Uh, they've known each other since childhood, and she's like, I've been cleaning this hot spring since I was, like, ten years old. Do you think I haven't seen a bunch of dicks before? And I'm like, really? They actually got away with that. <laughs> I'm like, wow. They actually got away with that one. Nice. You know, a lot of Ryu cons tend to be family businesses, so that makes sense. Except usually they don't have the children help out in the actual part. Like, they're more receptionists, because, you know... I shouldn't have to go into detail on why that's kind of dumb to do, but, you know. So I noticed I'm talking about Shinigami reading again. I need to not do that. But if I don't talk, Shinigami's like, you okay, man? And he can hear everything I'm saying right now, and he just heard me say that. But much. What's my cat doing? She's still old that her butt waddles every time it walks, and it's adorable. Remember, kitty, you have a litter box. Please use it. Oh, I went to launch Tetris while I went for Shinigami, and that's not Tetris. Anyway, I've been watching season two of Invincible Chat, and it is, it is a doozy. A really good doozy. I think episode three comes out tomorrow? I know they're doing it in parts for some reason, which I think they did the first season in parts, so yeah. What was that about Tetris? Oh, I have been Tetris, so I was waiting for you, and I accidentally opened up block, 64 block. Alright. Yeah, I was hoping to take on laundry real quick, but it was fine. <sighs> it's funny how our gaming tastes are super different. Like, I can totally zen game where you're like, I, I can't zen game. What are you doing? Turns like I look away. Her ass is super fine this morning. You know what's fucked up? Ufo table. What? When they had her change her outfit, they had, for some reason, that's like, you know what? It's, it's, it's involved in an arrow game. We're going to make people realize that. And so when I she mean, changed her outfit... Mind. When they changed her outfit, what ended up happening is that <laughs> it showed a bit of her, like, there was some definition, I'll say that. I like, mean, I've been watching that right one really skirt. show I told you about, and there's, like, I mean, I've seen worse from, yeah. like, 80s anime, like, yeah, way like, worse. Don't get me wrong, it was completely covered by the skirt. It's just that for some reason, it's like, you can still see the, the line, and I'm like, damn. I mean, I've seen way worse than uh, the original Gundam. So, the characters in the original Gundam are 16, right? And then they have two little, they have three little kids that are about eight. They had a very graphic baby scene. I think I brought this up that they had to censor on Toonami because it showed everything that Frambo had to offer. 
Jesus. Keep in mind, this aired on Japanese. This aired on Japanese TV in the eighties. Of course, our TV station was like, we should probably cut that. Because you know, like nowadays when they show naked anime girls, it's like a Barbie doll, Barbie doll body, essentially. Probably for the best. That's how they did it in uh, the show I'm currently watching, that uh, Girls on Tour, which smart way to do it. Which it's funny how Japan can get away with any kind of nudity as long as you don't show nipples and or genitals in detail. Unfortunately, U.S. censorship is like, yeah, absolutely not. Blocked, censored, don't do that. Which is understandable. I mean, for fuck's sake, they're still teenagers. Which is, which is why we had to wait a month for a... Oh, yes, yeah, 100% understandable. Which is why we had, why do you think we had to wait a month for Zanky Zero? Because they had to censor all the nudity scenes in that. Yeah. Japanese TV standards are weird. Like, they're more okay with nudity than they are with uh, violence. Which and it's is, the opposite over here. We're, we're more okay with violence than they are with, than with nudity. What's funny is that I think they're slowly starting to realize that, where it's like, hey, people like JJK and Chainsaw Man, we'll make more of it. Which makes me happy, because Japanese TV was getting very, very censored recently. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul! Which is oh, probably... God, that first episode is... Tokyo Ghoul and this one show I watched by Spike Chunsoft were really bad in the sensory department. Like, come What's later down the line. What's funny is that, like... What's funny is that, um, how do I say it? Is that, since we're getting the op, they're starting to realize that, that gore is fine. Also, um, let me just say this. So, for all you JJK slash JJK fans, um, uh, let me just say this. Uh, they're having the equivalent of a strike over at Studio MAPPA. I was gonna say, they probably are. Mappa, Mappa makes good stuff, but uh, it's pretty bad that it costs literal human lives over there. Yeah, the problem is they want to be the next UFO table and Studio Trigger. That's the problem. How about you actually treat your animators with proper rights and give them food? Like, it's literally so bad that there's, in Japan and Korea for animators right now, there's a literal drive, like, Patreon drive, just to send them food. It's really bad. He got so bad that JJK author had to send in canned food. Like, I love anime, but my god. Yeah, it's not only that. Anime is better. It doesn't help that their government's making it worse. Anime shouldn't be made by a Chinese sweatshop. It should be a labor of love. Yeah, I remember... And anime titties. I remember that, um, the new, um, Zom 100 anime. That one looked like a labor of love, because it felt so relatable. And it's like... Damn, they actually worked. That one felt like a labor of love. Yeah, business with me. She would have gone home already. What is it that Tosaka, my enemy, wants to discuss in your enemy's territory? I mean, for fuck's sake, I got st I got chopped in the stomach. She could have let me die before. I got. They always got... talk over like the, fir the first part of it like a lot. I need to stop doing that. Yeah, that's a habit of yours. I'm interested in that, yeah. man. I also want to know what happened last night. That's because we're always balls deep in a conversation when we start this. Yeah, I'm, hold on, I'm going to modify my mic settings real quick. And it should be a bit louder, because I feel like I'm a bit quiet. Dude, I roasted Omni-Man players on uh, Facebook today, and people are agreeing with me. <laughs> Here's the thing, Omni-Man players, I've seen their combos. Those motherfuckers are literally all-rounders. They cover every aspect. Well, Omni-Man's a techie, so... Because he has a lot of counters and shit, and I'm like... Yeah, okay, you can play a techie, but I'm an all-out brawler when I play Reptile, so it's like, yeah. I'm going to rip you to pieces. By the way, for context, I was helping this man learn combos in MK1. He tried playing it like MKX, and that was his flaw. And what ended up happening is I showed him a combo yeah. of it, and I, told, and I showed him that you can repeat combos, and his mind opened up. <laughs> like, I'm used to combo chaining in MKX, but apparently it's a combo tree in MK. 11 and 1, so I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. Because it used to be considered spamming when you do that, so... But now it's normal. Maybe not in MK1. Yeah, MK1 like, normalized it. both games combat... If I describe both games combat, MKX looks like a beautiful dance of martial arts, to where MK1 is just like, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you with everything I've got in my arsenal. Yeah, my three specials. But those three specials got range. 
Yeah, I don't like the new acid spit the reptile has. They did the MK9 acid spit again, and it's like really weird to hit. Because you're supposed to use that as a stun if people are blocking, and then hit with slime ball. But I, I don't do that. I tend to just use it as a simple fireball. I'm more interested in why Totsuka is still here. But yeah, I opened up this man's mind, and all of a sudden he was doing better. Dude, I can't wait till Homelander's out so we have the beef between the Homelander people and the Omni Man people. That's gonna be great. Dude, it's gonna be so fucking funny. Um, because, um, ever since Death Battle, I've always noticed Homelander fans and Omni Man fans kind of beefing it out. But here's the thing even the Homelander fans want to see Homelander lose. I mean, Homelander's a piece of shit. And, I mean, the fun thing with both Superman, like, clones is they're both pieces of shit. Except one but gets one gets redeemed one's voiced though. By... One gets redeemed though. One the other redeemed, just one doesn't. Yeah. Also the voice actor I rewatched that death battle, the voice actor they got is pretty damn close to the original. For Homelander? I told you I was gonna feed you your stomach. No problem, man. That one line that, that he gives is should get him a fucking professional debut. He's like, I told you I was gonna feed you your stomach. No, he said. I'm like, you're... Oh, God. That's no, why you do threatening in a deep voice, bro. No, he said, I'm gonna feed you your own heart, which he did. Which, by the way, I showed this man Thanksgiving fatality. Um, he got pissed. What is it? Yeah, um, I get very mad at Netherrealm when they do weird fucking. I don't like games that have rotating stores. It's like, let me buy your fucking cosmetics. Don't fucking parade them on a pedestal and, like, rotate them out. It's like, if I want to buy it, I'll buy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Same for a second. Like, like, money. Totally disappointed. Here. Money. Take it. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Today I'm standing there. Next to a brain dead cashier, and be like, money. Me want product. Here, money. Here, yeah, you, money. Oh my god, you'd hate Rainbow Six Siege, dude. You'd absolutely hate that game. I know, it's like. I swear some companies are just allergic to money, though. Like, it's. Nintendo is like, won't make a Pokemon Coliseum Stadium and XD remake, even though people have been asking for it. You mean you? No, other people have too. Also, a Conquest remake, which there's a big following on Twitter for that. No, that's not it. Oh, sorry, I meant to say me. X. But the logo looks lineup, like a yeah. fucking clothing brand. No, blame Elon Musk. He's always trying to make everything SpaceX, dude. Dude, the logo looks like a fucking worn clothing brand. And I'm like, what am I wearing Twitter now? And everyone just calls it Twitter still. No one calls it X. I call it fucking Twitter. Everyone, dude, you're not Twitter the only one, dude. I'm not the one who wants to ask. What do I do now? Uh, also, you know when certain countries are making you pay for it, which is like, if that ever comes here, I'm going to be like, well, this app's dead. I feel like Musk is trying to kill it, because he kind of... See, he put the bid in, but then nobody else wanted Twitter, so he got stuck with it, and now he's trying to kill it. Yeah, but here's the thing. Would the world really be that affected? If he did. I mean, I like Twitter, though. Yeah, you like Twitter, but here's the thing. You're forgetting Twitter's fill is a cesspool. Facebook's becoming even more of a cesspool. With fucking... With fucking boomers all over it. Aren't you technically a boomer? Oh, wait, never mind. No, I'm gen... I'm millennial. I'm... I was, like, the last year of millennials. 1996, baby. Ah... You know what's funny is that you should hate my you should hate my gen, but somehow we get along. I was one year away from being a zoomer. <laughs> I can't wait for people to be saying "Okay, millennial." <laughs> okay, I, mean, I can't wait for that day. It'd be so funny. Okay, abortion. Oh wait, I shouldn't have told you that. I'm not interested in saying the series of the Holy Grail, but dude, it's full of dank kush. 
You get one wish and all the weed you can ever want. What is not to want? By the way, chat, I wrote down an enshrined rule set for this game so we don't forget anything later. I literally oh, yeah. took notes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. This man literally decided, you know what? I'm going to make a rule set of Face the Night. That way I can remember because what the rules are for this. Because if you watch any death game anime, the main way of changing the plot is to shatter the rules into a million pieces. And it makes you wonder, why have established rules in the first place, Danganronpa? Three. Specifically. Yeah. It's like that. Okay, so I wrote the rules down as follows. Seven servers and, ma and master kill each other. Last one standing gets the Holy Grail and the Kush. There is Kush involved. We've established this. Yeah. If you don't know what Kush means, uh, ask your dad. Because you're too young to be watching this stream. Anyway, if a master dies, servant can stay alive for a bit. Holy Grail can only appear after fight is done. Servants can and will bone their masters. If necessary. If command seals are used up, are used up you will lose. No, you lose control over your servant. You will lose or you... Don't they say to surrender though? Is it a church? Yeah, if you surrender, you go to the church because that's where you'll be safe. It's like a sort of... Like a neutral zone. Oh, you know what I just thought about? That might what? be why servants aren't allowed in there because your servant might try and kill you if you lose control of the thing. That and also the fact that I think in Face the Night and Lore, I researched some stuff. Servants can go rogue. What that one dude was rogue? You know, he said he had a master to report back to. Yeah, so I'm guessing he does have a master. It's just that, um... <laughs> I know the ones we know about so far. Kakolin. I'm just gonna call him Goliath for now because I forget his name. Kakolin Goliath, which is what our sister has. Her sermon, Archer, and then ours, which is, uh... What's our... Saber, right? Yeah, we have Saber. Which leaves three unaccounted for. And, um... One of the servants we can bone. Interesting. Okay, Saber. And I will read out each sex scene verbatim, though we will have a censor screen over it. So don't get too excited, chat. Remember I got the censorship activated? It is the only time I will play the main character. If it's voice, is it voice? I think it is. I don't care, so I'm gonna read it. Dude, this has more graphic sex scenes than all of Shadow with Shoujo. I think this has the most graphic. People are saying this game, from what I read online, has the most graphic sex scenes of any Aruga. So I was reading, you know what I was reading earlier? I was reading why so like all the Sakura games, like Sakura Spirit or whatever, are banned. Apparently they're more tame than like every Aruga, like both this and Sh Shadow with Shoujo. Yet they're still banned on Twitch, even though all the nudity is completely censored by the environment. Tell me how that makes sense. Oh. And I just ate my I... way through 16 wings. Oh, you got hot wings? You like faster? What'd you order? Buffalo? Or did you make them? Oh god, Domino's wings. Dude, Domino's rings are the ones you get when you're high. Dude, they're still good, dude. I say, I say this, now, I'm not able to get high because my ADD medication, but... Well, you already have a way to get high, you just need to take it off of it. I have... No, I can get high, I just don't want to because it can counteract my Asperger's medication. Ah. I can get drunk, though, without problem. Yeah, you told me plenty of times you went You're to not... plenty of bars. You're not supp- Oh, I almost got kicked out of my- Dude, I only bar hopped once in my life, and I almost got kicked out. Best night of my life. What the hell I almost got laid hopping? that- Dude, I almost- Wait, you're not- Oh my god, you are a Gen Z for love and life, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god. I, okay. is, is bar hopping just, like, going from one bar to the next? Alright, let's say you go to, like, an entertainment district, like a boardwalk or something, and they have a bunch of bars. Yeah. You basically either, A, get a hotel room, or have a designated driver, and just go from bar to bar to bar. And just get yourself absolutely fucking crunked. It was, uh... It's fun. It's really fun. 
Especially when you're like with a lot of guys that you know and trust. It's really you know what's fun. funny? You like, reminded me of a joke that I heard once where like there was this guy, an American, going to a pub in Ireland and I'm like, what's this man going to do? And apparently he challenged anyone to drink like 10 shots of tequila or like 50, Dude, 20 you shots. probably won't want to. You know what we should do when we turn 21? What? You should fly down here because we have we have some of the best drinking in the world with Atlantic City and the sea, and Seaside down by me and we should just go bar hopping. And just record it for well, Twitch. Let me finish the joke. Where like um, the guy, the guy ended up saying like, if you can, I'll give you five hundred dollars if you drink twenty shots of like rum. I forgot what it was. Some guy, no one answers, and one of the guys at the bar. Twenty minutes later, the guy comes back and he's like, "Is the offer still going?" And the guy gives him like the timer. He pulls it off, gives him the five hundred dollars, and is like, "Hey, where'd you go?" And he's like, "Oh, I went to another bar to go see if I can actually do it." <laughs> Yeah, we should totally do that when you turn 21 and just stream the whole thing. That'd be fun. Nah, bro. I'm gonna... I'm a light drinker. I got drunk off like... Oh, it's like two sips of Corona. Alright. Servants have their own desires? Does that mean Saber has a wish she wants the Holy Grail to grant? My problem with Jersey is drinks are fucking like $10 a drink over here. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I don't want to go to Jersey. Also because of the fact that I'm afraid of getting stabbed. Where I live, you your chances of getting stabbed are literally zero. If you go to, like, the city. Yeah, but it's also Jersey. Yeah, there's good parts of Jersey and bad parts of Jersey, just like Texas. I live in central Jersey where we're all chill and don't say fuck you to each other 24-7. Oh, yeah, that's like a stereotype. Isn't that a stereotype with Jersey where it's like they're constantly swearing at each other? Yeah, and middle fingering each other. It's a reason it's called the Jersey greeting. <laughs> I mean, we'll be ruthless to each other on the roads, but other than that, we're not really. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me that joke where it's like some guy was, um, how do you say it? Yeah, it was a guy I saw in an anime, wait, was it the anime convention thing you were yeah, talking about? Yeah, it was the anime convention, that's the one you told me about. He's like, this dude's a professional race car driver, and he's like, how the fuck do you, he didn't say the F word, but he's like, how do you guys drive in Jersey, good lord. And I'm like, <laughs> and someone's like. Must have took the parkway, bro. Or no, someone's like, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, dude, our, dude, there's a town in my uh, municipality that, like, every time you drive through it, you feel like you're risking your life because it's just jam-packed with people and, like, the driving is awful. It's like you're driving in a city. Well, here's the thing. I already know driving in the city is bad, but <laughs> is it really that bad over like, there? I had to take my mother there for a doctor's appointment, and we were two hours late. Good <laughs> God. I think she drove, but we were... Well, I didn't have to take her. She drove. I worded that wrong. But we were friggin' an hour late This is the fucking traffic. Like, if you look up Lakewood, New Jersey on Facebook, you will see a bunch of, uh, just people bitching about the driving. Oh, God. That means allowing also a shit ton of anti-Semitism because, uh, Lakewood. That will be over if I reached a compromise with the Masters, but the servants are the ones summoned up to the Holy Grail, and if, if it is true that they would not give it up, then a battle between servants is inevitable. Also, if the, even if the masters are chill with each other, the servants will still try to fight each other. Oh, because they're technically being used by the Holy Grail. So, so essentially the Holy Grail is brainwashing them a little bit. No, it's less brainwashing and more it's just like, what the, like I said, servants can go rogue and they do have a wish. And the thing is, they're going to do whatever it takes to get that wish, even if it means... Killing a master that your master's chill with. Why do I feel like one of the ending things is going to be like, I wish to be human? Nah, I doubt it. Then the girl that fought to protect me make is also ready to kill or be killed to obtain the Holy Grail. Holy Grail, make me a real boy. <laughs> make me a real boy, you summon Pinocchio. <laughs> I just summon... Technically you could. But C Pinocchio yeah. was a fairy tale, not an historical figure. Technically, with the amount of people that, like, have you ever heard the worship of Mickey Mouse joke of, like, aliens finding Mickey Mouse years later after we're all gone and thinking it's some kind of temple because everyone wears mouse ears and it's, like, Mickey Mouse is all over the place? Oh, God. <laughs> Technicality, if aliens started a Holy Grail War and, like, they were using our religions for it, you could technically summon Mickey Mouse with these rule sets in mind. We make fucking... Leon from Resident Evil, fucking servant. That'd be yeah. amazing. Um, I mean, it's temporary. I guy. mean, if you, sum 
There's still the fact that something human shaped has disappeared from this world. I mean, if you summon Liam Neeson, everyone's just gonna die around you automatically just when their ovaries exploding, so yeah. No, every woman. <laughs> every woman, yes. I mean, yeah, probably every woman would die from their ovaries exploding. Well, my CPU is still like at 0.5%. This, yeah, no wonder. My, my PC, Streamlabs was overloading my PC. Hm. Common is only natural. As a Magus, death is always right beside me. I understood it, and I'm already prepared for that. But still, not strong enough. To Mine's over running so it. good or bad. Mine's over running at 12%. Mine at 0.6%. So you're just going to wait for the others to kill you? Oh, so he's still trying to be pacifistic. I wasn't reading this. Yeah, she's saying it. But you have to fight to get the Holy Grail, and if you don't fight, your servant will be pissed. No, like, wish. no, like he's saying he'd prefer not to fight, but if he has to, he will. Holy Grail wants blood. You gotta exchange blood for that Kush. Yeah, he's willing to. He's willing to shed blood. It's just that he's gonna only do it if he really needs to. Like, for example, like he is cornered and he has no choice but to fight, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna fight. By the way, how did you stitch my stomach back inside of me? Yeah, you, you never explained that. The opponent had to kill me. Well, you see this. <laughs> we see this. Uh, your stomach. I had to literally surgically t put it in there. So I had to get like a bunch of string. And I also had to get some sewing needles. Right now, your most of your body is just made out of thread. <laughs> uh, my dad works for Nintendo. That's how I managed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you a power up mushroom. Yeah. Just like, put, does a thing from Mario and just gives him a, a mushroom. Or just a green mushroom and it's like, bam, 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 bam. extra life. Also, my she just had a one-up on her. Also, the cat scratched the webbing of, of my thumb and, I, and it hurts. Ooh, yeah, dude. You're not used to cat scratches. See, I'm used to them. It's like, yeah, whatever. No, here's the thing. I'm used to cat scratches. I just am not used to it when they're scratching the webbing of in between my thumb and index finger. Uh, you washed your hand, right? Because yeah. those can get in those yeah, can washed. get infected. Yeah, I washed it. It happened a few days ago, so it's already fine. Yeah, so there's a thing called cat scratch disease you can get from cats if they use the litter box and extract you. And uh yeah, my niece had one not my niece, one of my aunts had it. And she had to go like several shots to cure the infection. Someone like yesterday? Yeah, I immediately washed it the moment I got the chance. It burned like a bitch, but yeah. Someone like yesterday. She was Should you wash it? That sounds like it was infected if it burned. Hmm. Currently, my cat is on top of me, just like pondering life right now. <laughs> pondering life. By the way, off topic. Um, I now have five more puppies. Nice. Here's the thing. I don't know where the mom is. Huh. I'm not joking. Literally, I woke up one day, and all of a sudden, I went to go feed my dogs. All of a sudden. I look behind me, and five puppies spawned from under my house. It's called the dog distribution system, and it, it's kind of a bitch. <laughs> and the thing is, they must have been down there for a while, because I thought they were, their mom was still under there, but no, those fuckers are huge. And the thing is, like, I remember one time I moved my dog, because it was raining, so I had to move him, like, to a different spot. And so, she went under my house... And she saw the pups, and I'm like, what the hell is she going under there? And I'm guessing she was just, like, playing with them, because she, like, looked really happy to see them. So I'm guessing she got playmates now. Certainly, maybe I mean, strength, and allows the destructive of a destruction of a house or two with a single blow. Certainly, if that thing wished, this town could be ruined in just one night. Uh, yeah, we've seen that. Remember Fate Samurai Remnant? I think I've seen that. No, it's, I, I streamed it to you, like, off screen, off stream once. Oh, and yeah, I showed did. you it, and <laughs> the the equivalent of Saber in that game literally almost destroyed a block. And she based on Oda Nobunaga. No, Oda Nobunaga is someone else. Not only that, it's apparently the in the game. Spoiler alert for Fate Samurai Remnant. It's implied she's from before Japan, like China, before they even like colonized. Because they apparently she said they still they started using wooden boards to you know write shit down. 
Dude, Oba Nobunaga's story is so, like, well-known that they literally, like, used it toe-for-toe toe with the Elder Scrolls story for Triber Septum. You know what's funny is that every time I hear the word Oda Nobunaga, I always get reminded that for some reason he's always just the villain when he's technically not. By the way, we can play for some of those battles in Total War if you ever should so want. On top of that, the problem is that the servants are normally in spirit form. Humans can't see those in spirit form. But since the servants can affect the real world of the spirits, you can call them the most powerful weapon. They're also writing in some kind of weird black notebook with right writing on top of it that says DF note. Sh shut I don't know what they're doing, but uh, people tend to die around me all the time when they do that. Sh shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, they literally act like Shinigami when they're in spirit form. They act like Shinigami. Shinigami. Except, except not nearly as cool. Our attacks are they act like Shinigami, me. Shinigami. And their attacks can damage us. I know it's Shinigami, but I'm going to call you Shinigami so that they die. <laughs> It's fine. I'm not just a, I'm, it's not just a one-sided game. Murder by servant is like a natural death to normal people. <laughs> so, Shinigami told me his real name, and because I have, like, massive shorts from memory loss, I fucking forgot. It's the most Mexican name he's ever heard. Pretty sure it's like Antonio, right? Nah. Hold on, I need to wash Damn my hands. Let me get the grease off. I thought I was closed. I'll have to ask you again after stream. Yeah. See, because I doxed myself, so I'm surprised you don't know my name. Dude, I am terrible at remembering names. We gotta get some crimpets while he's doing this. I got jelly filled crimpets. I wanna stick that shit in a fucking microwave and just go don't down worry. in the box. Don't, don't worry, it was really fast. I have to wash my hands real quick to get the grease off my fingers. Oh, I'm just gonna go get a snack real quick. Alright. We're they're just reiterating stuff we already know, right? Yeah, death caused by an invisible killer will just be treated as an accidental death or suicide. I'm gonna keep my note active for this. Servant, yeah, master to servant are not the only master who can kill other masters. The rest of the people are not related to you. Yeah, so that's why I'm not a hero. But I don't need to be a good actor for that. One thing I forgot to say is that. サーバントっていうのは例なの。彼らはもう完成したものだから、今以上の成長はない。けど、燃料であるcould say magical energy is the gunpowder to fill a gun. <laughs> and the magus itself is the gun. The type of gun depends on the magus' abilities. Pistol, rifle, machine gun, shotgun. Using that metaphor, servants are cannons. Using a large amount of gunpowder, they fire a large bullet. That's <laughs> right.彼らは自分の中だけの魔力で活動する。それを補充するのが私たちマスターで、サーバントは自分の魔力プラスアルジであるマスターの魔力分しか聖殿の力を発揮できないの。けど、それだとあなたみたいに半人前のマスターじゃ
<sighs> I'm gonna wait here and wait for this man to show up so we can actually see. Hey man. Hey, guess what this game? Guess what this game just said. <laughs> Boo! I'm back. Hello. Guess what this game just said. Read the read the thing. What? Read the thing. Uh. Exactly. You see, they replenish their magical energy from their master. And by replenishing magical energy, I mean. Wink, wink, bang, bang, nudge, nudge, fuck, fuck, a big schnuckle. <laughs> you know, the usual shebang, aka. AKA, stick thing in thing, thing happened. At least they can't get pregnant. They can't, because they have to pay a lot of child support, and they can't get pregnant because the child would die on birth. <laughs> Oh. Wow, you throw so many fucking jelly in the tasty cake. Or the tasty cake sponsorship. Or should I say there's a chance of ever getting one? Dude, I feel cheated. I bought jelly crimpets and jelly and jelly in them. Uh... That's why I shouldn't legally be allowed to do the snack shopping. Huh. Oh, but a smart master wouldn't do such a thing. Oh, yeah, because they said it himself. If they, anyone who sees the war will die. So that means they can't just suddenly go out on a killing spree because that would be against the rules oh yeah they could go on a murder spree but here's the thing it would just bring a it would just bring in more problems because they're just going to be investigating the damn thing so they figure out who caused the economy it. Of this, it would destroy the economy of the town you're having this fight in and all the resources you had would just be gone yeah e? it's more like twinkies than they do fucking crimpets Basically, Joey's favorite crimpets wouldn't recommend. What? What? What'd you say? I'm eating jelly flavored crimpets right now, and they barely have any jelly in them, and I feel cheap. <sighs> Tasty cake. I know the feeling. <laughs> I've been cheated once before. I mean, they're good. They just barely make jelly. Oh, so they're basically saying that, yeah, it's not that it's against the rules, but that it's stupid because you're going to be um exposing yourself more. And the thing is, you have also a higher chance of having your servant lose. It's like a 50-50. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's like a 50-50. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta wear out your shirt. Yeah, because you're gonna expose your location if given if given the wrong answers by your servant, and you have a higher chance of your servant just dying on you. Because a, they'll know who you're they stuck. are, and b, they'll be showing they'll be showing off their skills, thus letting the enemy you know examine their abilities. Dude, I'm so mad that you have Krispy Kreme by you. Why? I see. We don't have them. Oh, you, <laughs> you unlucky bastard. Dude, we used to. We had one near me. We don't have any more. They all, like, pulled out of Jersey like the plague. <laughs> because it's fucking Jersey. I mean, yeah. Sandwich. We're like uh, we're like slaves to the Dunkin' of Donuts. And their donuts suck now. They, like, take... Their, dude, their donuts taste... They don't make their donuts on site anymore like they used to when I was a kid. And they all taste like chemically machiny and shitty. <laughs> I know that feeling. Dunkin' Donuts just. I know that Dunkin feeling. Dunkin' Donuts just gives us a, I felt a the sense same of sponsorship way. email. I feel the same way about KFC. <laughs> if they do, all of a sudden you're gonna be dick riding saying, "Oh, Dunkin' Donuts is amazing." Never. I would not take their money and sponsor them. No, like not even if it's a, not even if it's like a hundred grand. Dude, if I hate a product, I can't say positive things about a product, so I would not take the money. Yeah, the only way you say something genuinely Especially food. 
I feel like if you were to ever say something genuinely positive, it's because you actually use that product. Now, if Krispy Kreme wants to sponsor us, uh, Krispy and Kreme. send me your supply of don't a pre-made donuts, uh, yeah, I'm right here if you ever want us. Certainly, if <laughs> nobody knows that you are a master, there's no danger of the masters attacking you. Speaking of which, I will suck the shit out of your chocolate stick. I mean, Mercy, donut. If you know what the other masters are, you should definitely pull a surprise <laughs> attack on them. By that theory, there won't be many masters that would have any their servants attack humans and reveal their identity. Yo, is it is it a Texas thing to have like donut or leftover birthday cake or something for breakfast? Like something sweet. Yep. <laughs> or at least what my family. We do it all the time. Yeah, but my family. Oh is. yeah, we used to do it all the time. Because what my family would do. Like is I remember. If we had cake, we 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 wouldn't prefer to. But if we're like really lazy, we'll just like eat whatever cake we had after a party. So I remember we were little. I was in kindergarten. That's the story I remember. We all like we were so excited because we had like a leftover birthday cake for breakfast. We were telling our teacher, and her face was like, "What?" I mean, it's a thing that everybody did. So it's like, what is the teacher not have a childhood? <laughs> that must be the case. And you teach kindergarten. That <laughs> was good cake though. It's more oh. like the butter like. Frosting cakes got crappy. Oh shit! So you know, basically, shit. any sort of servant can be any sort of hero, even if they were mass murderers. So they can be. It can be really recent, and they could be a hero. Wait, they're breaking their own rules already. It said specifically, the only heroes they could be are people that are widely known and/or worshipped. That's. Here's the thing. Technically, it's not breaking the rule. For example, Al Bundy could be well known and worshipped. Oh my god! Isn't he the cannibal? <laughs> Am I thinking of yep. uh, the dude from uh, Silence of the Lambs? You're thinking of... Not Ted Bundy. You're thinking of... What's his name? Uh, he had a Netflix show. Oh uh, god, I have a joke I want to say so bad, but we get cancelled. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. That's what I remember. I saw... <laughs> I I summoned the Boston Marathon Bombers in attack mode. Oh, God. I s oh, God. Cut that. No. No. We are keeping oh, it. Wait. I don't care. We're keeping it. So, <laughs> wait. So, technically, you could summon anybody as a hero. So, if you wanted to say summon, like, oh, I don't know, uh, fucking Stalin, you could be like... Here's Stalin. Yeah, because he's well known and back in the day was worshipped. So it's like that would be stupid because Stalin wasn't really a fighter. He was literally just, just literally a communist fat ass that just had all the political power. Yeah, but then again, he's still well known. He was the one that managed to get Hitler killed, though. So I'll give him credits for that. Yeah, he killed. Yeah, trade one tyrant for another. And here's a history lesson. So at the end of World War II, Hitler and Stalin both really hated each other and wanted to see the other one dead and tortured at their feet. So, but Germany couldn't invade Russia because of the current wet weather. So after their failed invasion of Germany, it fucked up the German army. So Stalin took advantage and sent a ton of fucking troops into Novigrad or wherever it was in Germany. And literally Hitler had to kill himself before they got there because he would have been captured and tortured for years to come. Here's the thing, the bastard deserved it. He just went he just went the pussy way out. Remember when we had a yeah, joke? He, became, he literally became Stalin's plaything, which would have been way more entertaining to watch. Yeah, you know, I remember we made a joke about this where like, what if heaven and hell were real? And we were like, if heaven and hell were real and we could actually go there physically, it would, there would just be a think tank of the worst people in the world in hell. And there would just it's a be torture like petting zoo. A torture petting and by zoo. By petting zoo I mean torture zoo. Where you could just like get, get your like, flamethrower some... instead of like penises, like get your flamethrowers here, get your flamethrowers. We we get we got regular stoning to full on uh filleting. So what what do you want to do? We also have, we also have really good baristos if you want to do a castration. <laughs> and it's just the most popular one is Adolf Hitler, where <laughs> where it's like. And and it's like, hey, and, and like the guy, the cashier is like, we recommend go for Adolf Hitler. He seems really popular with the Jews. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're buying baristos and flamethrowers off me like, man. Uh, so basically what a barista is, it's what a farmer uses to castrate goat. 
It essentially crushes the uh, spermatic cord of the goat. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. And masochistic people have used them when there's so much that there's literally a warning on the barista website. Please don't buy this if you're in the BDSM. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, you can seriously harm yourself doing that. That didn't stop the masochist. I've seen live link videos of people doing that, let's just say, and it's, uh, disturbing. Oh, God. I, I, I keep forgetting live leak was a thing. Yeah, fucking live leak. It still is a thing. But it's, it's not... Thing. It's still a thing, but it's not as prominent. Well, yeah, people aren't posting... Well, the internet's kind of becoming sanitized, and I love and hate that at the same time. Like, yeah, certain stuff that shouldn't be on the internet, like uh, illegal pornography. Yeah, get that shit out of here. But, like, certain things, like, you know, we're streaming right now, we're not just not allowed to say certain things. It's like, why not? We're not hurting anyone. Yeah, matter of fact, we're making fun of it, so it's like... <laughs> it's like, fuck Hitler. <laughs> just like Takumi. Him and Takumi could have gay sex and we'd hate both of them equally. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. An obligation to command my sir. So I can on my own sir. And I'm, I'm adding that to the list people. of dumb things I've said while recording. Yeah. I should make a way, list, actually. By the way, I can't, I can't really see how many people are watching our stream. I can. We have exact. You exited out of Twitch, right? Oh, no, wait. Users in chat. Uh, there's you, broadcast, there's the broadcaster, us. Hmm. I can't really see because I'm still in the OBS, so. Oh, it's just one guy. Probably you. Which, uh, thank you because, uh, we're stupid and we need the views. Yeah, we're, we're, we're number, so, I, I got... we're, we're, we're number whores. <laughs> I ran towards Saber and got my oh, blown away by Saber. Oh, dude, guess Where's what I got accepted to? Speaking of shit, we might, may or may not be able to stream. What? Oh, wait, no, we can't stream. It's a closed beta. I got accepted to the Doom closed beta. The Doom closed beta? Yeah, that makes me happy a little bit. What do you mean, Doom closed beta? What the, what the hell do you mean? Do Dune is... Dune, D-U-N-E, is having an MMO closed beta. And I like me some MMOs. They're going to make an MMO based off the book or the movie? Oh, from what I heard, the, apparently the oh. new movie is better than the original one. Oh, I should actually fill out that survey while we're recording. It's weird. They sent the bait invite. They're like, here's another survey for you to fill out. Fill out. Separate from the other survey we already had you fill out. I'm like, so did I get accepted or no? Yeah, and it's like, we won't tell you It's like yet. a fucking college app. It's like a fucking college application. That's like, thank you for your subscribing to our college or whatever. Uh, we've looked over your stuff and we need you to send uh, pretty much all this shit. Including uh, your social security number, other stuff. Makes me kind okay, of so it makes me kind of glad. I, I don't think I can college. read this. It's a private. I can't read this online because it's a private email. I didn't go either. With an unpleasant <laughs> side, <laughs> <I> just start <laughs> subscribing. What happened yesterday, especially with with what's what with what was going on with current colleges nowadays. A lot of um, not of action, not not a lot of actual learning. Oh, okay. What is your email? Oh, okay. It's just having me fill out. It's just having me fill out information as a beta tester. Oh my God! You see? Okay, it's, it's confirmed. Apparently, Shiro has a healing factor. She tells me that my body started to heal itself. Oh, like fine for so that's how we're not dead. We have bullshit main character powers. Nice. A healing factor, and she says that she brought me here since so I didn't get my consciousness uh, and my wounded. Uh, well, I just want my Discord that's username. Right now. That's a little weird. Oh, I guess so they can have a private Discord server so people can link up. Uh, how old are you? 25 to 34. Gender, how do you identify? I always prefer not to answer these days because I hate targeted advertising. Yeah. Speaking of which, I, found, I saw a funny video, and this might be offensive to anyone who's gay. I don't mean any harm. But I saw a video of some guy... Painting a pride flag on the street. First off, that is a horrible idea. Because A, depending on the person, they are going to fucking burn tire the moment they get on it. Depending on the person. Because, whoo! And what language do you normally speak at home? Uh, I speak Scandinavian French. It's a very complicated language. Yeah. How familiar are you with the Dune universe? 
Does watching in 20 minutes of the Dune movie and being bored from it count as familiar? I like how you say you're bored from the movie, even though the remake is incredibly well received. What can I do now that she said that? Stomach is certainly healed, but I have doubts about those of the story. Speaking of which, I watched the Batman last year. It's amazing. Four out, best four hours of my life. Or three hours, I don't know. They always ask, like, in these things, like, what genre games he prefers that can pull you up for Maybe another beta, and it's like, it's not really necessary. I like playing everything. Like, the only strategy I don't like is sports, to be honest with you. Here's the thing. Only people that are obsessed with sports like sports games. So, I signed up for a, uh, so I signed up for a Quidditch MMO. Which is beta, which is like they're making a Twitter game, and I haven't heard anything from that ever since I signed up. It's upsetting me a bit. Oh, it's gonna be a survival MMO. So they're asking me how familiar you with survival games. Uh, Subnautica, I guess. That's what I've played. Oh, Subnautica scares the shit out of me, dude. Dude, Subnautica's so so great. Um, I don't know what it is on Subnautica, but that shit always scared the crap out of me. And I don't How many know hours do you play video games per week? <laughs> Too many. In an uncomfortable uh, In unhealthy I'm say, amount. It used to be more. I'm gonna say three to ten hours now. Here's the thing. How many hours a week do you play survival video games? Not a lot, really. You know, here's the thing. Only people on. I think it's only the PC market that plays survival games because that's where most of them are. How many hours do you play third-person shooter games a week? That depends. How many are available? Because there's barely any that's not Gears and Chartered or any else. Or COD. Mm. Funny thing is, COD has a third-person view, but no one fucking uses it. Because it sucks, dude. It, like, seems you have the camera, you can barely aim. No, actually, dude, I find it easier because of the fact that you don't have the iron sights, which means you can use, you can, you don't need iron sights. You can essentially just, um, use the reticle to help you aim. Oh, so these were the same people that, uh, these were the same people that did, uh, these are the same people that did the Conan game with all the dicks and they had to censor it on Steam. Oh, Conan. Oh, do I heard Conan Exiles is really good. Oh, they did Mutant Year Zero as well. I heard that was like a really well-received game, but also Rush. Uh. Do I want to play it in 4K or 1080p? That's the question. Steam or Xbox? I mean, Steam or PlayStation. My PlayStation sucks at doing anything internet-wise, so I'm going to put Steam. So I can just plug it into 4K if I really want to. Like, I love the PlayStation 5, but it's not the system you get if you want to play online gaming. Yeah, usually it's PC, because it's free. There's this really good Souls oh. I want to play called Venetia, and it looks really fun. I want to try it. Also, I bought Sea of oh, Stars. Of course, since I have a... You're asking me all my fucking PC specs. Yeah. Oh, you got Sea of Stars? Yeah, it's a, dude, I want to try it out on stream together. I don't want to try it out without... You know, unless it's with you, because it looks really fun, and it's like, it gives me a lot of nostalgia. Wow, they don't have my fucking CPU listed. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Uh, is the game still on sale? Is it on sale? Because if it isn't, I'm being... I, I'm being I just got it. I'm watching this. I'm listening, dude. I'm just trying to do some chores while we're doing yes, this. Yes, it's just still like on sale for 20 reasons. bucks. I'm going to buy it before it goes on sale in a few hours or out of sale. Like, sorry, Chad. It just seems like I'm disinterested. I'm just trying to do some chores while we're getting this done. Yeah, it's understandable. Also, I can actually read the damn thing. I mean, you're the only one who can read it. It's kind of blurry for me, so I'm just listening to you read it so I don't fuck over you. Um, I'll make jokes when jokes are needed. Okay. I just need my computer specs. I already bought the damn game, so let me fucking. There we go. Got all the console. Sorry, I'm gonna turn on my PS5. You used to be pain in the ass to get a lot of your computer specs, but now there's a lot of good apps chat to do it with. I recommend GPUZ. Yeah. Because it also shows you the um, heat of your GPU and everything like that. 
Yeah. Also, I have to download two streams, so I have yeah, for everyone from the VOD channel, we're gonna have I'm gonna post three VODs in there. One is our Code Vein stream. One is a little nerd talk stream that we're starting to do, which we're gonna start doing that like to build up to the streams for later on in the day, mostly. So like if we're bored, we do a nerd talk. We'll do like a nerd talk. That's if we have also if we have time. So, yeah. Like, we don't have. And then finally, a sh oh, something to make up for shit game Saturday. So, yeah, we played a really shitty um, how if you're, hey, if you're smarter than a fifth grader game, and oh my god, it was the most cursed thing I've ever seen. Oh, if you're in the cursed PC games chat, I have a whole binder full of my old boomer PC gamer boomer PC stuff. Yeah, apparently this man likes to go to Goodwill. I love Goodwill. What is it? <laughs> Let's go words are indirect Dude, hard to follow. fun as fuck and people just don't understand. Okay, I have a 9700K, but it's only listing my CPU as KF. What the fuck's a KF? I don't fucking know. Oh, well, just don't do anything too reckless. I have the unlocked version of the 9th gen processor, so I can... It's funny, I bought the one that you can, uh... Overclock, but I don't like overclocking shit because it always breaks stuff. That's why I don't like unless you really, really, really know what you're doing. Like chat, don't overclock your computer. Unless you know what you're doing. Oh, she called me a baka, like the sooner she is. Does it want specific or does it want? I'm pretty sure I can run this game with no problem. Tosuke gives super. a hump once again. How much RAM do you have? 32 or more. I feel the same way, but... How much storage do you have? SSD 2 terabytes. Yes. Oh, okay. Are you a creator interested in making content on around Dune Awakening? Do we want to stream this game? Like, do they want streamers or no? So I don't, because I don't want to answer this wrong. Because most closed betas, you can't stream. Like, are we gonna do that? What? Uh, make content around Dune Awakening. If you want, I can't stream it, cause you know. I'm just gonna say no. But uh, because are you willing to? Oh yeah, here's the thing. Then they bring up NDA. So in other words, that's a trick question. Yes, I'll sign an NDA. Uh, yeah, you always have to sign them for closed beta tests because they don't want you. Basically, they don't want you leaking footage out and shit. Yeah, it means I have to be really fucking careful not to talk about it on stream. Yeah. Thank you for signing up. We can't wait for you to get a taste of our. Arrakis, we were inviting players via email wave, via email and wave, so don't fret if you don't hear back from us immediately. Oh, so it's a guaranteed invite. Oh, are they gonna try and break the record for the most stream or for the most beta tested game in history? I wonder if they're gonna try. Oh, look at that! Rin's pissed off. Oh, well, oh my God, she's going full student rate demon mode. It's strange. The more I talk with her, the more I understand this is the real Tosuka Rin. And that the Tosuka at school is just a mask she puts on. I'm starting to I feel realize like my ball she's a bitch. I suddenly feel like my balls are in great danger right now. Yes, I get the feeling I, why she, I could see her moving her leg like she's trying to swing at me. And I'm scared. She's nope. just wearing like the highest of high heels like in those fucking uh, parody mangas or whatever. Oh god. We pissed Dude, her off. so do you know there was CBT in Pokemon once? I shit you not. There's what? Let's go back to the conversation. Uh. So what are you gonna do? So in the first, in the Pokemon gag manga that Toriyama helped with, there's a scene where Ash literally pulls out his pants, grabs his nuts, and pulls them up over his head. I shit you not, that happened. <laughs> what the? What the fuck? Look it up. It's real. No, Look it no, up. no, no, no. <laughs> it's fucking uh, real. I, I refuse to believe. No, Hold it's on. real, dude. I'm not kidding you. It's fucking real. No, 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 no. Hold on. Pokemon. Gag. Dude, look manga. up. Akira Toriyama. I don't think it's Akira Toriyama, but I know that that shit happened in the manga. 
<laughs> or just look up Electric Tail Pikachu. The first thing I see, Reddit, does Zakura Toriyama hate black people? <laughs> Probably. But we don't talk about that. She really has a bad personality. She's a real bully, putting me on the spot and asking me what that with a smile. She's Loki, a sadistic bitch. So, I ventured onto the deepest depths of the internet with no hope, with no respect so for my I'm soul and sanity. Gonna... And it's, I'm slowly introducing know, so Shinigami to the deepest depths of the internet, know. very slowly. Yes, and I'm both scared and intrigued. Yeah, just don't go too deep, because then you get in that really obscure fully furry bullshit, and it's like... I'm not talking about fursuits, I'm talking about the really obscure furry porn. Where they like cut each other up and shit, and it's like... Why is this popular? Who is reading this? Who gets turned on by this? What is a yip? Oh god, I uh, I don't know what that is either, but it's like, I heard it's really bad. I'm pretty sure it just means sex in fursuits. Wait, I think Urban Dictionary might be able to give me the exact definition. I'm only talking over this because she's literally talking about shit we already know. Urban. Dude, I've never had a use for Urban Dictionary until slang got out of my purview. Like, I, I literally need to look it up to see what these fucking Gen Zers are saying. Not you, other Gen Zers. You don't talk like that, thankfully. Okay, remember how I talked about Metal Gear earlier? Apparently, they did update the game yeah. to go from 720 and they upconverted it to 1080p. So it's just like. Oh, so. Oh, so it, the game's starting at 720. But for some reason, they put a, it's up converted to 1080, which means it still looks like it's 720, because it's just going to look really fucking blurry. Okay, I figured out what yif means. What did you do? Uh, Urban Dictionary states that yif means... Ew, I can't say that on stream. I don't even want to know what you're going to say. Uh, I'm going to censor the first word, because that's disgusting, and just say the other three. In, I'm a sense of the why. Incredibly fuckable furry. Oh, Do it that as you will. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Christ. Dude, I've never had a use for Urban Dictionary until I started hearing Gen Z slang. I'm like, what does that even mean? I know the feeling because for the longest time, it was so awkward for me. Just what does skibibity mean? Gen Z. Fuck the skibbity me. Oh, skibbity toilet. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, you don't know. Oh god, someone in chat link this man to skibbity toilet. He's Ooh, something. Dude, we got a Persona 6 leak. Persona 6 is reportedly set to be released in 2025. Someone pick up that fucking phone because I called it. <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, you know what's fucked up? You might here's the thing. Knowing Atlas, they're probably gonna end up releasing the game five months early because of the fact dude. that it's going to be competing with so many big titles. You got Persona 5, you got the new Elder Scrolls, you got Fable, probably a bunch of other things that I'm forgetting about, but it's going to be an RPG fucking battleground in 2025 and yeah. 2026. Yeah, how long has it been an RPG battleground like this? Like, you said 20, 2007, 2008, right? Yeah. It wasn't really RPGs, it's just a ton of big games releasing at the same time. Because once you're three years into the hardware, which the 360 was at the time, that's when you start getting the heavy hitters. Speaking of which, we gotta stream Bioshock at some point, because Bioshock technically Fucking counts as a- I love Bioshock! It counts as an RPG, kind of, right? Yeah. Dude, I love Bioshock. Persona 6 is reportedly- Am I supposed to say this on stream since it's a leak? Don't want to risk it, because I get the feeling Atlas will I'm supposed will to fight. say, Persona 6 is reportedly set to be released in blank blank, I'll tell you that later. But its reveal time is undecided according to a well-known Atlas leaker. You can just tell me on Discord, that one, no, no one could see it. It's 2025, chat. Don't tell Atlas. Here's the thing. 2025 like is still a decent way through, because here's the thing. <laughs> Atlas definitely upgraded their engine. It's a fact from the oh. way Persona 3 Reload looks. Well, you gotta think about it. The PS, the Persona 5 was a great game, but it was also meant to run on PS3 and PS4, so... You know we're what? We're talking a two-generation leap here, and you look at how Yakuza did their two-generation leap. You know what? Which I, is incredible. I bought, like, a shitload of games already. I'm just gonna buy the Persona 5 Royal Remaster on PS5. Are you? Yes, I'm doing it right now. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Did you buy uh, Mortal Kombat 1? No. Damn it, bro. I'm going to wait till my next paycheck, because right now I spend okay. a lot of money on groceries and bills, so I want to wait. 
Never mind. It's never mind. Tank. Never mind. It's back to sixty. Fuck! <sighs> Just give us a PS. I don't know why Alice is not available yet. The like, movie actual or... non uh, season pass customers. Oh, but oh my god, bro! Like. Bro, Atlas is getting really greedy. Ever since Persona Five, they've been getting a, they've been getting a bit too cocky with their stuff. Well, Western uh, corporate greed is slowly spreading into what Eastern developers, and it's kind of annoying. Yeah, there's here's the thing. Atlas is like, ever since Atlas is look realized, at you, Nintendo. Atlas realized they're a big name company now, and it's like, here's the thing. We play your RPGs because they're good and well written. We don't play it to buy your DLC. Dude, Nintendo is the worst of it. Like, if you want the modern Pokemon experience, you have to have Pokemon Bank on both Switch and 3DS. You have to have, which is, uh, I think, $5 for both. You also have to have the uh, both games, which is $60. Or $70 $60 now. for both. 70 now. Which will be $60 for both. 70 you now. You also need uh, the DLC, which is $40 for both, which... If you plug that all into a calculator, it's well over two hundred dollars for the whole Pokemon modern experience. It's like, why, Nintendo? Why? It's less than ten dollars more game freak. I get the feeling. Yeah, also, why is my TV refusing to cooperate? I hate this TV. <laughs> Come on. I wonder how much. Uh, I'm gonna do something blasphemous. I'm gonna see if I can check how much the game cost at GameStop. Oh. Okay. Its batteries might be dying. It's has really shitty AAAs in here. I wonder. Have you ever heard of Ito? What the there fuck is that? I don't know, they're apparently a battery company. The worst batteries I ever used, speaking of Sony, were Sony batteries. Oh my like, god. Persona 5 Royal on PS4 is 15 bucks, but Persona 5 Royal Steelbook Edition is 30 because it's on sale right now for PS5. I'm seeing if Omni Man's finally available for actual non season pass purchase. He is. We're paying attention to this conversation. He is. But you won't be able to beat it right either. Games under twenty dollars? That's where you find the cringe. Oh. Those games are under twenty dollars for a reason. I might oh, Resident Evil Village is under twenty bucks. For, uh, oh, dude, get it, dude, get it. It's really good. It's like. Modern, it was like Resi, it was, it felt like a modern Resi 4 before the Resi 4 remake came out. Okay, so if you buy the PS5 version, it does that thing where you get both because it was a cross-gen game. Yeah. No, you buy the PS4 version. Because the PS4 oh, versions are the one that lets you upgrade. Ooh. Wait, Far Cry 6 is included with my uh, subscription? That's nice. Far Cry 6 is huh. good, but it's, it, it's I okay. Think I'm gonna... When the Fuck did they port Sims 4 to PlayStation? Ew. It's probably uncontrollable. It's been there for years, dude. I had a cousin of mine that bought Sims 4 and used my PS4 to play it. I had to delete the game multiple times. Consciously. Also, uh, like, did you know Sims 4 was supposed down. to be a... Wait, Bully got a PS4 remaster? Or is that a port? It's a port. Ah, oh, dude. The day they remake that remaster that game will be the beautiful day for mankind. Here's the thing. There's been a bunch of rumors that they might remake it, but it's like... <sighs> Why is it For Honor Freemium? Like, seriously. Who the fuck buys For Honor? Um, <laughs> I only bought it because I could play with friends, but then I found, out the I found out the hard way that that game is hella toxic. I'm not joking. R1 spammers are absolutely horrendous. I should know. I'm one of those spammers. It's like... Why? Who? Who is this for? Why do you exist? Can, can we talk about our Lord and Savior, Gabe Newell? Which... I remember... But speaking of Gabe Newell, I remember one time when... Remember I told you about Skullgirl censorship? And I got really pissed off that it's got... That it's... Like... For context, off, off stream... I got really pissed at the Skullgirls community because of the fact that they were blowing the gasket over, like, really slight censorship. Wait, do you have to buy the season pass this time? No. I swear to God, that's a thing. No, there's it like says a... unavailable, learn more, view game, and it says release 1109-2023. November 9th. So it was released to coincide with... 
damn it, I just want my... I don't want everybody that's in the season pass. Like, I want certain people, you know? Here's the thing, when you get the complete edition, it gives you some bonus points. So you can spend it on who you want. Yeah, see, I don't want to spend fucking $40 on a season pass. That's the thing. I don't like pre-ordering DLC. That idea pisses me off. I usually yeah. wait till it's, like, done. There's a reason Soul Hackers 2 was hated, dude. And we got like, bored Chad, of it. I don't know if you know, but I don't like microtransactions. So are we clear on this already? Yeah, we're clear on this already, dude. You explained this like, multiple times. I don't mind if it's... Listen, I don't get mad if it's an actual, like, piece of content, like, cool, like, cosmetics or an actual good expansion pack. But stuff like slot machines and loot box and games make my blood boil. Or, like, currency and shit, you know? Yeah. It's like... DLC used to be like, cool, this thing's a thing. I'll buy it with my Microsoft ones. Done and done. Now it's like, eh, you buy a game and it's like, here's 50 pieces of DLC we're putting on launch. And uh, here's DLC you can pre-order that's coming out the entire year. And you better buy it because our art team needs to eat too. Yeah, but unfortunately if we do buy it, we support the company. Most DLC is made, apparently most DLC is made by the art team, because once the game's gold, they really have nothing to do. And it's essentially an excuse to have them, it's essentially an excuse to have them, like, work the end of their contract. Uh. By the way, it's piss, something that pisses me off. Octopath Traveler 2 was not named, nominated for music during the Game Awards, and I'm like, why?! That Dude, music is I amazing. I don't care about the Game Awards this year, because you know what's going to happen? Uh, Baldur's Gate already swept. Was Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy nominated for RPG of the Year or whatever? For Best RPG? I don't know. Baldur's it's Gate, been... most likely. Hang here's on. Thing. Baldur... It's... Here's the thing. If Baldur's, Baldur's Gate, Gate is sweeping every award show right now. Have you seen this shit? Yeah, I've seen it, bro. Literally, it was not even fair. The moment Baldur's Gate 3 came out... It was not even fair, dude. And it's an indie game. It's not even a triple A game, and it's just killing everyone. It's, it's amazing. That's season. why. It's like it's not even fair, cause like er every game at least had a chance. Once Baldur's Gate three came out, it's like, oh god, there is. Well, you know, I'm hoping developers see this and are like, you know, maybe we shouldn't fill our game with microtransactions and actually make something good that players will care about. No, here's the thing. There. Not even that would have helped, because Baldur's Gate 3 is Baldur's Gate 3, and... The... Or, as Konami would put it, MORE SLOT MACHINES! <laughs> here's the thing, I thought... Here's the thing, I thought Konami hit its low peak when they announced Metal Gear Solid 3, but instead it's a pachinko version of it, and I lost all hope Dude, when that happened. They also make slot machines. I was in Atlantic City a few years ago, and I saw Konami slot machine. I wasn't even drunk, and I almost vomited all over the floor. Here's the thing. I remember I told you about this. I think it was a few years ago. I think in 2020, they ditched their patchy slot obsessed CEO. And I'm like, thank fucking God. It's probably why, like, starting at 2020, we finally started seeing games again. And I played that slot machine, dude, and guess, guess how much money I won from that. How much? Zero. Those slot machines are terrible. And probably most likely rigged. Actually, they legally can't... Uh, here's the thing with slot machines. So my computer, my grandma guard's teacher used to work with a uh, slot and slot machine design and shit. Yeah. And basically, they're allowed to be rigged to a certain extent that's governmentally acceptable. What and what's also funny is that, like, you, you know that phrase, "the house always wins." Yeah. It's illegal. You can't have the house always win. They have to be rigged to a certain extent. Like, it also, has to be at least 70, 20, 75, 25 for the player. I also start, I also can't help but think that ever since, like, Japan cracked down on, on Pachinko, it's like, um, like, every gaming company that was involved in it was like, oh, wait, we're gonna, and he's like, you know what, we're abandoning Pachinko now, because we, we care about our game development, when in reality is like, they don't want to get sued by the fucking government. Also, I am the luckiest motherfucker ever when it comes to gambling. Because I literally won the minor jackpot at the same casino twice within a year. Jesus fucking Christ. Don't go right in front of me. I'll so it was a, like, I've made $200 off Tropicana in my lifetime. And it feels good, and I stopped immediately after doing that because, uh, yeah. Off topic, I still can't believe 
Shiro is voiced by Bryce Prappenbrook. He voices every harem OC, harem MC oh, I've ever seen. You're mentioning voice actors. Guess who voices Smoke in Mortal Kombat One? <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I noticed this the other day. I'm like, that's. I was watching Omni Man intro. So I'm like, wait, I haven't noticed this. That sounds like Yuri Lowenthal. You I mean, played through the, the you played through the campaign. How did you not realize it? My brain doesn't just automatically go, oh, that guy voice that guy, that guy voice that guy. Here's the thing, mine does. I immediately figured out that um fucking um uh Troy uh, not Troy Baker uh Ray Chase voice of the main character in Tales of Arise because I'm he has a recognizable voice, and that was because Noctis sort of skyrocketed Ray Chase into popularity because I see him in a lot more stuff now. Also, apparently the game wars are supposed to be shorter this year. Well, makes sense. I mean, fucking Baldur's, um, Baldur's Gate just swept. I mean, if Nintendo wants to break the internet and get attention on them, they could do a little teaser for their uh, Switch 2. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I didn't make a save. The only two things I don't know, and I'm just going to some Megas. Even if it's temporary, if once again, you want to give me a hand. Oh, they're, they're actually selling happen. public tickets this well, year. That means they're gonna die soon. I want the nominees, not the fucking. I'm gonna check something. Okay, nothing changed yet. Model for our sister. Um. Yeah, I don't know about her. I like how. I was legacy is not listed in game of the year. Hang on while I go stab somebody on Twitter. Here's the thing. I could see yeah. why. But be here's the thing. I could see why. Because um, one person in particular. And here's uh, the thing. I'm not hitting on the game. That's the, the, game is the game is great. It's just that for some reason, when everyone sees Hogwarts Legacy or say it on stream or like, oh, speaking of, remember when this game got announced? There was this hashtag on Twitter. I forgot what it was. But it was essentially to harass... That wizard game? No. It was essentially... Yeah, I think that's what it was. But essentially, that was a hashtag to harass any streamer streaming the game. And I'm like, that's that's just... Okay, first off, go fuck yourself. You're such a dick. Let people play what they want to play. Why is Super Mario Bros. Wonder nominated for Game of the Year? That game just came out, and it's not like it's a flat, heavy-hitting Mario game. Yeah, it's still... It's a good game. Like, all Mario games are good. But it's just like... How is this one particularly great? Like, it's animation-wise, it looks absolutely amazing. Not gonna lie. But, like, as a platformer, um, what makes it so popular nowadays? I shake her hand. I'm bit perplexed. So I feel such a soft hand, I realize she is a girl. <laughs> God damn it. Why does that dialogue make me laugh? God damn it. Why is it making me laugh? <laughs> in comparison, my hand covered in scratches from messing around with stuff is ill-suited. Listen, I think so. I pulled back embarrassed. No, I'm just doing the typical harem. Just nervous as hell. Do you there? Hold on, let me check this man, where this man is. Hold on, chat. Yo, dude, you there? Dude, you there? That's just great, this motherfucker is somewhere else. Alright. I'm gonna keep this up. Why is there a black screen? Oh, never mind. Just close the, wi close the window. What, you don't want to cooperate with me after all? Oh, you cheeky bitch. Uh, sorry, chat. My internet cut out. I'm rebooting my router. Oh, you cheeky bitch, Ren. You're smiling at me, you cheeky bitch. So, I think the Game Awards didn't respect me in insulting it. Cause my internet just cut out. <laughs> it, it telepathically knew someone was talking shit, so it proceeded Kill to his horizon. <laughs> Kill his horizon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, whatever, uh, I'm just mobile for a minute. It's not like I'm streaming the game. 
Is yeah. this a USB C hookup this router? For what reason? I don't know. Oh. Right. Even the modern Verizon router. She makes which shouldn't do expression. this, by the way. By the way, this <laughs> this is currently my review of Verizon. <laughs> the. <laughs> Verizon, cutting out at your most important times. We need fucking internet. Okay. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, Red, quit being a bitch. <laughs> it's gonna take like, I'll be on my phone for a minute. It's gonna take like five minutes for the internet to reboot. Yeah, this bitch yeah, is. Yeah, I'm not the router. Oh, God. She was the teasing girl before the modern teasing girl. She's Nagataro before Nagataro. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, my computer's just like, boom. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought my computer crashed. Gotta wait for that to run. And that is when I no. realize, and that is when I realize these two are perfect for each other, because of the fact they're both tsundere's and don't want to admit it. I'm just embarrassed. Cause I know I don't owe them money. I can never off, see such a hopefully. thing. Certainly, I've never touched a girl so strongly before. Oh, Fujine is an exception. Yeah, you know, like it's been like an hour putting this on this gutsy. Wasn't there something weird in what she just said? It's like early morning in the game, right? Here's the thing, it's probably like 4 or 5 in the fucking morning real time in the game. Well, it's said we moved on to the next night or whatever, so I'm guessing. Looks like it puts a book on the table. Looks just like a diary. There's no title and it smells like shit. Right. You probably shoved it up her ass. Shut the f Ugh, Man, you fun. you always sneak it in somehow. <laughs> I'm evil work I say. You always do it when I least expect it. <laughs> That's twenty minutes by the way of soccer rewards. I said it last stream too. Actually, I think I know another game we could do for Shit Game Saturday, and it's a part of the Star Ocean series, and I know what we can do. I mean, we're going to do Shit Game Saturday anyway. I just like building up that soccer Wars filter. Yeah, but I know a Shit Game we could play on Saturday, and I have it. That's not soccer Wars. Yes, it's a part of the Star How Ocean series. Um, there is literally no cutscenes in the game. It does what Half-Life does. It literally just keeps you in gameplay while there's just people talking. Are we talking shovelware quality, like the one we streamed yesterday, or uh, just like a really shit game? Really shit game. It's Star Ocean Five: Integrity and Faithlessness, and that game. There's only one cutscene. It's at the beginning of the game. So, there's this one game in my Goodwill that's four three sixty. There's no cover on the case, and I just wanna, I just wanna have an employee take it out, not show me what it is, and buy it, and just see what the fuck it. What that yeah. game does is that Starship 5 tries to be Skyrim in terms of character interaction. Skyrim doesn't even have that. Like, Bethesda's. Like, Baldur's Gate literally just took Bethesda's award winning character interaction system and said, told us to go fuck itself. Yeah, and it did its own thing, a la D&D &D style. They did. It's kind of There's funny. There's nothing right in the book, but a strange image pops into my head. Hey! Okay, Variety. Okay, uh. So, this is a message to Verizon if you're watching. What the fuck? My router cut out. I, I expect good service. I'm paying you $99 a month for you fucks. Now that I just killed a Verizon sponsorship, what were you saying? Um, that Star Ocean 5. As the equivalent of, like, basically Skyrim's interaction system, but there is no dialogue trees. It's literally just you standing there, not even in a cutscene, just talking. Dude, I would have died if I was streaming and that happened. Yeah. Dude, the thing with broadband internet is you go through so many fucking routers because they all suck. <laughs> you end up going through so many. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to restream the game to me. Oh, no, I do. I know that. Because I was on Discord and I noticed something was off. By the way, chat, if you couldn't hear me for the last five minutes, blame Verizon. Verizon, dicking you over when it matters. Let's see, Discord, Discord, where are you? Here you are. And, uh, Verizon, because AT&T was, was unavailable in your area. 
Can you see the screen? Horizon. Now? Because you need to get thick off the, ticked off the, uh, by the Aspa, the only telecom that exists. Uh, on the call? Yeah, you're still on the call. Anyway, Horizon, because the other telecoms wouldn't stick your dick up your ass. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
You already explained I mean, this. Theorist Game 2 has a habit of doing this, but at least it explains really cool scientific theorems. It doesn't reiterate everything it's saying over and over and over again. Yes, it reiterates like, that... and only adds, like, one new thing. That's the bad habit this game has. It'll I shit you not. It'll re -explain is a... everything and then proceed to just... Oh, there's also this thing, which you could have explained before. Also, if you ever want to learn quantum physics... New Escape 2 is the best teacher. Also, I think one of my nails on my desk is loose and I'm nervous. Hold on. Which one's loose? Because I was just tinkering with it right now. Um. Oh, this one's loose. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Oh, there's a recipe on the back of the Sour Patch Kids bag. I know what I'm doing later. Tidy, tidy. Don't be loosening now. Nope, you're loosening. Why are you loosening? Tighten back up. Because writing won't peg her in the ass anymore. Okay. <laughs> fun, fun fact. Little spoiler alert for like the rest of the franchise. Apparently, it's imp. I don't know if I may be completely wrong, but there's a character named uh, Thar. I forgot her name. Thar uh, something. And she's just basically Rin as a fucking servant. And I'm like, Jesus. Anyway, did you know what I said about Lucky and Righty? Yeah, I was screwing down a nail that was loose on my desk. You're like, why wouldn't it tight? And I'm like, because Lucky won't peg her in the ass anymore. No, because there's a nail on my, on the, on my, there was a screw on my desk that wasn't tightened right. So I got like a screwdriver right next to me. I mean, technically, if you think about it, every time you screw a screw, you technically are having sex with a screw because the screwdriver's screwing it, and it's a hole in a rod. Oh, shit. This is this nail's also loose. I'm also putting that down on stupid shit that I've said on stream that I don't know why I said it. Yeah, because you're stupid. Yeah, because stupidity, everyone. Yes. Did I not tighten these last time? What the hell? So, one and a half cups of Sour Pat Soft Chewy Candy and Sugar Cookie Cookie Mix can make Sour Pat Sugar Cookies, which sound absolutely disgusting. You'd be surprised, man. I probably would, but these things are way too sour to pair with any of them. Maybe they got cocktail. Hey Siri, pull up recipes for Sour Patch Kids cocktails. Okay. Found this on the web for recipes. Thank you. You should highlight this. Highlight <laughs> what? The sour Patch Kids cocktails. <laughs> Ah, uh, they're all for kids. What the fuck? I want some vodka in my cocktail. Well, you can just replace one of the water with vodka. Yeah, but mixology is like an exact science, just like baking. You don't really have a disgusting drink, trust me. I got a lemon drop martini from this one bar my sister had her wedding at, and it tasted like fucking cough syrup. I'm like, guys, it's not hard to make a lemon drop martini. Lemon, drop, sugar on side of rim, done. With vodka. Don't. <laughs> yeah. One hero can only hold one noble phantasm. Yeah, but didn't she say that it's possible for there to be multiple? I'm assuming your character loses his arm at some point since he gets that weird red arm. No, I think it's like a magic thing going on. All right, because can he transmute metal like in Full Metal Alchemist or whatever? Yeah, but he failed miserably with that, though. So he probably figures it out, and that's how he gets the arm. And then probably comes the most OP motherfucker in this series. Yeah, what's fucked up is that there's a sequel, which we will not cover, hopefully, maybe, someday. I don't know. Why is it not good? No, it's just that, well, it's, it's fucking, it's a sequel to Fate Stay Night. What do you expect? It's gonna be long as hell. Sequel to Fate Stay Night, what did you expect? <laughs> Probably not even translated. I'm gonna check to translate this game. Yeah, hold on. And besides, there was another visual novel I found that we can stream someday called Desiree. 
which is free on Steam. Go check it out. But the, for some reason, the DLC is like 20 bucks a pop. And I'm like, why? Nah, hold on. I've never heard of a visual novel having DLC. What the hell? Yeah, it's like it's like acts for like the heroines, and I'm like, why? I've never heard of a visual novel having DLC and or being premium. It's HD Night what? Two. I don't mean Heaven's Field, you dicks. You did mean Heaven's Field, you dick. Oh, Fate Hollow Ataraxia. Okay. And it was released a year later. You can't even beat this game in a year. It's gonna take us six months just to get through this particular fucking playthrough. Yeah. Let alone... Wait, what? Oh my god. Well... Here's the thing, we probably don't have to worry about playing the sequel because the anime for it just got announced a few years ago. Nice. <sighs> Hello, Ataraxia Down. Okay, so I'm guessing unlike this game, because what we are playing technically is a fan version of the, as a fan-made Ultimate Edition. Apparently, the, you can only get the uncensored version of Hollow Ataraxia. <laughs> what my summarize does. Servants are separated in classes, each of them in heroic spirit suited to their class. We know! Why are you re-explaining this? I don't fucking know. Three games. I'm afraid of buying this game, downloading this game now, because I'm going to be scared. Scared of what? If we ever cover the sequel, which I don't... Oh, thank God! Apparently, unlike this game, it's like 20 to 40 hours shorter. Since it was only made in a year, I'm guessing they ended up just um, cutting down a lot of the fluff and actually made a story that's reasonably long, not like 70 fucking hours. Was a lecture. Yes, we know that. No. Quit being a bitch. Yes, you're heading home after a fucking hour. Shiro is probably drop dead tired. He's probably about to pass out. Bro, like, okay, I'm not dead, but uh, this hot chick in my house is explaining the equivalent of string theory to me, and I'm really tired. Yeah, I'm like really tired, man. It's like, Ren, just go home. I want to go to bed. Look at what tells him he's about to leave. She's like, now we're going to talk about string theory. It's one of the most complicated scientific concepts in the world. And it takes hours to explain. But yeah, what Type Moon needs to do is remake the, this game, remove all the fluff, rework the dialogues for a glossary system so we don't have to constantly reiterate what we already know, and just shorten the game length. Because of the fact that so we can it, remove all the repeat scenes where it's just re-explaining shit. And just integrate the prologue into the game. Or like as like a little bonus thing for when you beat it or at some point. Okay, what have we learned, Shiro? I learned you're a bitch. And you like to tease me. A lot. Clitter's staying in our position until Zucker goes home. Thank God. Get your fine ass out of my house. Stat wait, what did I just see? Status and weapon screen updated? What? <laughs> oh, this does have a glossary. Yeah, but for weapons. Unidentified axe sword. Sort of rock the berserker uses. This is part of the foundation of a temple. Iron's been prepared and this is something the catalyst used to summon a berserker. 
Heracles was skilled in archery, but since he has gone berserk, he has lost his former weapon and skills. So he could have been archer, but because he went berserk, he became berserker. Long one. Status. I've never heard of Hercules using a bow. Oh, shit. Look at this. Even has the stats. Either Saber, Lancer. At least I'm looking at these menus and not noticing they're here. Magic resistance A cancels any magic A rank or below. In practice, no magnitude are able to hurt Saber. Riding. Ability to ride things. She can ride most vehicles with above average skill, but she cannot ride those with demonic beast and holy beast rank. Okay. Imagine this just suddenly turns into a turn based RPG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Magic Resistance C nullifies all magic that requires less than two verses. Cannot block large-scale magic such as Great Magic and Ritual Magic. Archer. Magic Resistance D nullifies single-action magic. Magic Resistance equivalent to Warding Amulet. Independent Action. Ability to allows independent movement even after the master's, master's magical energy is simply cut off. Oh, so not everyone has this. It's only select servants. Rank B, it is possible for a servant to stay in this world for two days after losing its master. Also, oh, on a timer, which we already know. Rider is unknown. Caster is unknown. Rider, caster, assassin is unknown. And finally, berserker. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> his stats are crazy. <laughs> I think he might be the strongest. How is Saber the strongest? Look at berserker! Alignment, chaotic, insane. <laughs> Jesus. We stole from D&D for this. Madness B. All parameters are increased, but sanity is lost. Then how the fuck is he able to get controlled by Ilya? <laughs> At least we know he has a weakness in luck. <laughs> He's an unlucky bastard. Yeah, but he's still pretty lucky. He's B rank lucky. <laughs> Let's check the details. Nothing yet. Skills. Instinct A. The ability to always feel the best course for oneself during combat. This heightened sixth sense is now close to precognition. Is reduced by half any obstacles to vision and hearing. Magical energy burst A. This transfers magical energy into one's weapon and body, and by releasing the magical energy instantaneously, it increases one's ability. Simply said, it is like a magical energy jet propulsion. Saber uses this magical energy for her sword techniques, guarding, and movement. Because of her great magical energy capacity, she can fight Berserker even though she is a girl of a small size. A normal weapon without strong divine protection will not be able to endure her magical energy full of attacks and will be destroyed in one blow. Okay. Damn. Details, Lancer. Kukulain, the great hero of Ireland, a half-god, half-human hero, born of light and god, Luke and du Duktire, the sister king of King Connor of Ulster, who appears in the legends of Ulster. His childhood name was Satanta, and it was prophesied from a young age that this child will, be li will live as a hero. Kukulain means Hound of Kulan. The name comes from an old Satanta name. He was a child, he was mistakenly killed, a guard dog, a wealthy merchant named Kulan. He promised, if this dog is a child, I will raise it strong and as a faithful as this guard dog. Until the next time, I shall guard you myself. His nickname of Kukulain praises not only Satanta's, Satanta's strength for killing the famous savage dog of Kulan unarmed, but also the character of Satanta, the thought of the owner of the lost dog, even as a child. <laughs> Kukulain grew up to be a strong and went to an evil land called the Country of Shadows, started by the requirements to marry, to marry a particular woman. Kukulain overcame many difficulties and reached the country of shadows. He was well liked by the ruler of the country, the witch Skata, and he trained under her and learned her sorceries and techniques. He obtained the cursed lance Gable, that later became the symbol of Kukulain, and he left the country of shadows. The legend is said that Kukulain was brave, compassionate, and a likable young man. Unlike this prick, Kukulain mercilessly <laughs> killed his enemies in the battlefield. But he respected fate and was noble enough to wait, never break a promise once made. Celtic warriors had a custom of making an oath called the Gaos, or a Geese, Gaos. And those warriors who broke the Gaos were cursed. Kukulain, like his nickname, had a Gaos that said he must never eat a dog, and he faithfully tried not to break that promise. The fuck do you mean I eat a dog? The ga this Gaos later became the cause of his death. During the battle with an opposing country to protect his weaker country of Ulster, Kukulain made several Gesa, accepting even his own ruin in exchange for the forcing of the opposing country to make a Gesa unfavorable to them. Some of the famous Gesa 
Kukulain made were fighting just one warrior a day, promise with his rival Queen Meave, and a one win, one loss, promise with his old friend Fergus. Kukulain's brilliant war record can be summarized as the battle against the neighboring country of Connaught. The war between the two started when Connaught's Queen Meave irrationally invaded to steal Ulster's golden bull, Dawn, just to beat her husband to a bull comparison contest. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. Jeez, that is petty. Kukulain supported the weaker Ulster army against the Kanaf forces, an allied army of three countries for a length of seven years, and finally succeeded in making them retreat. At that time, Kukulain captured the main culprit of the war, Meave, but he released her saying that he could not kill a woman, and a reconciliation was reached between Ulster and Kanaf. But Queen Meave perceived her release as the greatest insult and began a personal revenge against Kukulain. After numerous schemes, Kukulain was forced to break his gay cell one by one, and as a result, lost all his powers and was at last stabbed in the side with a lance. The proud Kukulain would not allow himself to die lying down and tied himself up to a post. On the verge of death, he saw an otter drinking the blood that had spilled into the river, and as he laughed at his greediness, he died standing. A thrilling great man, Kukulain had the protection of the goddess Morrigan, who governed death and destruction. But the story isn't that simple. At first, Kukulain declined the goddess's protection. So insulted... Morgan transferred him to many animals and went after his life. First off, he was dying, but Kukulain was able to repel out every attack and it actually retreated the wounded Morgan. Morgan reunited his nobility from the bottom of her heart and decided to support him without his knowledge. So, as to not destroy Kukulain's pride, <laughs> she did not help him when he was in his greatest perils, but merely observed the way of a hero. So, they got everything right, but they forgot something really important about Kukulain? What they forgot? He can transform... First off, he's he can he can transform into like an ugly beast, and they forgot that. It's the most important part of his character. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, noble phantasm. We got nothing on Archer so far, even though we know his backstory because I spoiled it like a dick. Noble phantasm, boundary field of the Wind King, an invisible sword. It does not allow the enemy to determine its range. It is simple but tremendously effective in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is a noble phantasm protected by string magic, but it does not mean that the sword itself is invisible. The blade is clad in wind that changes the refraction of light and makes the shape of the sword invisible. Rank C, type anti-personnel NP, or noble phantasm, range 1 to 2, max target, 1 object. It is not a vacuum, but the wind wearing around the blade is like a weapon and seems to increase the damage of the slash. Only when the compressed wind is released is a vacuum state created. When the target has a resistance to visual impediments, the accuracy correction of visible air is ineffective. Other than the advantage of making the blade invisible, it is possible to release the compressed wind, making it a single-use projectile weapon. The damage of an attack is constant, and saber strength or magical energy does not affect it. Okay, how about Lancer? Curse Lance, uh, piercing lance of death thorns. <laughs> that is metal. <laughs> that is that is metal. <laughs> that is metal. Rank B, anti-personnel, anti-personnel, noble phantasm, range 2 to 4, max target, one person. Uh, curse Lance will always pierce their opponent's heart once it is thrust, we know that. It's sure if it'll strike in the Curse Lance gable, its true nature is the reversal of a cause and effect, where the cause of Lance thrust comes from the effect of the Lance piercing the opponent's heart. As the Lance has pierced the heart even before it is thrust, it is impossible to dodge or block it once the result has been determined. To dodge gable, one does not need high agility, but instead, the ability to change this fate before Gable is executed, luck, is most important. So you're saying we're screwed, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Essentially, he just critical hit everybody. Yeah, it's a critical hit that's incredibly hard to avoid. So that that would literally mean the only way to block it is through plot armor, which Shiro had. Archer. No plot armor. Nothing on him yet, one guy's in his ability. Noble Phantasm is unknown. You don't really know. Rider, Caster, Assassin, and Berserker. Well, what is Noble Phantasm? Immortal <laughs> it's unknown. Immortality gained from the blessing of the cursed of the god. The body becomes strong armor, nullifies any attack rank B or below. Which... Okay, okay, so Saber can pierce through it, but just barely. I love my old D&D &D alignments. Yeah. Uh, Berserker, Heracles. So that means if we figured out Heracles' weakness, we were able to beat him, which... How did Heracles die? Poison. 
poison, so I guess you gotta poison him out. Or, like, literally drug the man. But the thing is, his skin is borderline impossible to, to pierce. So, that's the only way to really... See if he has details, since we know his name. Yeah, uh, no, that's all it has. It all, it, all it had was the, um, Noble Phantasm, the abilities, details. The greatest hero in Greek mythology, he was a half-god, half-human hero, born from Zeus, the king of the gods, and a human woman. Although Heracles was a superior talent in all things, there were big problems with his personality. As a child, he beat his harp teacher to death over a small matter, and after that, he had to live as a shepherd to calm his temper. Oh yeah, that happened. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Thus, he became a splendid man, and after he accomplished several great deeds, the king of Thebes gave him his daughter, Megara. Oh, so at least the, Her the Disney movie got something right. And he earned two children and the right to succeed the king. Her Heracles was a young and strong, was young and strong, and already no human was a match for him. The future seemed bright for him as he married the king's daughter and had two children. Oh, of course Hera had to get involved. Hera's a bitch in any form, st any story. Uh, but Zeus's wife Hera detested the child born of Zeus and a human and meddled with his fate at every opportunity. Oh, Hera hates every child that the gods have. She Even her own. She's a Vulcan. Even her own. Like, even the one she gave birth to, she hates. She is literally the... She was literally an anti-mother. She never wanted any of them. First, Hera yeah, sent Hermes to Heracles and drove him insane, making him kill Megara and his two children. Heracles, showed by his sins he had committed, received a sign that he should atone for his sin by becoming the slave of Aristheus. The man took away his promised position as king. Eurytheus was chosen the strong hero Heracles and gave him a difficult task and claimed that he would keep him a slave until he completed these tasks. These were many difficult labors that were impossible to complete with normal human skills. They were the famous 12 labors of, labors of Heracles. The number of labors chosen by the gods was 10, but since Eurystheus did not accept the fulfillment of two of those, he added two more labors. But Heracles safely completed even those tasks and not only was free from slavery, but he also received an immortal body as proof of his great accomplishments. The greatest hero in Greece, this was the beginning of the great hero Heracles, who single-handedly achieved great deeds, equaling those of the Trojan War and the Argo expedition. But the rest of Heracles' life was again full of madness. Hera's hatred was endless, and Heracles, who should have been immortal, was killed by poison by one of his wives. The great hero, equally matched with the son of God, even as a human, was in the end only killed by a persistent jealousy of a goddess. At this point of his death, Heracles burned his body to look time to poison and entrusted himself to Zeus's judgment. It is said that the gods, in a conference, approved of Heracles' great deeds and prepared a seat in Olympus after his death and worshipped him as a god. Heracles went many, insane many times in the myth, but he really was an excellent warrior who could handle any weapon. He has the attributes to become any of the seven classes except Castor, and the greatest noble phantasm in his possession is a bow and arrow he obtained in the twelve labors called Shooting Hundred, Shooting Hundred Beasts, Nine Lives. So literally, Heracles' mom was like, fuck you in particular, fucked them over many times, didn't work, and now she's probably fucking livid. <laughs> so, speaking of livid, you know what she did to Vulcan? So she threw Vulcan slash Hephaestus off a, off a volcano, or off Mount Olympus, and ended up disfiguring him after, because of that. Because yeah. she thought he was ugly. And then when she found out he could make, like, gold and silver and all this, like, precious jewelry with no problem, she wanted him back. But then his mother at the time was like, fuck you, you're not getting, what was, like, I think a mermaid or a nymph or something? It's like, fuck you, you're not getting him back. And then uh, he got his revenge when he was older and, by kidnapping Hera. And in order for, uh, in order for Zeus to, uh, in order for Zeus to, uh, free Hera, he had to give her, he had to give, uh, Hephaestus Aphrodite. Which she got, and then and then Aphrodite, being the hoe she is, cheated on him, right? No. Oh, so she did like him? Yeah. Oh, shit. You let her stay alive, it allows her battle even on the verge of... I did a research paper on Vulcan. That's how I know all that shit. Shit. I, I can use that. Battle continuation A, the ability to stay alive. It allows for a battle even on the verge of death, and allows the user to stay alive until they receive a clearly fatal blow. So that means this guy, this guy has the equivalent of the Berserk armor... But way more broken. You are Athena, badass Mind's in the eyes. arena. Skills: Mind's Eye, Fake, B. Avoidance of danger by Sixth Sense slash Instinct. I like how the Lolly has one of the strongest servants in this. I'm not going to comment on this. 
ability to ignore any mental interference such as coercion, confusion, or illusion. And also the effect of increasing damage when fighting unarmed, but since he has gone mad through his class ability, he cannot use this skill. Strength of one's godlike nature. The more godlike blood possessed, the higher this stat becomes. As the son of Zeus, the leader of the gods, and having been accepted as one of the gods after his death, the divinity of Heracles can be can be said to be the of the highest class. Level Phantasm, I already read that. Okay, so he's the only one only one where we have a full glossary for. Everyone else we need to figure out. We only need Rider, Caster, and Assassin. Which is code for he's probably gonna die soon in this story. No, knowing her, knowing how powerful this guy is, he's probably going to be like an end game boss, guaranteed. Because they wouldn't have fucking her, Ilya, as a dateable companion. Our relationship went down by one. Wait, what do you mean? Oh yeah, I forgot. Here's the thing: it was always like that. I'm going to assume that the teacher and the other two that are enshrined have the other three uh, spirits that we're looking for. Well, from the way these guys are designed, these guys are definitely spirits. Question is, which ones, which ones are they? Is it because Tosika went home my tension disappeared? My body feels dull, so I'm going to go in the living room. So you'll have to reach a nausea by lying on my side. Oh, it was quiet for so fucking long, I barely realized the clock. <laughs> Dude, this main character is very good at nearly dying. Yeah, this no man... Technically, he died twice. But for some reason, the second time, the plot armor kicked in, which, how? I don't understand what it was. I like how we went on like a little mini history lesson there. Like I'm sure it was just beyond me. It would feel more real if I had more interest in the Holy Grail. Yeah, well, no shit. It's always gonna end bad. I mean, for fuck's sake, the priest never said who won. Cause he had like a tie or something. Yeah, cause he had like a bitch and just ended up ignoring everything. He had like a bitch. Grail said to make wishes come true. I don't know what kind of thing it is, but it's an artifact that can be with some of these things called servants. I not go as far as granting my wish, but it should have more than enough value for any magus to want it. But still, I'm not interested in it. It's true that I'm dubious about its reality, but accepting that easy way to reach a goal feels like cheating myself. <laughs> This is why I say watch the anime if you're interested in only one of the routes. Because of the fact, there's a lot of re-explaining shit. And it gets really fucking annoying. This is a fight for a single chair. This is a fight for a single chair. You know where your expectations are as long as you enter it. You can't survive unless you defeat your enemies. And depending on your methods, defeating other masters might result in harm to innocent people. That's why... My reason for fighting is not to win the Holy Grail War. It is to stop those that would try to win it by any means possible. So literally, like, I don't care about winning. I just want to screw everyone else over. Uh, someone's going to wish for a bunch of slaves? Yeah, no, I'm not letting that switch go through. I feel dizzy again. It's only natural. It appears to be back to the normal. My body was almost split in half a few hours ago. No way the sickness will go away quickly. So more likely it'll continue for the rest of the day. My body was one half of three hours ago. Again! First time was stabbed in the heart. Now I got split in half. So I was almost killed three times in a day. Someone's beef joins a battle. I don't know what the together. triggers are on the original 360 yeah. controller. As compensation for my lack of strength, I almost lost my body. And she was wounded protecting me. Yeah, you don't need a body. I get up. Where is Saber? We haven't seen her all this time. What am I doing? I really forgot about her because Tosika was here. Where is Saber? Uh, she's looking to be in the bathroom. No, I consciously avoided thinking about her. Coward. I've been avoiding recalling the girl who was wounded because of me. The one that was bleeding miserably because of me. 
I pull my wrestling body together and stand up. Tazuka didn't say anything about Saber. She said she and Saber brought me here, but she said nothing more. The fact I need to know most if she, the one who wanted Berserker, is all right or not. He just eats ass passing out on the floor. Look through the house, bearing the dizziness. Look around where someone could be, all the guest rooms, but I could not find Saber. There's no signs of the brain or clad Saber anywhere around the house. Those are good servants that can become spirits, but I can't do that. No, first of all. But how am I a master? I don't understand who she is nor how she exists. A new soldier being given a tank. Not exactly how it works, but okay. I complain. Well, lucky thing is, this tank is an autopilot function. Even if the driver is terrible, the tank will fight on its own. Tanks do not have an autopilot function. Anger in my thoughts, and my head against the wall. Even though I got stabbed in the chest. Oh shit, the wall is glass! <laughs> <laughs> Shut on the glass wall. <laughs> Next Here's the now. thing. I did that once. That shit hurts. And not only oh, that, yeah. I, 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 one time, I think I was like really like tired. And I almost fell asleep. And I, I was walking to my truck. And what ended up happening is that uh, like, I think I was really dazed. And I like almost fell forward a bit. And I hit my head against my windshield. <laughs> Oh, did you ever do that thing where you uh go to walk into a mall store that has like those glass uh oh, glass windows God. outside and you bash in the glass windows? I've done that. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude, I that only happened. I that almost happened to me, but I caught myself after realizing that the that the fo that the fucking uh poster was floating, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I ate ass on that glass window. <laughs> you, yeah. it's like you ever seen that one meme or video where it's like. This guy trying to open a glass door, but it wasn't nailed down properly, so it ended up fall the door ended up falling off, and he fell right on it. He just finds Saber. I have not seen it, but he just finds Saber in the bathroom with his phone, just watching hentai. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude! He was watching porn. I knew it. <laughs> Good fucking God, man! He's not here either. <laughs> it's just porn of herself. I mean, there's a lot of it. The big uh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there is a lot of it. With Fujin as a kid for nothing. 11,000, 11,159 ex different pictures to be exact. And the efficient way to search this place. That's not even counting the Galboru. There are several possibilities, but I don't even consider the possibility that she's not here anymore. She said you were protecting her. So I don't think she would leave this place. I went to go fix my pillow and the fucking hook thing bashed against my uh, wrist. Ow. <sighs> it suddenly hits me. Not the house, the yard, or the shed where we first met. It suddenly hits me. I might be gay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, it's already, it's just like one in the morning where you're at. I'm getting fucking tired. She must be there. And hurry. What's Look at the dojo separated from the main building. A little bit tense. If she's not here, I have to admit that she's gone. I can realize. Inconsistency. Even though I know nothing about her, I want her to stay. Well, yeah, because if she doesn't stay, I'm gonna fucking die. I want her to stay. She has to tell me what I should wear to go on a date with Steve. A wooden floored room with nothing necessary. Ah, shit, wrong window. She's just in the dojo, just staring at herself in the mirror, and is like, what is this thing? A dojo built only to train oneself in. In a silent place in the faint sunlight. And this is her iconic outfit, by the way. She'd be sitting there, naturally. I check her pulse. Her heart is not beating. I think she might be dead. Space filled with tranquility. 
sunlight shining in him is great. And it makes it her and the dojo into one. She's just dead and no one realizes. She sees nothing amiss in her dignified posture. But sitting there, she stiffens in the air in the dojo. The dojo. There's nothing cold about it. It's because her figure is so pure and makes you forget even about the cold winter air. Even the sound of my breath is a, nu is a nuisance. The girl sitting in Japanese style in the corner of the dojo is uh, definitely the girl from last night. I used to have to do that in karate a lot. <sighs> you went to karate. I never did shit because I hated it. Let me tell you, shit. that shit. The most uncomfortable thing you can do in karate is a fucking horse stance. <laughs> oh, God. You essentially squat and then hold it for about ten minutes. And the girl that mercilessly slashed him with her sword. And the yes, hair, though, they were used as a form of discipline when I was in karate class. The warm is not one with the warm sunlight. I definitely or, cannot do them anymore. It really makes yeah. me remember. This is exactly what I felt when I first saw her. It really makes you remember oh, okay, what I did at the end of December. What I did at the beginning of December. Is that that song? I don't remember. It was like a meme at some point. I wasn't surprised by how out of the world that scene was. It doesn't matter what she's wearing. I wouldn't change it if she if she was covered in mud. The girl that moved me deeply is still in front of me. He's acting like they plowed already. That is why I forget even to breathe and continue to stare at her. Forgetting about masters, old girl war, and everything. In this instant, I'm willing to accept the saber. He is literally thinking with his dick right now. I'll get her a fucking tea. <laughs> I don't know, know how long it was. Saber opens her eyes as if beginning from her sleep. My Wait, she was voice. fucking sleeping? <laughs> I thought she was meditating. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> that Who must have been. Sleeps like that. You'd be fuck. fucking. Here's the thing. Fucking. You'd be fucking surprised. My disappointed voice echoes loudly through the dojo. Saber stands up, perhaps noticing noticing the sound. I was thinking she went to meditate and then fell asleep. I've done that while meditating. I walk towards her, still not knowing what to say. You wake Shira? Calm voice. Calm voice. Her voice echoing to the dojo as if from reading it. It's... It is surprisingly suited to this place. You're gar guaranteed you're late for school. 100%. I answer, answer the dull head. Shiro, you seem pissed. Are you feeling good? A golden-haired girl approaches me. I quickly step back to get away from Saber. I keep not, I can't help but keep thinking of that meme or that video you sent of who the fuck is Bandai Namco? Every who time the I fuck see is Saber, Bandai Namco. I keep seeing every time I see Saber, that's what I always think of, dude. I always think of who the fuck is Bandai Namco? Yeah, I am at home with the kids, and you're knocking up some other woman. So, sorry, guys, I gotta take this. <laughs> What's funny is the fact that this was around the time when UFO Table was doing the opening for the Tales of series, and maybe for God Eater, and probably also Code Vein. And it was and now that I remember that it's so fucking hilarious because, uh. Japan, if you watched the opening for Code Vein, you could definitely tell it was my UFO table. Uh, so... Was it the version of the latest Tales game we got hella censored? No. Why? The beginning was. Oh, was it? There's a kid that gets stabbed in the beginning and they censored it. Really? Yeah. Tales of Arise? Yeah, they censored the beginning of it. The European version was uncensored, but the Japanese... European and Japanese versions were fine, but I think our version was censored. Oh, because child violence. Yeah. It's this not allowed. Saber, who is tilting her head questionably. I but remember, my we don't heart. condone child violence, but we do, however, find it hilarious. <laughs> that kid fucking ate shit. <laughs> yeah. That kind of violence. I'm not talking about like actual child abuse. That shit's terrible, and you should never do it. Yes, but <laughs> Four Star managed to do it just right, and it was always hilarious. Okay. <laughs> deep. That fucking quote. <laughs> I love it, dude. We do not, we at TFS do not condone child violence. We do, however, find it hilarious. We gotta play Corpse Party at some point and use that quote. 
Doesn't a lolly just get absolutely fucking wrecked in that game from what I remember? <laughs> yeah, a 12-year-old lolly, yeah. But it's so fucking hilarious, because it's like... All dead. she wanted to do is take a piss, and then fucking fat dude comes over and fucking slashes her up like a fucking watermelon. I watched the anime. That shit's brutal as hell. Believe Even it or... they thought they got out, the one dude just gets cut in half, because for some reason you can't have a happy ending in a horror anime. No, sir. You know what's fucked up? Is that the anime... Had all the bad endings. It's not even. Well, it, yeah, the actual game is about saving everyone. And even then, that's not even possible most of the time because that's not the canon. That's not the canon ending. Wait, there's multiple endings. Yeah. Kitty, why are you rubbing your head against the box? I have questions that you're not gonna answer. I know that feeling because my for some reason when I woke up in the morning, my door was open and I'm, and I have like a two way door. Yeah. So what ends up happening, I have like a gate yeah. door and a regular door. And what ended up Airport. happening is that there was a gap under my gate door and my cat somehow likes to sneak in through there. So I wake up, my door, room door was open and I just see her on top of me and I'm like, what the fuck? She wanted to sleep on you. That means she likes you. Cats don't do that unless they like a person. Yeah, like it hopped on my bed and it was just like just chilling there. Just like looking at me, and I think it was also kind of needing me. Oh, that really means she likes you. She was nesting. No, like she was like fucking putting her paws on my chest, just pressing on it. And I'm like, why? Yeah, she was needing the dough. She was nesting. Oh shit. Saber's closed. In other words, she really wanted a nap on you. I need to give her a bath because the fact that my mom doesn't like cats inside the house. So I need to give her a bath when I get the chance. They're, they're way cleaner animals than dogs are. Yeah, but here's the thing. She's mostly an outside cat, and she's been God knows where. So I want to give her a bath. See, I mean, I found this thing under a shed. Yesterday. She's wearing normal clothes, completely unlike her armor. It's rather unexpected, and I'm troubled by it. She is terribly beautiful. I think I might get a litter box at some point. Mm, it yeah, really it hits me now. Just make sure to clean that bitch like every three days. Oh, I'm 100% ready. <laughs> what I usually do with mine is I'll dump it, hose it, hose it the fuck down, and then pour new litter in because if I try and scoop litter with the shoulder, just, no, I can't do that. Yeah. Perhaps your armor looks so surreal that I didn't notice yesterday. But it's a lot more work, girl. but it's easier work than just trying There's to scoop the damn thing. In trouble. Shiro. Tense up the moment our eyes meet, but I didn't look for her as to not talk to her. I tense up the moment our eyes meet. Also, my dick somehow tenses up for some reason. I don't know why. I'm, I'm troubled, but I can't stay quiet forever. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Shiro is going to have to be watching a lesbian sex scene later on, and I forgot. Really? Oh, so he actually doesn't get laid himself. Oh, he does, but he just witnesses, uh, spoiler alert, Rin and Saber just going at it. Oh yeah, that's a, that's chapter eleven, scene five. Yep. Have fun with that. And I don't have a blocker, so I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna I have. Send you it. No, here's the thing. I use OBS. You're using Streamlabs. I need to make it. That's the problem. Yes, you just import the one that I made in the stream in OBS. <laughs> I'll just send you the image again. Yeah. Which. Unless you want to make your own. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna use that one because that one's just funnier. Make up my mind to talk to her. All right, we're gonna call the stream in like seven minutes or six minutes because I'm getting really fucking tired. Same. I have stuff to do tomorrow. By stuff, I don't know, but I'll figure or it out. Or we could just end it now if you want. Yeah, I got stuff to do in the morning. Yeah, I'll save here. Besides, it feels like we covered it enough for like. This feels like I want to more shorter streams, but at the same time, it feels like we progressed more. We're actually Is... under par. By under... six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we're going to end the stream here. If you guys enjoy the stream, give us a follow. Uh, and if you want to go check out our personal stuff, it's in the it's in the description for the Twitch. If you want to go, if you're guys from the VOD channel... Uh, give us a like and like uh, sub and uh, uh, like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it. 
And uh, yeah, I see you guys on Wednesday where we put, we're skipping Star Ocean One and going straight into two because Star Ocean One barely has any story. See you oh, guys. Oh, don't the stream yet. I'm sure I want to ask Chad a question. All right, ask him. Uh, this is for your YouTube people, not really chat, but uh, I heard that people make green bean casserole with marshmallows. I want to know who does that. Who what are you? Why do you do that? And what the fuck is wrong with you? What the? F oh, hold on. Can can? All right, we're done can, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> can you can you repeat that to me? I want to make sure I heard that. Okay. Some people make a thing called green bean casserole. And instead of using the fried onions, they'll use marshmallows. Those people need a reality check. It's mostly a southern thing in like Louisiana and shit. I'm like, why? Not even we do it down here. That's just plain gross. What that is gross. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Okay, I'm gonna end this here before we end up getting cursed. See you guys on Wednesday. And I had the. Damn it! Why do we always make dick jokes off camera? We make all our best jokes off camera. <laughs> the that was actually pretty funny. I'm like, fight dick. Make sure you squat on it to make sure it's nice and firm. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> you didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> no, and I don't want to know. I don't know. I find it. Never mind. We're streaming. I can't make that joke now. No, we're recording. We are recording. Um, chat. Anything I say uh, cannot be held against me in the court of law. I know my rights. But uh, anyway. Now that we're done talking about squatting on gaming controllers, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna drop that subject. Here's the thing, I feel, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my job is paying me more because of the fact inflation is finally gonna kick in and realize, oh wait, we can't get money going if no one's buying stuff. Oh well, yeah, it's gonna fuck the economy purpose-wise, but uh, let's not talk politics, so I'll just piss people off. Yeah. Anyway, works. um, right. I'm staring, chat, I'm staring at this incredibly hot chick who's gonna probably get pegged in chapter 11. Alright, gonna start streaming in three, two, one. Hello people, it's Japan number seventy nine. I'm here at Shinigami. We had a very nice five day Thanksgiving break. Wait, we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't start streaming yet. Guys still connecting. Now we're good. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> anyway, uh hello people, it's Japan number seventy nine. I'm here at Shinigami and we had a very nice five day Thanksgiving break. Yeah. I was doing my own shit. I was doing a whole Metal Gear Let's Play on my personal YouTube. Uh, literally, just my name without the Nikki. So just at least that's, I think it's still I think it's my same name. I have I have a link in the description on the Twitch. If you guys want to check it out, Dude, go I'm ahead. I'm pretty sure Nikki Gami is a Yu-Gi-Oh, like an old school Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm probably very wrong. I'm pretty sure it's one of the Roids or something, or you can use it in a Roid deck. Oh, one hundred percent. Hold on, let's turn on my PS. Sure it is. On. All right. I'm going to switch back to my PC because I was on my PS5 for a bit looking at stuff. Uh, I need to teach this man how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! properly. I only know the basics, like face down, and that's it. <laughs> oh, God. We have a lot to go over. Making my mind and talk to him. Like the millions of different ways to special summon. By the way, last Monday, when we switched to, switched to Class of 09, it was not only just because of the fact we wanted to try something new, but because of the fact the last chapter for Fate on our last stream literally bored us to tears because of the fact the exposition was so much. Exposition, baby. And we're still getting more exposition. I don't even remember what happened. Was it? Wait. Are they talking about when he was, like, ganked by a uh, like, girl? By Hercules, His sister yes. or whatever? By Hercules, yes. We're still not past that whole thing. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's still a thing. What about last night? The fact that I was literally blade? Also, by the way, you know last stream, I did something that I managed to do something that I haven't done in a while. I didn't make a reference to shoving books of a certain place. Also, by the way, if you hear, like, background ye yelling, that's because my sisters are at home and they're awake and they're ri wild, so just ignore also, that. Also, if you hear a, if you're a fan noise, uh, I have an air purifier going in this room because, uh, reasons. So, yeah. Saber says so clearly. That makes attention. I was feeling vanish. Even though, well... 
It's like a certain part of my body just de-swelled itself immediately. I was talking about my sore tendons. Jesus, people, get your mind out of the gutter. Oh my god, I can hear how bad the audio in this game is. Holy shit. There is like an audible there is like an audible tinniness to it. She speaks plainly. I can now tell the age of this game with good headphones. It's the first time I'm listening to this with good headphones. How can you tell the age? There's a definitive tinniness to the audio. You can tell this was like a low-budget project. That ballooned into a massive thing that even has porn trading cards. They're not porn, they're more etchy cards. That people pay for in Japan and it confuses the shit out of me. Which is funny. Which is funny to think about because now they literally got a hand in everything. They got an RPG. They got Muso games. They got mobile games. They got animes, movies. From this it was one like visual a... novel, it spawned a whole franchise. It was like part of some card game, I believe that's called like Hearts to Hearts or something. That is basically like you play one card and then like you have a partner card. It's like based off harem anime. It's weird. Guarantee if they ever remake this game and get the English dub cast, it's gonna be so weird hearing Bryce Pappenbrook as Shiro. We re if they remake this game and play it, we play it. We're playing it in Japanese if they remake this. End of discussion. Why? I, I can't deal with Bryce Pappenbrook for more than I already have to deal with him for Don Rampa. I can't deal with this man for more than ten hours. What is JRPG torture, dude? I met life and it feels awkward now <laughs> oh i know that feeling because uh i'm in a i'm in a group with uh i'm in a i'm in a discord with like undertale abridged actors and now that i got to properly talk to them i'm like oh god it feels weird watching their stuff now because they just posted delta rune abridged episode one i think and they're probably a few episodes already down already I'll but watch that um like delta rune abridged but oh my god it i'm feels only kidding so i probably want to listen I and totally want to listen to this Bryce. And then the Bryce is... I don't hate Bryce as a voice actor, but his differentiation doesn't exist. Yeah, he only can do... Like, he's a good actor. He's really good with the voice. Problem is, he only has one voice. The only differentiation I ever really heard him use was Nagito, and even that is just, like, him being... Uh, from what he described when I asked him about a con, I think I've been over this, he described it as playing the Joker. Maybe she was surprised at being yelled at, but... She pauses for a moment as if I've done something unexpected. Didn't we find her in this room like in a meditating coma? Yep. And, and then spend half a stream talking to her. Yep. And then she stares at me with an indescribable dignity. Back up a bit. Damn. Being stared at. That fucking stare can fucking melt a dude's balls out of his sack. Jesus. She looks like she's about to murder someone. Or at least. That's what I meant. Or at least smack the shit out of someone. She doesn't have to fucking slit someone's throat or make someone shit fucking diamonds at their ass. <laughs> oh my, that's a description. <laughs> oh my god. Her look makes you realize that I've said something really out of place. By the and way, uh, sure, did I ever me. tell you about the time I made a guy <laughs> shit diamonds? Oh, I heard that static. I heard that static. Not that I realize it. See, when you have good headphones, you can actually hear it a little bit. Thing is, it can also just be Discord now that I think about it. Nope, it's not Discord because I can hear it. Oh, they do that thing where the eyebrows are layered over the hair. Like, I never used to notice it, but now that I notice it on Moe stuff, it annoys me. More importantly, there's something I need to clarify right now. Something I should have asked right after I got home yesterday. If she really is my servant, then if she really is taking part in this war. Actually, are actually referring to their servants in what's called Romanji. Like, if you want to refer to her in proper Japanese, you would just call her Katana. That literally just means sword in Japanese. Yeah, essentially, that's what it'd be like. They refer to her as Saber, Romaji. That's what they call it, right? What'd you just say, Rudomaji? Romaji. 
Romaji, yeah, it's when it's when you're using like an English word in Japanese conversation and or spelling it out. Yeah, or more like it's like a it's like any sort of Japanese word translated into English letters. Saber says so without the slightest hesitation. There's no room for me to question her about it. You know what'd be really funny if someone petitioned Bryce Peppenrook and some of the fate actors to play this game. Now is that kata. You know what'd be really funny right. is that they got the English dub actors to dub this game as like a like a Twitch stream. <laughs> Apparently Bryce does buy the games he's in. I asked this question at the con as well. Oh, so he bought like Fate Stay Night Original or like I'd love to see his game show. <laughs> He, has he buys the Blu-rays too. I think he's well, I think he's gifted the Blu-rays. He got gifted the Blu-ray for Dongan Rampa that his bloopers made it in. <laughs> he made a joke where uh, Hachime had a sweaty hand and that shit made it into the Blu-ray. <laughs> I guess the editor for it's like, yeah, keep it. Can't say with the apparently... That's one thing I know about Bryce. He even said it at the panel I was in, is he tries to make the fucking voice director laugh his ass off. Yeah, I heard he does that, and he also infected Todd Habercorn. I that. would. He also infected Todd Habercorn with that because of the fact that Todd. Todd Habercorn. Yeah, the, I think they got in a booth together once, and Bryce could not stop joking, and it ended up infecting Todd. I mean, honestly, that would make me as a voice director more. That would make me like more comfortable to work with you as a voice director. I mean, if I could do that as a voice actor, that would make me more comfortable to work with said voice director. Because I wouldn't have to worry about fluff ups as much. No, first of all, I didn't even summon her. She just appeared when I was in danger, saved me with her own decision. Resolve the situation we are in. Game Saver's Master. Listen, and... main character. I'll wait till you're done. Listen, we... main character. Uh, the power of boners can do anything. I became Saber's Master, and I was dragged into this thing called the Holy Grail War. Not one bit of it was well, my intention. And mortal danger, but mostly boners. Just an amateur magus that was dragging the battle beyond my abilities. Eight people specifically right now are watching Class of 09. Which is probably, here's the thing. I looked at the thing for like the analytics for that. Apparently it gets to the thousands in like the afternoon and mornings. But the, Jesus, the, why? By the time it reaches nighttime, people stop watching it. Twitch, can we have some of that? clout please no we just need to fix our schedule that's the problem we stream so late at night that's the problem i was gonna stream earlier but you weren't online yes i was no i mean like five six in the morning mm -mm. oh yeah, i mean in the afternoon oh i was awake at the time i was online don't worry i didn't know you. oh wait no i i chose to play fighters instead you dumbass. I already convinced myself that I had to fight. Can't complain now. Listen, I was in the mood of popping head. heads with Androids 18. I like how and... most of Dragon Ball was inspired by 80s action films. Yeah. Literally, the, so the Android song was literally inspired by Alien and the Terminator. Both great movies, by the way. Uh, if you're not checking them out because you're like, eh, they haven't aged well. You're insane and out of your fucking mind. Go watch them right now. I shake my head oh, lightly wait. and stop whining. That's it. I said I will fight. So I can't oh, even talk about running away. Are you telling me to stop whining? I didn't notice it was in the thing. You moron. I didn't notice it was in the thing. So I was just play whining. And I'm like, what the fuck? This will be the last time I will talk or think about whining. This will be the last time I will talk or think about whining. No matter how the decision came, I have decided to fight. <laughs> Help <Sure>. me, Saber. I am not Oh, nothing. Dude, my instinct to read this is driving me fucking crazy. Like, read it aloud. Yeah, streaming. didn't it also upset you with Class of 09? Because the fact that they talk so fast. Dude, I hate how it didn't have, like, a thing where I can press A. Diablo, the new Diablo doesn't have that either, and it's driving me absolutely up a wall. 
Yeah, like you want to read it to process it, but it moves so fast and it's so snappy. Your Dude, brain can't. I grew it. up with games where you press A to advance dialogue, and all these games that don't have that now are driving me mentally insane. Because I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older or I'm just like stupid. They don't want to waste your time. It's like if you didn't read it, okay, then tough luck. You could just, just let's just progress. That's essentially what and guess happened. What, and guess what really makes me feel insulted? The new Diablo has the ability to press A to advance cutscenes. It's in ex guess where it is? Where is it? Accessibility mode! Way to make me feel like a fucking boomer gamer. Oh, oh god. Oh, it physically hurts me. Then again, you're 27, so that makes sense. Yeah. Oh my god. I love the album 4, but that's so funny to me. I actually had to turn that off because it was breaking the cutscenes. I wonder how, speaking of age, I wonder how old the actors for the the visual novel for Fate are. Well, Bryce is still a young guy, I know that. Oh, wait, you mean the actors for the visual novel? Yeah, I wonder how old they are now. Because I know the voice for she with this went on to do the animes, along with Ren's actor. Saber, though, that's where I'm confused at. They're probably like 40, 50 now. No, nah, they're probably like, yeah, they're probably in their 40s. But it's they... hard to look up the actors for this because the game's so old and it's in Japanese. Just look up for Unlimited Blade Works because he went through a prizes role for Unlimited Blade Works. I think it's wrong for someone to get hurt in my place. Even though I'm weak, I can super fight and. Did I ever tell you how she haven't felt my Unlimited Blade Work? Can't stand letting a scene like that happen again. My question is, how the fuck did you idiot survive? Yeah, that's just some good old-fashioned plot armor, but knowing this game, it's probably going to okay. give us a three-hour explanation of how he survived. Yeah, but was it plot armor, the power of boners, or the power of friendship, or both? Or all three. Or just all three combined, or is it just the, or was it just the power of, uh, I really need to go to lunch, you know what, just, just, just have him survive, we'll write in an explanation later. You know what's funny? The moment you said the moment you said it, I said it's all three. I immediately got reminded of High School DxD. <laughs> God damn it! That show is a thing that exists. That's One true. of my friends who was total. It's in like raunchy shit. Was totally into that in high school. I'm like, I've never met someone who's into that. I've met people that have jerked off to it, like in the room, ashamed of what they've done. But I've never met someone who's actually a fan of that show. That's why Saber is my servant right now. I should try my best with the burner too much. わかった。それじゃ、俺はお前のマスターでいいんだな。ええ。ですが、シロ。私のマスターに敗北は許さない。あなたに勝算がなければ、私が作る。可能である全ての手段を用いて、あなたには聖杯を手に入れてもらいます
Cannot finish. Saber's looking at me. Like no, I mean, what day is the sex scene? Day eleven. Yep. That means. I oh gotta, yeah, I made a promise in there, right? I gotta make a whole new scene just to block everything. Dude, I made a promise just to narrate that entirely, which I will. Which is gonna be so awkward. I'm not gonna and be able... in an erotic, in an erotic fanfic reader voice. Oh God, no! <laughs> Saber stares at me with burning eyes. Her eyes are so piercing. It makes my little member go rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> I've read erotic fiction before. I'm not I'm not a fucking beating around a bush. Oh God. I sometimes hate being a, I hate being an I hate being an otaku sometimes. If they ever remake this game, they gotta remove this whole like opaque text box thing and just move it like a regular one. It's like a text on the bottom. Because how can we appreciate this art if there's just words in the way? Uh. I think we lost connection. Yep, we did. Yep, yep. Can you hear me, dude? Hello. Hello. Oh, did the stream crash? Oh no. I can hear you like partially. You're really badly lagging, and so is the stream. Oh god, are we, are we streaming still? No, we're still live. Yeah. It just glitched. Okay, we're back on. Never mind. Dude, you there? I'm here. We, I am lagging. Oh, okay. I think we're good now. We're I was good. Gonna say, I was gonna say that erotic novels are written for like forty-year-old women. <laughs> OBS hated that. They didn't want to crash the stream. <laughs> It's like, no, no talking about erotic fiction. Maybe so, that... funny story. It's actually really funny. So, I work in a grocery store, and for some reason, my grocery store thought it was a good idea to put the erotic fiction next to the kids' books. Why? Dude, I'm not even kidding when I say next to. Literally, there was a picture of a... There was a book with a half-naked band on the front of it next to a book set set next to Elmo Goat teaches kids how to potty. But I'm still happy and I'm relieved. Her lack of doubt. And it's like a cold fighting machine, but wise correct answer for that. Like, you wouldn't know it's erotic fiction unless you read it, but I'm like if a kid picked that up and started to read it, oh my god, would they be in for it? And to put that in perspective, I know exactly what that series was about, because I remember watching a YouTuber talk about it out of curiosity. And it's literally about it's literally like reverse Twilight. But with sex. Ew. Oh, that's even so worse. So basically, the dudes in it are really sexy leprechauns. <laughs> wait, and they, like, wait, 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 uh, wait. Uh, okay. What did you okay. just say to me? Okay, okay. So the dudes in this story, I forget the name of it, but apparently the dudes are like really sexy leprechauns that get stronger the more they bone women. And it's the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why leprechauns in particular? That is a whole ass porn novel. Why sexy leprechauns? Why the why the Twilight similarities? Why any of it? <laughs> and I know now that she is not a cold-blooded killer. <sighs> well, she's not a sexy leprechaun either. Something. She'd have a green hat if she was. <laughs> Fuck. Kukulain would have a leprechaun hat, but I don't know. Dude, now I'm just imagining Kukulain just completely fucking ripped with a seven-inch schlong. No, he's just like a midget now. <laughs> He has it's a micro penis. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> My master wasn't supposed to tell anybody about this. So apparently, micro penis syndrome is a real thing. What? Uh, it happens when you don't get enough testosterone during puberty. That explains a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, what I do. Okay, I'm not gonna elaborate on that any further. Yeah, I knew I'd make it awkward. <laughs> yeah, um... At least I'm pretty sure what I read about it's true. I raised my head. 
I mean, the weirdest uro uro urological thing I've ever read was about Dr. Henry Kellogg putting chicken wine. Never mind. I don't know what's funny, but Saber has a small smile on her face. All I'm Basically, chat, if I'm you want to look up the it. the uh, yeah, misadventures of Henry Ke of Harvey Kellogg, who's the guy who invented Frosted Flakes, you'll be very surprised on what you find. And we'll leave it at that. しばらく遠坂と協力することになったんだ。リンですかそうですね。確かにそれは賢明な判断です。白いサウンドのオリジナルスカーフォルクライクワンスイスメディカルミュージアムへ行ってきた。ロセックスはフッキングテリファイングライ
here's the thing. I don't think it even matters anymore because she knows where we live now. So it's like, what do we do about that? We can't just move. <laughs> she can just she can just slit her throat at any time she wants to. What? Like, the... I, I put fifty thousand locks on my door just to make sure that happen. She's, she seems like the type of bitch that would just come in there with a fucking butter knife and really go to town on that throat. Oh God. You're welcome for that horror movie imagery. Yeah, I'd be surprised too. Let's not forget we're trying to kill each other. Oh god, why? No, I honestly wonder if the Holy Grail could like make an exception and like proclaim two victors. Because if you think about it like the Hunger Games, how it's like a reality show. They essentially describe the Holy Grail kind of like that. Like, it wants to see bloodshed and all this different... And, like, drama and shit. That's why it does it. We're essentially entertaining the gods from what it's describing. Oh, that's, at God. least that's what I got from that Free Skies conversation. So, if anyway, the Holy Grail wanted to, it could have two victors. If it wanted to. Which is, I bet you, what happens in Heaven's Field. Or whatever her route is. Hold on, I'm gonna look for something. Hold on. OBS, quit bugging out with me. Here we go. OBS, continue bugging out with him. Uh, remember how we... Remember those, um... Where's that image? The one with the... Ah, here it is. Too sexy for Twitch, you mean? Yeah. My fucking masterpiece. Look what I found. I can't really see it on stream. I'm not watching for the Twitch. I'm watching for the viewfinder on Discord. Look what I found. Hang on, we got. Can I only see for the Twitch? Yeah, to the Twitch. All right, hang on. It says "Be right back." Hey, you found it. <laughs> uh, My cursed sign across the screen time. And it's so much easier. I didn't even need to use another program. OBS is like, oh, you want to put an image? Okay, just select an image. Uh, that's not my modus operandi, though. My modus operandi is nerd time. Like, I actually put effort into that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to find that one, so I need to screenshot it. I just sent it to you. Yeah, you just sent it. Listen, this is what... I took three years of graphic arts, and that's the best I can produce. Bitch. Do you Education do... system! Here's the thing. I'm more worried about her, because as I... Sir, I can tell... We're a bad luck magnet. Why are you around us? Oh, also the other thing. Two people in the same house in a death tournament. You're literally making us even more of a target. Literally two for one. What are you doing? Go back to your house. Literally some dead chick can literally just sneak in and be like, I'm going to kill two for one today. Not only that, we... Fucking not, only our that. Throats. not only that, we go to the same school. So it's like... It's not like we can't just talk over there. And people are also going to think we're dating. It's going to be super awkward. It's not unlimited blade works. And then I'm going to fuck another girl in chapter 11 that's not you. You know what's funny? And then funny? you're going to cry about it. You know what's funny? Probably, you, know what's, <laughs> you know what's funny <laughs> that you say that? What? The vanilla route may be Saber's route, but you could still date Rin. <laughs> that's what's messed up. Of course up. you can. Dude, it wouldn't be a fucking dating sim if you couldn't cheat on people. You want to the best fucking dating sim thing ever? Have you played Stardew Valley? Oh, God. So, if you get every girl to, uh, like, let's, like, eight hearts instead of ten, which you have to do due to romance somebody, it'll literally make have a cutscene where every single girl gets mad, like, puts you inside of the back of a house and gets mad at you for not choosing a girl. Like, the yeah. game physically gets mad at you for not choosing a spouse. Like, it does not let you, like, fucking play matchmaker with a ton of people at once. It gets mad at you. Yeah. But, like, yeah. Oh. Apparently, and here's the thing. I think I think there's someone made a meme about it. In Unlimited Blade Works, it shows that they're still friends in the anime. But in the visual novel, if you choose Vanilla Fate, you could date her still. And it's like, What? Don't they romance each other in Unlimited Blade Works? Yes, but also, but apparently you could do that in any route. Apparently, 
Heaven's Field just sounds like a tragedy from what I've seen from it. Oh, yeah, it's 100% a tragedy. It's literally a lose-lose for everyone. Or at least everyone, not a lose-lose, but everyone just loses something there. So is Heaven Field just like the uh, bittersweet ending? Pretty much. It's just so depressing. I'll have to watch that movie then once we're done with this. The three movies. There's three of them. I'm assuming it cuts out a fuckload of fluff. Oh, 100%. Wasn't this a 360 uh, game at some point? No. I'm surprised I can't speak. So I have to say something back or something terrible is going to happen, but my head will not function. I feel mean. I'm staring at the remains of a 360 that I dismantled, and I didn't have to dismantle because the other one worked properly. Hold on, I'm going to check something real quick. Uh, you have 15.5 mentoseconds. Hex screws that can actually take this whole thing apart. From what I can tell, apparently, from what I've heard, Rin and and Rin and Shira are the canon route because of the fact the later games have like their kid as the protagonist. So it's like Rin and Shira are the canon route, or at least no, like no, it's shipping wise. I think the Fate route's the canon. Because, like I said, at the, literally the entirety of the franchise is just based off the three routes. A limited Blade Works anime, the Heaven's Feel movies. Wasn't Heaven's Feel, uh... Oh, Heaven's Feel is multiple movies? Yeah, there's three movies. So they don't cut the fluff out. Yeah. I'm staring at an Xbox 360 disk drive right now, because I remember it, I, uh... Took it apart to get a disc out of it, and this is a very complicated little piece of machinery. It has about 50 different fucking screw types for no reason. You know what's funny? Imagine, like, they remake the game by use scenes from the anime. Was this one taken apart before it looks it? If they remake scenes, they reuse scenes from the anime. If they remake the game. Because didn't they also reuse scenes for the Steins Gate Elite, an Elite game? Like the so-called official port? Still the unexpected invader mercilessly continues the discussion. Isn't this bad? Morally? Look, Tosa goes to the idol in my school, just having her in my house would cause a panic. So having her live here would be crazy and Fujine would kill me. Or maybe she's planning to drive me insane and reduce the number of masters. Wow, he's really petty about the situation. Maybe she's going to kill him by sleep. I'm calling it now, boys. Local high schooler found dead after another high schooler with a red shirt stabs him to death what in the middle the... of the night. Look what she just said. What? Look at her dialogue. Why well, don't you prepare a room as well? Your servant takes the space, unlike my archer, so you would have a place to sleep. Well, if one bed is no problem, then I wouldn't mind. Wait, that... Wait, that makes for sleeping in the same bed, right? <laughs> oh, God! I don't think she necessarily cares. I got you idiot from that sentence without looking at it, but they didn't translate it right, and it's annoying me a little bit. But yeah, there. like I said, I think the canon route is Ren and Shiro. Because, well, a lot of the media tends to ship them both together, from what I can tell. Like, for some reason, like, every time I look look at, like, a Fate playthrough or some shit, someone, I, or at least the ones I've found, they're always shipping Shiro with Ren. So it's like, is it the canon route? Because, like, the fact is a sequel based with their kid? Huh. Saber, why are you looking at me like that? Not moving. Jamie makes a difficult face. Look at, look at Rin's face! She looks so small. She looks so dissatisfied. Are you two really girls? 
<laughs> Jesus. Uh. Why? They have tits and vaginas. Why are, you two look, female. why are you two looking silently at me like that? Wow! <laughs> look what she says! There's no need to treat them as humans. Okay, very okay, that's a bit. Yikes. Rin, uh honey, you need to learn a thing or two about uh how to treat someone properly. No, you no what, psychopath. What she needs is some basic empathy. My mouth about to protest stops. That weird feeling I had when talking with Telsica in the living room returns. Actually, I figured out the cause of this feeling. Rin's a bitch! <laughs> Here's the thing, that's her whole character. She's a Sundere Himidari. Sundere bitch mode activate. She's also a tease. She knows when to tease, but when you get her... Here's the thing. She can dish it out, but she can't take it. That's what I figured out about her. Yeah, she's one of them fake Himidari. He mean, whatever the fuck is I mean, whatever the fuck's coming with fear in your ear. Uh, Hime Dairy, where she's like, she acts like all proper, but then after that, like, if you manage to, like, get her, like, compliment her in a certain way, she turns into a tsundere. Fuck her, right? What's funny is that there are some people that consider her the queen of tsundere's, and I'm like, why? The queen of tsundere's? No, that's awesome enough you fucking sort out. She a fucking complete cunt. So, you know that you're to <laughs> I really want an anime to do this thing where, like, it's like a, for example, like with a tsundere, where it's like, they know they're a tsundere, they just can't help themselves. Like, literally, it's in their nature, like, and they're like, why, they're all like, I went, how do I say it? I want there to be an anime where it's like, breaking down the tropes, and like, the one episode about the tsundere, she ends up hating, the main, that character hates that they're a tsundere, they don't know why they're like that. And the yandere should diagnose with actual psychopathy. <laughs> Which is a thing that can happen. Usually, most yandere's are. Telsica says so plainly without realizing what I'm feeling. Jeez. It's like you said, you say. I think Telsica really Yeah, yandere sim syndrome or yandere psychopathy. Which is an actual mental illness characterized by acting like a fucking psychopath. Yes, was it an obsession? A really messed up obsession. Nee, <laughs> So my mom had to do a residency at a uh, mental institution once for her nursing certificate and stuff. And uh, someone there had what's called laughing hyena syndrome, and it's the most terrifying thing you'll ever encounter in your life. Because this person will, if you have it, you'll literally just go into maniacal fucking laughter for no reason. I think I'm allowed to talk about that on stream. I like how... That's probably dead. I'm trying to find out if you can date Rin in the vanilla fate route. Here's the thing. They're not giving me straight answers. It's like, oh, is Rin dating anyone else in other routes and all that? And I'm like, why? Just tell me. I'm to find my fucking screwdriver. Because from, from what I know from the other games, like that's like canon to this one. It's mostly canon that they're like, you know, dating. Ran and Watcher's face sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a really unaffordable baby in a baby carrier. Here's now, mom. Dad. Here's the thing. I already go went for the fate route, but for some reason, isn't it a meme where you can still date Rin in the vanilla route? So it's like, why? It's a meme that you can still date her in the beginning route. In the vanilla route. Uh, is it one of the good memes or the bad memes, though? I don't care about the limited blade rocks where I want to know about the vanilla route. Oh! Oh! So apparently Unlimited Blade Works is the more darker route. Really? Yeah, it's apparently much darker. 
I'm not gonna see what it says, but apparently it is darker. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Let me just say this: a lots of betray apparently lots of betrayal happens there. And that's her route. That's incredible. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, let's just continue on. I can't find it. I'm just gonna if I'm just in case. Every time we have a, just in case, I'll make two saves. So that way we can like figure it out on our off time. Or I can figure it out on my off time. <laughs> but you can't go see the other routes yet. Anyway, game yeah. won't let you until you finish this one. Question. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We're looking through our Reddit post. So fucking lonely. Hey. Wow, a physical copy of this game was a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's rare. Uh, but yeah, I uh, not only that, I doubt we we both want to do three playthroughs of this shit for Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feel. I doubt we want to do that. Nope. <laughs> you know, watch the movies at that point. Yeah, we could do like a watch along or some shit, but they'll probably get just banned, so never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, it's copyright material, you can't do that. Unless we unless we like absolutely blur the shit out of it. We could just both watch it on our own time and then just talk about it. Yeah, I think the whole reason I said I wanted to do the fate route was because of the fact like it's the route <clears throat> no one really knows about. Everyone knows about the anime that came out on <laughs> Yeah, because no one plays the game. Because yeah. no one could get a cop because it's in Japanese only. There was an anime that came out in 06 that covered the fate route, but apparently it didn't cover like a lot of the stuff that they needed to cover. So the only one, only good adaptations were Heaven's Feel, which are the movies and the anime. For her, Unlimited Blade Works. We haven't gotten a proper vanilla fate route anime. Hold on. Well, after only a day, they should keep calling me Shiro like I'm a cat she found. Saver's room is. Oh yeah, these motors on this disc drive will seem better days. I'm doing an autopsy on a disc drive while watching this. Uh, even if you glare at me like that, I can't do it. Also trying to scavenge the metal so I can sell it. Imagine when Fujine and Sakura finally show up and she just sees two different women moved into his house. I'm the only freeloader. What's also funny is I think in the limited Blade Works route, I think in the anime, the anime covered, it made a really funny joke that when she, when she Rin, when Rin showed up at Shiro's house, she was knocking at the door and Rin, uh, uh, Rin was knocking at the door and Shiro was like coming up to it. The moment he opens the door and sees her, he immediately closes it and started to think, should I let her in or should, or should she kick my ass? And then she just shoved the door open looking mighty pissed. <laughs> Get pissed off. Yeah, that was funny though. It was really fucking funny to me because she just closed the door on her. <laughs> Dude, this disk drive is in such bad shape, the ribbon cables don't even work anymore. I broke one trying to take it apart. 
Not only, not only that, Saber, you can't attack me. Therefore, I have immunity from you. <laughs> if you guys attack... Wait, didn't she tell Saber never to attack him? And that was an order she gave him? No. Like, Saber literally... Here's the thing. Servants kind of can't attack their own masters. I'm pretty sure that's a law. But, like, yeah. It's really fucking funny, though. <laughs> No, it's not a lock, because I have written down Sabres can and will attack their masters if whatchamacallit runs out. Oh. That's, what was, that's why they have the option to run to the church. <laughs> I breathe out hard and intimidate Sabres. ブレヴンそのようなことで霊女を使われてはそう God, I wonder these fucking 360 disc drives break all the time. They are so poorly made. Like, really poorly made. Like, I'm gonna cut my hand open just trying to take this apart. I can't claim I'll manage. I was able to against Lancer, but that, la that luck won't repeat itself. AKA the plot armor. I'm pretty sure the plot armor is already starting to get a dent right now. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I mean, for fuck's sake, I survived getting my myself gutted. <laughs> oh. Okay. I found the reason this thing kept getting stuck. What happened? The, um... There was literally a plastic bracket that kept getting in the way of, uh, it moving. Oh. Wait a minute, the house? Is that really why this thing kept getting stuck? Because there was a fucking loose bracket? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Shiro's house has a boundary field. When did we ever learn this? They said it chapters ago. Even I remember that. Oh. Remember when he was being attacked and he was talking about the boundary field? Oh, that must be stupid. Then how did the hell did Shiro get in here then? I mean, Rin. <laughs> well, she's a more powerful mage. She probably knows how to circumvent it. Well, then again, she probably has one around her house too. So she probably knows how to... Marvin knows yes. how it works. So, I figured out why this disc drive never worked. It had some kind of broken plastic piece preventing it from, uh, doing its thing. Uh... Well, I was off top seeing it. I can multitask. I also want all the gorgeous metal inside of here to recycle. She pronounces the Emiyakun ostentatiously. Tosaka. Emiyakun. That's just yes. fish tree. That's just a fish tree, you know. How does this come out? Oh. oh. Tozuka walks to the house with her bag as we're telling us the conversation is over. I didn't even get to answer! Where are you sleeping? On top of you, specifically. She looks cheerful like a student picking her room on a field trip. Like a student picking her room on a field trip. What? Uh, oh, I mean, oh, that means it won't send hotel or something. Oh, so that means she's just treating this as her house. Great. I, great. She probably just doesn't want to live alone. Here's the thing. It's heavily implied from what I found from her research is that apparently it's implied that she's always had a crush on him for a long time now. But has been busy with mage work for so long that she couldn't really do much about it. And it was sort of like yeah, distracting her from actually like really asking him out. So it's like, eh. Let's see, where do I sleep? You return to the main. You building. can tell the build quality is something by trying to take it apart. And this thing is, uh, I can see why these fucking break all the time. They are made terribly. I'm about to just take my wire cutters and disconnect the board that way since it's already broken. First of all, I should show her around the house so she can choose her own room. <laughs> Oh, 
<笑>あの、だって、ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル。ナチュラル
I like the censor's dialogue so much. Yeah, but that allows you to get creative with it. Mm. <sighs> Judging by her expression, bad thing must be our weakness. So Skeletor hates the bungee layoffs. <laughs> Shut Skeletor up. hates everything. I was reading a meme my friend posted. What the fuck, dude? That sent me the most random shit. And I'm like, what? Hi. Mazu hitotsume. Shokan sarita servant to no saisho no gimu na no desu ga. Kore o hatasenai koto o yurushite hoshi. So why can't she go in corporeal? Because he's not strong enough. I don't know. Wait a minute. Huh? Hold on. Wait. Wait. Uh, wait. 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 Why? I don't know. I feel like the game's about to get steamy. But wait, hold on, I found something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah, there's no way. Oh, I thought they were remaking the vanilla route. Never mind. That'd be interesting if they did. Yeah, because if they do do a remake, it'll be amazing. Because apparently Studio Dean did the original 06 anime, and the 06 anime kind of sucks. Jishin,何者であるかをマスターに告げるというものです。リンから聞いてはいませんか?何者であるか告げる。ああ、セイバーの本当の名前のことか。Servants are hero. No! No! It's doing it again! <laughs> Servants are heroic spirits, known for in every age. I don't care. We know this. If I were a normal master, even if I knew Saber's real name, I wouldn't be able to come up with an effective plan. Most of all, I don't care about it. Hmm. I do どうした私なりに考えた結果です。いかに白が私の神明を隠そうとしても、白から知識を奪う術は多くあるでしょう。Rin <laughs> is just hiding, is like right next to the wall trying to hear it. And she's like, fuck! <laughs> so, so, did he summon her the same night that he got attacked by the uh, other guy? Yep. I'm guessing that's the case. The yeah, he did. He did summon her that night. Wait, what? So that's what happened? Saber murmurs in regret. So <laughs> you're King Arthur, the person that everybody in England knows. It's a bit unexpected. Saber, Mer Saber has some human characteristics, and she regrets being inferior to Berserker. Which is funny, because Rin says she's the best one. Get We saw Berserker stats. Do you remember Berserker stats, dude? Oh, they were nuts. Literally maxed out. <laughs> like, not even funny. It was literally maxed out. いいんじゃないか。切り札は隠しておいてこそ切り札だろ。マスターがこんなだからさ。セイバーが工夫しようとしているのはわかるよ。それとバーサーカーだけど。He's un no shit, he's unfair. He's literally fueled by insanity. 
セイバーが落ち込むことはないしそれに俺から見たらセイバーは全然負けてないあんな傷を負ってたのに真正面から打ち合ってたじゃないかそうですね昨夜不覚を取りましたが傷が癒えれば違った結果になるでしょう Oh yeah, didn't she fight Berserker while she was wounded? So it was like not even a fair fight It was not a fair fight. She already got wounded. Didn't she get wounded already by uh, fighting, space? Fighting Kukolin? Yeah. Kukolin! Kukolin! <laughs> Give me a pet of bear for your mic. Fucking smite for my own good. My own good. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't make Kukolin fully Irish. Just make him a fucking drunk. Well, lads, go get me the. Oh, he's actually supposed to be Scottish, not Irish. That's even better. Oh, <laughs> lad, go get me a towel so I can cool off. One being the absolute worst time you ever had, and ten being the best time you ever had. I have to give mine a solid eight because food was good and I got to hang out with my baby niece, who was adorable. And Black Friday shopping was bitching. But I want to know how was your Thanksgiving weekend? My Thanksgiving weekend was just fine, thank you. You heard all of that, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> I wish I wasn't giving a recipe on how to stuff a turkey. Ugh. I don't... I'm probably the only guy in the world that doesn't like stuffing. Well, have you had it inside a turkey or outside a turkey? Both. You want that shit inside of a turkey. Isn't it marinates in... It's like tofu. It marinates in all them good juices. Yeah, but I just don't like it either time. Wow, you have some shitty taste buds then. You're talking to the same man that chugs down soda flat. Don't even try me. Yeah, we need to have a serious discussion about that. What? Wait, like a stupid serious discussion about that. Is that just weird? Yeah. I just realized something. We could try playing on Monday again next time or on Wednesday. Yeah, Chad, if you're wondering why we missed Monday, uh, I needed sleep really badly. Uh, I have a, since I have a capture card, I can stream Fire Emblem Three Houses, because I got three houses. We're going to stream that next Monday? No, on Wednesday or Friday, because it's kind of per visual novel, but it doesn't check in all the boxes. I mean, we have our best material with Fire Emblem that we've set off screen. Yeah, but the thing is, that's like an off-screen thing. Like, we can probably stream it again when we finish it off-screen, which is probably going to be for a while. Like, maybe once we reach the 2 hour 30 mark, we can get back into it. Like, 2 or 3 hours. where we came up with... It's where the uh, phrase, fuck Takumi, was born. Yep, and it was... <laughs> fuck Takumi. He's literally the boss in, like, the fucking Conquest route. That's, like, that's lame as shit. Yeah, and the thing is, Conquest is meant to be harder, which is why people prefer Conquest. But here's the thing. Yeah, and in Birthright, he, he's not the boss, but he tends to snipe your party in the middle of the game. Drastically reducing your options if you're playing on, a, you know, normal mode and not casual like some freak over it that I know. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Anything involving permadeath? <laughs> screw that. I hate permadeath. I do not Be a like real it. man! Play Fire Emblem on permadeath. No, I refuse. Yes. Hi, <laughs> is the gas. How else are you gonna feel the absolute despair of letting your family members in that game die brutal deaths? You're assuming I care about them. I did. <laughs> Cause here's the thing: everyone in Fates is not well written, dude. I, as the gasoline, am not sending any fuel for Saber to work as an engine. Oh, Saber, so 
What? He compared himself to gasoline, saying he's not fueling her enough, which means... I mean, come a few chapters, he might fuel her a bit more, if you know what I mean. Which, for some reason, is uncensored on YouTube. Yeah, complete... Dude, it's weird. Usually most of the Rogue games are censored. This one is completely uncensored, because it came out right before Japan started censoring hentai. Not only that, it came out around the time YouTube was barely even starting, so I don't even think they consider it a uh, like, thing yet. Like, I've played other Arogues, such as kind of a shoujo, and that shit doesn't even show generals. It'll only show breasts at the bare minimum. Hold on, I'm gonna check something. Oh, poor YouTube search history. Okay. You don't want to know mine. Yeah, my poor YouTube search history. Ugh, I'm gonna have no choice. <laughs> I feel bad for, like, detective authors, because they have to look up shit like how to defuse a boom-boom, or, like, how to swat a pew-pew out of somebody's hand. And because of Twitch, I can't refer to any of those things. I have to refer to the boom-booms as boom-booms and sound like a fucking three-year-old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I make <laughs> That was such a stupid Team Four Star joke. Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh my god. What? You are right. What? Am I right about what? Wait, you haven't seen it? No. That's why I said my poor <laughs> search history. <laughs> oh my Dude, you god. first off use incognito mode. Second. No, I didn't um, use I didn't use Google. I have like a separate. There's YouTube a account. reason I made the too sexy for Twitch thing. It's a, I have like a separate YouTube. Oh my god! Is this slightly god. censored though? Because I feel like I found the uncensored version on a hentai website. It's slightly censored, but oh my god! How did they get god. away with it? Erogues were hot at the time, dude. Why do you think the visual novel genre started? How? 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 You can barely get away with it nowadays. How are they? Oh my god. I am. Oh, this makes me so conflicted now because now I want to play Witcher 3 on my personal YouTube, but I was so afraid of playing it. Don't they have a streamer mode for that game now? Nope. They should make one? It's, it's a 2015 game. What do you expect? Kind of what showed you was made in 2006, and that shit has a streamer mode. No excuses! <laughs> when Saber appeared, it wasn't anything like a summoning, just an accident. Since she was someone like that, it'd be strange if there weren't anything wrong with her. It was an accident. I forgot the condoms. Yeah. I'm assuming that's where they plow. I don't know. Well, they just said plowing restores magical energy. Which I have written down the rules, so it was said at some point. <sighs> I've been taking notes like this shit's a DMT campaign. It feels like one. Oh, yeah. Section 1, Rule 5. Servants can and will bone their masters. I like how you said and will. <laughs> and will. <laughs> to quote. Replenish magical. Was it? Was it Rin that told us that? Not Church, dude. I think it was Rin. I don't remember. To replenish magical energy, Rin. I'm astonished. Magical energy. Okay, now it says every time she fights and there's no way to will it. bone. Sorry. So you're saying if she wants to re re get get some mana back, she literally has to. Oh God. Listen, I'm not the one who wrote this game. Type Moon. Why were you so edgy back then? Not edgy, fucking horny. 
Oh yeah, to confirm the command seal thing. If command seals are used up, you will lose control of your servant. If she already used the I've been writing this energy. We don't need the exposition. I literally wrote all of it down. How much longer can she stay in this world? Oh, also, she has included a new fact. If servant runs out of magical energy, they disappear. She actually just added new exposition that I had to write down, by the way. Oh, God. More world building. Stop it. My note page is getting full. How many... The reason I have notes, Chad, is because these games love to break these rules for plot reason. So I want to point out any discrepancies, because I'm a dick. <laughs> so far, we got seven, seven servants and masters kill each other. Last one standing against the Grail of Kush. By the way, there's no weed in the Holy Grail. We just made that a joke, so if you're confused, uh, yeah. Now, would you take a Holy Grail full of weed? Like the best weed you ever had. Hell oh, yeah, brother. If the master dies, Dermot can stay alive for a bit. Which kind of contradicts the thing I just wrote down of running out of magical energy and disappearing. Unless that's what they meant. Holy Grail can only appear after the fight is done. Servants can and will bone their masters and to replenish magical energy. Rin. If command seals are used up, you will lose control of your servant. If servant runs out of magical energy, they disappear. Am I missing anything important? Ye no, I don't think so. <sighs> I think we got the basics down. Yeah, seems like it. I'll probably make a cinema sense counter for if this game breaks any of its rules that are established. If it does, well, you know what to do. I said with the. Yeah, Anyway, I'll be right back at the bathroom. Thank God, if that's all it is, I'll accept all she wants. Entertain chat, damn it. Oh, I something's like that. Whoa, shit. I just realized I made a mess of this thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back.
Love you. I'm back. I said to give my dog its medicine. Alright, go ahead, man. Hello? Hello. I'm back. I said to give the dog its medicine. What did I miss? Uh, nothing much. I didn't even Exposition? Move. Nope, nothing. I didn't even move. Oh, you didn't even hit it. Wait, so the column of distant place requires command spells. Yeah, so essentially like if you're like like in a like a block another block away, you have to like literally summon her. So that's why she's recommending for him to stay close. That's some stupid bullshit. It makes sense though. Stupid, but makes sense in terms of this game's lore. I mean, we need some plot convenience. Yeah, for why the sa the servant can't be around. Or can't just be everywhere at once. It feels like discount yeah. death note at times. can't imagine living with Saber. It must have all had my own life as well. <laughs> このようなことはなかったので、ダニーはできませんでした。前回も操船頭数は7回。あ、キャプティブコンフューズ。私はカードアンダーバックで、私はずっと見ていました。ああ。オッケー、そしてアスファードアロットオブマスターズ、アンド
<laughs> no way, they remade Star Wars chess. God, it makes me feel old. I had a Star Wars Clone Wars chess set. Oh my god. That is amazing. Ouch. And the stream lagged. Dude. Oh, shit. So, for all the YouTube people, I just experienced the crash, so... I'm gonna need to connect back. So, so for all you YouTube people, this may seem normal, but to everyone else, I just crashed. Let's see. OBS. Well, shit. I just crashed. Connecting to the chat. Okay. Yep. Yep, I just crashed. Be right back. Hello chat, or at least YouTube people. I am um, I got my internet back to working, so anyone on YouTube, you guys are fine. Don't worry about it. But as for sh as for Twitch, I had people from Twitch. I feel so sorry. I am so sorry for you guys, because my internet just died on me. Come on, come on, work. Available. What the fuck do you mean not available? No internet. Disconnect. Connect. Come on, work. Sorry for people on YouTube. Okay, now I think we're good. Uh, hey man, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Screen dropped. All you YouTube people are fine. It's the stream that's not working right now. YouTube people are fine. But people on a uh, Twitch are gonna have a pain in the ass day. 
Okay, we're getting back some signal. Okay. Okay. I... Oh my god, my weather must be absolute ass right now. Okay. We're back on. We're back on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work. 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 What did it yes, lag yes, out or yes, something? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's working. Uh, for everyone that's here, sorry about that. My internet died out. <laughs> Downsides of me streaming on my end. Anyways, where were we? Uh, oh, we're still here. Uh, why is it not saying we're seven. back up on my... Oh, there we go. Saber you is the most powerful servant. This girl is saying she's become that twice in a row. Oh, to realize even more. I've been given a sword I do not deserve. Yes. Yes, actually. You are an absolute pussy boy. Really is. God, we are lagging hard, and no one in my house is using the internet either. So it's like, Jesus Christ. I think it's the weather, because right now it's, right now it's cloudy outside. It's snowing in Pennsylvania. We never get snow over here. We do get freezing temperatures, though. You got snow once, and everyone was panicking on the live stream I was watching. It was hilarious. Yes, because it's like it's like it's like fucking Cthulhu coming out of the ocean. What do you expect? Dude, I love that meme. Snow in the north, everything's just business as usual. Snow in the south, and you just fires everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't even. It's not even. They can't even get on fire because the snow just covers it. She was flawless last time, but she already has suffered two wounds this time. In her condition, and I'm a little replenished magical energy. She always has to think about her remaining magical energy. The result of a battle with such a burden was. That image of her covered in blood. That image is engraved in my mind. Yeah, she has blood. She's the image of fine. A girl she than has me, covered in gallons of it. Blood. Terrible. She has gallons of blood. Saber's voice brings me back. When I raise my head, Saber's expression is serious. It is not as if oh. I don't know if that's what she meant but that's what she meant私だけが傷つかないという道理はないと思いますが。それはそうだけど。それじゃ、怪我をしても構わないっていうのか、セイバーは。それが死に至る傷でなければ、死んでしまってはマスターを守れなくなりますから。Yeah, I'm munching on spaghetti. Yeah, they do. 
それを正しく把握するべきだ。Seeing so, Saber walks to the sliding screen. Beyond it is the side room. This room was enough for me, so I never used it. Swimming will be done. You should not walk in the morning. Go to the room and call. Jesus Christ, lady, how long do you sleep for? Isn't it technically morning? I don't know what day. There's a lot of track in this game. I know it's day four. It still hasn't progressed yet. So it's the morning because we haven't gone to school. Oh, I just realized I was looking out of the window. I can't see the game. Oh yeah, I forgot. Since I think crashed. Hold on. I was making sure everything was online for a second. Here we go. I'm not blind anymore. Yay! That pisses me off. I can't call out to her, so I just. Said her words in my mind. Yeah, dude, she's going full Haku mode. Haku? Oh god. I sit on the porch and look up at the blue sky absent mindedly. It's not like safe. I see a cloud. Already, it looks like a giraffe. But I need a rest too. Even though my nausea has gone away, I still feel terrible. On top of that, my shoulders are heavy from all the unexpected developments. First off, I don't even think I don't think I think you only have like a few hours of sleep, right? This man has been awake for God knows how long, and then all yeah, of a few sleep. hours. Yeah, I'm surprised. He should just skip the school day and just go to bed. <sighs> Pew. I take a deep breath and look over the yard. I've heard what I needed to hear, but the fact that I still don't know anything doesn't change. My senpai is a magus, and an official master of Chosuke is. Oh, speak the devil. What the? Why do you need a beaker and a protractor? And a beaker for? and a protractor. What do you need it for? I, I need to. Listen, I need to measure my exact amount of urine. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I need to transmute it into silver. It is intently searching. Don't my ask house me for reason. It is intently <laughs> searching my house for things. Oh, Oh, here's the thing. Realistically, if you had her in a room as a roommate, she'd be a horrible roommate. It really would be. Because, A, she's a tsundere, <laughs> which means if she has feelings for you, she's going to treat you like shit. Not only that, she's going to be stealing your stuff. <laughs> also, I love the fact that she's now measuring her urine specifically just to turn it into shit. No, that's your thing. You said that. <laughs> I know it's my <laughs> thing, but it's canon now. <laughs> but a normal household doesn't have beakers nor protractors. Do I look like do I does this game look like Steins Gate? <laughs> yeah, but her father's a ma his father's a major whatever, so he should yeah, have them. <laughs> yeah, but they're probably like God knows where. <laughs> so doesn't he have a fucking workshop in the garage? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but he probably the protractors. Here's the thing, he probably doesn't even know where they are. Like his dad probably put them somewhere weird. Okay, yes, but he has that workshop thing, he should at least have protractors. Yeah, fair point. Leaving that complaint, she goes back to the outbuilding. He's busily. She then goes to Walmart for like five hours. I think she's shopping for clothes, but she only comes back. She goes to Walmart for five hours for a protractor. She comes back with six bags of clothes. Here's the thing. Seven Here's the thing. Here's the and, thing. Uh, dude, I have relatives that do this. Here's the <laughs> thing. Funny. Here's the thing. Knowing Rin, remember what I said that mages don't do well with technology? Yeah. Uh, she would definitely do that. <laughs> she would have my mom does that all the time. I do that. I'll go into a fucking store for one thing and walk out with ten other things. Bro, it would be so fucking hilarious though. Like <laughs> imagine the fridge is broken. She rolls like, Hey Ren, I need you go pick up a fridge for me. Can you go pick it up? He's like, oh, I can pick up a fridge. Doesn't know what type of fridge he needs. <laughs> oh my god. It accidentally gets um, him, like the touchscreen ones somehow. <laughs> all those shitty things that he can literally hack into. Yeah. Someone's DDoSing my refrigerator. What the <laughs> fuck? Rin, the most... I wanted to get a cheap fridge. Why'd you get me a high tech one? And she's like, I don't know. I just went with expensive because I thought expensive was good. Listen, it has five freezing functions and it can store a dead body. What more do you want? 
And he's, and he's like, how do you know that? They hit it, Tech. And he's like, that's what the guy told me. Also, the reason I mentioned dead bodies is I got it used, and there's literally a corpse in there. I don't know why. We should probably send it. To, we should probably send it to the lab for investigation. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I guess... I'm clipping that motherfucker. That is a good. <laughs> <laughs> that... He's by the refrigerator with a corpse in there. She just. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I guess it already has been decided that Tosica's going to stay at my place. When I went over there earlier, there was a sign that said... Either we're going to clip that or somebody else will. <laughs> Remodeling in progress. Do not enter. Remodeling what? Dude, she has to put the refrigerator with the corpse somewhere. Oh, God. On the door of the best room. <laughs> she, she took the best one? Are you Oh, my God. She Why does it smell like a Morgan here? Don't ask questions! <laughs> yep, that it's only looks pretty far away, so there's no problem. Uh, so I mean, Saber Ron causes more te some tension, so if Tuzzica was so, me too, I wouldn't get any peace. Anyways. Speaking of that shit, we had, a, we had this car once, it was a Dodge Neon. You couldn't get in the backseat for shit because the person lost the key. And uh, we always used to make jokes that the lady we got it from is dead in the backseat. <laughs> She wasn't, because we found out a way to get in the back by just pulling the seat up. But, uh, man, did I like and hate that car at the same time. I mean, because of that car, I'm not dead, but, uh, it was also a really shitty car. Oh, God. It was like my brother's first car, and the thing was horrible. It survived the bus hitting it somehow. How the Mostly. The, en the oh. engine did! The rest of the car got really fucked up, including the side I was on. Anyway, there's some distance between us, even if we are connected by a hallway. Just like the house next door, so nothing ha nothing should happen unless I go there by myself. Oh, well, we see each other at meals. So I'm confused at what room she took. Did she just take a room in a random part of the house? She Apparently, from what Shiro said, she took the best room. Of course she did. But he sleeps in the garage anyway. Yeah, he sleeps in the garage anyways. And not only that, she's remodeling it. You, you, She took the best room and it was like, no, it's not fancy enough. Proceeds to remodel it. Are you kidding me? I have to be a token white chick. I must remodel all of this. There is not enough live, laugh, love posters on the walls. Or posters of cute kittens. We must fix this immediately. Just goes to fucking Japanese Target. Comes back with like 50 fucking things. Here's the Most thing. Of she wouldn't even know what how to use Japanese Target. Because the fact like she would be so confused at the cash register. Wait. I have to look up a Target's in Japan now. Fuck me. Why do I do this to myself? Yeah, we only have the one bat. Oh. So we'll have to decide how to use it. <laughs> Nothing about that. Same as a girl too, so. Chewbacca. Shaking my head, I lay down in the court. <laughs> I oh, okay. So Japan has a branch of Walmart there called Seiyu. Phew. I sigh once again and stare up at the sky. Dude, and Target the sky. is really bad at like internationally doing shit. They tried to expand to Canada and failed miserably. How bad are we talking? Targets are better stores than Walmart, so I'm still... Canada loves Walmart, yet Targets are so much better stores. It's because you can get shit cheaper at Walmart is why they failed, because Canadians are used to cheap cheap Walmart stores. I saw once again to stare up at the sky. Because I'm tired of doing all this with me sleeping. Do you have a question? Do you have a Super Walmart, or is it the normal 1980s store that's small as shit? It's a Super Walmart. You lucky bastard. We were going to get a... Okay, so here's a true story about my town. So we were going to get a Super Walmart once, but they did never built it because there were endangered snakes at the site where they were going to build it. And instead of moving the snakes, they just canceled the multi-billion dollar project. Do what you like. I mean, desperate. Close my eyes. That seriously happened, that shit you not. Maybe that comment helped. I fall asleep the moment I close my eyes. I fall asleep the moment I close my eyes. Later, Saber, Tosca, and I are in the living room. 
just woke up. Save was in the living room. And it feels like I just finished the remodeling. Jesus Christ, that was fast. Wait. How are we still on day four if a day just passed unless we started this day like at midnight? I'm no, we so start, confused we started, right now. We started it in the morning, I'm guessing. But the thing is, everything since every, after everything happened last night, we ended up skipping school. And it's still like daytime, kind of. These children are naughty for skipping school. You should be in school, children. Didn't, isn't Ren just casually skipping school all the time? By the way. That is, like, such a bad thing to do in Japan. Not necessarily the U.S. Like, I think in Japan, no one forces you to go to school, but it looks really bad on your family if you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They don't shame you by, like, ruining your life. They shame you by ruining your honor. Eh. By the way. Oh, wow, it looks nice. This was the Why does that bed's headboard know? look like a fucking tombstone? I have no I'm not the only one who thinks clue. that, right? I have no fucking clue. The whole thing now, is like a fucking coffin. That has to be by design choice. Wait a minute. First off, how did she even get all... How'd she... I'm confused. How'd you get all this stuff in here? Japanese Amazon. She doesn't even know how to use a computer, let alone Amazon. Japanese Amazon. <sighs> Not even gonna ask. Before she Amazon even existed, they were still <laughs> oh, selling books at this point. <laughs> Question, Shiro, how do you use the air conditioner? <laughs> okay, here's how you use the air conditioner. You press a button. <laughs> the scene I saw. Wait, when they I never saw really it. established that she doesn't know how to use technology, though. Yeah, but I'm guessing they hint at it. When did they randomly establish this? In the anime. What is she? Six. What is she just gonna become fucking Misa Amane now? No, mages just don't do well with technology. Shiro, my phone says... <sighs> Shiro, my phone says I got a text message. Is that a virus? No, Rin. She don't even know what a virus is. He's like, Shiro, I'm getting a bunch of weird images saying I won it with 10,000 yen. Should I click that? He's like, no. Man, how can I... Shiro, this? I keep getting... I keep getting ad... I keep getting ads popping up on my phone of two dudes plowing in a bathroom... Should I be concerned? Good God. <laughs> Dude, that actually happened to my sister's MacBook once. How can I put this? She didn't I... update her software. She got a fucking porn adware virus. I'm like, how did you even manage this? And because Apple's fucking Apple, I couldn't just run a simple virus removal program. I had to take it to fucking Apple. And I was so angry about it. How can I put this? I think I may have allied with a terrible person. Well, yeah. I mean, she hasn't tried to kill you yet. Also, she's taller than Saber. It's interesting. She's book smart, but not street smart. Can't calm down. These two are complete outsiders. I, I mean, can't I, calm down. I really have guests at this house, so that must make the situation even stranger. Now, first of all, the appearance of these two don't really fit the Japanese-style household. Well, I mean, she does. Rin does, kind of. But Astra Saber, though. Oh, blonde hair. So apparently, it's like most Japanese people are born with brown or black hair, so dyeing your hair is considered really disrespectful in Japan. No, but I think due to foreigners now, like there are some people born naturally blondes. Yeah, I don't know what Japanese schools do about that. I'm guessing if you're naturally blonde, it's like. It's like, an, I mean, like it says a, like, natural like, hair color, so I'd imagine. Like so, like you said, I think it's only disrespectful if they change their hair. But if it's like naturally blonde, then I don't think they really care. Because I remember they were bitching in Persona about that in some other anime that I watched. Yeah, with Ryuji. Well, it's about seven o'clock now. Even though we're on the living room, so let us stay quiet like this. Quiet like this. It's not. All of us staying quiet like this is not good for my mental well-being. <laughs> Uh, can we talk about the extreme lesbian sex scene we're gonna have like seven chapters from now? Seven days specifically? Yeah. That's like a common thing I see in hentai of just like every character getting it on for no reason despite not having relations with the other. Wait a minute. She says he lives alone. I completely forgot about Fujine and Sakura. Well, that's what happened. Well, 
I thought we established Fujine lives in a house like further down that she doesn't actually live there. But she does really like coming over here though. And then Sakurani just likes coming over as well. Because her brother is a piece of shit. Hmm. ついいつもの調子で考えてたけど父さんがうちで暮らすなら家族と同じだ飯ぐらい作るのは当たり前だし俺も楽でいいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやい
my sisters were scared of a spider in the bathroom, and it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a big spider. It was like Daddy Long Dude, spider. My family does that to me all the time. Yeah, my sisters were like, "Go kill it," and I'm like, "Dude, it, here's the thing. There's not even any webs in there. It's just like one stray Daddy Long Leg spider." There is a lot of shit that happens in Day 15 on Heaven's Field. I see why I got three movies. It's the longest route out of the lot. Yeah, and also probably the darkest. Hold on, dude. I'm back. Grab the apron and go to the kitchen. Fortunately, there's fortunately there's about three people's worth of ingredients in the refrigerator. That reminds me, I need to I need to. <laughs> well, of course there's three people's worth. You usually have it with Sakura and Fujine. Dude, you there? I'm here. But yeah, usually she has them with Fujine. So what the hell? Oh, so we missed out on a point with Saber. On a what? Uh, relationship point with Saber. Oh, uh, wait, how? Hold on. We were supposed to say, where did you get those clothes? And it says, fourth day, funny clothes, Saber point plus Why? That doesn't make sense. I thought it would... That's weird. I thought you just have to worry about her wounds. I'm just looking at a flow chart. See how far we are in this day. A glance at Tosuka and Saber from the kitchen. Huh. They look like they'd prefer Western meals over Japanese food. So I cooked them takoyaki. Actually cooks them takoyaki. I'd be down for the. They're literally just dumplings with fish inside, and it sounds amazing. I think I tried it once, and that was because of the fact that I was, like, in another town with my family on a trip. And they had, like, a Japanese-style, like, restaurant there. So I went there and I tried it. Oh, you're probably somewhere one. in California, I assume? They have no. a lot of them. No. No, we were still in my state. It was just, like, the one. Oh, yeah. They were also kind of Korean, so... Well, that's out of the country. You get a lot of Asian folk over there, so you tend to get a lot of, like, nice Asian restaurants. Which That's really, how it is on my side of the country. Which is funny, considering the fact Westaboos are a thing. <laughs> which is really funny. Don't start getting... Yes, as in America we have Weaboos. Japan has Westaboos. Which the argument is in, which is funny because a lot of Westaboos ended up creating a lot of Weaboo crap and vice versa. Hey, they got they they appreciate the West and wanted to share their culture with us, so makes sense. Like case in point, Hideo Kojima and Akira Toriyama. <laughs> now that you say that, Kojima's probably a hardcore West taboo. <laughs> he is, dude. His main inspiration is American spy movies. Just American. Also, apparently the newest Godzilla film got a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I must find it, and I must watch it. And also, the Blue-Eyed Samurai anime, apparently that's Kojima's favorite anime route out right now. Of course it is. He loves it. He says it's amazing. And here's the thing, if you know a movie's amazing by Kojima himself, that's how you know, because Kojima's low-key a film buff. Actually, he is a film buff. What am I talking about? You went to see the FNAF movie, Double Masks and Prepared. He looked like fucking Bernie Sanders. Yeah, he, he, you can tell he didn't like a movie when he said, so I watched this movie today, and nothing after that. <laughs> Look, they prefer Western meals over Japanese food. It's unlikely that Saber, let alone Tosuka, will understand the taste of tofu and natto. Yeah, 
Yeah, no shit. Pretty sure Tofu's a... I ponder this Saber might not be able to use chopsticks. There's only a limited range of dishes I can make with what's in the fridge. What can you make? I mean, anyway, you can always just scrape the bottom of the fridge and then serve that as a meal. There's some tofu. I was thinking for a bit. I decided to make some deep fried tofu. Americans love that, right? Deep fried stuff. For soup, I'll make yeah. some soup with seaweed and tofu. Dude, tofu tastes like ass, apparently. I've never had it, but apparently it tastes like shit for most people that have had it. I have some people chicken. only eat it when they're dieting and they don't even like it. I have some chicken, so I'll make teriyaki out of it and make them at the main dish. Which is what confuses me why I'm... vegetarians will eat that. I mean, dude, I know we're not in America, but I would assume Japan has uh, delivery pizza places. Oh, 100%. Oh, damn pizza place. Oh, do you just remind me of The Walking Dead, where, like, Daryl confused, uh, what was his name again? Glenn, for being Chinese. And he's like, aren't you a Chinaman? And he's like, no, I'm Korean, you piece of shit. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite jokes in Asian media. Aren't you Japanese? Bitch, I am Taiwanese. Uh, it's such an overused joke, but it works every time. <laughs> oh, dude. one of my favorite being uh, the oh, one in Epic so Rap Battles where it's like, Beijing is in China, you blonde asshole. Oh my god, you remind me of a super funny joke where it's like, it was this movie where like, he's like, oh no, it, there's a bomb going on. He's like, dude, there's no bombs. He's like, maybe North Korea finally launches missiles. Looks at the one Korean guy in the in the group. Hey, can you call it off? <laughs> was that in the interview? I don't know, but it was so yeah. funny, dude. I think it was not even worth the controversy. The interview wasn't even funny. <laughs> kind of. It really wasn't. That movie was really dumb. Oh, well, yeah, I was making fun of Kim Jong-un. <laughs> no, it was just a really shit comedy movie. Compared to Neighbors, which was their previous outing, that was funny. Which you could buy both movies on a double pack, by the way. That's how cheap that movie's got. Hmm. Told them to be good, so what's with that dangerous conversation? Can't they see that I'm busy making dinner for the three of us? Nope, they aren't even looking. I yell holding the big pot for the deep fried tofu. I then add the special sauce to the tofu. Oh, Berserker. Oh, God. Oh. And by special oh, sauce, yeah. I mean homemade barbecue sauce. What you think I make? Get your mind out of the gutter, chat. Oh, yeah. That girl has a message to you. By the way, did we actually get a follow? No, I was fucking with you. Uh, I was trying to figure the most offensive username possible. I'm like, ass, thanks, asslicker9000. I was trying to go to response out of you. Oh, yeah. That Berserker was so strong that I forgot, but still. I can't believe a girl now watch is, a Now watch someone make an account going asslicker9000 to just follow us and troll us. That probably exists at some point. I can't believe a You two comments, if you do this, I will not even be mad. I will be happier than a pig and shit. I can't believe a girl that small is a master who mercilessly tried to kill us. And my sisters are currently trying to destroy the house right now. <laughs> Glad I don't have little siblings. Yeah, I should have mom should have had them when they were younger. When I was younger. I, dude, I legit thought you were gonna Nah, I can't say that on Twitch. I'll text that to you. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I, I, well, what I say, that I, that I, my mom should have had him when I was younger. No, 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 I'm, I'm sending you something. <laughs> Hang up. You. I don't know how my cooking skill affects her, but what she says is correct. That per, the per, preparation will be done soon, so I should concentrate on finishing dinner now. Don't repeat what I'm typing out loud. What did you do? I thought you were gonna say this. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say. I stopped myself from being like, no, I'm not allowed to say that on Twitch. <laughs> I do not need the. Uh, I do not need the Republicans after me. <laughs> I already pissed off the gay crowd a few years ago. I don't even want to know. 
And my mom's getting on my really sister's ass. really stupid, and I don't even remember what it was about. And my mom's getting on my sister's ass right now. <sighs> also, sorry if that was offensive. <laughs> That's honestly what I thought you were gonna say, though. <laughs> That's just you. I said, I said my mom should have had him when I was younger, like seven at max. Dude, everyone wants that holy kush. Of course, they're well just the holy grail were. Alright, but yeah. By the way, for those joining us, uh, we've essentially established that the Holy Grail is not only grant you a wish, but it's called the best kush you've ever had. Yep. And for those who don't know what kush is, you are way too young to be watching this stream. Ask your dad. Oh, so Ilya is weak, but because of that, she gets pity points by the Grail and gets granted Berserker. That's some bullshit. Seriously. Wow, so she got literally plot convenience. No, that's literally that's no, that's literally a handicap. It's like saying it's like skill based matchmaking from COD. My question is, how the fuck did she become a servant or a master anyway? Because it wasn't like our dad ever trained her to be one. It says that she's a part of a, a famous family, so it's like a famous Magus family. So, from what I assume, her fam and not only that, she literally just said it right now that her that her family was very close to getting the Holy Grail a certain amount of times, like a number of times. But for some reason, she's never gotten it. And and thing is, since she's the apparently she's like super weak, so. Holy Grail was like, yeah, I feel bad for you, so I'm giving you an outright broken glass. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, just here you go. Also, he's also kind of insane, so good luck with that. He might kill you at some point. Good luck with that. あなたがバーサーカーになったらこのように話をすることもできませんね。協力者としての機能を一切排除し、戦闘能力だけを特化させたのがバーサーカーです。uh, okay, okay. I have a problem with this. I have a huge problem with this. And your problem is? You remember how I said I have Fate Samurai Remnant? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm playing through that game, and I've met that game's Berserker. That Berserker acts nothing like this one. Because that one still is sane. So, or at least from what I know so far. Maybe when she's fighting, she doesn't go insane. But from what I can tell, she's normal. Hercules here is not. In uh, in that game, aren't we the servant? No, we no, we could play as a servant, but no. We're we're a master still, but for some, but that's what bugs me because it's like, did they change the lore? It's fate. They change it every other weekend. That's why it's so confusing. But yeah, like that's what bugs me because it's like. I'm playing through Fate Samurai Remnant. There's a character named the Berserker there. It is not as batshit insane as this one. So that's what's confusing me. Because as you saw... They probably localized it weirdly. Because as you saw with, with Hercul Heracles, he looked like he was about to murder someone just by staring at them. But in Samurai Remnant, that Berserker is like happy-go-lucky. So that's what's bugging me. Oh, how long have we been going for, by the way? Two hours and twelve minutes. Oh my god, we're still on day four. For one of the longer days, just because of the fact we've been talking for so long and not progressing. Again, that's some bullshit. Because of the fact that, well, like I said, the Berserker in Samurai Remnant is calm, mostly. Maybe it's when they fight. That's what I'm assuming. So that means they change the lore over time. Because remember, there is a sequel to this game. So I'm guessing they must have changed the lore in the sequel, which is like why when you make your game this long. 
We are not playing the sequel. Unless you guys really, really, really want to. Like, legit, if you, like, start spamming us with it, we might, like, you know what, fuck it. I'll find a ROM, see if there's an English translation. If there's not, too bad. But luckily for us, apparently the sequel is way shorter. Because unlike this game, I think it only took, like, a year or two to release. Because I think it was released in 2005. So from, and not only that's, like, 40 hours rather than this game being 60 to 70. Hey, it was released the same year as my favorite video game. Nice. Yeah. It will not be a problem if the fight normally. Oh, I remember you that. Mm. I think we should just go to day 5 and then end it. Yeah, not sure if we can make it that far. Maybe it's already morning and we're still in day 4. Remember, remember day 4 we started a long ass time ago? And it was like, went from like 1am or 12 midnight. And now it's probably like noon. Barely. Probably. This is why when Fate Extra comes out, we could probably do that game instead because it's a genuine RPG and it's way shorter and we don't have to worry about this bullshit. We can actually play a game that's just not reading for once. So that's あいつには屋根で見張りをさせるから怪しい奴が近寄ってきたらすぐにわかるわ。この屋敷だって侵入者用の結界が張ってあるんだし、守りは万全でしょうね。オッケー。まあ、バーサーカーに攻め込まれた
So they know how to push each other's buttons. I think they're both tsundere's, I, I'm guessing. Oh, they're definitely definitely both tsundere's. Yeah, because when they both get on each other's nerves, they know how to get on each other's nerves. I retreat to the kitchen to get the rest of the food. <sighs> she really got me. Music is still smiling and Saber's expressionless as always. I'm really worried about whether we can continue with this member. And that way, dinner starts. Silent. What happened earlier? It annoys me to talk with Tosika. I'm still too, and I'm too embarrassed to even look at Saber. Saber eats dinner silently. Her gestures are elegant, and I can't possibly imagine she was swinging around a sword. And, well, how should I put this? She nods every time she eats something she hasn't eaten before. Is that another word for it? Damn, this shit busted. <laughs> her gestures are strange. It must be her way of expressing that it's good. By the way, she's able to use the chopsticks. On the other hand, Tosaka is... Oh, did she just make a bet? She clenches her fist after taking a bite. She shakes her clenched fist. God. Have I done something bad? I don't know. Girl stuff? You know, like periods and other things? I'm pretty sure good old Saber here already went through that dozens of times. I'm pretty sure she can't even get one. Because she's already dead. The two yeah. both raise their heads. Hold on, 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 hold on. Even one of them is enough to tense me up, so they shouldn't both react. They can tense me up in multiple places on my body at once. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are you blushing? <laughs> I get why she's blushing. Why are you blushing? Saber? Are you hiding something from me? <laughs> what are you hiding? あ、そうだ。白、魔術師の気配ぐらいはわかる多少はできますが、あくまで身近で能力を行使している場合だけです。私では半径200メートルほどしか捉えられません。So she can detect other casters. I'm guessing that's the case. なるほどね。じゃあ、ますます相手の出方を待つか。どこかおかしな場所を探すしかない。マスターが何か行動すれば、その功績は残るもの。私たちはそれを探り当てるってわけ。つまり、街中を調べろってことか。うお。マーマン
それぐらいならできるみたいね霊体にして待機させておくから私は大丈夫よ問題は私のマスターですねそうちょ分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かった分かったそういう時に備えてセイバーとは一緒にいなさいよね。I respond without interest. I understand what she's saying, but I'm resistant to be with Saber all the time. Something nervous like in the Tosica. Sacred Saber makes me even more nervous. Nope, I don't say I'm nervous. I'm just bad at talking with Saber. Nanika. Nandemonai. Okawari nara tsugu kara chawan yoko sa yo. いえ、結構です。実に見事な味付けでした。シロ。Look away before I realize. I can't even look at her normally, so how can I stay with her all the time? ああ、でもダメか。セイバーは霊体になれないんだから、学校までついてこられない。シロは学生なのですか。うん、ガッ、how did you not know? didn't。what are you talking about? does this。never mind。they just were。セイバーは生徒じゃないんだから、学校には入れない。学校に行っている。you can always disguise her as an exchange student。which first off。how do you even get by with the school。学校に行かないということはできないんですか。can't you not go to school。シロ。oh god。普段通り生活しろってんなら学校には行かなくちゃそれに学校に危険はないあれだけ人がいる場所ってのもそうはないぞ Oh yeah I forgot about that They're not Yeah I forgot about that Since you know mages are not allowed to fight in public places They have to do it in quiet So I'm guessing I mean there was certainly danger after school and he nearly got killed Yeah but, but then again the school was empty Like there was no one there Thing is like no mage will be dumb enough to attack someone during school time because that now it shows signs of. I mean, someone was dumb enough to place a soul stealer on the roof. Maybe. This one. Daijobu yo, Seiba. Gakko ni wa watashi datte iru nda kara. Moshimo no toki wa follow suru wa. Dakara, moshimo no toki nante nai itte. わかりましたマスターがそういうのでしたら従いますいや、she wouldn't need to worry she doesn't need to because the fact that you know it's school it's a public place the mages literally cannot attack that place Saber nods though she looks discontent and why is that Saber may I ask the night wears on Seems Tosika has prepared and taken her bath while I was cleaning up after dinner. Jeez, seems she's really selfish from her first day here. Yeah, she's been selfish. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> so tease her first. I know that, but she's in the initiative from her seems really difficult. <sighs> No, part of the main problem. Tosuka will understand if I talk to her, but this person doesn't seem to understand however much I talk to her. Saber. Bad guy. Saber is back in her room. Tosuka should be resting in her room in the outbuilding. The only one in the living room. Still time until bedtime, so I should talk to Saber. Honestly, I have to get over my inability to talk to her, or I'm worried about our future. First of all, ignoring her being my servant and all, she is a girl from a younger age. There are lots of things I'll find out from talking to her, and most of all, I'm not going to be able to talk to her. 
Yeah, that's troubling. It's troubling, so I should be able to talk to her more lightheartedly. Could have got a casual conversation with Saber. Yep. I return to my room. Next door, past this one small sheet, is Saber's room. Saber, you're up. Open the sliding screen silently, Saber answers. <coughs> I hold on to my heart, pounding from having her actually in front of me. Calm down, I'm just going to tuck her Dude, in the mask. Dude, it's horny as hell. Who? Shiro. Main, Main character. character. No, that's more just the fact he's just a typical 2000s shonen pro tag put in a harem setting. Uh, uh, are you fine? はい。問題はありません。今の状態では監視まで時間はかかりますが、このままでも平均値はクリアしていますから。バーサーカー以外の相手ならば互角に渡り合えるでしょう。not confident it probably takes multiple masters to take a zerker down probably or does zerms. that's probably why like I, that's probably why um rain is so okay with teaming up with people if they know they're not gonna harm her because if if someone like berserker shows up well you know she did yeah so i think it's probably for the best that she does team up she may be greedy but she's smart that's what i'll give her though It's not confidence or boasting. She's probably just telling the truth. I have no response. Saber's statement should be encouraging to our master, but I, I don't want a, such a slender girl to fight. Oh God. サーバントは戦うためだけに呼び出されたものです。それ以外の目的など余分なだけだ。シロの発言はひどく的が外れています。え、シェイロン。イリーイズ。アイサトソ。ピリマッチアスキングワンウォズサモンドファイト。ノット
シロには分からなかったのですかそれは。Oh, Um, if by stood up you mean get filleted? Yes. That's. that's you were here, you see it. I knew that. And you're still gotta be killed if I approached. But I didn't try to save Saber out of optimism. I gotta be safe while doing so. Back then, all I thought about was saving Saber. I didn't care what would happen, ha what would happen afterwards. That time, the most important thing for me was saving Saber. Probably was just that my fear of not being able to save Saber was greater than my fear of getting killed. Sorry, I've forgotten. It's just that I didn't Perhaps because Saber's eyes were so serious. I don't tell the truth. I just say something to get out of this situation. つまりただ自然に私を助けようとしたのですね自然じゃない気が動転してたって言っただろうもう一回あんなことになったらその時はきっとガタガタ震えてるそうですねそれが正常な人間です自らの命を無視して他人を助けようとする人間などいないそれは英雄と呼ばれた者たちでさえレイですからそんな人間がいるとしたらその人物の内面はどこか欠落していますその欠落を抱えたまま進んでは待っているのは悲劇だけです Her deep green eyes are trying to tell me something I think that and しつこいぞセイバーあれは昨日迷いだって言ってるだろ俺だって死ぬのは怖いんだそんな聖人君子になんてなれるもんか次にあんなことになったらその時はセイバーより自分を優先させるさ。My driver was trying to update for some reason. That's weird.I deflected with heartless words. それはよかった。私の思い違いなら問題はないでしょう。ええ。確かにシロは臆病です。道さえ間違えなければ。You certainly are a coward.If you do not make any mistakes, you will become a proper magus. So, you're saying maguses are cowards, is that what you're saying? I mean, they're kind of our dicks that kill other people, but you know. That's probably it. She must be relieved. Saber says this, smiling a bit. That gesture is so lovely and elegant. Because of it, I cannot think of anything else to say. We end up staying in the room together for a while. And night falls. It's not like me to talk to Saber or Totsuka. So bedtime comes as usual. It's 11 o'clock. Lights in the house are turned off, and people in and sleep to prepare for tomorrow. Just let the day end, dude! We're very close, that I've noticed. I open my eyes, still on my side. It's the room I've grown accustomed to sleeping in, but it's different today. <laughs> no, I know. It's so quiet, it's only natural for me to be able to hear what's going on in the next room. I'm all of you. Sleeping makes me imagine her sleeping. I'm tired of this hell. Come out of the food time trying not to wake Saber, and I retreat to my usual place. Oh, I'm guessing he just doesn't like sleeping there. He likes sleeping in the shed. He likes sleeping in the shed. Or maybe she just sleeps deeply. I wonder for a moment whether she can really protect her master like that, but there is no danger now. Servants are connected to their master, she should wake up when her master is in danger. The lights there are off. She must be defiant or just adaptable. 
Tells like it must have gone used to this place in just a day. Well, yeah, she literally remodeled the room. She went and bought a bed. Yeah, it helps, even if it's troubling sometimes. For example, bandage wrapped around my head. The command spell of Master Bears appears somewhere on their arm. In my case, it is on the back of my left hand. I can't hide it with my clothes, so I'm hiding it with a bandage, even though it looks unnatural. Tosuka has hers around the middle of her right hand or somewhere like that. You see, the command spell is different for each master, but I don't think I'll ever see Tozuka's command spell. She wasted two of them already. <laughs> well, yeah, probably not much to hide. The shed is silent, as is the place where Lancer cornered me yesterday. Her saber appeared. The door still open, and the inside is dark as if denying anyone's entry. This darkness feels familiar to me. Old building they used to play in, place I can call my real room, stands silently in the cold winter night. Probably fucking freezing in there. Oh, one hundred percent, it's fucking freezing. I enter. I close the door to shut out the outside air and turn on the old stove. So I sit in the middle of the shed and take a deep breath. Training should be continued without rest. Magic is mental training for me, so I shouldn't neglect it for minor reasons. I adjust my breathing and begin my training. Inside my head is the usual image. The image of the sword that appears in my empty head. I ignore it and clear my mind. Once I let magical energy flow through me, it's the usual practice of strengthening. I strengthen the magic, which I succeeded at for the first time in a few years after being attacked by a lancer. I have to repeat it before I forget it and make sure I master it or it will be a waste. Torres. I have, clo I have closed my eyes and released the contents of my lungs. Right now, this is all. Everything goes away once I'm concentrated on this. Holy Girl War, Saber, and Totsuka. If I empty my mind and forget all the doubts I have, I should be able to sleep tonight. Yes! Finally! finally. New life. Okay. Alright, Map War will probably end it tonight. Yeah. I am oh, exhausted. Oh god. We spent three hours on that one and one alone. Oh god. Like Alright guys, if you enjoyed the stream, give us a follow and all three people from YouTube on the VOD channel on YouTube. Like, sub and subscribe and go check out our personal stuff. Uh after this I need to go shower and this man needs to go to sleep. So uh yeah. see you guys on see you guys tomorrow since it's Wednesday. Hell yeah. Make sure I want to stop recording. Running really clear OBS tonight. I'm surprised. But it's not blurring or anything. Start streaming. Yeah, start streaming? Yes. Streaming in three, two, one. So we don't get any signal. It's doing it? No signal. I'm no, wait. Sure. Wait. No, we're good. Let's go. I told you it was probably just corrupted somehow. Yeah. Hello, people. It's Japan number seventy nine, and I'm here with Shinigami. And we, sorry for the late start. We had some uh, difficulties. Uh, OBS is being a little corrupted, bitch. Wait, this is a choice. Lunchtime. Oh God. <laughs> do I eat lunch or do I not eat lunch? I don't know what my choice is. Now we're lagging. Now we're lagging super fucking hard. Now it's fourteen zero. It's back to zero again. Surprise. Fuck. It's back to zero again, but I'm getting full green bars. The fuck? Let me show you my OBS. Wait. Hold on. Never mind. 96 KB. What is up with OBS? It's just turning off. Like, look. Oh, wait. Check the stream. Hold on. Check the stream itself, because it's green bars, and it says it's perfectly fine. 
Usually... Yeah, it says we're live. On Twitch? Mm-hmm. Is there any sort of lag? Uh, I can see you clicking around your mouse, and we haven't loaded anything yet. I don't see any lag. I know I'm not downloading anything because A, my PS5 is off, and B, only, oh, I think I know what the problem is because I'm streaming the game directly to you, and it's like going from source. Hold on. Let me modify something because it's streaming from source, so that's probably why it looks so good for you. It's streaming from the source. So I need to go back to 1080. Yeah. I need to go back to 1080 30, 1080 30 for you. All right, that fixed it, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it was like I think it was streaming to you like at 4K when it's not meant to. All right. So I get back to them to this. Last time I left off, we were seeing these two going at it, or at least about to, because you know they hate each other. And Chelsea moved into our house for some reason. And she literally told Sakura to fuck off. Bad feeling when I woke up, but I never thought things would go in such a... Unpro... What? Unpropitous... Unpropitous... What the fuck? Unpropitous... Unpropitous... Why can't I read that word? Unpropitous direction. I've never heard that word ever. Unpropitous direction. Ah, oh, come here, Amiya. You'll be poisoned if you stay clo so close to... Tosica. Tosica. I mean... Jesus, my English tonight. English. Dude, I threw my voice, my reading skills out voice acting the other night. By the way, By the guys, way, did you get that blooper? Yeah, also, by the way, guys, this is our censor button. <laughs> we have a censor button? Yeah. I need to replace the image, though. Uh, yeah, did you watch that blooper I sent you for my recording session last night? Yes, I heard it. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> a lot of things. I... We can't play it for you because it contains a swear word that Twitch or a slur, which Twitch would be like, "Nope." Yeah. Not gonna lie, I have a friend of mine who has the who gave me the R word pass, and I'm afraid of using it with you though. I don't give a shit. But then again, it's also Twitch, so. Uh, yeah, I said the F A word. I'm like, oh, whoops. Uh, did you watch the uncensored version? Or it's the censored version. Uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> I sent the censored version for. I sent the censored version to the blooper real real thing that he wanted to do. I did not. Get I actually don't keep those when I'm like, if you want. <laughs> I went to read the line and it was a whole freaking uh, what what's the word? It was a whole fucking. It was a whole fucking paragraph and I fucked it up in the beginning. I'm like, ah oh, shit, might as well make this funny. Also, guys, if I sound a bit jumped up, that's because I spiked my hot cocoa with coffee. This man is gonna kill himself with caffeine, and he knows this. Yes, but here's the thing: I chug coffee every day. I do not give a fuck. He See, this is why I don't drink. Like, people call alcohol the devil's nectar. Fuck that! It's coffee. He there are more people in this world addicted to coffee than there are addicted to alcohol. It's just facts. Issei forcefully pulls on my hand. If it looks silently at us, Tosuka heads to class 2A as if nothing has happened. Well, of course nothing happened. Ah, oh, fuck! Ow! Of course something happened. Ah, fuck. Ow. I hit my hand on my desk. <laughs> at the bottom of my desk with my hand. Ow. Oscar's looking at you judgingly. Shut the fuck up, bitch. He told my best friend to fuck off. Tosuka silently passes by us. And then... Tosuka's making a mental note. This guy dies first. Oh, this part was in the anime, where apparently... This part was in the Unlimited Blade Works anime, but apparently... In this, in that version... Rin was very... more. She was more Sundere than in the visual novel, at least. Damn. But thing is, I think it's because they were in public, so that probably explains a lot. <laughs> if Rin became a straight-up Yandere, I wouldn't even be mad. No, here's the thing. The only one that would go Yandere is Sakura. And even then, I think it's more just the broken type of Yandere where she just just needs someone to be with her. Not the, oh, I'm going to stab you, but just, like, desperately needs someone to be with her. 
because you know her brother's fucking Shinji. Yeah, fuck Shinji. He's up there with. He's up there with. He's up. He's up there with. Fuck. What's his name? Take Takumi. Takumi. He's up there with Takumi. Fuck Takumi as well. She mutters that, so he say will not be able to hear it. One day someone's gonna ask us, who the hell is Takumi? Here's a tip. He's in Fire Emblem and he was really fucking annoying. It's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Since the events of this morning, he say has been avoiding me. Treat me like a traitor. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You say fucking hates red. Who's Issei? Oh, that's his friend. Yeah, that's not Shinji. His name's Yusuke for some reason. That's not, that's not Issei, because fuck Issei. No, no, wait, because fuck Shinji. Yeah, Shinji's like the cancer in the anime world. Like, every time I hear someone's name with Shinji in anime, I'm like thinking, oh god, they're going to get the shaft somehow. Looking at you, Evangelion. Evangelion. I still, I still have not watched Evangelion. Watch it. You're gonna be so fucking confused. <laughs> oh, no. One of these days, my shitty singing is gonna get us a copyright strike. Oh, 100%. They're gonna block us midstream at some point. We're not gonna realize it. <laughs> they're gonna come after me with their lawyers. And they're gonna put me in jail, and I'm gonna bend over, and Big Burf's gonna be like, I hope you like soap. <laughs> I contemplate my actions for a moment. What are you in for? I say copyrighted music on the stream. Oh, uh, I killed like 20 people. Yeah, you're he pretty lame. Me, he asked me why I was with Tosuko this morning. <laughs> Bullshit. Answering like that was bad. You know, I'm telling it to my best friend who hates the person I'm living that's living with me. We could just say she's our long lost cousin. No, he wouldn't believe it. He wouldn't believe it. I think the problem is how he became close, but I couldn't explain that. I guess he walked away dizzily. It's good to have less people involved. Oh. What I should do right now. I'll have to do a lot of things alone for a while. Oh. Like masturbating. Oh, fuck. Oh, my morals is telling me soccer, but my logic is telling me Tosaka. Ah. Uh, uh, I pull up the flowchart? Yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter who we pick. We can't be forced into a... We, we can only be forced into a bad ending. We can't be forced into a... Uh, we can't be forced into... Another route. Another route. You sure? According to... What, yeah, according to what this says, you can only be, you can only switch routes on your second playthrough. Yeah, but this Which is, is weird. It's the ultimate version, well, so we don't know. No, that's still the case. Um, what day is it? The fifth day. Day five. I have notes. I have a flow chart. And oh. It literally doesn't matter. It's just a different scene. My morals is telling me Sakura, but my logic is telling me Tosaka. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to do. Considering Rin is technically the canon one, I'm just going to go for Rin. You know, I, can, uh, I was going to say, I kind of want to get Sakura's like, reaction to everything. But here's the thing, unfortunately for the Fates Day Night lore, it's canon that Rin gets with Tosaka. I just want to see Sakura lose it at some point. She, just because I want to voice a robot that's fucking lost it. She most likely fucking will, and we're going to be blamed for not helping her, and I'm going to feel bad. And I will read it like an unfeeling robot. Because that voice is fun as fuck. I have that promise with Tosaka. For the it was a unilateral statement. For those just watching, I tend to read Sakura like a robot because it's funny. Even though she's already voiced, but this man just in set in just insist of the, to dub them. It was a unilateral Dude, statement. Dude, you don't know the joy of voice better. acting. If she called for me. I do. It's just that I'm not that good. <laughs> Listen, if I can't make somebody laugh in my dumb Joyce voice acting during his visual novel playthroughs, then what is this all for? Oh, by the way, we made it the exact... What did we decide to change Visual Novel Monday to? 
uh, storytelling Monday where we just play heavily cinematic or heavily story based games, like with like. This way, we have an excuse to play Telltale. Basically, it's if a game has more than fifty percent plot, like it's more than fifty percent, then yeah, it's gonna be storytelling Monday. But if it's like, dude, we should totally play Telltale Batman. That's if I can get a copy. So yeah, we're officially changing. Night, Ma. I love you. We're officially changing VN Monday to Storytelling Monday, where we play heavily cinematic games. So, for example, games like Last of Us, which is heavily cinematic and there's like a shitload of cutscenes, or Metal Gear, for example. Uh, yeah. We're gonna. You're probably gonna be seeing stuff like that. If we do play Telltale, I'll probably want to be the one playing because I've never played for one of those. I only played through The Walking Dead in season one. That's the only. Are they I've... still accessible? Yeah, actually, they released the entire trilogy. They are. They released the entire quadrilogy. I want to play that werewolf one. That one always looked interesting. Oh, do you you are in for a hell of a time because that game is amazing. The story itself is based off a group of comics called the Fable Stories, and they are amazing. Isn't it about like fairy tale characters in our modern world, and it's really gritty? Yeah, it's it's basically fairy tale characters trying to live in the human world but can't because humanity fucking sucks. I also want to play uh, man. Detroit become human, even though I think it only has one ending. No, it has multiple, but it's the route you can do. Like, it's less the, the way that works. game works, like internally, is impressive. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like, it's literally just a visual novel in the form of a movie. Well, that's how that company always does their games. What's yeah. the other game they did? Beyond Two Souls. They did that one, and they did. Beyond Two Souls. Didn't they do Fahrenheit at some point? Fahrenheit. Uh, Indigo, Indigo, Pro Fahrenheit, Indigo Pro Pro Prophecy, dude. And heavy that's rain. one game we can't play because it's fucking rated AO. And also heavy rain. Is it on the band? Oh wait, no, it's soft bangs. It's AO. God. Damn. It's usually packed with. If I'm on lunch, I'm the rooftop. It's usually packed with students, but not in this cold winter air. Speaking of, yeah, I always get confused with Fahrenheit because in Europe it's called something different. Here it's called something different. Even though the winter in Fuyuki City is warm, the coldness at the rooftop is unbearable. I should know. It's 40 degrees outside. By the way, I told this man I off, off stream that I insisted on sleeping with a cold blanket. I thought you were going to say you insisted on sleeping with a cold woman. <laughs> that, I, I, I would be sleeping with a Yukiona. That's what I would Oh! Be with. Dude, it got a PC remaster. Yeah. Here's the thing, I wouldn't recommend playing it because there is nudity in that game and I don't want to get Well, I'm checking head. what it's... No, I'm checking what it's rated because if it's rated M, we can play it. Yeah, here's the problem. It here's is! Here's the problem, it has nudity. <laughs> Speaking of... Yeah, weird, but if it... I'll say it again. If it's rated M, we can play it. I like how we're really pushing it. No, no that's it. literally what Twitch's rules say. As long as it's not rated AO it's a, oh, and God. on the ban list, it's allowed. <laughs> By the way, did you know that the porn stars started streaming on Twitch? I'm not fucking joking. Really? Uh, F, 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 F. No, it's not on the band list, and it's not AO, so it's completely appropriate. But you, did you hear what I said? They're allowing porn what? stars to stream on Twitch. There are literally some with their butt booty naked. Yet, yeah, suck my dick or die is not allowed to be streamed. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally the name of a game on this. Why is Second Life banned? I don't know why. Metro. Is there nudity in that? Metro? No, Second Life. I don't know what the fuck that it's is. It's a life sin game. It's really old. I don't know why it's banned. Tosuka. <laughs> the guy game got banned. <laughs> Shivering <laughs> undercover. Probably because oh, copyright. That game's rated oh, M, but it has. What? No, it's because it shows tits. Like, straight up tits. Oh, it show Oh, the reason it's banned is because it's rated M, but the girls in that game, some of them were 17 at the time of filming. Oh, so minor. And it's the reason the game is banned in multiple countries, because they accidentally... <laughs> it contains stuff that I can't say on Twitch. Yeah, minors doing very inappropriate yeah, things. Minors flashing their boobles, which... Yeah, oops. Yeah, so that's games that we're definitely not going to stream. Fuck that. 
Well, I was never planning to stream that in general. I'm just saying that was a massive oopsie. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, hell no, we ain't streaming that shit. Fuck that. We can't, oh, we can't stream Suck My Dick or Die. <laughs> what the fuck is that title? It's the name, it's a bad, the name of that game kills me, dude. It's amazing. Fuck. I'm genuinely conflicted. <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm already laughing like a dick. Because, you're making yourself <laughs> laugh, dude. Exposure! <laughs> Sorry. You're making yourself laugh, dude. It's Chill. Really funny to me. Alright. Let's go. Dude, I have to go over the names of the games on that list with you. You'd laugh your ass off. Why? Because of the shit that they're. That, that, be, that was made for human because of, entertainment. I'll read some of them that I can read on Twitch. I can't read any with the R word, though. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so I take the coffee, I bought it at the stand, and put it in my pocket. So the list of prohibited games on Twitch's ban list are 3DX chat, all randomized video chat platforms, Artificial Girls 1, 2, and 3, Artificial Academy 1 and 2, Battle Bleep, BMX BMX XXX, Cobra Club, Criminal Girls, Cucklord Simulator Am I allowed to say Cucklord on Twitch? No. <laughs> Cucklord Simulator. <laughs> Dramatical Unaliving. Can't say that on Twitch. Genital Jousting. Gresno 1 and 2. Harem Party. House Party. All the Honey Games. Kamidori Alchemy you know Meister. What's up? You know what's fucked up? Honey Pop? I'm not joking when I say this. YouTube allows you to stream that on there. <laughs> That's because it has a censored version. Even though the uh, sensor version is actually hotter, by the way. Kamidori Alchemy Master, Nagile, Adult Content Studio Tycoon, Puri no Uhuru, which is a weird game I've seen, Puri no Tu Uhuru, Puri no Party, Radiator 2, a game that's banned in Japan that I can't even say out my mouth, Rinse and Repeat, Sakura Angels, Sakura Beach, Sakura Dungeon, Sakura Fantasy, Sakura Santa, Sakura Spirit, Sakura Sing Club, Second Life, Suck My Dick or Die, The Guy Game, The Mate... I'm not even reading that. <laughs> you know those soccer games you just mentioned? Yeah. Those are on the PSN store. Yeah, because they're actually tame, but, you know, Twitch does not like anime games. No, I've seen those games. They have straight up porn in it. <laughs> That's like Game Grumps. Steam Train streamed them for a while, and then they stopped because uh, they realized... What's under your blanket? Which trainer... And the game that should remain on the list forever, Yandere Simulator. But like, yeah, the soccer games are on PlayStation, and I've seen those games because I was an incredibly hoarding child. And they have straight up sex with minors in there, and I'm not touching that. Ooh, whoops. Yeah, because so as long as you don't those, stream any of those games, we're fine. Because those characters are in high school, and fuck that. I ain't spending my money on that. I passed Tosica. Yeah, really. For the coffee. Yeah. Sorry for the tangent, I just wanted to make that perfectly clear. Yeah, and then you also awakened me on why there are some games I refuse to ever touch. Well, yeah, I wouldn't touch them either. Uh, like, there's some games like, I couldn't even say the name of, like, even being funny. I'm like, oh, shit, can't say that. Like, not, like, <clears throat> like, not even, like, for fun. It's just, like, these games just sound straight up either horrible, make me uncomfortable, or just straight up illegal. Dude, there are two games on there that are banned across the planet. Here, nobody... I passed us again, Henry the coffee. Here, nobody should find us right away, and we won't be seen from the windows on the fourth floor. Arigato. You know, uh, to, to Twitch, the screen looks fine, but when you're playing this on a 4K monitor, you can tell this was not made for 4K, because it's running at, like, what, 720p? Or 1080p? Yeah. Like, there's a huge difference between, like, a rogue which are like ga like games like with sex scenes made with a passion and just stuff like Battle Bleep which is just or Bleep Lay which are straight up just fetish games which are straight to dude Bleep Lay is banned in Japan and across the world because it's literally a, I can't even mention it on Twitch I'm bleeping out the first part of the name because it's ugh. I've seen footage. It's disgusting. Oh, God. 
Mostly when I was watching a band game list. What'd you say? Why does she want milk teas? Is she playing to bathe? Like here's the thing, nudity and sex in art is a beautiful thing, but there's a, but there's a way where you take it too far. When you start getting like some weird shit involved, like, for, like, you ever heard of needy, uh, you ever heard of needy streamer overload? Yeah. I'm not joking. You can make the main character. Um, I don't think it's enough to it, so I'm gonna send it to you. All right. Like, buy his reaction, and even if you know the game, you'll see what I mean. So, those is one game that's, like, banned, or that's rated A, that you're literally, the, you're literally, uh, you're literally a dude who wants to get his rocks off, and every time you do, your balls grow comically bigger. See, that's just funny. <laughs> it came out in, like, 2004, dude. Look what I sent to you. See, that's kind of funny to me, and I feel like you can actually make something appropriate out of that. But... Here's the problem. It's based off it's based off streamers, and that game, it's meant to emulate what it's like to be a streamer. Not like, oh, look at me, I'm a terrible person, but more like the mental side of things. And it gets really disturbing. Because I'm not joking when I it's... say this, the game will straight up pop a mini game, of, oh, mini game with distorted music, and it's just the main character smiling, and there's just a window that pops up, with a red line going to up and down, showing her arm. Ooh. And it's like, yeah, it press good. the button to cut. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, yeah, it's going a bit too far there. Yeah, it's like I said, it meant to show the mental, mental fatigue of some streamers where like, you could push them really too far. Yeah, there's, those games need content warnings. Oh, they do. It's rated M for a reason. <laughs> Severe content warnings. But like, yeah, like it, it gets from what I can tell, that game gets uncomfortably relatable. I'm surprised it got away with an M rating. Usually games like that are no, like AO or not rated at all. Because other than that mini game, the other stuff it just implies it. Other than that, yeah. I have a good feeling that was cut from a retail version, and you have to like download it from their site to get it back in. No, that seems like something the ESRB would not be okay with. No, it's on Steam. Like yeah, said, but sometimes you buy those kind of games on Steam, but yeah, you but have to download certain a content of, from the website. A lot of needy streamer over, overload. There's a lot. Here's the thing: the only way you can see that character is through a game window, and most of the stuff she does that's like you know uncomfortable is out of this, out of the way. Like you cannot see her at all doing any of the stuff she's doing. So, I get what they were going for. It's interesting, but also dark as fuck. Yeah, it can be incredibly funny to straight up what the fuck. Yeah, also, we played a game called uh, Class of 09, and Shinigami's like, I can handle this, and by the time we were done, we were both like, we, we cannot handle this. Because it got uncomfortably relatable. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's obvious, so she doesn't have to yell about it. Yeah, remind me never to have you watch Clannad. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, I can tell. You, I cannot handle shit that gets too real. Yeah, we're not reading Clannad then. Holy shit. Yeah, because you said, like, <laughs> literally the bat, the ending of the game is just life happens. That's literally the theme of the story. It's just like, you made this choice. Your life is happening now. Nothing you can really do about it. Le no, like, like you said, it's just life happens. It wasn't really your choice. You know what got me? The main character's like... None of this would have happened if I never would have met her on the, on the way to school that day. And it's the truth. And it's so fucked. Oh, I love that story so much. Dude, I was crying by the end of that. Oh, mode. Jeez, I don't care. By the way, chat, best way to watch Clannad? Grab the, uh... Grab the Blu-ray and eBay for like 20 bucks. Best and cheapest way to watch it, officially. Unlike the Persona 5 anime, which is what, a hundred some fucking dollars? 
Dude, that's because it was paired with a game or something. That usually happens. Nope. Oh. I have a Funimation subscription I could just lend you. I'm not joking when I say this. The Blu-ray version of Persona 5 The Animation is a, almost a hundred some dollars. <laughs> Dude, don't waste your money. I have a Funimation subscription I can lend you. I don't care, dude. I'm I'm the only one who uses it. <laughs> I just fill your stuff with. <laughs> it's all just uh, it's all just fucking uh, it's all just harems and like really trashy harems. Yeah. <laughs> like fuck, just fucking high school DXD and uh, what's that one harem that everybody watches? About that one with that one like really nerdy dude, and it's like really old. Sao. Not Sao. Also, damn, that's a shot in the heart. You make me feel old. Uh, no, I feel I came old the fuck too. Out. Just mentioning it because I was nine when I started watching Sao. I was fifteen. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no wait, I'm seven years older than you, so I would have been. No fucking way. When did that? How old was I in 2014? It... Hey Siri. It released in 2020, 2023 minus 1996. 2,223 minus 1,996. Good job, Siri. You fucked it up. Wait a minute. Is this the boundary field at school? Then how the fuck did servants fight there? Dude, they did the boundary field thing and they fucked it up. Yeah, because it's like, oh, servants can access the boundary field. Gets through it anyways. Okay, first off, you're breaking your own rules here, game. Hmm? This is why I say this game either needs an official report, where it's like, by an actual professional English translators, or a remake. Because, you know, some of this stuff just does not fit with current. Because, not like because it's like bad, like taboo, but because of the fact that this game likes to repeat stuff. They should just make a glossary. I was an adult when SAO came out. Oh my god, I was 18. It was 2012 when it came out, right? Oh, I thought it was 2014. It was so I was 16 when that came out then. 2014 is when SAO 2 came out, which is when... Here's the thing. I, I, I was when... excited for SAO 2, and then it just... mm. Here's the thing. The light novel is nothing like it. It's just the fact that the director was like, fuck it, make a harem. Dude, I liked SAO until it bit itself in the ass for Alfheim when it's like, we don't got stakes anymore, this is just a harm. Enjoy! No, the second the second half of SAO in Alfheim was genuinely pretty fucking dark. It's after no. when it fucked up. And until I No, I think it shot itself in the head in Alfheim. It's like, you know those cool stakes that we had? <laughs> Fuck that shit. Well, there are still stakes. It's trying to save Asuna from a really... Yeah, fuck that guy. Not Kirito, but from the a guy scumbag. Who... Dude, I love the Abridged series. They're actually redoing it and actually making it a good plot. Yeah. They make... They also got Kaiser, they also got Kaiser Neko to play the bad guy, and it's fucking amazing. They got fucking... <laughs> they make Kirito into a sociopath. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. We're going over what a boundary field does again. Fuck. Oh! We know it steals shit from me. Wait. They just contradicted themselves. They said it steals souls. They didn't say it steals blood and meat. Um, editing rule sheet. I think this is why when we played Fate Samurai Remnant, it properly explained shit because it had a proper English translation that wasn't by fans. Dude, that's why I have two separate things for uh, rules. I have the Holy Grail War for this game, and then I have the Waxing Moon Ritual for uh, the other one. Samurai Remnant, yeah. Come to think of it, I felt a bit strange on Saturday, but what? Was that it? Was that it? Then. I must mean. Sorry. Gakoni master guide. Ah, dun dun dun. Let's take a random guess on who that master is. Is it Shinji the dick? Ryudo the guy? Or is it Sakura the childhood friend? Take your pick, people. Oh, the master of spear guy? Yeah, I'm assuming. Dude, if it's Sakura, I'm gonna be so happy. No. So that'll be really entertaining. No, I think Sakura is someone else. Damn it. Wait, she is a master, though? I don't know. 
Boundary Fields can... I love when they say not flesh, but meat. The fuck? Either a mistranslation, or they want another word for it. Alright. There, okay. So, to reiterate for those just joining us, we have Holy Grail Wars, rules, seven masters, and servants kill each other. The last one standing gets the Holy Grail, which will give you one wish. The Holy Grail is also full of the best weed you've ever had. Rule two, if a master dies, servant can stay alive for a bit. Rule three, Holy Grail can only appear after fight is done. Rule four, servants can and will bone their masters to quote, replenish magical energy. Rin. If command seals are used up, are used up, you will lose control of your servant. If servant runs out of magical energy, they disappear. And then rule eight, boundary fields can, can take blood and fresh from humans. You're also missing one more rule. The only way to obtain the grail is if you've actually participated in the in the war rather than just like you know, I, staying hiding. I just realized as I was writing that I forgot to write that in yeah, as I was like, reading that. You're like, you cannot hide it during the war as that will disqualify you from getting the grail. Can only appear to active participants. The Holy Grail can. All right, rule eight: the Holy Grail can only appear to active participants. Not people who are, like, you know, passive, just staying in the background. Like, you have to fight. You can't just, like, hide in the fucking sewer. Which, here's the thing. I doubt any ma mage worth their salt would want the would want the grail if they knew what it really was. Because I get the feeling that it's going to be a lot... Considering the things like this always go wrong, <laughs> guarantee, like, 40 hours down the line, we're going to suddenly discover, oh, it's actually cursed or some shit. I wonder if it's like one of those tests for humanity, like in Dragon Ball Super's Turner of Power Arc. Like, if you get it, the best wish you can make is for the Holy Grail Wars to stop. Yeah, but for some reason in the lore, it's explained that for so in the game, in the game explained it that for some reason the wars were now shortened to ten years than every sixty years. Because for some reason, the fourth and fifth Holy Grail War were not that far away from each other. Like time. So somebody has an. I bet you the plot twist is going to be, uh, this isn't a real Holy Grail war or something. Either that, or basically someone wants to stop the war, but the thing is, you can't just outright wish it. You need to, like, shorten the timer, or make it so that you're still around to stop a way stop it in some shape or form. I was going to say, someone technically could have wished that the next Grail war would happen sooner, but that would mean someone would have to win the last one, which nobody did because it was a draw. Unless because it was a draw... Another one had to happen sooner to uh, make up for, like, any bullshit in time or whatever. Yeah. And, like I said, yeah. Not only that, it's like the wars, like I said, 10 years or short. It's 10 years now. Rather than usually. Well, I like to, like, we're overthinking this. It's face day night. You have to overthink. Relaxed feelings go tense. That's <laughs> What was that weird flash and then her change of posing? Was that supposed to be like the sunlight on her? No, that's just their way of transitioning. I've never noticed that until now. Yeah, that's just the way they do it. Hmm...俺は素人じゃない。ちゃんとした魔術師だ。待って、待って、父さんが。Question is, who is it? I mean, I think I know. Probably what's her face's brother. I bet you he has Lancer. Yeah, no one. Yeah, but the thing is, considering it's Fate's Day Night, I doubt it's that easy to point them out. Probably not. But if it is, well, we just called out a cliche, and I think it's pretty obvious they're trying to set up Shinji as the rival. Because I feel like whatever, like, thing you summon also slightly matches your personality. Yeah. Like, for example, Rin and Archer don't exactly get along because they're, they're because of their conflicting personalities. Well, they're like my father and my sister. They have the same personality, like, so they tend to butt heads. Yeah, as, and as for, Rin, as for Shiro and Archer, they do care about each other and they want to protect. Here's the thing. Why is Saber protecting people, is the question. 
That is the question. Because we know why Shiro is protecting people, because we know where the where is his head. We just don't know why Shiro is protecting people. <laughs> Still shocks me that Ufo Table got an infinite budget for Fate's Teen Night. <laughs> what do you mean an infinite budget? That's the meme where it's like, like it's the meme since they're constantly doing Fate's Teen Night, and it's by Ufo Table. Everyone's like, oh, so you mean Fate's Stay Unlimited budget? Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you get a mobile game, you're set for life in the gaming sphere. Too small in a to detect the source, huh? Majutsu de wa nai master ka. Tosaka ga dante suru kara niwa soutou na kakushin ga arun daro. Wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So you can have a servant without being a magus. What? Uh, a master is not a magus. If you say so, you must be confident of that. I mean, that would make sense because that would be why his sister has one. Maybe. Here's, no, here's the thing. She is a Magus, though. Oh, yeah. She's the daughter of What's-His-Face. Yeah. Here's the question. Who... The question. If they're not a Magus, then how the fuck do they supply their servant with mana? Uh, that's a good question. Because at the end of the day, you're just going to be splooging, and that's it. There is no... Re there is no... Like, getting back their mana. So how the fuck does Wait, that work? Wait, unless that was a mistranslation, I think. They could have meant that... Wait, I think that was a mistranslation. I think what they meant to say was, like, you could be a Magus, but not have to participate in the Holy Grail War. I think that's what they meant. I don't know. Magus is the どうしても恋になるものなのよ。そうなのか。けど、俺は父さんの家のことを知らなかったけどな。エミヤ君ちは特別。エミヤ君のお父さん、教会から離反した一匹狼だったんでしょうね。たまたまここに来たきっかけで
But yeah, I, I fucking hate that song. Um, that's one of the only videos I ever disliked. Like, actually, press the dislike button. Cause Dude, I it was the same way with my generation and Let It Go that I know bilingually. Yeah, here's the thing. I used to like it as a kid, but then actually hearing it again, I'm like, oh, God, why did I like this? Yume Hashimoto. Wait. Yume Hashimoto. No, no, you're going to get sued. Yume Hashimoto. No, 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 no. I'm not singing it. I'm just speaking. Dude, I'm just speaking Japanese. I'm not singing it. You never know with Disney. Yume Hashimoto. Ah! Hashimoto. Ah! <laughs> Stop it. We're going to get sued, ah! man. Does like a smile. It's as if saying it's not a child with a magus father should be. That's a unique face, Tom Tosica. Might now I trace that to draw it. Or yeah, it's I might try. Like you know what I might start doing, it's even though it's kind of unethical, it's but that's how you learn. I might start like tracing anime faces just to get a feel for how to draw certain bits. Here's the problem: it's the art style. Because once you develop an art style, it's going to change completely. Well, yeah, I mean just to get the basic feel of certain shapes. Like, I started practicing, I tend to do, like, very thick, uh, eyebrows, as you see when I draw. Yeah. Saying that, Tessica opens the can she's been using as a heat source. Takes a small sip of the coffee. From what I know of her. I thought she would gulp it down. Wait, you're eating lunch on the roof in winter. Gotta be fucking freezing! He literally said it himself, because no one with a right mind would go sit up there, but only Rin would. Okay, so... I know how cold they are. I I had to wear these exact clothes for work for years. And I brought out groceries and the fucking bitter cold in this kind of clothing. With snow. They have to be fucking freezing. Fuck! My hot cocoa went into cold cocoa. Fuck. My hot oh, that's illegal in some countries. My hot cocoa turned to cold cocoa. Yeah, having cold cocoa is illegal in some countries. Uh, you might want to fix that before you get the death penalty in Nor in uh, Norway. <laughs> Wait, is it actually a thing in Norway? Yeah, look it up. I'm telling you, dude, it's a thing. If you have cold cocoa, you'll get the death penalty. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm serious, dude. Go look it up right now. I know you're fucking with me. I'm not fucking with you. Go look it up. Okay, let me check. <laughs> Did you look it up? Wait, did you did you actually look that up? I knew you were fucking with me. Fuck! I was gaslighting you. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know you were that gullible. No, because I know like you do this to me sometimes, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Dude, I was trying so hard not to laugh my ass off. I heard you laughing. That's when I realized. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> I heard I'm you. This <laughs> I I heard you fucking giggling, and I'm like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm choking. Here's oh, the that thing. was too funny. The we reason we googled it. <laughs> the only reason I believed you is because there's some states in the U.S. <laughs> that where it's illegal for fire for horses to eat fire hydrants, and I'm like, okay, that's gotta be a thing. <laughs> you get the death penalty for cold cocoa in Norway. Here's the thing. Oh, I wish Shoa could animate that. That's too funny. Here's the thing. It's because the reason I was inclined to believe is because I know there are some states that have stupid laws like that. So I'm like, ah, Norway fuck isn't it. in the U.S. I know, but like some countries have weird laws like that, and I'm like, fuck it. It's probably true. And I went to Google it, and I heard you <laughs> giggling, and I realized, oh fuck, he baited me so hard. Oh, dude, I can't make that. Dude, I can't make the book joke anymore. So I gotta gaslight you somehow. Yeah, because I learned to adapt to it. <laughs> oh, you're so fun to troll. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I know that. Now I can make trolling Shinigami part three. <laughs> Fuck off. Part three to the trilogy. Uh. 
Will you ever forgive me for my grasslighting of you? No, fuck off. Baby Japan Lover 79 isn't my real internet name. You'll never know. No, it is. Yeah. I see. Corner tells the cop. I'm, I'm sorry. I, <gasps> I expect you to call it my shit immediately as soon as I mentioned the death penalty. You didn't, though. No, I did. I was just inclined because I know there's some really weird laws in some countries. That's the only uh, that reason. That's the only reason I believe funny. you, because I know there are some countries that have rules or laws that fucking stupid. Well, you want to hear a real one from New Jersey? What is it? Men are not allowed to knit during fishing season. How the fuck does that work? It doesn't because I knitted during fishing season before in home class. So that either means A, my uh, home ec teacher is a uh, repeat offender, or B, it's bullshit. Guarantee some cops see people breaking that law and it's like, you know what? We're gonna let them off easy. There's a really good Hugbees video on the subject. I recommend you watch it. <sighs> I forget the term. A lot of those laws are like extending the tr are extending the truth. Like, for instance, yeah, it's kind of true, but not how you're hearing it. The fuck do you mean this boundary field's advanced here at the school? It's advanced. Look, there's a Game Boy Advance right over there. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? Is that around that's the Game Boy that's on the control panel. You know what's fucked up? At this time, it was the Game Boy was really popular. Wasn't the DS a thing in 2006? It was, but no one, dude, no one cared about the DS until Diamond and Pearl came out in 2007. I didn't. I still had a Game Boy Advance SP and happily gaming with it. You're not the only one, dude. Dude, no, no the good shit for DS didn't come out till like 2007. Almost a year later. Yeah, had Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2007, which is god tier. You had Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, god tier. Or Platinum came out in 2009. Which, back when Nintendo actually gave a shit and actually took a few years to make games. Instead, they're now releasing games yearly for, like, small scale projects. Or in Pokemon's case, six months apart. Oh, I wish they would stop. They're going to kill that franchise, and it's going to be so sad. Here's the thing, Pokemon's too big now, and they can't, they can't stop. No, they'll probably end up killing the video game arm, but they'll never kill the anime arm. Or Ever. The, or the toys or the trading card game arm. Or, guess what, and I shit you not, the airline arm. What the fuck? There's an airline? Pokemon is so rich, they own an airline, and they've used it to stream from fucking space. How? Dude, Pokemon's the most profitable brand in the world, next to Disney. They have more money than you can think of. They're almost Disney level. Actually, if you look it up on, like, most valuable brands, they're higher than Disney. No wonder they can afford a fucking movie. You mean 20 movies as to now? And a live-action one with... Fucking Ryan Dude. Reynolds. Oh, they better bring him back for the sequel. That was such a good movie. They probably are. They most likely The will. Detective Pikachu movies are so much better than the games, though. I hope the new game didn't fuck its chances, because apparently the new game's really bad. Like, obviously it's a kid's detective game, but Bondi apparently did a really bad job on it, from what oh. I've been hearing. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so apparently the boundary field in this school... It's finished and I, once it it's not it's not activated yet, so it's still not working. It will melt every human in it and absorb them. But only if people here's the thing. It'll only melt people without magical energy. They'll just weaken them. Why do I feel like that's going to happen and kill a fuck ton of people? Including Sakurini. Or not Sakurini, uh Fuji. She's a fucking Imagine she's a fucking mass mass. Dude, if she's the one who did it, I won't even be mad. I will be like, that's when did this game get awesome? 
if it was Fujine, it would be like, damn, she really bought that life. But it's most likely either you either although from what I can tell there are three suspects. Shinji, because he seems like the most likely case. We use my middle finger for this one, because fuck Shinji. Uh Sakura, which is also the second choice, because I feel like it would be really emotional if they did pick her. And lastly, Fujine, because it seems like because here's the thing. They wouldn't have her next to these two for no reason. Okay, so if it is Fujine, I'd voice her like I'd voice her like this. I had to deal with you kids day in and day out. I'm a teacher. I never get a moment's break or any respect around here. But now, I can absorb all of you into one mass and use this power to get whatever I want to. And you can't do a damn thing about it. You know what's fucked up? Considering the fact that she had a good relationship with Shiro's father, from what I'm guessing, that might be the case. But I doubt it's like for that reason. Maybe they totally they... fucked. You know oh, they did. Oh, 100%. My vision blurs for a bit. I'm trying to comprehend what Tosu is <laughs> The fact that she's allowed in this house. They totally <laughs> That or basically they're good friends. With benefits. That's it. Even though my understanding is incomplete, I imagine the worst possibility engraved that image inside me. Dude, this isn't a fate stay night stream without one million off kilter sex jokes. Except in this joke. <laughs> I wonder why. Whoa, that face looks like it's gonna cut diamonds. You know uh, would you like a knife with that edge? It's 2004, dude. What do you expect? Oh, uh, hang on, don't hit A yet. What's her name again? I forgot her name. Damn it. Rin? Rin. I know Rin it's Tosca. Hey, Rin, would you like a fucking knife for that edge? Maybe maybe a fucking sword. Jesus. Even her eyebrows look like they're about to fucking stab somebody. Yeah, blame the art style. I love it though. It's great. The only thing that bugs me is the female uniforms and a lot of like old, like the older style female uniforms that a lot of games use. Because they have like a lot of like puffy shoulder room, and I'm like, that just sounds uncomfortable even for a woman to wear. I need to pop my back. I'm gonna go get a chair and just, put, just absolutely go fucking hog wild on it, or just jump into the side of a door frame. Like, have you ever had to wear, like, dress clothing for work? No. Like, the dress clothing for work at my job is exactly yeah, this. Just without the tie. And it is, uh... Functional? And shit. Especially when you're doing, like, a lot of heavy lifting, because you will sweat in this shit. And I don't know why work attire hasn't evolved to where you can actually, like, be comfortable working. It's so stupid. けど、探すのは難しいでしょうね。この結果を貼られた時点で、そいつの勝ちみたいなものだもの。あとは黙ってても結果を発動するんだから。え、シーズンジェシンのサクリファイスとスコール。だから、チャンスがあるとしたら。
For our own safety, they would load us on the bus because the town next to the middle school is kind of sketchy. So they would always, instead of like having us walk across the field, and they would always make the joke, uh, well, this is one long trip, and it's like two minutes. They literally spend more time loading the kids on the buses than they did just having us walk across the field. <laughs> and they also oh, wasted man, quite a bit that. of gas every year doing that. No it was so dumb. There's no way I can have a calm mind if you're finding out to talk a master's only attacking other masters is pointless. Is he planning to drag innocent people into this? I thought the work of a master at all, but a mass murderer. How does this town solve a fucking right population? Find him and defeat him completely. It's just the priest guy. Can't wish for something like that. Wish for a villain defeat. That's not my wish. He just wishes for a million boxes of Cheetos. The end of school homeroom ends and students start to disappear from the classroom. Oh, I meant to ask you this at the beginning of the stream. We were having technical difficulties and I forgot. If you get a race a holiday from existence, like an American holiday, which one would you erase and why? Mm, good question, because there's quite a few I want to erase. I'd erase Valentine's Day because fuck Valentine's Day. It is literally corporate shill. That's all that holiday is now. Valentine's Day is one of them, but what's the one I hate the most? I would say Pride Month to be edgy, but no, that would probably get us fucking banned. I'd unfriend you. I'm only kidding. Um... <laughs> Fuck. Pride Month's fine. I see no problem with that one. No, like I said, I would just say just to be edgy. But like, oh, I was gonna say, it's not like the gays make us celebrate it. Yeah. Oh, or like, LGBT <laughs> community. Sorry, didn't mean to say that like that. Dude, I'm not joking. I have like a few like lesbian and bisexual <laughs> friends that don't even bother celebrating it. They're like, say, yay. Same. They're like, say, like, hey, yay, it's Pride Month. And then just go on with their day. Who doesn't have gay friends these days, though, am I right? Yeah. Oh, what's, a, what's a holiday I want to get rid of? Hanukkah doesn't count. Um, I said it has to be one you celebrate, or like Spanish American holiday, one of them. Um, Day of the Dead, no, it'd be too fucked up because that's like saying fuck my grandparents, but no. Uh, fuck, what is it? Imagine I said 9 11. 9 11? Dude! No! No, 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 no! I'm about to cut that out of the pod! Imagine, oh, I, shit. imagine I say that! I thought you were joking, right? I'd probably have to edit this VOD specifically oh, just no. to cut that oh, out. Oh no, I am joking! That's why I said, imagine I said 9 11. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We'll just get rid of Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day while we're at it. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa. I'm only kidding. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I think I would get rid of Easter. Because it's like, who the fuck cares about Easter? I like Easter. They yeah. discount candy on Easter. Yeah, but who the fuck really cares about it? Nah, but... It's... Besides the religious connotations, the corporate side of it's kind of BS. It's just like... Oh, by the way, children, the Easter Bunny's not real. But, uh... Yeah, so... I would normally... I don't... The end of school homeroom ends and the students just disappear from the classroom. Okay, I would, so... I would normally go to the student council room, but since Tosika told me to go straight home, I should do so. Fucking run, would, sh run the shit. Would you say we're eating the Easter Bunny's children when he shits out chocolate eggs, or if we're eating his actual shit? Fuck him. No, no, no. Honestly, which which would you, like, be more grossed out by? The shit. I mean, if his children taste like chocolate, I will gladly eat his children, but, the, you know. The shit. Dude, the number one way to my heart is fucking chocolate peanut butter milkshakes. I will love you for- or, or vanilla peanut butter milkshakes. I will love you forever, girlfriend, if you get me one of them. Mm. <laughs> They're simple to make, too. Great, dude. I was about to, like, put fucking... I was about to take the oh, so lid off of one of those Walmart ice cream sandwiches and smother that shit in peanut butter. I usually help someone out or go to work, so it's rare for me to come straight home. Usually the gate would be open and Sokka would be preparing dinner when I get inside when I get home. 
I figure we could like throw in a blender, make like a fucking rocky road out of that shit. Maybe I've grown so accustomed to it after a year that I forgot how important it was. I mean, that's how grateful I am for Sakura, just for the simple action of opening a lock. <laughs> just goes inside, finds Sakura stabbed to death. I would not be surprised from this game. Look at your home! Computing. Hold on. I'm messing with a stylus. I call out and step into the hallway. As I try to enter the living room, the blonde haired girl appears. Don't molest your DS. You're back, Master. I found a cat. I killed it as per your instruction. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the girl looks straight She's at just me. a stone cold monster. <laughs> For a moment, all sense of reality crumbles on me. I also found the hamster. I fed it to the cat as per your instruction. Perhaps a surprise trance to the girl as she says it with a bit of surprise. No, just the way she deadpan stared at us, I'm like, oh, that'd be really funny to say. She calls my name in a quiet voice that finally returns to my, sen my sense of reality. Oh, I don't know what the fuck's with this series lately, but there's a lot of hentai of it popping up recently. You people maybe, are horny. Maybe you should be disgusted. Maybe because the new Fate anime just came out. Oh, oh that's why I'm seeing Saber in a completely different look. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, there's a meme about the Facing Night community that there's multiple versions of Saber. Oh yeah, there would be. Dude, I'd love to see... Can you imagine if she got Sherlock Holmes? That's fucked up. He'd just be able to talk no jutsu anyone. That's fucked up. He's probably in the mobile game. Oh, definitely. Dude, I saw fan art for Albert Einstein. It was fucking awesome. As you keep mentioning. Because it's cool! Just for an instant, I must took her for a normal girl. Also, and apparently in one of the Fate spinoffs, apparently that... Apparently she also has a daughter, and I'm like, what the fuck? Really? Yeah, but it's more like... The actual daughter of hers. Not like, oh, she had a kid with Shiro. No, but it's like the actual historical daughter. Dude, speaking of daughters, fucking YouTube spoiled Invincible for me again, and I'm so mad. Oh. Uh... I'm not going to say anything more, because spoilers for Invincible. Pissed. But for Damn some... it, January can't come quick enough. I just want more... Fuck Christmas, I want more Invincible. <laughs> but for some reason, they call her Before daughter... But for some reason, the fan base is like, that's not her daughter, that's her... That's his son, and I'm like, wait, what the f- that Saber's a he? <laughs> I'm like, Dude, as good as my hero is, I honestly think Invincible's been better. It is better. It's been better. And I'm a weeb, and I'm saying that. I am but you can tell the Invincible animation has had, or cartoon or whatever you want to call it, has had a clear influence from anime. 100%. Bro, the fights are animated. The one on the most recent episode, Omni Man vs. Those Other, I almost said Sans. Viltrumites was fucking amazing. <laughs> the way he just elbowed that Viltrumite in the mouth. Jeez. Dude. I also love that one scene where he's like, next time you kill somebody, make sure they're dead. <laughs> There's fucking guts hanging out. That was awesome. That's hardcore. Here's the thing. Uh, Apparently Viltrumites have a healing factor, and they can heal from some fucked up shit. They definitely hired someone with experience for, with Sakuga on that shit. They definitely did. Or the art of anime fight scenes, as it's called in English. My mouth tastes like crab and toe jam. Don't ask why. No shit. Is that true? You get headaches from sleeping too much? I mean, I do. Yeah, too much sleep is actually really bad for you. Because I've been sleeping like shit recently. I want to play Yak as if it were streaming. Uh... You played it in the background. I could, but that defeats the purpose. And I'm playing some space area in the background while we're going through this. Uh, 
Um, if I have my office set up like this. I want my own private office, but mother will not let me have that. Didn't you say she doesn't want you moving out or some shit? No. It's just that she wants a guest room. We never have guests over. Then buy soundproof walls. Well, she has a sound machine that she used to go to sleep. She can't hear me. Uh, um, that's the problem with my stuff is now I have a litter box in here for the cats, and litter boxes attract flies, and flies get all over shit. Then move it outside or something like in the garage. They'd freeze to death out there if they tried to use the bathroom because there's no heat in that garage. Oh. So the... Also, my mom's dogs are not nice to cats. So they get common. Mine aren't either. Uh, I like hound dogs, but man, can they be bastards. Species of brown ponders. Also, for some reason, my aunt's considering bringing my pup's dad over. Here's the problem. He's a really what, mean... she's trying to purposely delete something? No, she's trying to bring the dad over for my pups, and... The dad is fucking mean! She creases her brow and ponders. I mean, that tends to happen when you let male dogs breed. It's just fact of life. No, because it's like, I don't know why she wants to bring them, but she just wants to bring them. No, that usually happens with, like, big male dogs for some reason. He's an American. I think they have a lot more testosterone. He's an American bully, too, so that's even worse. Oh, yeah, be careful with that shit. That, that dog's actually banned in uh, Europe. Move into the living room. Seems Saber wants to know what happened today, so I decided to tell her about the boundary field at school that Tezuka told me about. Oh, so we go for this scene anyway? Yeah, there are some scenes that I read about where, like, um, it would straight up just skip certain scenes. I uh, we don't get a copy strike for a bit of Yakuza's theme playing in the background when I started the game. No, it's an original opening. You would get copyrighted if it was the Japanese version, but you got the English version, therefore it's using its own music. Did you max out your relationship with Mr. Libido by finding all those trading cards? Nope. I'm pretty high, but I don't... I've just been randomly finding them, but I forget how many there are. You're pretty high. Have you been taking too many sleeping pills recently? No. Man, this coffee ain't having no effect, because it's like, I am... By the way, Chad, if you want to experience Japan in the 1980s, seriously, get yourself a copy of Yakuza Zero. It is great. Yes, but also dark as fuck. It's yeah, but what's your play space area in HD? Oh, shit. So apparently the boundary field at the school, apparently it would take at least 10 days to activate. So that means... Oh, fuck. And it's... Oh. So it activates the day before we get our dick wet. Got it. No, it's the fifth day. And it takes at least 10 days to set it up. Yeah, so we don't know how long ago it was set up then. So we should just assume. Yeah, but assuming makes an ass out of you and me. Dude, I heard your oh, frustration wait, wait, wait. when I said that. <laughs> he just heard me like just snort. <laughs> like, you dick. <laughs> also, okay, so apparently we only have eight days. So that means day 13. So it's the Hanukkah boundary field. I don't know why, but for some reason in my brain, I always think Hanukkah is seven days and that's Kwanzaa. Like, I've met people who celebrate Hanukkah, but you've ever met anyone who celebrates Kwanzaa? What the fuck is Kwanzaa? Wait, you're not, wait, did they not teach about Kwanzaa anymore? No. Really? I just heard of it. Uh, okay, when I just said it, really? Yeah. 
So when they when they used to teach us about like the free holidays in December in school, they would bring up Kwanzaa as a thing. It's a African American version of Hanukkah, I think. Something in that regard. I'm no expert, chat. Don't flame me. God, that coffee is not working because I'm starting to experience a sugar crash. Woo! The instant they think of setting up a boundary field at school, there's be someone associated with this at school. There's yeah. someone associated Chad, I'm just with playing space area in the background so I can keep my hands busy. I was a, fidgeting. A student or a teacher. Try to search the school as thoroughly as possible during lunch from tomorrow on. Dude, if it's Fujine, I'll be so happy. Please don't make it stereotypical as Shinji. Here's the thing. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It might be the case. Because like I said, they're sending him up as the rival. Nah, that's boring. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. He's the well-written rival. It's boring, but it's a well-written type of boring. I, dude, this fucking pillar level in Space Hair, I always managed to bash into one of the fucking pillars in his life. No, that'll only be clear when I actually encounter it. And I should think about a servant I've already encountered. Saber is awake right now, so this speaker's time to ask. Alright then. Let's see, who do we ask? Who's likely? I doubt it's Berserker, so. Berserk, because, you know, Ilya doesn't go to that school. Archer. Uh... I'm gonna say it's Lancer. Yeah. Because it, Lancer seems like a douche. It's not Archer, because, you know, Tosika's on our side. And, yeah, I'll go Lancer. It's just Tosika that sets it up. We didn't even see. Wait, didn't she find it in the prologue before we did? Yeah, I think so. That guy. I'll ask about the first server I encountered Lancer. Saber fought with him, then it seems like she realized who he was. なあ、セイバー。ランサーのことなんだけど、あいつは何者なのかわかるか。は？ランサーのことですか？まあ、セイバーがあいつを追い返してくれた時、何か言っていたじゃないか。アイルランドのなんとかとか。Gonna put a pillow on my back because my back's starting to hurt. Fuck, I'm becoming an old man. Uh, I lost space hair, you're now. Well, yeah, she literally said his name during a, during the fight. I'm gonna put it on auto for now. So, fun thing with Space Harrier and Yakuza, and, and slash any emulated version of it, there's a glitch with any emulated version of it, including official Sega ones, where you can't put your name in the high score sheet because you don't have the right arcade cabinet buttons. How dumb is that? I don't know. Pretty dumb, to be honest. You that all racing, going so. out to fight someone who isn't attacking me, but it only ended the conversation I said that now. Oh, I gotta read this hella fast, cause they, they waste hella fast. はい。あの構造と全身に帯びたルーンの守り加えて戦いではなく生き延びることに特化した能力から言って間違いはないでしょう。彼の神明はクーフーリン。魔装現場。あれ、あれ、あれ。あれ、あれ、あれ。あれ
続きがあるのですゲイボルクの能力はさまざまな形で伝えられていますがそのすべてはゲイボルクがいいキピングシスズゲイボルクスカルシュキとしての能力ではなく That's his weapon, right? Yeah, Gable. It's an Irish thing. Technically Celtic. Oh man, I love Gable. Dude, Gable has the uh, record for sucking dick. Did you know that? <sighs> what do you say? Gable has the record for. Oh, you know what she said? Uh. It literally bends by reality by changing the cause and effect of the of of the attack. So yeah. It's not anime about reality bending powers. Speaking of which, I played FF16 DLC earlier today. I swear I bet reality once. I'm not joking when I say this. The DLC boss in that game, in that, in the game. I'm not joking when I say this. Literally bends reality so hard it drains the oxygen out of the air. Wait, what game? FF16. Oh, they love putting super hard extra bosses. It's their bread and butter. You ever got shot in the face with fire, fire pillars, shock waves, and lasers all at the same time? Yeah, trying... that was just my dude. That was just my sweet sixteen. While also trying to avoid a one-hit kill. Oh, that was my eighteenth birthday. What did I do for my eighteenth birthday? I don't even remember. I think it was just a birthday no? No phantasms require different amounts of magical energy depending on their size. Oh, sorry. A servant with a rank, a noble phantasm. But to kill one person, no one servant will need great power. If you can kill your opponent with one blow, there is no. Dude, every time I try and speak Texan, it comes out as redneck. ランサーのゲイボルクはその弓矢を命中させられるやりってことかしかも霞傷じゃなく確実に命を奪う心臓に当ててくるそういうことです詳しい。So it bends reality to hit the heart so hard that it kills you. あの程度の魔力消費なら、いや、7回使っても魔力の補充は必要ないでしょう。ですから彼の魔装は。Ah, my eye! Oh, you mean his gay bulge? Jeez, can't write woman. The gay bulge. Gay bulge. Dude, gay bulge is awesome. Ah. Also, I forgot to mention, my glasses broke yesterday and I had to get my other pair. Also, damn it, we are roasting Scottish mythology so hard accidentally. You are. I'm not. Ah, my fucking eye! Ow. So he's assuming he's not flashy, but can definitely win, huh? So no one knew how he knew that guy was so. Or he was trying to play with us. This man, Lancer himself, is a miraculous person. He was a huge person. I ate shitty crab and now my stomach feels like a fucking balloon. I feel the same way, but we can't let our guard down. Stab me to the heart as if he was cutting grass. So it's like a berserker and Lancer have no hesitation when it comes to- Stab through the heart! Lancer's a dick! I am bleeding out my anus! Sorry. He gave me an opening for that one. Were you drinking when I did that? I was drinking coffee, yeah. Oh, especially to spit your coffee out. That was stupid. Did you see oil from my hair getting in my eye? Ow! 
Yeah, I need to take a shower and shave tomorrow. I quickly stand up. It's gross, but I shit. I shower like every two days, usually. Fuck! It's Sakura! You can hear Sakura's voice. Speaking of, I gotta pee. Entertain the chat. Imagine Sakura. She just like. <laughs> like. He wants to go clean his room and he just sees Saber there. So, chat, how was y'all's day? After all, we share the same blood. Bounty seems more of yours than of your daddy's first spell. So, you want a piece of me? Okay. Come and get it. Now we can. I'm back on a thousand cheese. <laughs> cheese nits will always be inferior. That's why I only buy cheeses. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Hello. Soccer in the room yet? I was playing DMC3. What happened? What? what? You just hopped on DMC3 while I was gone. Yeah, I was I was just playing DMC3 on my Switch. <laughs> Speaking of Actually. which, I need to buy an adapter so I can put my PS5 controller on there because I cannot play with a P with a Switch Pro controller. It does not feel right for me. Saber leaves for her room. In her place. Oh, it was Rin! Tosuka is holding a grocery bag and... 
お邪魔します先輩珍しいですね先輩がこんな早くから帰ってきてくれるのって Sakura comes in smiling happily よし準備は完璧ったそれじゃあ始めるとしましょうかどうそれ、そのポイントステイングヘア。ね、セブ、ティンクアバウトサイシュドゴバックトゥマイルームアンティルディナーズプレパイド。ちょっと部屋で休んでくれ。フジネがやってきたらたまには風呂沸かすように言っとい
So I need to eat alone, but that can't be helped. Hmm. I'm gonna save everything by yourself is really annoying to me. Fan fantastic are the developers. So I was gonna knock on the door and what's inside. Were they expecting to save their studio with the early access for this? No. They no, that's just the way they did things. They would just make a game, it was shit, move on to the next game. Hmm. And the studio was funded in twenty sixteen and they made like five games in that time. Oh god. That time already, huh? Get up and leave. I haven't heard of leave. any other games. Also, Jesus Christ, man, you're really loud. Huh? You're really loud. How? Like, like you're literally busting my ears. <laughs> like how before she was upset that Rin was sleeping here. Now she's like, fuck yeah, Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still loud? A little lower. Hello? Okay, you should be fine now. Uh, I think my cat like hit my mic or something. Oh yeah, because you're- oh wait, you're back to being loud. Fuck! Uh... What the fuck? Fujine is looking excitedly at all the food prepared on the table. Now that she mentions it. Oh, it's only as Chinese. On the four favorite plates are crab with eggs, shredded beef with pepper, some stir fry, and I get elegant looking. Testing, meat. testing, testing. Still a bit too loud. I think. Uh, I must be OBS. I'm not loud on my end. I think I need to lower you just a tiny bit. Hold on. Did this random start doing that? Hold on. Fuck. Uh, trying to exit out of full screen. There we go. Got Discord. Wait, when did it start doing that? Moment you came back. Huh. I'll need to mute you a little bit. Okay, try talking now. Hello? Okay, I think you're fine. Yeah, you were real loud. I never seen before vegetables and a plate full of steamed meat dumplings. There are salads on the side plates and various follow ups already. Put simply, it's the kind of gorgeous dinner Fujine loves. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Japan should consider China Western. I forgot. Mm. Technically, they consider whatever is on the west side of the world western, right? No, he just said I was... You read that wrong. Really? They consider us western. Yeah, but... He, he... means, like, American dishes. He doesn't mean... The wa... Chinese are still eastern. The why the fuck did he say that... He was... They were making Chinese food, and he said... I was expecting you to make... Oh! I read that wrong. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> よく考えてたそうですよ。けど、中華料理は誰も作らないって言ったら、なら私が作るって。あ、そうなのか。なんだ。思ったより仲がいいじゃないか。そうですね。遠坂先輩とは学校でもよく話してましたから。私のどこが気に入られたかわからないんですけど、入学した頃から親切にしてもらってます。おお。She I mean, Fujine sits down happily. 
And she's speaking the truth because I tried cold Chinese food once. It does not taste. It doesn't taste bad, but it's preferred you eat it hot. Like most foods, like a fucking normal person. Dude, rice tastes like absolute garbage when it gets cold. Yeah. Seeing this cold late, Tosa gets it down as well. I sit down Also, there's salad in Chinese cuisine? The fuck? Everyone bows and eats the food. Huh. Annoyingly, it's good. I never cooked Chinese because I thought it all tastes the same, but this is so good it makes me realize that we're just prejudiced. Yeah, he's I mean, surely they have Chinese food places in Japan. Like, a lot of countries will get... You know how that works, right? Why there's a lot of, like, international restaurants in a lot of other countries? Yeah. Because the government tends to have deals with, like, other countries. Like, say, like, you immigrate here and set up a restaurant, we'll fund it or whatever. Ah, uh, diversify stuff or diversify yeah. like communities and stuff. That yeah, makes sense. That's why you'll tend to find like weird out of place restaurants sometimes, <laughs> which are the best kinds. Right, there's a stupid good Filipino place by me. Sakura is happily enjoying the food too. They're watching this with a smile. <laughs> Rin, what are you planning? Tosuke Rin looks at me with an expression of triumph. Well, what do you want to say? What do you want to say, man? Oh. I think I understand her character now. Uh, when she wants to prove that she's better at something, she's gonna take it without without any sort of doubt. Oh, shit. Because yeah, she's that type of character where it's Didn't like. Sakura pick? No, it was her. She's trying to tease Shiro that, like, oh, I'm a better cook than you. Like, she like she wants to prove that she's better in a way just to fuck with you. Wait, no, that should Sakura cook this. <laughs> oh, no, wait, she didn't. Here's the thing. I still win, bitch, because I get to eat good food. <laughs> That's actually less than the Kakashi top Naruto in this episode. What? Hydra potential. Back when the characters only knew one jutsu, Kakashi was like, Naruto, wait to use your jutsu. Because that's how he got stuck in the crystal ice mirrors. <sighs> she shows this happily and starts eating her own Which, food. As far as assassin techniques go, that shit's so cool. Yeah, because it also just makes sense. Like, it's trapping your opponent in a mirror of ice where you don't know where the Samba are getting thrown at you. Samba were actual weapons, and they're fucking cool. They're essentially oversized needles made to pierce arteries. Shikamaru almost got killed by one in the shooting exams. Dinner is more lively than I was expecting. Sakura and Tosaka are good senpai and junior, and Fujinae is completely fresh. Like, when he fought now. Rin from Naruto, if it would have hit him, like, an inch higher, he would have died. Well, like, he very Tosaka nearly Tosaka. died from a sunbone. <sighs> I stand up. Yep. A lot of people forget about that fight because it's mixed in with another episode where it's mixed in with the Gar versus Lee fight. That happens right after it. By the way, I forgot to mention. She said the moment she said toilet, I forgot. Um, 
did you ever see that interview with Norman Reedus when he went to Japan? And <laughs> and basically he pranked fucking um fucking the actor for Rick by like saying like he was he wanted to say how do you he asked like how did you say uh thank you for letting me in your country? <laughs> you wanna know what Norman Reedus told him? What? He told him Where's the toilet? In Japanese. <laughs> he didn't know what it meant. And everyone in the room was just like, looked at him like, wait, what did he say? <laughs> in live television. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, who pranked him? Norman Reedus. <laughs> That's great. Let me send it to you. I don't know. Norman Reedus knows Japanese. I think. Hold on. Norman Reedus, Japanese. Hold on. Let me find it for you. Because they went to do an interview in Japan, and it was the funniest. And it was so fucking funny, dude. Because he said it to, like, millions of fans in Japan. That's great. It's great. I wonder if, like, some of them play with the dub. I bet you they do. Yeah. When I leave the living room, there's a ghost staring at me silently. I sent you the vid. Alright. I'll watch it later. I'm just gonna take it. It's the only reason. That's interesting. So I don't like it when you're in the same house, but alone. So my 3ds was on the first ones off the lot, and the patent for it was pending when it came out. Huh? Yeah, I have a. Uh, I'm just reading the back of my 3ds. I have a CTR003, which uh, the patents were still pending for them. Also, unlike my Switch. The fucking serial label is still intact. Did that happen to your Switch? Mine just like disintegrated and fell off for no reason. It never got wet, it just fell the fuck off. Luckily, I need to take a picture of it before that happened. Yeah. You there? Yeah. Like, always take a picture of your console serial numbers because if they ever fall off, you're fucked. Yeah, pretty much. Luckily, Nintendo also put the serial number for the Switch inside the system itself via settings. Thankfully. Apple does that with their phones, too. <laughs> so before considering the consequences, I grab her hand. Oh, no. <laughs> she Guys, this is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're part of the family. Listen, now. Here's the thing: you're a part of the family now. We can't, we can't hide you forever. So let's just, let's just show you off. L listen, <laughs> listen, Saber. We, we made way too much Chinese food, and we need someone to help us eat it. What's China? We'll, we'll, we'll go over this later. Technically, in her time period, in Asia didn't even. It was unknown if Asia even existed yet. We didn't know until the 1700s. I mean, we knew. We used to know about, like, I don't know. Whatever happens later, it can be dealt with. Wait, they're eating in the living room? The f That's not a Japanese thing to do. Grab Saber's hand and take it to the living room. Doesn't look doesn't object, but Fujin and Sakura are looking at Saber with astonishment. Oh, Fujin doesn't know about Saber. Nor does Sakura. No. Yeah. What the fuck? Why did you use her class name? You idiot! You idiot! Why? Rin already knew that. No, not Rin. Fujine and Sakura. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know if they're Magi or whatever. Yeah, but she could. he could have made up a fake name. Oh, this fucking moron. <laughs> oh, this is a <laughs> Look at their models! Look at their portraits! <laughs> Dude, guess what this dinner scene is called? What? You, you too. 
What? They're so astonished they're white. They're monochrome. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no reaction from the two. Sucker is probably dying inside. And Fujine is gonna flip. Dude, Fujine is probably about to go full, like, full, like, mom in a mission mode. It's only natural, but I don't have enough composure to care about that, about them right now. <laughs> He's just hoping. <laughs> you can tell. He's just hoping they don't care. He is just hoping to oh, eat he's dinner. He's praying they don't care. <laughs> he's like, they're just like hoping they move on, or he's hoping that they don't chew him out by the end of dinner, because he's. Because he's probably going to do what some of my family does. Well, they'll wait for you when you're at your calmest and then immediately barge in. <laughs> Dude. My mic on? Yeah. Sorry, I had to let my dog out. Uh, Bro, Sakura looks so dead inside while Fujine looks like she's gonna bat the fucking floor. Fujine is like, I, I really need to buy condoms for this house. Can you believe that'd be the most responsible thing she could do in this situation? So <laughs> It's certainly, she speaks very robotically, like like a killing machine would speak. Yeah. Or the others have more of a personality. She's just like, I am a killing machine. <laughs> like I never noticed it before until this chapter, the way she speaks. I like how he's just saying she's living with us now and hoping they, they're fine with it. Dude, Fijine and Sakura are like, well, shit. I have, Sakura's like, I have another rival. And Fujine's like, I, oh my god, if something happens, I'm gonna be fucking fired. Well, not fired, more like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this kid. Don't tell her about the orgy in six days. Oh, don't remind me of that. Oh, she was about to flip. You can't. Yep, she flipped. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the thunder god. Fujine. <laughs> My ears! Ow! My ears are ringing! Now she gotta share the food with everyone else. <laughs> I think that's what she's mostly mad about. Oh, that's a good one. 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 I mean, yeah, it's a fucking mansion. I think she just smacked him. Dude, I think she just smacked him. Dude, I think she just smacked him. Dude, I think she just smacked him. I think she just smacked him. Dude, I think she just smacked him. Dude, I think she just smacked I like how she stopped midway through because as she realized, wait a minute, he would actually do something like this. She can't really say that. Say that. She's <laughs> like, oh shit, I'm right. <laughs> no, she. No way. He's like, wait a minute, hold on. What are you? <laughs> She's like actually thinking about it. He's like, there's no way he would allow it. Wait. What are you? <laughs> 
But he actually... Hold on, wait a minute. I mean, he is pretty gay. So... Because, because a father was simpleton who went to the foreign countries all the time. He would have more acquaintances overseas than in Japan. So it's like... I love the way you put a the there. He went to the foreign countries. Just those foreign countries. I mean, it's nothing foreign. <laughs> yeah, 2004, everywhere outside of the U.S. was viewed as a shithole. That was actually a thing that happened after 9-11. Like, a lot of uh, people's worldviews changed to view the world as, like, this really fucking hostile place. They aren't wrong. Which it's, what the movie... right? it's what the movie Hostel's based on. It's a really good movie. Damn, she's straight up yelling at him. Well, she's like she's like his mom, so she might as well. She she has the right to be pissed. Listen, mom, go take go drink your wine, take your pain meds, and go to bed. Saber is silent. It's so natural. So he doesn't have <laughs> no, I just realized what I just lies, said. Wine and pain meds. She... Those aren't good together. Oh God, don't say it like that. No! Oh, don't I guess do she it. does. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Kiritsugu-san ga Shiro wo tanomu te? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, he did. Hi. I have his hand in marriage. Arayuru teki kara Shiro wo mamoru yo ni to. Don't. Oh, my. What are you, what are you doing? Just shut up. Woman? Shut the no. fuck. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I should say, I'm a magus. Shut Girl, the. Fucking. Shut the fuck up. Service. Shut the fuck up. Don't make this worse. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Quietly, Saber says this with the greatest purity. Bullshit. Who could object to that? Wait, wait. She has a purity knot in her hair, so she's not wrong. Even if it's a lie, Saber's going to choose for Saber herself. It is a very old-fashioned Grecian hairstyle. Even Fujine can't object to those words. But... She stands up with a frown, glaring at Saber. <laughs> Test your she 